But how does this start it? The people who came before should have started it successfully. Let the array mage try. Kong Xionji said. Both Kong Mingguan and Bro Ken Gut took the array mage. Kong Xionji said that they were the first to walk towards the stone pier. After doing some research, they beckoned everyone in the back. Guku, this is indeed a small teleportation array, but this teleportation array is random. I don't know where to teleport people, said a matrix mage in broken gut. Will we be scattered? Nine asked. There are several nodes in this array. People standing on different nodes will be teleported to the same place. Those who are not on one node will naturally go to different places. Yes. We do nt know what is behind this formation. It may be the site of the ruins or it may be a very dangerous place. Starting this formation is not difficult, but I am afraid of the uncertainty behind it. Master, would you like to move forward? Simon Feng looked at the disciples at the back and said, I don't know what's going on, so everyone in this action is free. If you don't want to go, you can't force it. You can go elsewhere to look for opportunities, or you can wait for us here. Master, let's go in together. That's right. Master, we were all desperates before. What danger have we never seen? Yes. We go in too. The people in Kong Ming think the same. Since they are looking for opportunities, how could they give up because of a little unknown factor? Ximen Feng looked at Kong Xionji, and Kong Xionji came over and said, I am with you. Kong Xionji looked at her younger sister, with some loss in her heart. Now that it's decided, go in. Simon Feng said. They came to the middle of the stone pier, the people close to them stood together, the array mage started the array, and all of them disappeared. Shortly after they disappeared, some people came here, and after a survey, they all entered the teleportation array. Others, walking around, came to the place where Tsing Yi was. Look, the golden tree. The people cried in surprise, and the sound woke the sleeping Tsing Yi. Is this the legendary sacred tree? An old man recognized it, his body trembling with excitement. The legendary tree of life is indeed the tree of life. The old man said, taking out an old book that was so rotten and lacking corners, turned to one of the pages, and compared it with the tree in front of him. Behind the tree, I was so excited. Tree of life? What tree is that? Asked the disciples beside the old man. The tree of life, also known as Dendrobium sylvestris, is the earliest tree in the world. When it matures, it is golden and can be used for medicine, to help practice, and to help Wudeo. The old man explained. It requires enlightenment, and only by enlightenment can we go further. Then this tree of life is not very useful. The essence of the tree of life can make people rise. Just one drop can increase the level by a small level. If you are a strong person above the king level, even if you do nt have the enlightenment, as long as you absorb the essence, you can be promoted. The old man said more and more excited, as if he saw himself progressing all the way, becoming an emperor or even stronger. Really? Those disciples were also excited. If they could get the essence of the tree of life, would they still worry? Their family can surely become a family that rivals the inner forces. Ancient books say that the tree of life went extinct a long time ago. I didn't expect there would be another here. Wonderland is indeed Wonderland, even such a treasure. Tree of life, tree of life. This is a real life tree, a life tree that has evolved successfully. Some Dendrobium ficus trees have also been found on the mainland. However, the Dendrobium ficus tree that has not turned into golden yellow can not really be called the tree of life, so it does not have the functions of the tree of life. And this one is not the same, this is already a real tree of life. Our ancestors, then we will move this life tree back. Don't worry. This tree of life is not so easy to deal with. Said the old man. As said in the ancient books, an enchantment will be formed outside the tree of life to protect ourselves. 
we must first think of ways to break the enchantment. They approached Tsing Yi slowly, and when they were more than 100 meters away from him, they encountered invisible obstacles. This should be where the enchantment is. Patriarch, what shall we do? You step back, let me try to open this enchantment. The old man ordered to those around him. The strength of the old man is already close to that of his holiness, and his attack is not acceptable to ordinary juniors. Hearing that he was going to attack, everyone was hiding away. The old man flew into the air, condensed spiritual power, and mobilized the spiritual power in his body, struggling to hit the enchantment. Boom! The huge shock flew the old man, and it took many turns in the air to land on the ground. The aftermath lasted for thousands of miles to dissipate, and the juniors who were hiding in the distance were also impacted. They were farts with low strength, and only a few powerful ones remained, but all of them were seriously injured. Old Ancestor The living person climbed up, ran towards the old man, saw the old man lying on the ground, turned him over, and found out that he had been blown out of sight. Fortunately, he wasn't dead yet still sighing. They rushed to give him the elixir, and after a while, he opened his half-opened eyelid. Life Tree Don't worry, Ancestor. The Tree of Life is still intact, said a junior. The old man spit a bit of old blood, he hit it hard, and made himself like this, the Tree of Life was intact. Isn't he hurt in vain? But the junior still seemed to comfort himself saying that the tree of life was intact, and he was so angry. Old man, don't be angry. Another junior comforted, when you get better, let's find a way. Where can you wait for your body to get better now? The shock just now will definitely shock people nearby. If others come and find the tree of life, what else can we get? The old man shouted. It would be nice if someone did come. What did you say? My ancestors are in a hurry, listen to me. The junior said, the enchantment of this tree of life is so powerful that you can't move it even if you try your best, even if it hurts you behind, plus all of us power may not be able to open this enchantment. Brother is right. Someone echoed. Our ancestors, if we cant open this enchantment, we cant subdue this tree of life, even if he is so powerful, it is useless to us. We might as well spread the news and let others open the way for us. Yes, Ancestor. If we don't get it, it won't help to look at it. The old man hesitated, what the younger man said was not unreasonable, it was really useless to guard the baby and not get it. The Ancestors are already half-stepped into the ranks, but it is not useful for this. It is not useful for ordinary people. So we need to spread the news not only, but also there are many, and the spread is wide, so that more powerful people can come here. After struggling, the old man finally agreed to this approach. It is true that they cannot compete with the Tree of Life by their current strength. With the power of others, this is indeed the only way now. Then you do it, he said, feeling very hurt. His baby. Baby he found. But now he wants to share it with others. He feels that his heart hurts more than his body. The two of you first helped the ancestor to a hidden place to heal, and then left two to pack their bodies, and the rest went out with me. The two helped the old man return to the forest on the other side of the mountain, while the others went out to spread the news. The legendary tree of life can enhance strength and help advance. The news spread quickly. Not only did the people on the island know it, but even people outside the island knew it. More people are heading here. Come here. People on the island are no longer looking for ruins. There may be treasures in the ruins, but there is certainly no precious tree of life. And the ruins may only have treasures, or the place where the emperor lived, but compared with the real tree of life, the ruins are not so important. More and more people are coming, more and more people are blocked by the enchantment, no matter how strong the person is, it is the same to encounter the enchantment. Looking at those tree folded Sima Yuyu in the tree hole, I didn't know how lucky I was to be here. 
Although Xia Ro fits with her and is immune to the enchantment, if it were not for Tsing Yi not attacking them, they would not be able to approach him intact. Ten days later, the place was full of people, but no one broke the enchantment. More than a month later, the prairie was crowded with people, and many strong men came, and they all had an aspiration to the tree of life. Sima Yuya was in a tree cave and had no idea what was going on outside. Boring, this is the only feeling she has now. She sat cross-legged on the leaves, hands on her knees, propped her chin, and stared straight at the tree folds. Folds, wrinkles, you and me, big eyes and small eyes, are you bothering? If you are bothering, why don't you just tell me what is in you? Endless silence. Of course the tree folds would not tell her what she meant, not even he knew what she meant, because different people would see different things when they saw it. In fact, she is not blamed for her impetuousness. There is nothing but folds here, but it is impossible to see the flowers when you stare at the bark. If it's a day or two, she can accept it. But she felt like she had been here for more than a year, facing her wrinkles every day, and her heart started to become impetuous. Tsing Yi is concerned about the situation of the four people in the body. Since Xiao Qi has recovered her memory, this evolution is also familiar to her, and she doesn't need to worry too much. Su Xiao Xiao and Han Miao Shuang are in a fantasy world, and they understand and see through the fantasy world. They mainly test their mental strength, as long as they break through the illusion, they can be promoted. Only Sima Yuya has nothing here. Seeing her growing impetuous, he wondered if he was a little overestimating her. She may not really understand anything. Seeing that she had found nothing, Tsing Yi decided to change her mind and let Xiao Qi come out when the evolution of Xiao Qi succeeded. Give her some other things to compensate. Boom! Those outside were attacking the enchantment again, and they hadn't rested for more than a month. Even if his temper was good, he was angry. He glanced down and came out of the trunk, but he did not show up, and those people would not be able to see him. Tsing Yi looked at the dense crowd, his eyes narrowed, and he waved, those who were attacking the enchantment received a stronger counterattack and flew them directly for several kilometers. The Tree of Life is fighting back. Someone cried. It's a counterattack to counterattack early. How could it take so long to respond? You must be mistaken. How could it be wrong? That power is obviously stronger than before. Well, we have been attacking for more than a month, but we have not even broken this enchantment, let alone approached the Tree of Life. Is this enchantment unbreakable? There is no enchantment that cannot be broken, only the wrong way. Everyone's attacks were too scattered before. What if we all attack one point? Maybe. Well. Don't waste your energy, if you can, you won't be able to do it. Those inside forces are all about to move, presumably to join forces. They can't do anything without joining forces. Some more people. Xuan Kaihui came over in a wheelchair, followed by the guards of the Xuan Chu family. Some people inside were surprised when they saw the signs on the clothes of Suan Kaihu cranes. The hermits are here too. Master there is an enchantment here. The man behind Xian Kaihuhi pushed him to stop before the enchantment. Xian Kaihuhi stretched out his hand and touched him, the invisible enchantment blocked him outside. Stop it, he ordered to the people behind him. The guard let him go, put his hands on the wheels, pushed forward, and the wheelchair took him through the enchantment. Go in, go in. God, how did he get in? Those who did not know Suan Kaihuhi's identity were surprised, and those who knew his identity were deeply moved. It is worthy of being a hermit, so just go in. In a wheelchair, proficient in enchantment, this should be the Suan Kaihu crane of the Suan Kaihu family. How did he get in? I heard that Xian Chuhi is proficient in all kinds of enchantments. No matter what enchantment is, he will not be stumped. So it is not surprising that people enter. Just go in like this, if only we could go in too. You just have to look at this, ah, envy. Yes. 
Well, let's continue to break the enchantment. I don't know if he will be attacked near the Tree of Life. It should be, this enchantment is so aggressive, so this Tree of Life is not a good stubble. He's close. Close. No attack on him. He's gone. Without attacking him, he's gone. Should it disappear after being attacked? He didn't resist, obviously not. I'm envious. Ugh. Keep attacking, keep attacking. When Tsing Yi saw Xian Kaiyu He, he was somewhat surprised. He did not expect to see the man in the memory of Xiao Qi and Sima Yuyu. After Xian Kaiyu He woke up from the dizziness, he saw Tsing Yi on the trunk in front of him, and there was not much accident. Tree of Life, you really are here. He said lightly. You are not surprised to see me, Tsing Yi said. There is something in your brain that prevents me from seeing your memory. It is this thing that prevents you from seeing and walking. Yes, a friend of mine said that. You are not worried. I have nothing to worry about. Xian Kaihu he smiled. Time and life also. Now that I have... I have nothing to worry about. You don't worry that you will live shortly. How long can I live? How long can I die? There will always be one day. You're kind of like her, no wonder you can be friends. Tsing Yi said. My friend. Yes, Tsing Yi said, since you are here, I will give you a chance as well. When Xian Kaihu he was too late to ask the next question, the image on the trunk disappeared and his environment changed. He turned into a baby and saw a group of people around himself, anxious discussants. He couldn't hear what they were talking about, he just felt noisy, and then saw those people moving around on himself. Since then, he has never seen the colors of this world again. Packed with me, I make you the master of the world. A voice bewildered him in the darkness. Who are you? I am you. Impossible. I am your desire, we are one. The voice said, contract with me, I will take you to the top of the world, and take you to overlook everything in the world. What will I pay? The price? No, no, there is no price, we are one. Where does it cost you anything? We are one, why do we need a contract? We are only physical fit now, but this is not enough. We need spiritual fit and physical and mental unity to truly release our power. At that time, you can walk on your own, and you can see the world as well. Let's contract. I know who you are, said Xian Kaihu He, you are the seal in my head, aren't you? You want to break the seal through me and the contract. I live with you, I am you, you are me too. We are inseparable. The voice laughed strangely. Without me, you cannot live. Then I'd rather die. At least, I'm dead and your back is not desolate. Xian Kaihu he said lightly. You want to die? How can you want to die? You are a natural wizard, God gave you such a good gift, why don't you want it? This is a gift from heaven to you. Gift? Do you? Do you think I will treat you as a gift from heaven? Xian Kaihu he smiled bitterly. You are the punishment given to me by heaven, and this will make you in my body. I must will find a way to get rid of you. Don't you want to stand at the top of the world? Don't you want others to be at your feet? You desire them too, don't you? No. Don't say you don't. The voice interrupted him. Without it, you won't be here, I won't be in your body. There is desire in your heart, and desire for it all. Xian Kaihu he was silent, his lips thin. Yes, you are right. I have ideas and desires, but my desire is to see the world, to see with my own eyes, not to be controlled by you. Xian Kaihu he said, I think I will fight for everything I want, not by betraying myself. You don't have to waste my heart. His words were strong and his attitude was so resolute. After he said this, the darkness around him disappeared, and he returned to the way he was before. Frankness, don't forget your heart. 
These eight words sounded between heaven and earth, and suddenly eight large golden characters appeared in the air. After spinning in a circle, they stopped over the tree of life. A burst of golden light emerged, and the figure of Suankai Ukraine appeared above the crown of the tree of life. Look, he's out. Jing Guang shrouded, heaven and earth Brahma. He got his word. There was an uproar on the prairie. Very few people could truly understand the Tao of Heaven and Earth. Once he comprehends and receives the Tao of Heaven and Earth, he can be described as a smooth road in future practice. Those eight characters flew around the Tree of Life, and then all fell into the body of Xian Kaiuhi. The people of the Suan Kaiu family are even more excited. Before they came in, they had been instructed by Lord Yinlin, saying that there would be great opportunities to come in but they did not expect that their young master would realize the truth. This is something that hasn't happened for many years. Suan Kaiu family will become the first of hermits in the future. When Beza Tiendeo enters Suan Kaiu Crane's body, he feels that the seal inside him is stronger, and his eyes can even see some white light. It's still blurry, but it's not the endless darkness it used to be. You've got your way, go out. Tsing Yi said. Xian Kaiuhi felt that his body was pushed out by a wireless force and came outside the enchantment. Master! The people of the Suan Kaiu family gathered around. Let's go, Xian Kaiuhi ordered. Yes, Master! The Suan Kaiu family pushed him away. Before leaving, he looked back at the Tree of Life and seemed to see the man again. His friend, who is he talking about? Is it Sima Yuyu? Without knowing why, he felt that the person Tsing Yi said was Sima Yuyu, because he didn't have many friends. The Suan Kaiu family came and left a few days later, which made others envy. They also want to get the gift of the Tree of Life. In the following months, there were some hermits and inner forces. They knew more about the Tree of Life than others, and never thought to uproot it because this is not their own existence. They just want to get some of its gifts even a little, they will benefit a lot. In particular, Xian Kaiuhi realized his Tao in the Tree of Life. This news made many people in Wonderland come here, hoping that they would be so lucky. Some people went in. Like Xian Kaiuhi, they also entered the Tree of Life and gave them similar assessments, but no one came to realize the Tao. But other things they got from Tsing Yi, although not better than the Tao they realized, were also very useful to them. A few of those who came before left because they found that they could not open the enchantment, could not approach the Tree of Life, and could not get its gifts. Since this opportunity has nothing to do with them, it is better to give up early and go elsewhere to find your own. Although the remaining people did not leave, they also understood that a forcible attack is useless and can only think of other ways to enter the enchantment. Even so, the people coming here are still endless. If it was for the ruins, it is now running in Tsing Yi. In the tree cave, Sima Yuya has been staring at those wrinkles. She didn't know the battle outside, but Suan Kaiu Crane realized her success. When the heaven and earth gave her Tao, she seemed to feel the vibration of the Buddhist voice, and her heart trembled. Did the brother or sister succeed? She stood up, walked around, and still can't mobilize her spiritual power, even if she wants to climb up. It's so sleepy, or don't sleep. She stretched out her waist and made a trip, just lying in the middle of the tree hole. Looking at the dark hole directly above, she seemed to be attracted into it. Obviously sleepy, but could not sleep, staring at the hole above, watching it, the hole became a fold on the trunk. She rubbed her eyes, still like that and shouted, did you go into magic? She closed her eyes and forced herself to think nothing, but the wrinkles appeared before her eyes. It's over. After watching this thing for so long, I've filled my head now. She tapped her head, opened her eyes, and watched the folds fill the black hole. Why is it getting fuzzy? She looked at the folds, which were layered and layered, but the lines slowly crooked and merged together as if it had become a barren land. She seemed to become a part of the air, following the wind to hang over the bare, exposed ground. It's desolate here, 
not even a little grass, she thought to herself. She fluttered along with the wind, but wherever it went, there were patches of rock. The scorching sun burned and the stone skin was roasted and smoked. Sima Yuya felt as if he was going to be roasted with adult meat. Well, what a ghost place is this, and it's okay to drool. As soon as her voice fell, a cracked ground suddenly burst into the ground, scaring her with a stun. The crowd looked as they saw the two women unveil their cloaks, revealing their astonished faces. Laner, Han Yu, are you too sure to try? Yu Chen Ji asked. Master, this tree of life is not a cruel killer. He just killed the strong one because he attacked the enchantment. If we don't do it, it should not hurt us. Yes, Lord, let us try it. Zong Zheng Han Yu said. Han Yu, you are our maiden, Lan Er, you are my apprentice, if you have an accident, I may not be able to keep you. Yu Chen Ji said. Master, seek the avenue, you should not care about these. Yu Chen Ji thought about it and said, go ahead. With permission, Zong Zhen Ganyu and Nalan Lan were very happy, took out their respective preparations, and walked towards the enchantment together. The two stood before the enchantment and glanced at each other. It's up to you now, said Zong Zheng Hanyu. You have the treasure of the family, which is effective for all enchantments, don't worry. Nalandan said. With your constitution, this enchantment can't stop you. Zong Zheng Hanyu envied her, but he was not bad either. Nalan Lan smiled and said, let's try it. The two took a step forward at the same time. When passing the enchantment, Zong Zheng Ganyu issued a white light, letting her easily across the past. But Nalan's hand was useless, and she was stopped outside. It seems that I am a person approved by the Tree of Life. Then I will go in advanced. Zong Zhen Gan Yu looked back at her and turned towards the Tree of Life. Nalan Blue looked at her proud look, and her eyes were filled with hatred, but now it was not the time to be jealous of her, she had to find a way to get in. She tried again twice and still couldn't do it, and everyone behind began to whisper. Hearing the discussion behind, I saw Zong Zhen Gan Yu disappearing from under the tree, and the hand closed in his sleeve clenched his fist. She was so hard that her nails were pierced into the meat, and blood dripped down her fingers. She was unwilling. She was second to the Eucharist, how could she not get in? Try again and be sure. This time she put away the things in her hand, closed her eyes and moved forward. When encountering the enchantment, the blood in her hand came into contact with the enchantment and emitted a burst of white light. After the light, she was already in the knot. Inside the world. Past. Later people saw that Nalan Lan was still trying, but she still laughed at her, but did not expect that the plot suddenly turned, she actually went in. Nalan Blue opened her eyes and saw her rejoicing as she was in the enchantment. She said, how could she not get in? She walked forward, stopped to look at him as she passed the corpse, and there was a slight scorn in her eyes, but everyone was invisible to her back. She leaned down, stretched her hand over his face, and closed his eyes. It is indeed a disciple of the Lord of the King's Court, that's a good heart. Yes, this woman is kind-hearted at first sight. Unlike the girl just now, she didn't even glance when she walked by. Actually, this is understandable. If we were to go in, we wouldn't necessarily ignore it. So, this Nalan Blue is even more valuable. That's right. Yu Chen Ji accepted a good apprentice. Nalan Blue heard the praises, and her mouth rose. She came to the Tree of Life and looked up at the huge crown, waiting for the gift of the Tree of Life. Tsing Yi knew from Sima Yuyu's memory that this woman, like that woman just now, was somewhat bitter with Sima Yuyu. But when they came in, he was going to give them a chance. This was an agreement with heaven. Go in. As soon as he waved, Nalandan was enveloped by a light and disappeared before the crowd. Tsing Yi was lying on a tree branch, thinking that Sima Yuyu knew that the two women would be here with her, how would they react? Two days later, Zong Zheng Hanyu came out. Unlike others, 
she didn't realize anything, and she didn't get her own things in the tree cave. After the assessment, she was taken outside the tree of life, and a tender yellow branch floated in front of her. Zong Zheng Hanyu felt the strong vitality contained in the branches, knowing that it must be the essence of the tree of life. She excitedly took out a bottle and put it under the branch. The branch of life shuddered, dripping a few drops of essence from the branch. As soon as the essence left, the branch withered and fell to the root of the tree. Zong Zheng Hanyu put away the jade bottle and made a gift towards the tree of life, saying, Thank you for the gift of the tree of life. Some other people who come in also get the essence, so this gift is not bad. It was just that Tsing Yi was careful and gave her two drops. He had a sense of inner sweep, but he did not expect that Nalan Blue actually realized the heavenly way in the assessment. According to the rules, he can't interrupt her now, but only by her. Refining is really different. It's so easy to understand the Tao. But I don't know what she will realize. But no matter what you realize, as long as you follow this path, you are destined to be different from ordinary practitioners. Han Miaoshuang didn't know how long she had stayed in the tree hole. During this time, she went through everything before. He was bullied, abandoned, and adopted by Su Jin. He took him to the Han family to settle accounts, and went to the college to study alchemy with concentration, no matter the size of the matter, pile by pile, piece by piece, they all experienced it again. Walking through the past again, she thought that she would be angry, sad, angry, and uncontrollable, but she did not show up until the end. On the contrary, she was very peaceful, looking at those things as if watching other people's affairs. Why? Why am I not sad and angry? She asked herself, is it because I am in a different state of mind now? No one can answer her. She thought for a long time and said, yes, it should be like this. I am not the same as before. I was bullied in the past. I only had sad grievances and anger in my heart, but now I have a master, a brother, and sister, and they gave my warmth makes my mind different from before. So even if I go through the past again, I will be so calm. The past is gone. I want to look forward and cherish the warmth now. I want to protect this warmth. Yes, cherish and protect, this is what she said later. Thinking about this, her body seemed to have injected a force, which made her whole body feel relaxed, her limbs and bones stretched out, each pore seemed to be opened, and the surrounding spiritual power was absorbed. Boom! A Zen sound came again in the air, foretelling to others, that another person succeeded in enlightenment. Nalan Lan did not expect that Zong Zhen Ganyu would say this, and shouted at Yu Chen Ji, Master. She was afraid that Yu Chen Ji would just let it go. Yu Chen Ji looked at Tsing Yi and knew that he had only sent Nalan Blue out. He was partial to Han Miao Shuang. He didn't know how Han Miao Shuang made Tsing Yi treat her differently but he knew that with Tsing Yi, they couldn't kill Han Miao Shuang. Let's go, he said to Nei Landon. Master. Nei Landon didn't expect that he really wanted to give up, but she realized it. Let her just give up like this, she is not reconciled. Han Yu is right. To kill her, there will be opportunities in the future. There is no need to face the tree of life now. Yu Chen Ji said. But. What did she say? Xiao Shimei, that heart has entered her body, and it is a foregone conclusion. Even if you kill her now, that will not become you. Zong Zhen Ganyu said, We can understand that you want to kill her mood, but do you want the owner and the entire Shenzhen pavilion because you are facing the tree of life? Even if they add up, they will not be opponents of the tree of life. Nalan Blue saw that everyone was looking at herself, and even though she was sad, she couldn't put everyone's lives together. If she did that, she would have no place in Shenzhen Pavilion in the future. Then listen to sister. I can't affect everyone because of my personal hatred. She bit her lip, and she felt very aggrieved but had to think for everyone and moved everyone present. Laner, rest assured, this enemy will be reported for you later. This person will not leave Wonderland alive. 
Yu Cheng Ying touched her head, comforted. Thank you, Master. Let's go. Since no one can enter the Shenzhen Pavilion, it is useless to stay here again. When Nalan Blue left, she looked back at Han Miao Shuang, her eyes filled with hatred. Han Miao Shuang looked at her like that, her heart was dark, she lifted her chin towards her, and saw her more angry and happy. Watching Nalan Lan leave unwillingly, Han Miao Shuang arched his hand towards Tsing Yi and said, Thank you. You're quite proud. Tsing Yi held her hand on her back and looked into her mind. Yet. The woman used to kill the younger brother, hum, this kind of person, pit one time. Han Miao Shuang said, Finally, this is not because I deliberately pit her, that heart is not what I let it chose me. If it wasn't for the successful realization of Taoism together, the Taoism of others would not have been picked up by you. Tsing Yi said. Han Miao Shuang, like this, typically got cheap and sell well. This is not something I can control. This is fate. Han Miao Shuang said. Tree of Life, what about my brother and sister? What about Xiao Qi? They are still learning about their opportunities, Tsing Yi said, and don't call me the Tree of Life. What's that call you? Tsing Yi. Han Miao Shuang looked up and down him, it is obviously a golden tree of life, why is it called Tsing Yi? Tsing Yi slipped a black line on his forehead, why did he say the same thing as Sima Yuyu? If you don't want to go out and be killed, be quiet. Tsing Yi finished and disappeared from the tree crown. Han Miao Shuang looked at the people outside the enchantment, standing on the tree crown herself, as if being visited here, making her feel uncomfortable. Since Tsing Yi did not drive her away, she would not go out first, otherwise it might be caught by someone. Anyway, she just realized that she could just consolidate. Being able to consolidate dioxin in the tree of life is something that others cannot ask for. She got into the canopy, found a branch that was thicker than her body, sat down with her knees crossed, and began to consolidate her Taoism. People outside saw her being able to cultivate in the tree of life, and that envy, jealousy, and hate in her heart. If only we could get in. Forget it, don't think about it anymore. I plan to leave. Would you like to go with me? Where are you going? Isn't there still a relic on this island? We might as well go and see. Some people have gone to that ruin, and there is no baby now. Isn't it? We just came from the ruins, and they are going to be hollowed out now. Real or fake? Of course it's true. Is there so little in the ruins? Not too few, but not everyone can go inside. How do you say that? The Emperor's place has all kinds of restrictions. We can only enter the place where the restriction is broken. Those powerful people go straight in, and we can only wander outside. That's right. But the crackdown is just that, it's been turned over several times. Well, what else is there to stay on this island, let's leave early, I could find a little more yesterday. Well, have you heard that the owner of the Broken Gut Valley took a group of people into a place that has not broken the ban? I heard that there are many organ formations in addition to the ban. They do not know whether they are alive or dead. Ah, isn't that the new force? I heard that they are quite strong, especially the Sima Yuyu, it's just a monster. Did that Sima Yuyu also go inside the ruins? It doesn't seem to be. They said that she was not seen in the ruins. It would be a pity if she had an accident too. What a wicked person. If she's okay, then if the owner is in trouble, isn't she the owner? She's so young, won't she? Those people are all blood shakers not so conquered. I think it's her who conquered those people. Have you forgotten what happened in Blood Fiend? You mean, it seems so. Wasn't she attracted by the thunder and lightning for so many days? So, in fact, this is actually Sima Yuyu. But I think Sima Yuyu is very respectful to the owner of that valley. You're talking about immortality now, maybe they're all right. Don't forget, Lord Yinlin is very close to this power. 
If he died so easily, would he need to bother to pay it? Makes sense. Tsing Yi heard the discussion outside, frowned slightly, and when he noticed the change of Sima Yuyu, he quickly went to the tree hole. He didn't expect Sima Yuyu's realm to be revealed and let her hear what these people said. Hearing the death of Simon Wind and Broken Gut Valley is unknown, her breath is very unstable, and even her field has begun to collapse. Seeing that it will completely collapse, all efforts will be abandoned. Don't let it fall down. If you miss it, it will not be easy if you want to understand the field later, he said worriedly. Sima Yuyu didn't know what she was doing. She saw that the flowers had faded, and the leaves were turning yellow and falling. The water in the river was decreasing, and the lotus ponds were drying up. Later, even the mountains and rivers were broken. Except for the mountain in which they were located, the other peaks collapsed and sank. What's wrong? She yelled in panic. This is the world she managed to build, and why it suddenly collapsed. What are you doing? She heard a voice scolding her. Holding her head in both hands, she squatted on the ground and said, I didn't do anything, I didn't do anything. Yes, it's because you didn't do anything to make this world what it is now. Sima Yuya looked up, and saw a faint shadow, as if it was her, and it was not her. I did not do anything. Yes, you watch them collapse. You can stop them, but you don't do anything. You watch the animals die, the flowers are dying, the rivers are drying up, and the mountains are falling. I think about it, is it all your fault? It is my fault. Then you don't hurry to save it. How do I save? How did you build them before, what do you do now? You have to believe in yourself, you can. The shadow gradually faded, Sima Yuyu's blank eyes gradually became firm. With the change of her state of mind, the world no longer collapsed, water was slowly in the river bed, and the dead flowers and trees slowly came to life. In the tree hole, Tsing Yi saw the field stabilize again, and the hanging heart followed. Just now it really hangs. There is no collapse in the area around her. If even this collapses, she will fail completely. The Daos hung one, the second two, the third three. All three things. Sima Yuyu said unconsciously, over and over again, the field is more stable than before. Tsing Yi looked at the field before it was better, and the surprise in her heart continued to expand. Is this the so called stand up? It seems I'm worried in vain. After the reconstruction, the development of the field is faster than before, and it quickly spread to the outside. It crossed the enchantment and included the whole circle. What's wrong? How do I feel controlled? I feel the same way. Is something wrong? So strange. Well, no more. Is that feeling of control just now true? It's true. Is it the tree of life? The sound of three Zen sounds in the air was louder than those of the previous people. It was not only that the people present were deafening. Almost everyone on the island heard it. People in the vicinity were attracted by the three Zen sounds and flew here. Can three people realize their own Tao at the same time? No way. It was surprising that two people realized success at the same time, let alone three. Why not say three things by yourself? The people present were constantly talking, and they were really curious about such things. There is more than time, more space, more life. These twelve words echoed between heaven and earth, and everyone who heard it seemed to feel the vicissitudes of time, the vastness of space, and the greatness of life. Who understands this, so? They can't find words to describe the shock in their hearts. This seems to be not the Tao that one has come to realize, but the true heaven. Sima Yuya was brought to the tree crown by a golden light as soon as she woke up. The magic ring had no effect in front of the sky. Although she was wearing men's clothing, the characteristics and breath of the woman were not covered. A long hair floated behind my head. The beautiful features lacked the fortitude of men's clothing, and the gentleness and gentleness of women. Even the same features also gave people different feelings. 
Jin Guang dispersed, Sima Yuya was completely exposed to everyone's eyes, in the form of a woman. Isn't this Sima Yuyu? Isn't she her? This is a woman. Sima Yuyu is a man. But they look exactly the same. Twin. When have you heard she has twin sisters? So, is it really Sima Yuyu? She is a woman. It's incredible, isn't this Sima Yuyu not only a demon, but a woman? God, do we still want us to live? Yi Ronghao's Zhang Zhengzian was beside Shi Qianzi and Shi Chu's Huang. Looking at Sima Yuyu, he opened his mouth several times without saying anything. I felt that Shi Qianzi and Shi Chu's Huang were not surprised at all, and said, Do you know that she is a woman? Shi Chu's Huang gave him a white look and said, She saw me when she gave me treatment. If she wasn't a woman, do you think she could survive? I, you. Zhang Zhengzian was depressed. Sima Yuya was his little sister. Shi Qianzi always knew that she didn't tell herself that she was, female, and... Knowing that there were ruins here before, he wanted to come and take a look, but did not expect to meet Shi Chu's Huang before crossing the sea. They all came to one place, and naturally he was not good enough to quit, so he followed them. But I didn't expect to see this. It was a surprise to see it once. Shi Qianzi sighed. Shi Chu's Huang saw the astonishment in Shi Qianzi's eyes, but he didn't know why, and felt uncomfortable. Twelve words heaven. The shock of the crowd was attracted by the twelve golden typings appearing in the air. The Tao comprehended by Xian Kaihu he was eight characters, the comprehension of Han Miao Shuang and Nalan Blue was four characters, but Sima Yuyu's was twelve characters. And from the content point of view, Sima Yuyu's comprehension is obviously much more powerful. Endless time, endless space, endless life. Twelve words fluttered from the air, flew around the tree of life, turned around Sima Yuyu twice, and then injected into her body. Sima Yuyu felt that her body was very comfortable at the moment when the twelve words entered, and those twelve words swam around in her body and finally attached to her meridians and printed on her on the bones, there are also tower pools. Time is more than time, space is constant, and life is endless. This is her way, an understanding of time, space and life in the world. Wow, little sister, you are great. Han Miao Shuang saw her end of awakening, flew out of the tree crown, came to her and said. Hey. I can call your little sister upright and bright in the future. The look of your girl is so beautiful, I can't get tired of it. Sima Yuya glanced at the long hair scattered on her chest and knew that her identity was exposed to the public. There may be a lot of trouble in the future. Having said that, she didn't look at those troubles at all now. Why are you alone, brother and Zioki haven't come out yet? No. Listening to Tsing Yi, it should be fast. Han Miao Shuang said, Xiao Qi is at the final stage of evolution, and his master is also feeling. Sima Yuyu set her sights on those who were watching outside, and found those who had talked about the ruins before. When she realized, her field just spread to it, letting her hear these people say things about the wind and the broken heart, made her worry, and almost broke her field. Her Tao is connected with her realm. If the realm collapses, her Tao will end with it. You are waiting here. She said to Han Miao Shuang, and then flew towards the enchantment and came in front of those people. You said before, the people who broke the gut went into the ruins. Those people were astonished when they saw Sima Yuya flying, and they came back to hear her question. Yes, yes, they're in a ban, they don't know if it's out now. When's the matter? Sima Yuya frowned. How could they get inside the ban? It's been several months, the man replied. Can you tell me where the ban is? Yes. But the prohibition seems to be very powerful. Although you have a strong background, that place is not a place to fight for the background. The man hesitated for a while before saying. Sima Yuya froze, then reacted, he was saying that he was not strong enough don't take risks. This is euphemistic enough. However, 
the other party also kindly reminded and did not despise her. Thank you, I will pay attention. She smiled at him, then turned and flew back. She smiled, so that the nosebleed of the man. Yu Yu, Yu Yu, you let us go in too. Shi Qunzi shouted at the back of Sima Yu Yu. Sima Yu Yu flew to the top of the tree, turned around and saw Shi Qunzi and Shi Chu Huang standing outside. Tsing Yi, can you? She asked. She doesn't know the relationship between Tsing Yi and Xiao Qi now, but just feels that he has helped him understand the realm and his Tao. People should be better and not difficult to communicate. If she was to know how Tsing Yi treated those people outside this year, she would not think so. Han Miao Shuang has woke up for a while, and has a little understanding of Tsing Yi's character. Although he is expensive as a tree of life, he doesn't have much affection for people, let alone closeness. So she did not think he would agree to Sima Yuyu's request. Tsing Yi didn't show up and didn't answer. Just when Han Miao Shuang thought he wouldn't agree, the three branches flew out instantly. When everyone responded, Shi Qunzi and Shi Chu Huang and Zhang Zhengzian were already under the tree of life. The three did not expect that they would change their position in the blink of an eye. If the branch was directed at them just now, they would have no resistance, and it is estimated that they would not know how to die. Thinking of this, the three were afraid for a while. Fortunately, this is not true, the other party did not attack them, just brought them in. The speed of Tsing Yi once again shocked the people present, and at the same time it made them more worried. This speed and strength, they dare not make trouble. At the same time, they also admire Shi Qunzi and Shi Chu Huang, because they knew Sima Yuyu, they went in again, just like the people in the empty haunted valley knew she could board the ship of Broken Heart Valley and reach this island earlier. At this time, everyone remembered a fact. Speaking of them, none of them saw Sima Yuyu and Han Miao Shuang enter them, but they were inside, what does this mean? They had discovered the Tree of Life long ago, and realized in it. Looking at Sima Yuyu, they are really envious. No wonder that the adults of Yunlin are so close to her, it really is a person with great luck. Sima Yuyu didn't expect Tsing Yi to bring in a strange man, and she saw him staring at her suddenly. She didn't respond yet, and Han Miao Shuang jumped around suddenly, grabbed Zhang Zhengzian's clothes, and punched him in the face. Zhang Zhengzian. You dare to appear in front of me. I said that I saw you once and hit you once. Zhang Zhengzian didn't fight back, and punched herself with a punch. This was their first close encounter after they separated at the tomb. When they were in Yunhai City before, they hadn't really touched. Fortunately, Han Miao Shuang did not use spiritual power. He just punched him with his fist. In the end, his hand hurt. Sima Yuyu stepped forward to hold Han Miao Shuang. Perhaps because she and Zhang Zhengzian haven't lived long enough, her approach is not as painful as Han Miao Shuang and Su Xiao Xiao, and it is easier to forgive him. Forgive? It turned out that he had long forgiven him. Okay, sir, your bones will break. Han Mia Shuang's hand was held by Sima Yuyu. She just looked at Zhang Zhengzian's strange face with her eyes. Why, dare not face us in true face? She stared straight at her, wondering why, tears fell instantly. Sima Yuyu saw Han Mia Shuang's tears and saw her looking at Zhang Zhengzian's eyes. It was a painful love and she let go of her hand. It turned out that she paid so little attention to them that she did not find Han Miao Shuang. Looking at Zhang Zhengzian, he looked at Han Miao Shuang's eyes without feeling unemotional. Maybe the two have been living together before, so they didn't really reveal their relationship, but after experiencing these things, they separated and let each other understand their hearts. Zhang Zhengzian has never seen Han Miao Shuang cry, and he uneasily removed the mask on his face and said, This mask is not meant to avoid you wearing it. Seeing his face, Han Mia Shuang's tears fell even harder. Zhang Zhengzian got up helplessly, reached out to wipe her tears, and frowned, How come you haven't seen each other for years? The more Zhang Zhengzian said, 
the more Han Miaoshuang felt aggrieved and sad, the tears fell even harder. Neither of them found anyone around them whispering. Cough, this, brother, sister, go inside and turn over the old account. Sima Yuya coughed and pushed the two into the tree crown. With Tsing Yi here, the consciousness of these people can't be found. The two can cry as much as they can comfort. Besides, without their few light bulbs interfering here, the two can handle their feelings more clearly. Ki, stay with him for so long, I never knew he liked Han Miao Shuang. Shi Qunzi said. I didn't expect sister to, when they were living away from the garden, they didn't frown like this now. Sima Yuyu said. Don't you say brother is not with you? Why are you together again? I met before coming to Kojima. Because I was going to a place and I was worried that he would be alone, so let him be with us. Shi Chu Huang said. Sima Yuyu raised her eyebrows and received interest. Speaking of this, Han Miao Shuang was in a good mood, saying, Little sister, you don't know that Nalan Lan actually succeeded with me at the same time. He <laughs> he, guess what happened later. Sima Yuya was so happy to see her smile, and she felt a lot better. She shook her head and said, I can't guess. I guess you can't guess it. Han Miao Shuang smiled badly. The words of our two appeared at the same time. My cherishment and guardianship were the four words. Her holy lotus heart was the four words. As a result, all my words came to me the body came, but her heart did not want her, and came to my body. Run into your body? Then you didn't rob her. Sima Yuyu said in surprise. What made me grab her? It was the one who ran into my own body to drive. I didn't do anything. Han Miao Shuang said. He he, isn't she right? Sima Yuyu was in a good mood. Yeah. It's probably that the heart sees her so badly, and she still looks holy outside, so she didn't like her and came to me. Han Miao Shuang said with a smile, You didn't see it, that Nalan Lan and Chen Jun Pavilion's popularity is dying, but they can only stare. With their temper, it's impossible to let go of you. Tsing Yi helped me. He was protecting me. Those people didn't dare to do anything here. They couldn't do anything. Han Miao Shuang said proudly. They couldn't enter the enchantment, couldn't approach her, and couldn't get revenge. Then you still don't need to act alone, the people in Shenzhen Pavilion may not be able to deal with you anytime soon. Sima Yuyu told. If it is something else, there may be a solution, but this matter is related to heaven, and even if she changed to her, she couldn't do it. Especially when Nalan Lan continues to realize the Tao. She always thinks that her Tao is incomplete. She was taken away by Han Miao Shuang, the most important word of heart, and she is likely to vomit blood often. We have a son of Shenzhen Pavilion next to us. I'm afraid of nothing. Han Miao Shuang said, even without your brother, I wouldn't be afraid. It's not Shenzhen Pavilion, and it's not unmatchable. Yes, I know, sister. You are now protected by a brother, and you are not afraid of anything, Sima Yuyu joked. Okay, little sister, you are joking at me. See how I blocked your mouth today. Han Miao Shuang said, and took out a spirit fruit and put it in Sima Yuyu's mouth. Sima Yuyu stomped her feet and flew from this branch to another branch, avoiding her attack. What's wrong, angry to anger? Sima Yuyu said with a smile. I haven't asked you yet, what is going on with you and your brother? What's going on, he and I have nothing at all. Han Miao Shuang chased after him. What does it mean? It's okay. What did you do when you watched my brother cry so sad? Hey, look at my brother's eyes, the distressed water is coming out. Stop it for me. Sima Yuya flew to another branch, and Han Miao Shuang followed closely. Oh, I used to think that my brother was lazy and he didn't care about anything. He knew how to sleep all day long. I didn't expect to be such a gentle person. Alas, I couldn't help feeling distressed. You walk away. You feel bad about your brother. 
I also feel bad for my brother here, oh, if he knows that you don't admit it now, I wonder if it will affect his passing. Why didn't you find you so shattered before? You just keep wearing men's clothes and you're such a gossip when you become a girl. Stop it for me. Hey, want me to stand still, you come after me. Wait for me to catch up with you and see how I can pack you up. Catch up with me before you talk. Tsing Yi went back inside the trunk without looking at the two people like this lunatic. People outside heard that they were chasing each other on the tree of life, except envy or envy. How did the tree of life treat them differently? After chasing for a while, Sima Yuyu and Han Miaoshuang stopped, sitting alone on a tree branch, leaning against the trunk. The first time I saw him, I saw the pain in his eyes and the anger at life. I also thought at the time that this guy was so happy, how could he be so stink? Until I knew his identity, I only know why. Han Miaoshuang murmured. You are just attracted by his eyes. Sima Yuya was lying on a tree branch, her hair fell from both sides, like a waterfall in the same scene. That's right, Han Miaoshuang said. That guy just sleeps and sleeps and ignores everyone, but he is very obsessed with alchemy. Why did I live so long in the park, but didn't notice it at all? Sima Yuyu said, is you hiding too well, or am I too slow to respond? That's because I hid carefully. Han Miaoshuang said, you know, I was abandoned by the Han family. At that time, he thought he was the younger master of the Zhang family. Even if he was together now, he would meet the Zhang family. So I never thought I would be with him. But I didn't expect him to be abandoned, and then found that you two are quite suitable. Sima Yuyu answered with a smile. But haven't you seen it later? Han Miaoshuang said, this meeting, I suddenly felt very wronged, and then I couldn't control myself. I thought he would be laughed at, because he didn't show anything special before. I'm also quite surprised. I didn't expect my brother to have such a side. Sure enough, it should be said that a hundred steel making will also turn into lingering fingers. Sima Yuyu said. I don't know when they will come out, Han Miaoshuang said. Sima Yuyu took out Zimen Feng's life cards, and they were all good, indicating that nothing was going on in the ban, so she didn't rush over. Yes, Zia Shime. Have you discovered that Tsing Yi is a little different to us and others? Han Miaoshuang also learned how to lie down like her, and said to Sima Yuyu sideways. Are you there? Sima Yuyu didn't feel it. You just came out, so I don't know. Han Miaoshuang said. She told Sima Yuyu something she saw during this time, and compared with them, she found that it was really different. Listening to you, it is really different. Sima Yuyu said. Why do you say this? We never say that we are attractive. Han Miaoshuang said half-jokingly. Well. Sima Yuyu laughed out suddenly and said, If it is really charming, it is also the charm of Xiao Qi. You mean, he is so good to us, because of Xiao Qi. Little Seven. Yet. Yeah. Sima Yuyu said, Think about how Xiao Qi looked when she saw Tsing Yi indicating that she and Tsing Yi should know each other. Han Miaoshuang would think about it, Xiao Qi reaction at that time was really strange. However, Tsing Yi has been here for decades. Xiao Qi has never been to Wonderland before. How could she know? She couldn't figure it out. In this regard, Sima Yuyu is also unclear. Maybe I knew it before? When Xiao Qi comes out to ask her, she'll know. Before you came in, Xiao Qi might have evolved here, but she didn't expect that she really has evolved. Xiao Shimei, you said, Xiao Qi is already so powerful now, if you evolve again, what level will you get? Seeing that Sima Yuya did not listen to her, she shouted, Little sister? Little sister? My sister, what's wrong? Sima Yuya said. I'm talking to you, what are you thinking? so fascinated. Nothing. Sima Yuyu smiled. She remembered what she had said to her before Tsing Yi. 
He said that in addition to helping the cultivation, Xiao Qi can also help to advance, especially those of the emperor. She didn't notice it at the time, and now recalling that when Tsing Yi said this, her voice fluctuated a little, indicating that his mood was a bit unstable. Why is he emotionally unstable when he talks about this? Is it because he has seen it before? Or, Xiao Qi has experienced such a thing? After seeing Sima Yuyu, Han Miaoshuang started to lose her mind without saying a few words, knowing that she must be thinking about something, and no longer bothered her. There are fewer and fewer people outside, and many people have a clear understanding of Tsing Yi's temper, knowing that there is no hope, and it is boring to stay. After a few more days, Su Xiao Xiao also realized that his Tao was successful. His Tao was simple and persisted. Although there are only two words, it is also very good for Su Xiao Xiao, who is not too talented. Xiao Xiao has also come out, and now he is waiting for Xiaoqi and Zhang Zhengxian. Han Miaoshuang was sincerely happy for Su Xiao Xiao. Brother is here. Su Xiao Xiao asked. Come here. Not only did you come, but also reconciled with sister. Sima Yuyu said. Little Shimei, your mouth is broken again. Han Miaoshuang pretended to be angry. Su Xiao is relatively big, but he is not stupid. The two of them have interacted with each other, and he immediately understood what was going on. Brother and sister are together. He asked, looking at Sima Yuyu. Yuyu nodded with a smile. It is really unexpected, but it is also a good thing, lest you feel so uncomfortable every time you think of him. Su Xiao novel. Who was upset when he thought of him? Han Miaoshuang did not admit it. Do you think I don't know? It's normal for Xiao Shimei not to know with us, but we always live together. I know every time you cry. Su Xiao novel. You all know, I didn't see you to comfort me. Han Miaoshuang reached out and squeezed a hand at Su Xiao Xiao. I'm not a brother, what's the use of comforting you? Su Xiao's novel. Well, it really doesn't make much sense. But it's better than nothing. In particular, she felt that she was concealing well, and did not expect Su Xiao Xiao to know from beginning to end. Tsing Yi was successful because Su Xiao Xiao Wudeo came out, and suddenly felt the change of Xiao Qi, his expression changed slightly, and he flew back. Sima Yuya was just standing not far from him, and saw his hurry, frowning slightly. Is something wrong with Xiao Qi? In the hole of the tree, Xiao Qi was moaning in pain, and her white light was strong and weak. Little Seven Tsing Yi condensed spiritual power and poured it into Beg Wang, supplementing the strength she needed. Tsing Yi A faint voice came, showing how uncomfortable Xiao Qi is now. Xiao Qi, don't be afraid, you will be fine. Tsing Yi pumped strength while cheering her up. Yuiyu. Yuiyu. Xiao Qi said quietly again. Tsing Yi froze, then disappeared from the place, came to the branch, grabbed Sima Yuyu's hand and took her into the tree hole. Tsing Yi, what are you doing? Sima Yuyu hurt his hand and saw Xiao Qi wrapped in white light. Regardless of the pain in his hand, he ran over, what's wrong with Xiao Qi? Why is his breath so unstable? She is evolving. There was no problem at first, but there are old diseases in her body that suddenly swallowed her a lot of energy. Now she has not enough energy to advance. Tsing Yi said. He didn't expect that Xiao Qi body would have the old illness that originally left behind, let alone that it would affect her evolution. He kept inputting his own power, but it had little effect on Xiao Qi. Sima Yuyu took out the elixir and precious medicinal materials in the Soul Tower, and all of them were put into Xiao Qi body, but it was not enough. Damn! Xiao Qi power is flowing so fast that we can't make up for it. She said anxiously. All blame me, let her come in to advance without checking her body. Tsing Yi now blame himself, if it was not for him to let Xiao Qi evolve, this would not happen. Tsing Yi, don't blame you. Xiao Qi voice rang again, 
even if it didn't evolve this time, the next time it happened, it would still happen. What shall we do? Sima Yuya found that Xiao Qi power was still flowing, anxious. Power, power, she suddenly remembered the thunder Ling Yi obtained last time, and said before that it was used to condition their bodies, and there had been no chance. I do nt know if it will be useful. Now she couldn't care if it was useless. She took out all the thunder Ling Yi, and poured all the bottles and bottles onto Xiaoqi. Lei Ling Yi slowly merged into Xiao Qi body, injected her a lot of power, and surprised Tsing Yi aside. Thunder liquid. Xiao Qi lost power makes up a little, but it is still not enough for her to evolve now, and those spiritual powers are still losing quickly. Tsing Yi saw that the thunderbolt was useful, and said, Thunderbolt is useful, do you still have one? No, I took out some of my hands. Sima Yuyu said. No. This is how to do. If you don't prevent the loss of spiritual power, Xiao Qi doesn't say promotion, it is estimated that even his life can't be saved. Little Seven, I didn't expect our reunion time to be so short, and said to protect you in the future. In the future, you have to protect yourself. Tsing Yi finished speaking, took back his hand, turned himself into a ball of golden yellow essence, and slowly drifted towards Xiao Qi. Xiao Qi knew what Tsing Yi wanted to do, and shouted, Tsing Yi, don't do stupid things. I won't accept you. If you want to change your life, I don't agree. Xiao Qi did not accept, Tsing Yi's power could not enter the white light. Little Seven, there is no time. I can't watch you die again in front of me. Tsing Yi cried. Sima Yuyu shrank subconsciously and died again? Did Xiaoki die once? Tsing Yi, I won't agree. I have another way. Xiao Qi voice was weak, but his attitude was extremely firm. Tsing Yi stopped, looked at Xiao Qi, and waited for her to say her way. If not, he still has to use his method. He has lived for hundreds of thousands of years and has no attachment to life. If he could exchange Xiao Qi life, he would be willing. Little Seven, what can you do? Contract. Xiao Qi voice was low, but Sima Yuya was shocked. She wants to contract with herself. No, there must be other ways. Sima Yuya said. Yuyu, I know that even if you contract with you, you won't treat me as a contracted beast. Xiao Qi said, you see Xiao Roar. Xiao Peng, Hua Hua, Xiao Meng, you are like them to your own family. You do nt treat them as your servants, your accessories, you are good to each of them. I believe that even if you contract with you, there is no harm to me. On the contrary, because of my identity will definitely cause you trouble. I will not let Tsing Yi change his life, except this, there is no other way. Yu Yu. If you are worried that I will cause you trouble, no contract, I I won't say anything, I. Sima Yuyu's tears fell instantly. She looked at Xiao Qi, shook her head constantly, and did not know whether to let Xiao Qi stop talking, or did not agree with her. Yuyu, I never, never, regret, meet you. Xiao Qi voice was intermittent, just now the energy of Thunder Ling Yi's replenishment was almost exhausted. Tsing Yi, sorry. I'm sorry for giving you hope and letting you down again. I want you to watch me leave. The white light was gradually dissipating, and they could already see clearly how Xiao Qi was inside. She can't die. Sima Yuyu didn't expect that he just hesitated, Xiao Qi suddenly became like this. No. Xiaoki, I won't let you die. She bit her finger and spent a pentagram on Xiao Qi and said quickly, not only time, but space, and life. Endless time, and space, life, and heaven's power. Twelve gold characters flew out of her body, flew around her and Xiaoki for a few laps, then all entered Xiaoki's body, then flew out again, and returned to Sima Yuyu's body. Boom! The sound of a heartbeat sounded again, so faint, but captured by Tsing Yi and Sima Yuyu. 
Sima Yuya was so happy that he put his hand to the root of Xiao Qi and said, With my blood, the body of Ryu, the blood is connected, and life and death depend on each other. God is above, overlooking all beings, and the contract is established. 7. Would you like to contract with me? Silence. Sima Yuya was in a hurry, and said again, With my blood, the body of Ryu, connected with blood, life and death depend on each other. God is above, overlooking sentient beings, the contract is established, and never give up. Zyoki, you may be willing to I contract? Still silent, after the contract limitation, Xiao Qi did not speak. Sima Yuya was crying anxiously. There are three opportunities for each contract, and they have been wasted twice. If the last time is still the case, she and Zyoki cannot contract today. Through my blood, the body of Ryu, connected from the blood, life and death depend on each other. God is above, overlooking all living beings, the contract is established, and never give up. Zyoki, would you like to contract with me? After asking the last time, Xiao Qi was still silent, which made Sima Yuyu almost collapse. I, May, meaning. At the last moment, Xiao Qi weak voice sounded. The light of the contract enveloped the two together, and Sima Yuyu felt that there was an extra layer of contract between her and Xiao Qi, and then felt a steady stream of power injected into her body. Sima Yuyu was paralyzed sitting on the ground, and tears were still flowing outwards, but the tears that fell this time were tears of joy. Tsing Yi turned into an adult form, looking at Sima Yuyu, who was crying in the formation, and secretly said that this was probably the first person in history to cry like this at the time of the contract. Before Sima Yuyu's tears were dry, she felt a force pouring into her body. The contract feeds back her strength. That power was injected into her body, and if it was not properly guided, it would be herself. She hurriedly sat down with her knees crossed, guiding the force so it didn't bump into her body. Soon, she was shrouded in the light of promotion. One promotion, one evolution, but fortunately neither has anything to do. He looked at Sima Yuyu's calm face, thinking about what just happened. She didn't want to contract Zyoki at first, and as she said before, she would not use Zyoki. After the contract, Xiao Qi can let her be slaughtered. She rejected Xiao Qi request, but did not expect Xiao Qi to suddenly lose her breath. At this time, she regretted her sadness but did not panic. For the first time, she used the power of the Tao to save people, re-injecting the breath of life into Xiao Qi body, and let her live again. She is decisive and intelligent, which is beyond ordinary people. Now, after experiencing great sorrow and joy, she can quickly enter the practice and absorb the power brought by the contract, which makes him have a better impression on her. Xiao Qi has evolved very well this time, and the contract has smoothed her old illness, and at the same time has given her the need for strength. Sima Yuyu has gone up a large level in a row, making her leap from the middle of the emperor to the middle of the god. And the power of the contract has not been fully absorbed by her, the soul tower helped her store some of the power, so that she did not advance too quickly. Tsing Yi naturally saw her suppression, saw her eyes open, was about to say something, and was immediately interrupted by her. Take me out, as far as possible from here. Sima Yuyu stood up, grabbed his hand and said. Tsing Yi didn't know why she asked so, but when he sensed the situation outside, his face instantly turned black. Ask him what he is most afraid of, one is the supreme flame, and the other is thunder robber. It's okay if it's a general thunderstorm but that's not what the black gangster is saying. This guy's promotion will actually lead to thunder. Han Miao Shuang and Su Xiao Xiao were both outside. When they saw the sky suddenly darkened, they shouted, Small master sister. Those outside did not know the situation. When they saw this cloud, they thought it was someone who had violated the heavens, and they would be punished. Han Miao Shuang only felt that there was a flower in front of them, and a slip of paper wrapped around Sima Yuya flew away, and the speed almost rubbed the sparks on her clothes. 
Sima Yuyu moved, and Ju Eun followed suit, always chasing Sima Yuyu into the forest on the other side of the mountain. Some people have not seen such a large thunderstorm, and then ran over to see it. It was when Sima Yuyu was crossing the calamity, especially when she saw that Sima Yuyu not only avoided the thunderbolt, but instead came to meet him. My jaw is about to fall to the ground. I heard that Sima Yuyu will be struck by lightning every time you advance. Someone said. It seems to be the case. People at the academy once said. She gets hacked every time she advances, so hasn't she been hacked many times. Think of the dark forest, but I have damaged a lot of king-class powerhouses. Who told those people to force others? Isn't this kicking on the iron plate? Yes, this Sima Yuyu is so messy. Look at the momentum of this thunderstorm, who can you take it down? That's enough to despise beings. Goddess. My goddess. You walk away, she is my goddess. It's mine. You just walk away, she is my goddess. Hum, do you dare to come to her and tell her to say my goddess? You dare. I dare not, do you dare? I dare in my dream. Cut. Sima Yuyu, who is going through the calamity, does not know that she has entered the ranks of the goddess. She only knows that the power of faith in her body has been lost. Wipe, who wants to kill me? She couldn't help but vomit. Now to deal with this thunderstorm is enough for her to drink a pot. If the power of faith is restless, she is estimated to be smashed down by thunder. Snapped. Another thunderbolt fell and fell on her, hurting her teeth and grinning. At this time, she missed Yun Hun. Although the little guy would also hack, he would be merciless to his men. I do nt know if this robbery has anything to do with Yun's soul. Do NT you know if you can ventilate and give yourself a discount? The onlookers watched the thick lightning in the bucket just hit her, and they trembled a few times. If this lightning was on them, they would not be able to bear it once. In contrast, Sima Yuyu, except for her expression of pain, was fine. Only Sima Yuyu knew that if it were not for the purple pole sky mine in Tachi, she would have stopped eating and the thunder on the thief cloud is also depressed. Such a strong thunder and lightning can't even kill a small human, and it is too shameful to say it. As a result, it began to split several lightning bolts together, but no matter how many it dropped, it failed to split Sima Yuyu to death. Ahem. Sima Yuyu was lying on the ground, and her long hair had naturally curled up. It is estimated that if you have a curly hairstyle in the future, you don't need to do it specially. It's really not a human thing to promote too much at this level. She tried to get herself up, fortunately the clothes were made by Chu Fat for lightning protection, otherwise she would be gone today. Ahem. She coughed twice and spit a black smoke in her mouth, without having to look at her to know what he looked like now. Hey, if you die and don't come out inside, I will be hacked to death. She said to the little fellow who was swimming in the tower pool. Zajiti and Lee just ate a lot of thunderbolts. Now she is in a good mood and has a better attitude towards Sima Yuyu. Seeing that she is a bit miserable, she slowly climbs up from the tower pond and follows the meridian all the way up and climbs. Sit on top of her head. What is that? The people outside looked at Zajiti and Lee and exclaimed. I don't know, is it her contract animal? It doesn't look like a spirit beast. Snapped. Another thunderbolt fell, and this time Sima Yuyu didn't move, just stood there, watching all the thunder and lightning swallowed up by Xiao Ziyai. His did you see that? The thunderbolt was eaten by the thing on her head? I read that right. No, I saw it too. What the is that, actually A T and Lee? I don't know, but at first glance it's very bad. That thing seemed to come out of her body. No wonder she was not afraid of sky thunder at all, but dare to resist. When the thunder in the sky saw the purple sky thunder below, his body trembled, and he almost fell off the clouds. Purple pole sky thunder? How could this person have a purple sky mine? No wonder she can't slay her for as many thunderbolts as possible, 
she is simply delivering food to Zijitian Li. Zijitian Li was sitting on the head of Sima Yuyu, and the thunder and lightning that had just been cut off were eaten up by it. Obviously, it is just a ball with no shape, but Lei Ji seems to see it licking his lips, his eyes staring at himself as if waiting for him to continue feeding lightning. Lei Ji is depressed, no amount of thunder and lightning is boring. The harder the cut, the happier Zijitian Li. So the rest of the thunder and lightning it just dealt with hastily, and then took away his own robbery. Alas, for so many years, it was not easy for someone to stab himself, but the result was still the same. He felt hurt and had a very serious internal injury. Sima Yuyu looked at the look of weakness behind the robbery cloud, and seemed to imagine the shadow area inside it. She stretched out her hand to catch Zijitian Li, but the little guy stung back to her body and did not let her grab herself. Sima Yuyu poked his lips, this guy is really proud, just don't catch it by yourself. All the surrounding trees were burdened by themselves. This thunderbolt directly created a vacuum zone of one kilometer in radius. She apologized, these were already ordinary trees, and she was not involved in it, and was split into thunder and lightning like this. Sima Yuyu, you are amazing. Goddess, you are my goddess. Yui, can I be with you? Sima Yuyu was surrounded by those people, and one by one was telling her respect for her, which increased her faith in her body. She mourned in pain, she really didn't need these beliefs. She tried to squeeze past them and wanted to go back to Tsing Yi. Once in the enchantment, these people can't surround themselves. She nodded to meet these people, and walked towards the mountain, but when she turned over the mountain, stood on the top of the mountain, and saw the sight in front of her, the whole person was still. It wasn't just her, the others were still there. A group of petrified people stood on the ridge of the mountain, creating a unique landscape. How could this be? When did this happen? No? No more. He will run away. We're sure we just watched Sima use monthly thunderstorm? Didn't we do anything else? Why did we just turn around and disappear? Sima Yuyu looked at the endless grassland and twitched her lips. She was just going to get through the disaster. How could she return to Tsing Yi and her brother and sister? Are they running away? Even if you are running, you must bring me yourself. A group of guys with no conscience. She cursed inwardly. But if she really waits for her to come back and run, they may not be able to walk. When those people reacted and wanted to speak to Sima Yuyu, she found that she had gone. In order to prevent them from blocking herself, she used teleportation, and between a few flashes, she had left them far away. Teleport. This is only from the rank of Master Mage and above. I didn't expect she would. Someone shouted. So what a surprise, my goddess is anything. Yes. Her ability has not reached the June level, indicating that she is an array mage. She is Danby's first place. I didn't expect the formation to be so powerful. My goddess, it's almighty. Okay, you don't have to look like a idiot, people are gone. Well, the goddess is gone. Okay. It's no use sighing. There's nothing here, let's go to the ruins to see. Aren't the people in the Broken Heart Valley still in ruins? Maybe Sima Yuya will go to the ruins to find them. Yes. Let's go find the ruins. When I heard that Sima Yuya might go to the ruins, many people flew to the ruins. Soon, there was no one in the entire grassland. Looking at the grassland that was finally quiet, Sima Yuyu and Han Miao Shuang sat on the trunk of Tsing Yi and felt the sweat that did not exist. At this time, the Tree of Life was still in place, but was hidden by Tsing Yi Mana. Tsing Yi, why should we do this? Han Miao Shuang asked. To get rid of these people. You almost lied to me. Sima Yuyu said, if I didn't feel Xiao Qi was still here, I would have gone really far. How is Xiao Qi now? Very good. Evolution is almost complete. Tsing Yi said. Yes, Xia Shimei, 
What happened just now? Why did you suddenly go up so many levels? What happened to Ziyoki? Han Miao Shuang asked with concern. Xiao Qi had a problem during evolution. I contracted with her. The power of my promotion was given by the power of the contract. Sima Yuyu did not say how dangerous the situation was at the time, but simply said. This is so. Su Xiao Xiao and Han Miao Shuang also guessed that the situation was very dangerous at that time, and would not be based on the relationship between Sima Yuyu and Zayoki, and would not be resolved by contract. She's fine now. Han Miao patted her on the shoulder. Well. I'll wash it. Although she was not seriously injured, she was struck by thunder and stumped on the ground again. She entered the soul tower, and when she came out again, she had changed into a long white dress, embellished with light green fringe, and matched with green earrings and necklaces, simple and fresh. Have you changed your dress ever since? Han Miao Shuang asked. Sima Yuyu took the skirt and said, just wear women's clothing. Men used to wear men's clothing to make things easier. Now that others already know the secret, there is no need for women to dress as men. Okay. Han Miao Shuang held her hands and said with a smile, I was originally a girl, I still want to wear beautiful women. Okay. Those people left, Tsing Yi finally lived a quiet life. Although every time Wonderland opens, someone comes in, and he doesn't care about it from beginning to end, but this time with Xiao Qi, he has no patience for those people. I'll see Xiao Qi. Sima Yuyu said to Tsing Yi. As soon as Tsing Yi waved her hand, she appeared in the tree hole where Xiao Qi was. Xiaoki's evolution is almost over. Sima Yuyu is sitting next to her, trying to reach out and touch her, but she is afraid to disturb her evolution. She still remembers the anxious look of Tsing Yi at that time, and remembered that he had died once. Have you known for hundreds of thousands of years, have you still lived for hundreds of thousands of years at that seventh? She thought silently. But your memory is less than ten thousand years old. Is it related to the time you died? Why, she and her covenant beast have a painful past. She bears the hatred of extermination in the previous life. Xiao Ming, like her, never expected that Xiao Qi, who had always been carefree, had an unknown past. Yu Yu. Just when she was in a daze in front of Xiao Qi, Xiao Qi turned into a human figure, and flung on her, pushing her to the ground. After evolving again, her body has grown a lot, and she is already a teenage girl. The danger of evolution did not affect her good mood, and her eyes were full of smiles. Have you completed your evolution? Sima Yuya was glad to see her wake up. It's been a while, but you have been in a daze and you haven't paid attention to me. Xiao Qi said with a mutter. Really? Sima Yuyu smiled. Why did you grow up so much, and you still have the same temperament? Let me get up first. No, Xiao Qi said with a smile. You said, if Brother Ling Yu finds you so easily overthrown, will he be happy? The black line on Sima Yuyu's face slipped, this little girl. How is your health, is there anything uncomfortable? Is the previous dark injury all right? She asked. Speaking of the previous things, Zayoki came down from Sima Yuyu and said, the dark injury was cured when the contract was made. This problem will not occur in the future. What do you mean by Tsing Yi before? What do you know for hundreds of thousands of years? Don't you only have less than 10,000 years of memory? What happened once you died? Sima Yuyu determined her it's okay to ask my doubts. Tsing Yi came to them and looked at them. Xiao Qi glanced at Tsing Yi and said, I and Tsing Yi really knew each other hundreds of thousands of years ago. Tsing Yi leaned on her trunk with a bit of pain in her eyes. I and Tsing Yi are plants that grow together and grow together. Xiao Qi said, I'm also lucky to say that at that time, the eyes of the earth were not as few as they are now but it was only me who could grow with the dendrobium tree. You live with each other, that is, the plum and bamboo horse. Sima Yuyu said. 
No wonder Han Miaoshuang said that Tsing Yi is different to them. It turns out there is a reason. She guessed that it was related to Xiao Qi, which was not wrong, but she did not expect such a relationship between them. Um. Xiao Qi nodded and continued, I evolved earlier than Tsing Yi. When I became the mature eye of the earth, he was still a little green tree. Later, I was arrested for it is to help someone impact the emperor. My spiritual power was drained by him, but it was not enough, he also drained my vitality. Fortunately, I protected a little source at the last moment, and I did not die completely. Blamed me, I didn't protect you. Tsing Yi said blamefully, I said I wanted to protect you, but I watched you get caught, sucked up by them, and they were still in an unknown place. Places, wind and rain have hid hundreds of thousands of years. Seeing Tsing Yi so blame, Xiao Qi got up, came to him, took his hand, and said, Tsing Yi, I have never blame you, you should not blame it. Although it was painful at the time, but it was all its past, I'm doing fine now, you know, I'm having a great time now. Tsing Yi glanced at Sima Yuya gratefully. He knew that because of her, Xiao Qi would be so happy now. But this can't change his self-blame. What later? Sima Yuyu asked, even if you don't have the breath of life, your flesh is a great supplement to human beings, so how did you survive? I heard in the last consciousness that someone had attacked the martial arts. As for how to survive later, I don't know. Xiao Qi said, but this is not important, there is nowhere to verify the previous things. Let there be no revenge, let it pass. I am now a brand new me. Sima Yuyu smiled, but she didn't look away from Xiao Qi. But also, in the past hundreds of thousands of years, people have been right and wrong. Those people must have died long ago, and there is no target for revenge. It's better to let those things pass and give yourself a relaxed future. However, Tsing Yi was still a ficus tree when I left. When I meet again, it has evolved into a true tree of life. Xiao Qi took Xing Yi's arm and rested his head on his arm, full of attachment. Now that you are so strong, you will protect me in the future. Um. Xing Yi answered. There is no extra language, no gorgeous rhetoric, and no earth-shattering vows, but Xiao Qi knows that he will use actual actions to prove it. Sima Yuya looked at Xiao Qi Xiao Niao's appearance, thinking that before she always understood it. She said she was going to slap someone, and her mouth was raised. She was very happy that Xiao Qi could find the person she relied on, although the happiness came so suddenly. If she does this in the future, she won't have to worry about Xiao Qi being too violent. But she seemed to think too early. Because. By the way, Tsing Yi, is there a lot of people outside to fight your idea? Let's go out and pack them up. Just look at how my strength has evolved. Xiao Qi said he was going to pull Tsing Yi out. Sima Yuyu sat on the ground, with a look of frustration, lamenting in her heart, it really is difficult to change the nature of Zhang Shan. Tsing Yi was accustomed to the current Xiao Qi. He touched her head and said, These people have left, and now there is no one outside. Ah? It's all gone? Why so fast? Fortunately, all are gone, otherwise you will be stunned. Sima Yuyu hummed in her heart. Now wait for the big brother and the three of them to come out. When they come out, we'll go find them. She stood up and said. They are out. Tsing Yi said, I just came down to tell you about this. Sima Yuyu blinked, were they so fast? Not everyone can realize it here. But they get good things. Well, she thought it would be fine. Then let's go. Tsing Yi, you said you would follow me. Xiao Qi shook his hand. Um. Tsing Yi nodded, and then said to Sima Yuyu, I planted the source in the soul tower. Sima Yuyu nodded and took them into the soul tower. Before she realized, she was still thinking whether she could take Tsing Yi away and leave with them. I did not expect that Xiao Qi would get the matter done when he came out. 
Tsing Yi went to a vast place and spread out his right hand. A reduced version of the tree of life appeared in his palm. He planted a small tree in the soil. The tree grew at the speed of the naked eye, and soon became the same as the outside tree. All right. Xiao Qi went and moved her body and planted it next to the trunk of Tsing Yi. Then they can look at each other. This is the legendary tree of life. Qian Yin looked at the tree of life with excitement. In his lineage, the tree of life is out of reach, but he did not expect to actually appear in front of them. Ah, can we practice here in the future? Yag Wang asked. Of course. Xiao Qi held Tsing Yi's hand and looked up at him, Tsing Yi, is it okay? In fact, Tsing Yi has become accustomed to being quiet and accustomed to being lonely. But Xiao Qi already agreed, and he didn't want to make her unhappy. And he can see that Xiao Qi likes them very much, and since that's the case, he is slowly adapting. Xian suddenly appeared and looked at Tsing Yi and said, I want your essence of 10,000 years. Tsing Yi looked at Qi Yan and said, The Suzaku the godbird has suffered such a serious injury. Give me the essence of 10,000 years, I can change things for you, Qi Yan said. I don't have anything I want. Tsing Yi shook his head. He has always been wantless, and now he has only one request, which is Zyogi. Therefore, Qi Yan had nothing to attract him. Sima Yuyu has always known that Qian was injured, but never thought it was so serious. I thought he had a lot. Even Tsing Yi said it was serious. How much should he be hurt? However, Qi Yan never said anything to ask, this time will directly ask Tsing Yi, indicating that that thing is important to her. Tsing Yi, can you help Qi Yan? She was a little embarrassed so she seemed to let him in in order to show him something strange. But Qi Yan's body was very important, and she had to speak. Tsing Yi Xiao Qi shook Tsing Yi's hand and looked at him with a smile, which was self-evident. Tsing Yi shook his head helplessly, why does he have a feeling of being a big girl? But as long as she is happy. Anyway, he keeps it, and it doesn't do much to himself. It's just like the feathers that animals have shed on themselves and the feathers that birds have replaced on their own are not allowed to be touched. They have a different feeling for their own things. A golden branch flew down from the tree and fell into Qi Yan's hands. Give you. Xian caught the branch and felt the vitality flowing inside. In the future, you can perch on my tree. Tsing Yi said. Hey. Sima Yuyu puzzled them. Phoenix Phoenix Tree, Bird's Nest Tree Ficus. Qi Yan said. This bird refers to the great bird Suzaku. Okay. Xiao Qi said, but Qian, don't on top of me. Everyone was silent, and Xiao Qi was too. Xiao Qi didn't care, a bird fell on Tsing Yi before, and then pooped on her head. She always remembers the mood at that time, and since then she hates the kind of bird who on the tree. Qi Yan ignored Zyoki and said thank you to Tsing Yi, then took his essence and flew into the tree crown. Sima Yuyu looked at the tree of life, and thought of the phrase Phoenix Sycamore, Bird's Nest, Ficus Dendrobium. I wonder if they came in the rainbow. I don't know, what's going on with them, Fenger. Well, now that we have settled down, let's go outside. Xiao Qi said that Sima Yuyu was worried about Simon's wind, and said. Okay. Sima Yuyu took them to the tree cave, and Tsing Yi took them out again. Han Miao Shuang, they waited outside, saw them coming out, flew to them and said, Xiao Qi, have you succeeded in evolution? I said you were in trouble before, are you all right now? No, everything is fine, Xiao Qi said. Han Miao Shuang touched Xiao Qi head and sighed, Xiao Qi has risen so much and she has become a big girl. Xiao Qi patted her hand, you are so old-fashioned. Do you think you are old? Old? How can I be old? I will always be two or eight flowers. Han Miao Shuang said with a chin. Hum, yes, you will always be a baby. Xiao Qi said with a smile, but you are old or young, 
it is the same in his heart. After that, she also picked Zhang Zhengxian's chin. Okay, people have grown up, and bad-minded eyes have grown up. See how I can clean up you. Han Miaoshuang said, and went to play primary seven. Xiao Qi chased Zhang Zhengxian, and when Han Miaoshuang was about to catch himself, he flickered and hid behind his back. Han Miaoshuang rushed into his arms. Well, Xiaoqi is like this, what are you doing with her? Zhang Zhengxian stopped Han Miaoshuang's waist and said softly. Han Miaoshuang's face turned red, came out of his arms, and said, You help me catch her, she dared to laugh at me, I need to pack her today. Xiao Qi flew between Sima Yuyu and Tsing Yi and said, You have found a helper, and I have also found a helper now. You are one and I am two. Han Miaoshuang saw her holding Tsing Yi's hand and hummed, You're terrific. He he. Xiao Qi smiled proudly. Well, now that everyone is out, let's go to the ruins. Fenger is still out of them. I'm a bit worried and want to see it. Sima Yuyu said, and then looked at Shi Chu Huang and asked, What about you? Shi Chu Huang looked at Shi Qunzi and Zhang Zhengxian, hesitated, and said, We also want to go to the ruins to see, we might as well be together. We will be separated when we leave this island. Okay. It's also dangerous for you two to walk on this island. Sima Yuyu said. Tsing Yi, let's get started. Once we're done, let's go. Xiao Qi let go of Tsing Yi. Tsing Yi nodded, let everyone leave, flew into the air, waved a hand, a little golden light spilled from his hand, and wrapped the whole tree of life. What is he going to do? Han Miaoshuang asked. He is going to collect the tree, Xiao Qi said. What do you put away? Take it away. Tsing Yi will go with us. Xiao Qi said. What? He's going with us. Yet. Why are you so surprised? Xiao Qi saw Han Miaoshuang stammered and covered her mouth and smiled. Hum, let you bully me normally and now you will be surprised for a while. Feeling that Sima Yuya could not help but twitched her lips. When was this little guy bullied? Obviously she bullied others before. He, why, why would you follow us? Shi Qunzi and they also spoke uneasily. Tsing Yi slowly reduced the tree of life and finally flew into his hands. Okay. Xiao Qi flew over and came to him. Um. Tsing Yi spread his palms, and a small tree of life was lying in the middle. Why is your avatar so cute? Xiao Qi said in surprise when he saw the pocket version of the tree of life. Do you like it? Tsing Yi asked. Uh huh, it's so cute. It looks better than mine. Xiao Qi said. Would you like to wear it? Okay. Tsing Yi did not know where to take out a green rope wiped it from the tree of life, and the green rope passed through the tip of the tree. As soon as he pressed his hands, the tree of life became a small pendant. He leaned over, put on Xiao Qi, and whispered in her ear, Wherever you go, take it, okay. Xiao Qi touched the small tree in front of his chest stupidly, heard his gentle words, and nodded subconsciously. That's good. Tsing Yi kissed Xiaoqi's forehead. I'm tired and obedient, does this mean that the two are together? Shi Qunzi rubbed his eyes hard. Not only is Tsing Yi leaving with them, but also with Xiao Qi. What's wrong with this world? Only Xiao Qi shook his head with a smile, Xiao Qi was about to explode for a while. Really? Ah, Tsing Yi, why are you so annoying? Actually treat me as a child. Xiao Qi I punched on Tsing Yi's shoulder but did not use much force. That's a good word, don't you just want to tell the child? He <laughs> he. Tsing Yi grabbed her hand and smiled with satisfaction. My god, this is completely different from the previous tree of life. Shi Chu Shuang murmured. Although only one person was killed in Tsing Yi before, everyone could feel his indifference and alienation. And the person who laughed warmly in front of him, was that person before? Leave. 
Sima Yuya was Xiao Qi. They waved their hands, called Chong Ming, and flew on. Do you know where the ruins are? Xing Yi let go of Xiao Qi and took her hand instead. I have their direction. Sima Yuyu took out the scroll, most frowned at frowning. What's wrong, little master? Sima Yuyu waved the scroll, and the image of the scroll was reflected in the air. They can't find the wind. Sima Yuyu said. Han Miao Shuang, they looked at the whole image, and indeed they did not see Zimenfeng them. Xing Yi flew over with Xiao Qi and glanced at the scroll, saying, if it's inside the ban, it won't show on it. Then let's go and see the ruins. Sima Yuyu said. Xing Yi, have you stayed here for so long, do you know where the ruins are? Xiao Qi asked. Xing Yi nodded, he did know where it was. I'll take you there. He drew a circle in the air, and a pale golden circle formed. Go in. Sima Yuyu glanced at Xing Yi, first flew into the aperture, then Han Miao Shuang Zhang Zhengzian also flew in, and Su Xiao Xiao was behind them. After they all went in, Xing Yi took Xiao Qi in. Everyone thought that he would take everyone through the air. I did not expect that when Xing Yi came in, the aperture would take them to the ground, and then they drove quickly in one direction. If there were tree roots along the way, those tree roots would get out ahead of time. Xiao Qi sat beside Xing Yi, looking around the dark, and asked, Xing Yi, why don't we go in the air and go underground? Sometimes the space looks the same, but it is distorted. We seem to go straight, but we may deviate, Xing Yi explained. So it is. The doubts in everyone's mind were all solved, but I didn't expect to be so particular. Others don't know but Sima Yuyu understands that the relics of people like the Emperor level will never be so easy to find. Making changes in space is a piece of cake for them. She estimated that they had been driving underground for five or six days, and Tsing Yi took them back to land. As soon as he waved, the aperture disappeared. Is this a ruin? They looked around, none of them. Now outside the ruins, there are restrictions in the ruins, and it will be dangerous to walk below, Tsing Yi said. Sima Yuyu looked around, and the surrounding flowers and plants were still lush, and there were no traces of being trampled on, indicating that she had not been here recently. Han Miao Shuang also found this out and said, No one has been here, is it really outside the ruins? The breath is right. Tsing Yi stopped talking and stood quietly aside. He will bring them here but that doesn't mean he will always help them. He couldn't help them in everything, and said before, unless Xiao Qi was in danger of life, he wouldn't do anything else. Sima Yuyu also knows this, so I'm very grateful that Tsing Yi can take them over. The ruins are so big that it can't be found everywhere, she said. I'll let the bees observe the environment here. She called out a few hundred red bees, and let them fly around to see and several of them lost contact immediately because they strayed into the ban by mistake. Good strong restraint. Sima Yuyu took a breath. What happened? That prohibition can actually block the contractual relationship. Sima Yuyu said, maybe it is because the bee and the queen bee are master-slave contracts. It is the kind of one-to-many. The birth can block the connection, which is still very strong. It really is an emperor even the ban on a ruin is so powerful. Shi Kunzi sighed. It would be nice if he could get his stuff or inheritance. Han Miao Shuang said. There is really nothing here, Tsing Yi said suddenly. Wonderland has been opened many times, and everything in it has been taken away. Do you know that? A lot of people have been here before and I have heard something. But the ruins are so large that it is impossible to take everything away. Maybe there is a fish that leaked the net. Shi Qunzi said. A lot more people than you. Although Tsing Yi didn't speak very well, it was true. Both are so powerful. I don't think those people are so good. This wonderland is not only opened in this realm. People in other places are much better than your realm. Tsing Yi said. However, 
these people realize that the talents of Taoism are better than those of others. Other Realms This world is not just your place. The whole world is infinite. Even I know how many there are. Tsing Yi said. It's all right, I will take you to travel around the world in the future. Xiao Qi said with a smile. Okay. Tsing Yi smiled, making Xiao Qi look foolish. They waited while looking for the entrance. It took more than a day for the Red Bee to return the news. Sima Yuyu summed up their news and said, We are now to the east of the ruins, nearest to where Fenger disappeared. It is said that the ban is the strongest here, so few people come here. This is just right, no one is robbing us. Xiao Qi said. If we want to go in, we must first break these restrictions. Shi Qunzi said, the more powerful, the harder it is to crack. It shouldn't be difficult, right? Xiao Qi didn't know much about banning things, but she knew from Sima Yuyu's expression that it should not be easy. In addition, Zhang Zhengzian, Han Miaoshuang, and Su Xiao Xiao are alchemists, Shi Qunzi is alchemist and poison division, and Shi Chu Huang is not a professional division, so they are not good at cracking the prohibition. And Xiao Qi, she is even more hopeless. Therefore, this restriction must be resolved by Yu Yu herself. But, Yu Yu, have you cracked the ban before? No. Sima Yu Yu's words made everyone almost choked by their own saliva. However, this restraint is somewhat similar to enchantment and formation, shouldn't it be so difficult? Maybe. However, the result. Yu Yu, you have been studying for several days, but you haven't found a way. Xiao Qi squatted beside Sima Yu Yu, watching her draw those on the ground. No. Sima Yu Yu threw off the branch in her hand and sighed. Although this prohibition is similar to those, there is no way at all. You won't even know how to get in. How did they get in? Xiao Qi asked. No one seems to break the restrictions, right? No, but... But what? Sima Yuya remembered someone, and before she came in, she called out Zimen Li and joined everyone. Later, Zimen Feng left, and Zimen Li also followed. Maybe the restraint was caused by her, something inside her body. I don't know why, she thinks this possibility is very high, and this is the only reason she can think of, they can go in without breaking the prohibition. So what do we do now? Find a place to go inside the ruins first. Sima Yuyu said. It doesn't work here, then go in from other places first, maybe you will find other ways inside. It is good. They spared two days and came to a hill near the south. The prohibition here has been destroyed before. There are more people here, and soon they meet people. Fortunately, Tsing Yi had a disguised look before those people came, or it would have been recognized. But even so, the presence of Sima Yuyu and Han Miaoshuang also caused a lot of sensation. Soon, many people inside and outside the ruins knew she was here. Sima Yuyu will be watched for a while every place, and now she finally realized the feelings of those celebrities. Unfortunately, she did not like this treatment. But it also brought her a benefit. Those who knew that she was looking for the broken gut valley, and those who knew some clues came to her to let her know a lot of Simon's things about them. At the same time, it also confirmed her conjecture that the person who broke the intestines can enter without breaking the prohibition, which is indeed related to the thing in Simon Lee. The person who told her the news said that at the time, they were blocked by Simon Wind and had planned to leave, but a woman said to Simon Wind, second brother, there is a baby in it. I can take you in. The only brother who can be named Zimen Feng is Zimen Li. And Zimen Li's biggest secret now is that Doe in her body. That Doe child is very sad. It is now connected to Zimen Li's life and death, and will not make fun of her life. From this point of view, Simon Wind is not in danger of their lives now. After confirming this, Simon Yuyu's heart was almost let go. They began to look in the ruins and wanted to see if they could pick up the leaks, but they found out after a circle, 
and the people who had come here before were like locusts crossing and swept the place clean. Just when they were going to leave, Sima Yuyu suddenly felt that she had sent a ripple to Zimen Feng's son-in-law, as if asking for help. Feng Er has an accident, she said to those around her. How do you know? Aren't they unable to communicate with the outside world? Sima Yuyu took out the son-in-law and the fluctuations had not completely dissipated. Feng Er they went in for so long, they must know that there is no connection between the inside and the outside. If it is not an accident, he will definitely not contact me with a son and mother stone. Although it is only a moment, but this is also a signal he asked for help. It's not far from where they go in. Let's rush over to see it first. Zhang Zhengzian said. Okay. They ran all the way east to the place where Zimen Feng disappeared and found that the space here was fluctuating. Someone is cracking the ban. Han Miao Shuang said. Check it out. They turned across the canyon and saw a huge courtyard, with a group of people waiting outside. They did not attack the restraint. Han Miao Shuang whispered. Someone should be out, Sima Yuyu said, look who it is. The prohibition here has not been broken, indicating that it is another person who can ignore the prohibition. Looking at the dress of these people, she probably guessed who was inside. After a while, Xuan Kaiyuhi came out of the yard. He felt the breath of Sima Yuyu for the first time, and looked over at her. Master. The Suan Kaiyu family gathered around. Master, did you realize it? Master, inside. Xuan Kaiyuhi raised his hand and let them calm down. Everyone realized that he was always looking at the direction behind him. They looked back, and then noticed Sima Yuyu and others in the distance. Xuan Kaiyuhi took a picture of the wheelchair, and the wheelchair rose up to the ground, not far from Sima Yuyu. Sima Yuyu walked over and said, Suan Kaiyu, I didn't expect you to be here. I was a little surprised to hear you were a woman, Xuan Kaiyuhi said, I didn't expect it to be so. Sima Yuyu smiled and asked, You got out of it just now, but what good stuff did you get? Xuan Kaiyuhi also didn't hide it, and replied, there is some inheritance in it, and luckily I got one or two. Can you go in directly? Sima Yuyu asked. Yes. Is any ban possible? What a clever person Xuan Kaiyuhi, when she asked her, she knew what she was thinking. You want to find your owner? He asked. Well, I just received his request for help, and there should be danger in it. Sima Yuyu said. Can you help me in? It's okay to help you, but... Xuan Kaiyuhi was hesitant. But what? I have something that allows people to go in and out at will, but it can only be used by one person. Even if I give it to you, you can only go in alone. Xuan Kaiyuhi said, but what is the situation inside I also don't know that so many people in broken gut need help. If you go in, it may not be useful but they will put themselves in danger. Please lend me. Sima Yuyu said, I'm fine. Can you think of it? Sima Yuyu nodded and said, I think so, please help me. Xuan Kaiyuhi looked at her with such firmness, took out a leaf-like thing, pulled her hand, and put it in her palm. I hope to see you out. When Sima Yuyu touched the leaf, she felt a sense of relief and asked, What kind of leaf is this? Bodhi leaf. This is the only one in the world. Xuan Kaiyuhi said. Bodhi leaf? Sima Yuya was shocked, there are really linden trees in the world. Legend has it that enlightenment under the Bodhi tree can do more with less, and its effect is no less than that of the tree of life. But Bodhi tree Taoism is more about Buddhism, and life tree Taoism is more about life. In the past, the tree of life and the Bodhi tree were legendary trees. Now the tree of life has been seen. I never expected to see Bodhi Leaf again. She held Bodhi Leaf in her hand and said, I will come out and I will bring them out. I owe you a favor. Speaking, we are friends, friends see each other to help each other, do not need to care about these. Xuan Kaiyuhi said. Okay. She nodded, 
but he didn't think so. He didn't care, but he couldn't forget it. The people in the Broken Gut Valley are in the first two valleys. Xuan Kaihu he said. How do you know? Xuan Kaihu he said for a moment, saying, When I came in, I heard that it was your martial arts person, so I asked about it. Thank you. Sima Yuyu said gratefully. You're welcome. I'll take you there. That will trouble you. Xuan Kaihu he took them two turns, came to a valley, and said, Here it is. Sima Yuyu took a look, sending the top of the mountain to the valley was covered by a layer of mist, and it was impossible to see what was going on inside. The prohibition here is very powerful, and it must be more dangerous inside. You must be careful, if there is danger that you can't cope with, escape. No matter what is inside, you can't get out of this prohibition. As long as you bring outside, it is safe. Xuan Kaihu he said. I see. Sima Yuyu nodded, then turned to Han Miao Shuang and said, Would you like to look elsewhere? Han Miao Shuang shook his head and said, We are waiting for you here. At the same time, think of a way to see if this prohibition can be opened. Okay, said Sima Yuyu, Little Seven. I'm your covenant beast now, and I'm sure to go in with you. Xiao Qi said, you just wait for me here. Prohibition is useless to me. Tsing Yi said, that meant to be with Xiao Qi. Separated for hundreds of thousands of years, now he didn't want her to leave her sight, even for a minute. For Tsing Yi's strength, no one would worry about his safety. He and Sima Yuya were at ease in their hearts. Although his original intention was not to go in to help Yuyu, but if Yuyu died, then Xiao Qi would also die, so Tsing Yi would not let Sima Yuyu be in trouble. At best, things haven't interfered before. Sima Yuyu received Xiaoki from the Soul Tower, then took Bodhi Leaf and walked into the valley with Tsing Yi. Sima Yuyu paused for a moment, then strode in. Tsing Yi's steps have not changed and the Buddha's prohibition does not exist at all for him. Xuan Kaihu He and those from Suan Kaihu family looked at the back of Tsing Yi, their eyes were a little deep. Once inside the restraint, the white mist was invisible, and it seemed that the white mist was visible only from the outside. She called Xiaoki out, then took out the scroll to see, but they still could not find the figure of Ximen Feng on it. She frowned. Are they not here? But Suan Kaihu he said they are here, he should not lie to himself. There are fluctuations in the depths. Just go in and see. Xiao Qi said. Um. Go and see. Sima Yuyu put away the scroll. They walked in all the way and saw some footprints in the valley. They were sure that someone had been here recently. As for whether it is a person with a broken heart, it is still uncertain. There's nothing here and the dough in liar's body asks them to come here for what? Xiao Qi asked Tsing Yi's hand, puzzled. Sima Yuyu is also puzzled. Although there are some rare medicinal materials in this valley, they are not particularly precious and not very attractive. At least, knowing she has the Zaija and Soul Tower Simon style, they can't look down. The dough stick followed Simon Li in the Soul Tower, knowing how many medicinal treasures are in it so it will definitely not come at these. But looking around, they didn't see any baby here, or there was a wave from the rare baby. What attracted that batter? There is a ban ahead. Xiao Qi said, pointing to the other side of the valley. This prohibition is different from the outside. The outside can clearly see a thick layer of fog, but this one is transparent. If they don't feel the same fluctuation, they won't find it. There are a lot of footprints here, said Sima Yuyu, they are messy in the dirt, they should have stayed here. Then let's go in and see, they should be inside. Xiao Qi said. Wait. What's wrong, Tsing Yi? This prohibition is stronger than that outside, I don't know what will be inside, please don't leave me after entering. Tsing Yi told Xiao Qi. Ah, Tsing Yi, you don't have to worry about me so much. My strength is not low now. Xiao Qi said. Tsing Yi looked at Xiao Qi, did not speak, 
and expressed his meaning silently. Xiao Qi was sour with his slightly melancholy eyes, he waved his hand, and said, OK, I know. I will. All right. Go. Tsing Yi let go of Xiao Qi hand, she pulled her face to Sima Yuyu, saw her smiling eyes, and pursed her lips, if brother Ling Yu wakes up, you will be almost the same. But he hasn't woke up yet. Sima Yuyu said with a smile, well, go in. She received Xiao Qi in the Soul Tower, and entered the ban with Tsing Yi. As soon as they went in, they immediately noticed something unusual here. Ancient breath. Sima Yuyu whispered, looking around in surprise. Yuyu, Yuyu, let me out. Xiao Qi shouted in the Soul Tower. Yuyu, let us go out, Xiao Meng said. Sima Yuyu did not expect to feel the ancient atmosphere here, and intuitively told her that there was an unknown danger here. She thought about it and called out Xiao Qi, Xiao Meng, and Hua Hua. Others with low power were left in the Soul Tower. When Hua Hua came out, when she saw Tsing Yi, she was still a little scared. If Xiaoqi and Sima Yuyu hadn't given her strength, she would probably lie down again. Hua Hua, you don't have to be afraid of Tsing Yi. He is afraid to bully you with me. Xiao Qi Zanyi patted Hua Hua's shoulder and said. Hua Hua nodded and swallowed subconsciously. Tsing Yi glanced at Xiao Qi and Hua Hua. This kind of little flower king, didn't he put it in his eyes at all? This girl gave him everything to eat. However, looking at the smile on her face, he felt that it was good. Although there is a kind of immediate vision of women being stronger than men, it can be ignored. Yui Yu, try to find out where they are here, Xiao Meng said. Well, let me see. Sima Yuyu took out the scroll, and it turned out that there was a message of Simon's wind and some broken-hearted disciples, indicating that they are now in the same prohibition. There. Before Chi Ma Yuyu spoke, Xiao Qi said first. How do you? Knowing that the two words hadn't been exported yet, Sima Yuyu saw several disciples who were being chased by several monsters and ran by not far from them. Running ahead are Shi Chen and Ni Enyi. In a panic, they seemed to see Sima Yuyu and thought they had hallucinations. How did the boss appear in this place? It must be because the spiritual power in the body is used up, and the spirit is too exhausted to be dazzled. Xiao Meng, Hua Hua, get rid of you. Sima Yuyu saw that the strength of the two spirit beasts was not low, and this strength was not enough to see, only Hua Hua and Xiao Meng could get up. Yuyu, don't worry. Hua Hua and Xiao Meng flew over at the same time, seeing that the two disciples in the back were about to be caught up, Hua Hua waved a hand, a rattan whip quickly flew over, rolled them around and pulled them, allowing them to escape the monster smoothly poisonous mouth. At the same time, another rattan whip caught one of the monsters and pulled it hard. The monster fell to the other monsters and knocked down the next few. The other monsters stopped, saw Xiao Meng and Hua Hua, stopped the pursuit of the people with broken gut, and attacked them instead. Stay there. Hua Hua shook the two people to Sima Yuyu, and waved the rattan whip at the spirit beasts. Xiao Meng flew in the air, her hands kept printing, and black roses flew out of her hands. When those black roses approached those monsters, they automatically dispersed, and each petal fell into the monster's body. Ninyi, they stopped, saw Xiao Meng and Hua Hua, and saw that Sima Yuyu and Xiaoqi were not far away, and immediately jumped up. Great. Saved. Boss, it's the boss who came to save us. Boss is here, we can finally go out. Finally, there is no need to spin around here in such despair. Boss. Deputy Valley Lord. They flew towards Sima Yuyu, tears in their eyes. Seeing Sima Yuyu, they felt insecure. They don't know why, they saw hope when they saw her. Although the current situation is very dangerous, although she is only one person, but they just believe that when she comes, she can take them out. Boss, oh, you can come. If you don't come again, you won't see us. Ninyi grabbed Sima Yuyu's robe and cried, 
but there was no tears except dryness. Sima Yuya was still very worried about them, but when she saw this living treasure, she couldn't help but want to give him two slaps. Okay, don't run dry, disturb Hua Hua and Xiao Meng against others. She slapped her palm on Nien's forehead, pushed him away from herself, and looked at Shi Chen and asked, Shi Chen, what's up with you, others what about people? We were scattered. Most of the people were in a valley in front. The others were scattered and didn't know where to run. But most of them were running around like us. Shi Chen said. What the is going on with you? Sima Yuya frowned. How can you come here? Is there such a strong ancient atmosphere here? According to Yinlin, they should have no danger. How could they be separated for a while and encounter such a dangerous thing? Those are ancient spirit beasts. Shi Chen said. All ancient spirit beasts? Why are there so many ancient spirit beasts? Xiao Qi asked. It should be the emperor who stayed. Tsing Yi said. Shi Chen both glanced at Tsing Yi. For this man who could not see the strength, they raised a respect from their hearts. At this time, Xiao Meng and Hua Hua resolved those monsters and flew back. Yu Yu, you're all set. Tough work for you. Sima Yu Yu said, you talk about this now. It's like this. A few months ago. Ximen Feng led the people in the Broken Gut Valley to the ruins for a few months and found nothing to gain. When walking to the valley, Ximen Li stopped suddenly. What's wrong, liar? Ximen Feng saw Ximen Li stop and asked. Second brother, there is a baby here. Ex Ximen Li pointed to the valley and said. Simon Feng looked at the white mist and said, There is no crack in the ban here, we can't go in. Tuanzi said that it could let us in. X I Menli said, it said that there were good things in it that could make us all stronger. As soon as I heard that the strength would increase greatly, everyone was a little bit excited. Didn't they come to Wonderland just to improve their strength? Now that there are places that can be improved, how are they willing to miss it? But the prohibition here has not been cracked. Is it dangerous? Shi Chen put forward his thoughts. There has always been opportunity and danger. The greater the danger, the greater the opportunity. Yes. Besides, the adults of Yunlin haven't all said, will we have any major problems this time in Wonderland? Since adults have said so, there shouldn't be any problems here. Uncle Bai, what do you think? Simon Feng asked his life. He was silent for a while and said, I think it's okay to try it. It doesn't matter if there is danger, even if there is, the risk is unavoidable on the road to pursue the avenue. Avoid it now and in the future. Liar, does the regimen really say that we can all go in? Simon Feng asked. Simon Li nodded and said, Tuanzi said he could take us in. Well, let's go in and see, there will be any good baby in it that attracts him. Simon Feng said. X I Menli came to the enchantment and put her hand on the enchantment. Soon, a hole appeared in the enchantment. Okay. X I Menli retracted his hand and looked back at X I Menfin. Let's go in. Liar, you're with me. Zion Ji, you're with me. Simon Feng finished talking, pulling a girl, and went ahead. There is no baby behind the enchantment, it is just a very ordinary valley and the herbs in the valley are not much higher than the outside. Seeing this picture, everyone was a little disappointed, didn't they say there was a baby? Can I improve my strength? Nothing. Tuanza said he was going inside, said Xi Menli, there is a ban ahead. I don't know what baby it is, but two levels of restraint are needed to suppress it. But since they have come here, they can't go back without getting anything. Then let's go inside and take a look. They came to the other side of the valley and asked Simon Lee to take them into the restraint. As soon as they went in, they felt different from the outside. So strong spiritual power. They said in surprise. Such a strong spiritual power indicates that there must be something precious in this place, 
so that such an environment can be formed in this prohibition. Everyone was so happy in their hearts that they wanted to find a baby. If everyone can cultivate, then they can all improve their strength. At that time, there was no ancient breath here, nor these ancient spirit beasts now. What happened then? How did it become like this again? As soon as we came in, we felt the ancient breath came to our face. Is this only available from the back? Xiao Qi blinked his eyes and asked curiously. It really did come later. Shi Chen said, after we came in, we followed the path pointed by the regiment and went inward, and found that the more we got into the back, the stronger our spiritual strength. At that time, they were all excited when they saw the almost strong spiritual power that could be turned into water. If you practice here, it will definitely do more with less. They flew for a little longer, came to a crater, and found that the spiritual power was coming from below. What's underneath, would actually emit such a strong spiritual power. Look down and see. Isn't there any danger? Let some people go down and see what happens. Nini took some people down, and came up a while later, saying, Gu Zhu, the fog below is full of spiritual power, and the visibility is very low. But there seems to be some caves at the bottom of the cliff. But we are not close to us and we are blocked by something now. Is that dangerous? There should be no, there are no spirit beasts, no prohibitions, or formations, Nini said. It feels like an empty sky pit. But I don't know if there is anything in those caves. When I heard that there was no danger, everyone went down one by one and found a place to start practicing. At that time, they didn't know what the reason was. The spiritual power here was more than usual after being inhaled. Many months later, many people started to advance. The problem appeared after everyone was promoted. Originally, everything was fine, everyone was promoted and they were all very happy. Nini said, especially for the blood evil city people, they have not been promoted for many years after being poisoned by the blood evil tree. I did not expect to come out soon will be promoted. What does promotion have to do with these? Xiao Qi asked. In the beginning, all the promotion was good, but later, the people who were promoted later couldn't stop. Shi Chen said. Can't stop? What does that mean? People who are promoted later will form a vortex of spiritual power on their heads, and that vortex will continuously inhale the spiritual power here, and some people will rise two levels because of this. Two people were also struck by the meridians. Shi Chen was afraid of the scene for a while. How did you stop? I didn't stop until I had absorbed the spiritual power from there, Shi Chen said. The people present shivered at the scene that appeared after the spiritual power was sucked clean. What happened after you sucked it out and scared you into this? Xiao Qi asked curiously. There are a lot of monsters, physical, non-physical, all kinds, all looking at us in the cave. Nini said. In the cave? Are those caves mentioned before? Yes. Nini said. When we absorbed the spiritual power in the Tian King, we saw a strange stone that seemed to contain a lot of power. We haven't had time to study what it is, a donut. I rushed up. That Do child should be the one she said, Shi Chen said. The group swallowed the stone, and the nightmare began. When the group swallowed the array of stones, the restraint in front of the cave disappeared, and the whole valley seemed to come alive. The rich ancient breath sprayed out instantly, and then the spirit beast ran out and attacked them. Come over. Fortunately, Lao Bai responded quickly, lifted the dango, snapped the remaining half of the stones out of its mouth, and put it back. But all the things in the cave came alive, and with only half of the repressed stone left, the suppression on them was small. Now those spirit beasts have been attacking the restraint in front of the cave, trying to rush out. Later, they discovered that injecting spiritual power into the broken array of stones could increase the forbidden in front of the cave, so they took turns injecting spiritual power there. And like chasing Nini, they are running around, that is, 
those ancient spirit beasts that ran out at the very beginning. Since the regiment can let you in, why don't you let it take you out? Those spirit beasts should not be able to pass through the restraint. Xiao Qi asked. Everyone wants to leave, but we found that an invisible net appeared on the top of the Tian Keng, and that net closed the spirit beast and the valley owner below. We can't go down, and they can't come up either. Shi Chen said, now the people below are taking turns to input spiritual power, but the input spiritual power is not proportional to the supplement. It won't be long before everyone will run out of spiritual power. Sima Yuya was silent, couldn't go down, couldn't get up, it was really a headache. How many people are on it? In addition to us, there are dozens of them. Because there are more spirit beasts after us, we did not gather together, but chose to escape each other. This will also disperse the spirit beasts a bit. Nine said. Yuyu, what shall we do now? Xiao Qi asked. Sima Yuyu took out the scroll, looked at it, and asked, How about the strength of the spirit beasts that came up? Compared to those chasing you. It's almost the same, Nine said. Sima Yuyu thought about it and said, Hua Hua, Xiao Meng, take this, and Shi Chen and they will save the others. I and Nine go to that pit to see. Do you know where that place is? Seeing Sima Yuyu, Nine nodded, the place was easy to find, and he was so impressed that he would never forget it. Let's go, let's break up. Xiao Meng, Hua Hua, you will find people and follow them. If you can't cope, don't force it, contact me, you know. Sima Yuyu told Hua Hua and Xiao Meng. We know. Xiao Meng nodded. At this time, she was not the same as before, and her mentality and strength had risen a lot. Then you are careful. You too. Hua Hua and Xiao Meng followed Shi Chen and they left, holding the scroll to rescue the others. Sima Yuyu patted Nin Yi looking at the back of Xiao Meng, saying, Let's go, too. Boss. How does this little dream feel different from before? Nin Yi followed his boss Ma Yuyu and hurried to Tian Kang while asking. Thinking of something that can change a person, naturally it's different. Sima Yuyu said, How are you interested in Xiao Meng's things? Isn't it that I saw her in a coma before? So if I see her again, I will compare it before. What did she think of, boss, can you tell? Take your way, listen to Xiao Meng's private affairs, she will make you regret later. Sima Yuyu said. Nin Yi touched his nose, but he wanted to see how he couldn't regret it. Sima Yuyu followed Nin Yi for a long time, and came to the crater they said. Here it is. Nin Yi said, boss, look. With that said, he picked up a stone and threw it down, but as soon as he flew over the sky pit, he was blocked, and a net flashed in midair, and then disappeared again. It really looks like a net. Xiao Qi said, what is this? This should be laid by the emperor when he found these ancient spirit beasts. Sima Yuyu said, I don't know what the reason is, those spirit beasts are trapped in the Tian Keng, and they may live at any time. In order to avoid them from harming the man, he arranged the formation or enchantment at the entrance of the cave, suppressed it with the thing eaten by the dumplings, and arranged such a thing in the air. Once the formation of the bottom was destroyed, the top and the bottom would be activated accordingly. Yes, they guessed that, too. Nin Yi said, but if this is NT opened, they won't NT be able to get out. But if this is turned on, those ancient spirit beasts may run out, and they do NT know the restraining power outside. Can't block them. So the best way is to keep them from going out. Sima Yuyu said. What shall we do then? Sima Yuyu stood on the edge of Tian Keng, observed for a while, and suddenly took a step to the air. As she stood up, the net-like lines appeared at her feet, blocking her out. Yuyu be careful. Zioki felt that the net was releasing energy and called to Sima Yuyu. As soon as Sima Yuyu felt the energy fluctuations, she turned over and leaped, stopping in the air. 
Skynet, Tsing Yi said. Tsing Yi, what did you say? Xiao Qi asked. This is Skynet. Tsing Yi said, a net is formed by taking advantage of heaven and earth. Once trapped inside, unless the person who arranges Skynet opens it, it will not come out. Then Brother Feng, aren't they in danger? Xiao Qi opened his eyes wide. Can I get out of the ground? Tsing Yi shook her head. Skynet will wrap the entire range of heaven and earth, even underground. My God! What should we do? Nin Yi paused. If he couldn't get out, then the disciples in the valley would not. There must be a way. Sima Yuyu said, everything is in harmony with each other. Even if the situation is borrowed, there must be a way to crack it. Tsing Yi froze, he did not expect Sima Yuyu to say so, but admired her agility and wit. You're right. There is a way to crack it. Really? What's that? Tsing Yi, tell me. Xiao Qi urged. It wasn't originally, but your Tao and Field are the nemesis of this Skynet. Tsing Yi said. Can I break this with my field? Sima Yuyu asked. It's not a breach, but she's useless to you. Tsing Yi further explained, your field and your way are also heaven and earth, similar to Skynet, so as long as it recognizes you, you can go down and then put them in your field and they will be brought out smoothly. Is that all right? Xiao Qi asked. You don't think it's easy? Tsing Yi patted Xiao Qi head and regarded her as a child again. Although it's all borrowing from heaven and earth, she's absolutely ridiculous. She wants Skynet's approval, but it's not so easy. Then try it. Sima Yuya flew to the edge of the pit, sat cross-legged, released the realm, and then summoned the twelve gold characters into the realm. The edge of the field came to the sky pit, and slowly approached the sky net. Sky net immediately emitted bursts of white light to block it. At this time, the twelve gold characters integrated into the realm emitted golden light, fused with white light, and started confrontation. Can this work? Xiao Qi asked. It's up to her to see if she can do it. Tsing Yi grinned and was quite confident in Sima Yuyu. Nin Yi was okay standing on the side, worried about the situation below, but had no choice but to walk around constantly. Immediately worried about it, he took out his mother-in-law and contacted Feng Feng. Brother, are you all right? Lao Six? Where are you? Feng Ye and them had no news for the past two days, and now they are in contact with Nin Yi. They are all excited. Are you okay? I'm fine, those spirit beasts that chased us are dead. Nin Yi said, how are you? Fortunately, I can stick with it for a while. But if I can't think of a way. Brother, don't worry, the boss is here, and now I'm trying to figure it out. As long as Skynet is open, you will be fine. Nin Yi comforted. Boss? You say the boss is here. Everyone who was listless at the moment heard that Sima Yuya was here, and they all boiled. Yes. Nin Yi said, boss is now trying to open the sky net above. You insist for a few more days, as long as the boss succeeds, everyone will be safe. When did the boss come? The deputy valley master is here, and we have hope. Yes. Let's stick to it. There is no spiritual power to quickly take the elixir. Recovery is a little bit. Kong Zianji grabbed Zimen Feng's hand and said excitedly, Wind is Yuyu, Yuyu is here. It must be that you tried to contact her before. Simon Wind is also very happy, and finally there is hope. Nor did he sting that he was exhausted and hurt. However, we didn't respond to this one-on-one -on -one strike. Yuyu, can you open it alone? Still worried for a lifetime. Zioki jumped over and said, Lao Bai, you can rest assured. Although this Skynet is a bit difficult to crack, Moon Moon has a way to deal with it. It only takes a little time. Xiao Qi and Sima Yuyu are always inseparable, hearing her voice is like seeing Sima Yuyu here, everyone's heart is more firm. 
How is she going to crack? Xiao Kixian was uncomfortable in such a speaking posture, simply took Zimuashi from Nien's hand, and sat on the ground himself to explain to everyone. This Skynet is a net laid out by people using the power of heaven and earth. It was originally very powerful. As long as the people in it are trapped, no one else thinks about it. When Zioki said this, everyone was a little bit nervous, so powerful. But think about it, there are many ancient creatures here. At that time, this place was not a fairyland. Once it was resurrected, what kind of disaster would it cause to the outside world? It would be unexpected to use Skynet to close them. However, with such a powerful Skynet, do they really go out? Xiao Qi guessed the following people's thoughts and continued, You are worried now, aren't you? Haha, <laughs> if there is no Moon Moon, you have to worry about it. But with Moon Moon, this is nothing. Don't you say that no one can open except the person who arranged it? Kong Zionji asked. Sister Zionji, you have to believe that all things have their own arrangements. Xiao Qi also pretended at this moment, if you say, as early as a few months ago, or you you and you there is no hope for being locked in together, but now, it's no problem. Why? What can change a few months apart? Because Yui realized her own Tao during the period of separation, and it is a Tao that is in line with the Tao of Heaven. She also realized her own realm. Xiao Qi said proudly, this is a close relative to Skynet. Now she I am in a relationship with Skynet. As long as this relationship is up, I can take you out. She actually realized her own way. Also realized that at least the realm of the Supreme Master can understand. There was an uproar in the Tian King, and their deputy valley host was simply a pervert. But it was because of her abnormalities that they had hope of survival. They like such perverts. The minutes passed by, and the days passed by. Although most of the people's spiritual power has been used up, they are still insisting, because they believe that she is about to rescue them out. When Xiaomeng and Huawa brought other people in the valley, they saw Saima Yuyu sitting on the edge of the sky pit and controlling the integration of the field and sky net. Xiaomeng, you are back. Xiao Qi Chao and Xiao Hua beckoned, waiting for them to fly over and asked, Are you all right? It's okay. Is this Yu Yu? Xiao Qi told them about Skynet, so everyone waited together. In the Tian King, the situation became more and more dangerous. Gu Zhu, everyone's spiritual power is almost exhausted. This thing requires too much spiritual power, and we are almost unable to support it. He said over his life to Simon Feng who was meditating and recovering from his injuries. Zhong Ran Sima Yu Yu is now trying to find a way but if she can't catch up with time, even if she opens Skynet, they will already be buried in the belly of the spirit beast. Everyone knew this, and the atmosphere in the Tian King once dropped to a low point. Xi Lily was sitting beside Xi Menfen, guilty, and tears dropped involuntarily. Sorry, if it weren't for me, everyone wouldn't be stuck here. Liar, this is not to blame you, Simon said. If it weren't for my order, there would be no later things. Yes, girl liar, you can't blame you on this matter. Everyone doesn't know what will be here, it's everyone's own decision. Feng Kai comforted. Zimen Li is different from her brother and sister. Zimen is cold and stunned. He is not a normal person. Only this little girl is smart and sensible when dealing with everyone. Sometimes they are thinking, how can someone like Sima Yuyu and Simon Feng have such a simple and lovely sister? Shouldn't she be as black and cunning as her brother and sister? Although this incident was caused by her, everyone did not blame her, after all, this way is their own choice, and no one is forcing them. Yes, girl liar, don't blame yourself. Others came to comfort her. But the more they did, the more Simon Li blame herself holding the Tuanzi's subconscious forces. Ah, oh, it hurts. The core suddenly called out, startling everyone present. This guy still speaks now. The crowd gathered around and looked at the dumpling curiously. 
The dumpling is no longer the same as before, but as its name is, it is still a dumpling, a white dough, especially when it eats half a stone, it becomes whiter. Tuanzi, you brought everyone down. Do you have a way to bring everyone up? Simon Lee asked. The dumpling pretended to be dead, as if it wasn't the one that just said it. Tuanzi. Simon Lee was angry, and kneed the dough into various shapes with both hands. The dumplings remain still. Tuanzi, if you do this again, I'll... I'll cancel the contract between us. Xi Menli threatened. The regiment still ignored her. The little girl was petted and grew up, and then lived in the valley for more than ten years. She was pure in nature, so she wouldn't really break the contract with herself. But she did nt know that the simpler her temperament was, the more she would do crazy things because of self-blame. Seeing the group still like this, Simon Lee really began to cut her contract with the group, trying to cancel the contract with it. The regiment was shocked to see Simon Lee come, and shouted, Oh, oh, I know, don't you get angry. X I Men Lee stopped and said, Are you going to die? Ahem, no more, no more. Tuanzi hurriedly expressed his feelings, while feeling that the girl looked simple, but the vigor in her temperament really looked like her sister. Then you have a way to take everyone up. Simon Lee asked. This is Skynet. Where can I do anything? Tuanzi said, Oh, don't you cry. Why are you crying more and more? Goo, you can't stand it. Cried the people over there. Continuously input spiritual power into the stone, but they are many in number, and they have already run out. Once the last bit of spiritual power is depleted, those ancient spirit beasts trapped in the cave will rush out, and they... They looked up at the intertwined white and golden lights. After so many days, they were afraid they could not wait for Skynet to open. Roar. They could already hear the roar of the spirit beasts, the cave entrance, they seemed to feel that the restraint was weakening, and they began to continuously impact the enchantment. Simone's scared little face turned white. If everyone died, how could she forgive and open? Thinking of this, her tears flowed even harder, dripping on the dumplings, and almost melted it. Oh, don't cry, don't cry anymore, I'm going to become a batter. The group protested loudly. If you see this scene in peacetime, everyone will laugh, but now, they have no energy to pay attention to this. Their spiritual power is exhausted. If these spirit beasts come out, they are said to have no counter-attack power. Oh, I want you to stop crying. Tuanza looked at Zimen Li crying more and more, and said helplessly, I said I couldn't take them up, but I didn't say I couldn't ease the current form. Everyone heard the last sentence, and everyone looked over. Tuanzi, what can you do? Simon Lee asked. The Danzi saw that the person who was inputting the spiritual power had less and less spiritual power. At the sight of it, it would be exhausted, sighed and flew out of Simon Lee's arms, and then slammed onto the stone and dropped it wrapped in it. Everyone was stunned by its behavior, thinking that it would eat the other half of the stone, and just wanted to stop it, they found that the cave was quiet. Now, you tell that ruthless woman, I can only support it for two days. The regiment hummed. If she hasn't solved Skynet two days later, you can't blame me anymore. Anyway, when these spirit beasts came out, they did not dare to move themselves. The hanging hearts of the crowd fell temporarily. Although it was not long for two days, anyway, it was also hope. Feng Yet and Nienyi contacted them and talked about the situation here. Nienyi was anxious, but couldn't urge Sima Yuyu, and the whole person was almost tortured by the fire in his heart. Sima Yuyu also heard what she said just now, knowing that she would not be treated in the following, but this day's net stinger was like a cow, but she refused to cooperate and gave her up. When she heard the following situation, she also got angry, poured all her mental strength, narrowed the field, and all pressed to the sky. I don't care who you are, or whether you have the power of the world. If you don't let me go today, I will make you ashes. 
Sima Yuyu released the Flame of Red Flame and incorporated the twelve golden characters into it. The power of the flame increased greatly, and the space was burned and distorted. Skynet has given birth to its own savvy for so many years, so it can fight Sima Yuya for so many days. But in the face of such a flame, it also felt afraid, a kind of submission, a submission that compared with its own mighty power. Its heart is crying, it is obviously the darling of the world, why now there is another one that is stronger than it? Sima Yuya didn't know the sadness in Skynet's heart, she only knew that she had forced to fuse the golden word with the flame of red flame, and she was now eating her body. If this guy refuses to let her go, she won't know how long she can support it. There were cracks in her internal organs, her bones shattered inch by inch, and her flesh began to crack. Just, or not. Her voice was slow, but it contained a lot of weight, which couldn't bear Skynet's small heart. Just let it, why so fierce? Skynet let out a hole, and Sima Yuya's realm immediately poured down, surrounding the entire sky pit. The little seven people looked at Sima Yuyu, tears came out, but in order not to disturb her, they did not dare to cry. People who broke the intestine valley saw Sima Yuya covered in blood, and couldn't help moving. How can they do this, and how can they encounter such people? Get up! Sima Yuya closed the field and incidentally brought all the people out. Roar! When Diane Zizi left, he removed the remaining half of the stones together. The moment the array of stones left, the prohibition outside the cave automatically disappeared, and those spirit beasts chased up. Fortunately, Skynet was so powerful that array of silver slashed down, and those spirit beasts caught up were slashed back. As soon as the realm was drawn out, Skynet immediately closed, and even those spirit beasts behind could not get out of this crater. Puff. After Sima Yuya brought the person with broken gut out, she could no longer support the field. After highlighting a bit of blood, the whole person passed out. As soon as the field was scattered, the people who broke the gut appeared only on the Tian King. Looking down, they saw all kinds of spirit beasts below, scared them to a shock almost lost their balance, and fell down. Yuiyu. Yuiyu. Xiao Qi, they rushed forward, trying to help Sima Yuyu, who was fainted, and saw that she was covered with blood, so they didn't dare to touch her. Even Qi Yan couldn't help coming out, stood aside, and frowned at her. The cry over there awakened everyone immersed in joy. They looked and saw that Sima Yuyu was lying in blood and lying in her arms, and all flew over. The white skirt had been soaked with blood, and the red piece had stained the eyes of many men. Sister. Boss. Yu Yu. Although they don't know what happened, they know that she will be like this, all to save them. Now that they came out, she did not expect to see her like this. Give Yu Yu an elixir. No, she's hurt so badly that elixir doesn't know when it will work. Xiao Qi said. Use my essence. Xiao Qi cut his finger, and opened Sima Yuyu's mouth to put her finger in, but before touching her lips, she stopped in the air. Tsing Yi grabbed Xiao Qi's hand with her left hand, and swiped her finger with her right hand, and the wound disappeared. Tsing Yi. Xiao Qi looked at him with tears on his face. Tsing Yi saw her panic, sighed, and said, Don't be afraid of me. Don't hurt yourself. After speaking, I swiped in my hand, squeezed a drop of golden blood, opened Sima Yuyu's mouth, and dripped in. The blood of Tsing Yi is full of vitality. For healing, his blood is better than Xiao Qi. There is no need for Sima Yuyu to swallow, the vitality contained in the essence blood runs through her meridians through every part of the body, and begins to repair her body. At the same time, the healing function of the demon body also began to work, repairing her body with the breath of life. Her condition slowly stabilized. What happened just now, how could she be so badly injured? Simon Feng asked. Xiao Qi, they are not in the mood to tell you things, and Yi will tell Sima Yuya what they have done in the past few days. When it comes to the back, his eyes are red, as are other disciples who were rescued by Xiao Meng. 
Although they could also feel Sima Yuyu's heart to them, it was far less shocking than seeing her doing it. Deputy Valley Owner Boss Sima Yuyu is now in a coma. Naturally, they can't see each of them with red eyes, but the power of faith in the body is a little more. Speaking, how does the Deputy Valley host wear a skirt? Someone finally found it. The boss is originally a woman, and it is not surprising to wear skirts. Dai Yi said. Is the Deputy Valley host a woman? Right. Oh my god. Although they didn't want to admit it, Sima Yuyu's current situation has explained everything, and this discovery made them frighten their feet. Unexpectedly, unexpectedly, the person who made them desperately want to follow them turned out to be a woman. She's a woman, so shouldn't we just call her Miss instead of a master? Said the birds. Probably. Miss is so amazing. It is indeed the owner of my king. When the four-wing Fipeng saw Xian, they couldn't help kneeling. Qi Yan glanced at them, only one glance, and let the other people of the Sparrowhawks and the Egrets kneel down. Lord Bird, the true king of their bird family. When Sima Yuya was delivered in the small world, Sima Yuya did not let the people in the Broken Heart Valley follow, so they have not seen Qian. Now this suddenly appears, which really scares them. Get up. Qi Yan said lightly, and then stopped looking at them, but looked down at Sima Yuyu. The people of the Sparrowhawks and the Egrets thought that the four-winged Fipeng knelt down first, and they were not surprised at Qi Yan's identity. They seized the people around them and said, You already know that my king has appeared. The four-winged Fipeng tribe blinked and admitted. God, you already knew. Why don't you tell us? My king didn't let us say it. So don't tell us. Otherwise, my king is angry, but it is very serious. Got it. Alas, my mother, I'm going to digest these two messages. Me too. The people in Broken Gully were so abnormal to see the birds, and they were curious about the contracted beast beside Sima Yuyu. When they saw these bird clan, they did not see Xiao Peng like this, indicating that this person was even better than Xiao Peng. Well. Sima Yuyu Zome gave a slang word. Her movements made the hearts of those around her tremble, but after she made this slang, she never moved again. Yuyu? Yuyu? Sister? But no matter how they shouted, Sima Yuyu did not respond. She was so badly injured that it would take a day or two to recover even if I had my essence. I wouldn't wake up so early. Tsing Yi said. You're worried here, you might as well lie down. Yes, let's set up a tent for you. Yu. Xiao Qi said. Let's do it. Zimen Feng and Zimen Li set up a tent for Sima Yuyu in place, and Xian lifted her up and put it on the bed. Xiaoqi and Xiao Meng were with her inside, and Zimen Li was sitting beside her, looking at her bloodless face, feeling guilty. It's all because of her, how can she forgive herself? Sister, get better soon. She wanted to hold Sima Yuyu's hand, but there were scars on it, and she didn't dare to touch it. Zimen Wind was at the door of the tent, and he couldn't bear to look at Sima Yuyu like this, which reminded him of the events of that year. He turned and came outside, looking at the spirit beasts that kept hitting Skynet. Guzu, you see, these spirit beasts are much uglier than the current spirit beasts. People in the broken gut also looked at the spirit beasts beside the Tian King. I don't know who sealed them here, why didn't they kill them directly? His whole life asked. I'm curious about which Skynet the Emperor originally arranged. It's really amazing. Simon Feng looked at the ugly spirit beasts and said, something must have happened before this one will appear. But these have nothing to do with us. When she gets better, we will leave here. Gu, how is the boss now? Nine asked. In the recovery of stability, Simon said. Although these things have happened, fortunately everyone has gained something. Although this time is extremely thrilling, everyone has basically been promoted, and some have risen by two levels. For their level, this is not easy. How many people can't go up one level for decades now, 
they went up soon after they came in, so it's not easy. Simon Fang looked at the spirit beasts below and was silent. I don't know what happened. There are so many ancient spirit beasts that have survived, and they are still awake now. They can now be thankful that this is in Wonderland, and no matter what happens here after they leave, it will not affect their lives. If it is on the outside continent, these spirit beasts will cause headaches. Everyone waited here for a day. After one day, Sima Yuyu finally woke up. Yuyu, Yu, you woke up. Xiao Qi saw Sima Yuyu woke up and suddenly came to a spirit. Yuyu. Yu. They all gathered around Xiao Ming. Sister, how are you feeling? Sima Yuyu frowned, and said, it hurts all over. All the bones were broken, the internal organs were also torn, the muscles were strained, and the pain was normal. Tsing Yi said, but you can wake up in one day, which is not bad. Although Sima Yuya was in a coma, she also knew that he had the essence and blood in her body, and said gratefully, thank you. I just don't want to see Xiao Qi consuming his essence. Tsing Yi said. No matter what the subjective reasons are, the objective result is that you helped me. Sima Yuyu smiled weakly. Sister. You are still seriously injured, don't say so much. Xi Menli said. Sima Yuyu looked at her red eyes, and said, How red eyes are like a rabbit. Are you crying these two days? Sister, I'm sorry, it's all because of me. I'll accept whatever you want to punish me. Simon Lee bit his lower lip and said with remorse. Well, this thing really happened because of you, but I do nt think you have been upset these two days, and I won't nt punish you. As for the wind, what they do, I do nt care. The culprit. The dough in Simon Lee's body narrowed her neck, wasn't this cruel woman talking about herself? No, you can't blame yourself on this matter, it's all human beings who want to increase their strength, don't blame it, don't blame it. Do, do you come out by yourself, or let Liar throw you out? The cold voice of Sima Yuya cruelly broke its self-consolation. Hoo, this vicious woman really has trouble finding it. I count three times, if you can't come out. Sima Yuya threatened. Maybe it was terrified by her at that moment. Before she started counting, the dough came out of Zimen Li. Smart, kind, strong, strong, beautiful, and lovely Yu Yu, is there anything you want me to do? As soon as the dumplings came out, holding Sima Yu Yu's legs, they began to slap their farts. Sima Yu Yu frowned slightly, and the dumpling was caught by Xiao Meng and thrown out. The dumplings returned from the outside and wanted to hug Sima Yu Yu's legs, Xiao Meng said without raising her eyelids, You hurt Yu Yu. It means that if you dare to come here, you will still throw you out. The dumpling stopped at a distance of 10 centimeters from Sima Yu Yu, and then obediently came to Zimen Li, obediently obedient. She is so good and cute now, she shouldn't pack herself up. It is said that women like Meng Meng's things, and this woman's heart will melt. I hope this trick is also useful for this cruel woman. Kong Zianji saw such an obedient donut, and modernly it looked like that toe under the Tian Kang, and drew a corner. It turns out that this guy is a dumb and scary guy. Sima Yuya will not be deceived by the Doe child. To Samo, it is far worse than Xiao Roar. She remembered that Xiao Qi and Xiao Meng immediately took a pillow and leaned on her. She looked at the Doe and said with a cold face, You already know what's here, right? Do child shook his head to deny it, jokingly, it would not admit it. If it admits it, this ruthless woman would definitely pull off its skin. But seeing Sima Yuyu's all-seeing eyes, his head pulled down and he nodded slightly. You really know? Sima Yuyu sneered, so all this is what you planned? Let everyone help you absorb those spiritual powers and make them your scapegoats. Her voice was getting colder and her tone was getting harsher and shocked the people in the room, especially Simon Lee and Do. No, no, I don't think so. Dianza hurriedly denied, or he would be cleaned up by the cruel woman. Sima Yuya didn't believe it, and flared a flame of red flames, 
and said, Is that right? Then you talk about it first, what the are you? Diane Zizi looked at the flames on Sima Yuyu's hands, and the whole doe shrank, saying, This, you are all injured. Don't play with fire now. Then do you know who you are? Sima Yuyu played with the flames. Would you like to clarify things? If you don't know clearly, Zayoki, I haven't cooked dough for you yet. It also tastes good, do you want to eat it? Okay, okay, as long as it is made every month, everything is delicious. Xiao Qi echoed. Do shrunk his neck and looked at Sima Yuyu, but it wasn't like talking about fun. Well, I said, I said, put the flames down first. Let's have something to say, don't we? If you get hurt again, everyone will be worried again, right, hey? He said with a smirk. It doesn't matter, I still can bear this flame. Sima Yuyu said, what do you mean, or? Say, say, I'll say it now. Dianza glanced at the flame of Xi'an secretly, crying in his heart. Ruthless woman, bullying it now has low strength. If it is strong, strong it will surely hold her under her feet. Then say quickly, my patience is limited. Sima Yuyu said, what the are you? Xi Menli looked down at the dumpling, and she did not know what the dumpling was. Dumiazi was so roared by Sima Yuyu that he was aggrieved, his body moved, his limbs grew, and then a head grew, slowly forming features. Always a tiger. Xiao Qi looked at the dumpling. What are you doing like a tiger? I'm not a tiger. The group protested. White tiger, what are you not a tiger? You never say, you are one of the four god beasts. Xiao Qi reached out and poked at his head. I'm not a white tiger. Tuanzi was still very proud of his identity, but thinking of Sima Yuyu having Suzaku beside him, he couldn't help himself in front of her. You're not a tiger or a white tiger. So what are you? Sima Yuyu asked, playing with flames. The dumpling twisted his body, and another head grew on one side of his head, and then another on the other side. Zayoki blinked, looked at the dumpling and called out, You are not a tiger, you are a monster. No one else is a monster. Tuanzi was sad, it was really not a monster. What are your three heads, not monsters? Xiao Qi hummed. No. No. They are not monsters. You say that I am a monster, and I bite you. After the three heads of the dumpling were together, the voice was still a bit scary. It is a pity that none of the people here have not seen the world, and this momentum cannot scare them. Ancient ancient beast Liu Wu. Tsing Yi said. Tuanza turned his head and looked at Tsing Yi, but no one could recognize himself. How many heads do you have? Everyone couldn't feel his presence when Tsing Yi wasn't talking. Everyone couldn't move their eyes when they talked. Speaking of his own head, the three heads of the dumplings were pulled down, twisted the body, the limbs and the head were gone, and they became the previous dumplings. I haven't fully transformed yet. It has no desire for heaven, which is really a worry. So you're still a doer, Sima Yuyu said. Tsing Yi, what kind of beast is Liu Wu? Amazing. Xiao Qi asked. Nine heads are very good. Others, average. Tsing Yi said. That's not like Qunyan. When nine tails grow, he will be the real nine tailed fox. Xiao Qi said. We already know who you are, so Dianzi, now talk about what you want to do to trick everyone into here, said Sima Yuyu. I didn't say to lie to everyone here, this is not to take everyone to look for opportunities. Tuanza said without confidence. Are you sure you want to say that? As soon as Tuanza saw Sima Yuyu's eyes, she felt even more embarrassed, afraid that she would throw the flame on her hand towards herself, so she had to explain honestly, I felt the ancient atmosphere here, so I let them in, but I didn't expect that there would be so many ancient spirit beasts here and I didn't know there was a skynet on it. Do you really not know or pretend not to know? Sima Yuyu asked. I really don't know. 
I can swear. Tuanza said, I thought, they can absorb spiritual growth and gain strength, and I can get what I want. This is not a win-win thing. Who knows, those spiritual powers and those things are suppressing those spirit beasts, let alone a few came out, and the Skynet started. Really? Really? Tuanza nodded hard. My starting point is still good, but I didn't think about the next thing. What do you want? That stone. Saima Yuyu asked. That's not an ordinary array stone, it's a source stone, which contains the ancient flavor, so I can smell it. As long as the stone is digested, I can definitely grow an extra head. Tuanza said. Speaking of it, you already said that you can transform, why haven't you succeeded in transforming yet, still absorbing Liar's spiritual power? Hey! Saima Yuyu narrowed her eyes, you said, if I find you lie to me, what will I do to you? Braised pork? Oil stew? Fried? Roasted meat or hot pot? Every time she said the same, the dumpling's body trembled, and she felt that the surrounding temperature dropped by one point. I didn't lie to you, hey, you are so brilliant and intelligent, where can I dare to lie to you? Said Tuanzi. Then what's going on with you now? Why haven't you transformed yet? I'm not trying to improve the starting point for me and Liar. Tuanza said, the later I transform, the stronger I become. After I said that I can transform, I can only transform one head. If I can produce four or five heads when I am transformed, my talent after transformation is even higher. Liar can also gain more power. Saima Yuyu didn't know if what she said was true, and looked at Tsing Yi for help. Now that Tsing Yi can recognize the identity of the regiment, should you also know this? Tsing Yi nodded, indicating that this was indeed the case. Well then, I will trust you for the time being. Saima Yuyu said, I have already asked the matter clearly, now we must think about it, how should we punish you? Tuanzi shrank his body towards Simon Li and said weakly, I said it was not intentional. That will also be punished. Saima Yuyu said. Then how are you going to punish? The whole body of the regiment shrank into a small mass, obviously frightened. Xi Lily sat down at the bed with her head down, and anxiously waited with Dianza for Saima Yuyu's final sentence. Although she was also angry with the Danzi, it was with the Danzi. If the elder sister really punishes the dumplings, she will bear it together. Tuanza couldn't be afraid, but he felt a lot of warmth in Simon Lee's thoughts. I just don't know how this ruthless woman should deal with herself. Really people have to bow their heads under the roof. So sad. But after waiting so long, she didn't say, do you want to pack yourself in your heart? The longer you wait, the more scared it is, oh oh. The cruel woman is too bad. When everyone thought that Saima Yuya was going to punish the regiment severely, she stepped down and said, I'm tired. Let Feng Er do the punishment. Liar, take it go and find your second brother. Scare. Xi Menli and Tuanza looked up at the same time. She meant that she would not punish it. Has this cruel woman's heart got better? Tuanza thought, but looking at Saima Yuya's pale face, she was really tired too. Well, this is better. The cold second brother actually speaks better than this smiling tiger woman. That sister, take a good rest. I'll take the dumplings to find my second brother. Xi Menli said. Go. Saima Yuyu said with closed eyes. When Simon Li left the dumplings, Kong Zianji said, you didn't want to punish it. Saima Yuyu opened her eyes and said, I don't have that energy right now. Then you pretend to be so scary to scare the little guy. Isn't this worried about liar? Saima Yuyu sighed and said, I never knew the details of the little guy, and now such a thing happens, if it is a beast or something, I always think about her miss you. You are the elder sister, you have done it yourself, and you are not restless. Kong Zianji shook her head. But they have such an elder sister as you really happy. When you and Feng'er get married, I'm your fair sister. 
Sima Yuya closed her eyes again, and her body was still uncomfortable. Kong Xianji looked at her like that, and her heart that was intended to be ridiculed was taken back and said, You take a good rest, you don't have to worry about other things. Okay. Sima Yuyu answered weakly and fell into a drowsiness. Although you lose your consciousness when you sleep, the demon body can work better. As for how Simon Wind would punish the regiment, she didn't really care. Tsing Yi looked at Sima Yuyu, her eyes changed. He accepted her little by little. It had been two days since Sima Yuyu woke up again, and she was almost recovered this time. Tsing Yi, your vitality is so good. Without him, I wouldn't have been so fast. She stood up, stretched her waist, and said to Tsing Yi who was drinking tea in the corner of the tent. With your physique, it won't take long to get better. Tsing Yi said. But it won't be so fast without you. Sima Yuyu said. She advanced to the soul tower and immediately came out again. When it appeared again, a skirt had been changed on the body, and people looked more energetic. Kong Xianji came in and saw her wearing a long skirt, smiling, and said, I'm used to the look of your men's clothing, and I'm not used to seeing you wearing a skirt. Then you just have to watch a few more times. Will you wear women's clothes later? Well, since everyone else already knows, it doesn't make much sense to wear men's clothes again. Sima Yuyu said. It's okay. Girls, it's better to dress up beautifully and it's not a thing to wear men's clothes all day. Kong Xianji said. What you say looks a lot like sister. By the way, the restrictions are not broken. How did you get in? Miao Shuang them. Xuan Kaihu he helped me in. Sister and they are waiting outside. Sima Yuyu said, if there is nothing else, let's go out early, and never go out again, they will worry. Okay. I'll tell everyone and call everyone back, Kong Xianji said. I'll go out with you. Sima Yuyu came outside, and the people in Broken Heart Valley saw her awake and surrounded them. Deputy Valley Lord, you can wake up. Everyone is dying. Deputy Valley Lord, thank you for saving us. Seeing Sima Yuyu all his life, he asked, are you all right? It's okay, Sima Yuyu said. Why are you all staying here, didn't you go and see what baby? Fui they went, we are waiting here. By the way, there are no such monsters. See what's coming. Have. What do you see? Ancient spirit beasts are uglier than they are now. Sima Yuyu took a look at Nienyi, and that was what he said just now. Well, please clean up, and when the others come back, we will leave here. Sima Yuyu told the others. Then let's collect the tent. Those people dispersed, and she and her life stood by the cliff. I've never seen them look so true in Susha City. I looked at those people with smiles all my life. You make everyone's heart alive again. I think even the whole Bloodsha City people also will be united because of you. Sima Yuyu smiled, Lao Bai, you really look at me. You have such ability and charm. Lifetime said, this is something I didn't expect before. Now I am very glad that I came out with you. I'm also glad to have you help us. Sima Yuyu said, without you, Gukeng would not develop as well as it does now. The two looked at each other and smiled, and they both had a feeling of finding a confidant. These ancient spirit beasts are like this, will there be nothing? Xiao Qi asked. There is Skynet and they can't get out. They can only be locked up here for a lifetime. Lifelong said. Ah? That's so pitiful. Xiao Qi said, they didn't do anything, they were imprisoned here all their lives. If I were, they would go crazy. May you, can we take them away? Sima Yuyu looked at the spirit beasts in the valley, frowned, and said, these spirit beasts are too cruel. If they are released, I'm afraid they will bring danger to everyone. What if you could take it all away? Xiao Qi asked. As long as you have time later, you can tame them one by one. Sima Yuyu looked at Xiaoki in doubt, and said, 
it's not like your temperament. What's your idea? Hey! Xiao Qi smiled. I didn't think they hurt you. If I domesticate them later, I can torture them and give you gas. Sima Yuya was very happy about Xiao Qi thoughts. But they left without doing anything. Not to mention Skynet is difficult to conquer, even if it takes time to conquer, she does not want to release them. Xiaoqi looked at Tian Kang in three steps when he left, and wanted to use them to relieve the hatred of his heart. When he came to the ban, the regiment opened the ban, and everyone went out one by one. The broken gut came out again, and many could not help but take a deep breath. They finally came out. When Sima Yuya came out, she saw Zhang Zhengzian, Han Miao Shuang, and Su Xiao Xiao, as well as people from the Suankaya family, but did not see Shi Qianzi and Shi Chu's Huang. You guys wait for me here. Sima Yuya said to Zimen Feng, and then walked towards Xian Kaiu He. She came to him, took out the Bodhi leaf, and handed it to him. Thank you. She thanked him sincerely. If he hadn't sent him in, they wouldn't be able to return. Xian Kaiu He took Bodhi leaf and said, I can help you, I'm glad. Those who have broken heart will be fine. Although he didn't know what was going on inside, he believed that they were alive because of her. What's going on in the future, Yuyu is inescapable. Sima Yuyu said. If you really need your help, Crane will not hesitate. Xian Kaiu He said. Now that you are all right, let's leave first. Please. Xian Kaiu He left with the Suan Kaiu family and Sima Yuya looked at Han Miao Shuang and asked, How about Chu Shuang? Someone said that someone who was pretending to be a dragon religion was killing people from other schools. Shi Qianzi and Shi Chu Shuang went to deal with it. Han Miao Shuang said, Then why didn't you go? Sima Yuya looked at Zhang Zhengzian, Is he also a member of the dragon sect? And the status is quite high. I haven't always managed the things in the teaching, Zhang Zhengzian said. And the two things can be done by the two of them. I think you are worried about sister. Su Xiao novel. Zhang Zhengzian did not deny that these guys now always like to make fun of them and ignore them. He leaned on Han Miao Shuang and started to sleep again. Sima Yuyu saw that he closed his eyes and faked a smile, and smiled slightly. He hadn't seen him like this for a long time. Vice owner. What shall we do now? The man who broke the intestines. It's almost looked for here, and people have been searched several times where they can go. Han Miao Shuang said. Sima Yuyu asked the red bee that was still outside, and the news was the same. However, are nt there many places here that nobody visits? She turned her eyes to the dumplings and said, Can't you take everyone to the inside of the ban, then take everyone around? Ah. Uh, are you going? The regiment called out. Yeah, since you have a baby, why not go for it? As long as it's not like before, Sima Yuyu said. But I don't have that much energy, said Tuanzi. I haven't digested the remaining half of the stone, and there aren't so many energy bands and so many people go in. It doesn't matter, you don't have to bring it in. You just have to bring me in. She laughed and made the dumplings cold. What a terrible woman! Simon Lee touched her nose silently, her sister was obviously very gentle, why was the dumpling always calling her a ruthless woman? Seeing the response from the regiment, Sima Yuyu took it out of Simon Lee's arms and said, This is the punishment for you. But Simon has already punished me. Tuanza protested. Aren't you saying you don't punish me? I said I didn't have the energy to punish you at that time. Sima Yuyu said, protests are invalid. You still obediently. He <laughs> he. The dumpling had no hands and feet, and her body twisted in her hands. When she saw Sima Yuyu flaming the flame of red flames, she yielded obediently, and said, okay. Therefore, for almost a year later, everything was carried around in various restraints with a dumpling. She brought the person into the small realm, and then went to find the places that were not very dangerous with the regiment. If there was no danger, 
she called everyone out to find the baby. If there was danger, one person and one animal would quit. Every time the regiment protested, Sima Yuyu started playing with fire, squashing all the words behind that guy back. After some exploration, the regiment's understanding of Sima Yuyu's ruthless woman became deeper, and he planned to encourage his master to stay away from her in the future. Terrible woman. The people who came to the ruins came and left, and slowly no one came to the island. The tree of life is gone, and there is nothing to look for in the ruins. They have no meaning to come back anymore, and it is better to go elsewhere. One year later, Sima Yuyu also left the person with broken gut valley, because the inheritance of the emperor was obtained by Xian Kaiuhi, and the cultivation of the holy land was absorbed by the people with broken gully. Occasionally some treasures were also taken by Sima Yuyu take someone away. Of course, there are not only these things in the ruins, but also several people are prohibited from entering. Not that she didn't want to, but Tuanza said there was something in him that made him feel terrible. Thinking of Skynet, she gave up. In the event of any terror, everyone can't solve it, that's not trouble. Besides, the entire Broken Heart Valley people have been promoted, which is already a good thing. Zioki used a ship to bring everyone back to the land, and then Zimen Feng led the people who broke the valley. Why don't you follow the army? Zhang Zhengzian opened his eyelids slightly and asked sleepily. They have their chance. I have mine. If they are together, they will break up each other's chances. Sima Yuyu said. How do you know? Silver Pro said. In the same way, although the people who broke the gut are in danger this time, the gain is still great. But did N.T. Yin Lin say that there was no danger, did he say that there would not be too much danger? It meant that she would eventually rescue them, leaving them with no danger? But anyway, it is good to have something. After the Simmons left, Sima Yuyu and Han Miaoshuang went in a similar direction, so that the distance between them would not be too far. Once they had something, they could take care of it. However, the words of Yinlin were not in vain. In the following time, until everyone left Wonderland, the people in Broken Heart Valley never sent her a signal for help. After a group of people swept around in Wonderland, they returned with a full load before the Wonderland closed. Without knowing why, the opening of Wonderland this time is longer than before, from opening to closing, almost twenty years before and after. This was not even expected at the beginning of Silver Pro. Sima Yuyu took out the scroll and looked at it, and found that there were a lot fewer people on it. Are the Zongjenjia still alive? Xiao Qi asked. When the little island was out, the old ape said it was gone. Sima Yuyu said, you were in the cab at that time, so I don't know. Oh, it's dead. We haven't had time to retaliate. Xiao Qi sighed in frustration. With Tsing Yi, you still like fighting so much, why can't Tsing Yi control you? Han Miao Shuang teased. With brother you are so poor, why can't brother control you? Xiao Qi replied immediately. Amount. Han Miao Shuang froze. How did this guy react so quickly? I didn't expect to tease her, but put myself in. Xiao Qi saw Han Mia Shuang's reaction, as if he had won a battle, and gathered around Sima Yuyu and asked, Yuyu, where are we going now? Smell with your little nose. Is there any treasure in front of you? Sima Yuyu said. No. They are not puppies, Xiao Qi hummed. Your attributes are similar to that. Sima Yuyu said with a smile, so come on, try. Hate. Ignore you. Xiao Qi said and ran to Tsing Yi and ignored her. Ha ha. Everyone laughed, even though she looks grown up now, she still has the same temperament. Sima Yuyu turned her eyes to Xiao Meng and said, Xiao Meng, we are going to a crowded place now to see if we will meet the demons. If there are your enemies, we will take revenge for you. Xiao Meng's body shook, and she thought of those things before. She nodded, if she met those people, she would not be soft-hearted. 
Sima Yuyu took a look on the scroll and found a place with the most small points, so that Chong Ming took everyone in that direction. They flew for many days without encountering anyone, but saw many dead bodies. It was terrible to die, as if the demon had done it. There was still some enchantment on it. They checked the corpses and came to a conclusion. Xiao Meng looked at the corpses, and the whole person was stunned. Little dream, what's wrong with you? Hua Hua pulled her clothes. Xiao Meng flew to the corpses, smelled it carefully, and said, This is the breath of the Devil Wolf tribe. Is the Devil Wolf one of those races? Xiao Qi asked. Well, they were the ones who performed the most experiments on me at the beginning. Their taste, I will never forget it. Xiao Meng clenched his fists, his body trembling because of restraint. Sima Yuyu came to her held her in her arms, stroked her hair, and said, It's all right. Since those people are here, let's find out and avenge you. Xiao Qi said. Yes. Xiao Meng, can you sense where they are? Han Miao Shuang asked. Xiao Meng came out of Sima Yuyu's arms and shook her head. Let's try it. Sima Yuyu took out the roll and used the spiritual force to drag the magic of those people's wounds into the roll and some points appeared on the scroll. This scroll can still be used like this. Han Miao Shuang said in surprise. Such a good baby. Xiao Shimei, where did you get this thing? Brother Ling Yu gave it to me. Sima Yuyu said. As the sage of Shenzhen Pavilion, it was not surprising that His Highness the Devil once had these. To the northwest. Xiao Kaiman came over and looked at the faint black spots, and said, Yui Yu, let's go now. Sima Yuyu looked at a lot of points around him and said, there are more people there than in other places, and they are very concentrated. It seems that there may be any baby now. Su Xiao's novel. Sima Yuyu put away the scroll and said, since this is the case, let's go and see. Chong Ming flew with them for several days before slowly approaching that place. In order to be safe, Sima Yuyu first released a lot of red bees and asked them to check the news first. Soon, the red bee came back and said that there were many people gathered there, but not for treasure hunting, but for confrontation. Confrontation? Everyone is surprised by this news. Every minute and every second in Wonderland is precious. These people are not used to find opportunities, but they are also used to confront others. However, because there are strong people, all the red bees cannot approach, so they don't know what happened there. Let's go and see. In order to narrow the target, a group of people came down from Chongming and walked instead. Kongming Hua adult shape followed. So strong demon flavor. There is also a ghost spirit, Tsing Yi said. Is it the war between humans and demons? Xiao Qi let her eyes light up. For these things, she has always been enthusiastic. The bees didn't dare to approach in front, I don't know what the situation is. Everyone be careful. Sima Yuyu said, Well, Zioki, take Sing Yi to the Soul Tower. After all, Sing Yi is not an ordinary person. If it is seen by a person with high strength, it will cause trouble to Yuyu. Now she is alone and absent, she is in trouble. Okay. Tsing Yi, let's go in. Xiao Qi said. Tsing Yi was not interested in these things, and followed Xiao Qi to the Soul Tower. Sima Yuyu slowly walked forward, turned over the mountain stream in front of them, and saw people everywhere on the mountain stream. On the mountain stream, the valley was full of people. And on the distant mountains, all of them are people, but they are all demons. On the other side, the ghosts occupied many hills. People, demons, and ghosts face each other in triangles. The strong people felt that they were coming, and looked back, and saw that they were just a few people of ordinary strength, but they didn't take it seriously. A few people from Sima Yuyu came to the distant mountain stream. The terrain here is relatively high, and they can see the following situation clearly. However, because most people are carrying them, 
only the ghosts directly opposite can see them. When seeing Sima Yuyu's face, the people across from him were still. That is. Is that a princess? Impossible, that's clearly human. When Do Yu saw Sima Yuyu, he was shocked. Master Ghost, is that her? Why does she look so familiar? The Ghost Master looked at Sima Yuyu, and she really looked like the Night Princess when recovering women's clothing. It's her. She had the mark left on her. But it was suppressed by something, so it was not easy to feel it. Master Ghost, why does she look so familiar? Di Yan looked at Sima Yuyu in women's clothing, and always felt that the eyebrows were familiar. I heard that when the Night Princess went to the human realm, she had a relationship with a human race, and set a lifelong private life, and gave birth to a child. Di Yi froze. Don't you mean, that person is my cousin? He looked at Sima Yuyu, thinking of this possibility, he was somewhat unacceptable. This guy killed a lot of ghost soldiers at first, and he still wanted to get revenge on her. Master Ghost, shouldn't you be the wrong person? No. The Ghost Master said with certainty. He looked at Sima Yuyu, even though it was so far away, even if the spirit of the ghosts in her body was suppressed, but he could still smell the unique taste of Yuyu. Yuko Luo. Master, are you so sure? Disu was even more depressed. Master Ghost has always been very kind about things, if not sure, he would not say so with certainty. But that was his cousin, and he felt that he had to digest the news well. If it was another cousin, if he killed himself, he would be killed. Wang would not blame him, and other people would not dare to come to their own trouble. But this is my aunt's woman. He, can't let go. This guy must have owed her in her previous life, so this life will be bullied by her. Sima Yuyu saw Di Yan watching her eyes from anger, hatred to surprise, helplessness, and finally she looked bullied by herself. She was very puzzled. She should be the one who is angry? She was the one who was bullied, right? I was almost killed when I saw them last time. She still looks at herself like this? What about his face? But is this guy sick? How could you look at yourself like this? Is it? Suddenly her heart moved, wouldn't this guy see through her identity as a ghost? It's not right. He looked at his own eyes, as if he were looking at an acquaintance, and he was looking at his loved ones. Nima, wouldn't it be? Sima Yuya was taken aback by her own thoughts. If you were really a relative to that guy, would you be depressed? No? Shouldn't it be so sad? However, Di Yan's look at her eyes made her more and more certain what she thought. But... Sima Yuyu remembered what Yin Lin said before she came in. Hundred ghosts must be in her hands. Isn't this a hundred ghosts, Didi's baby? If he grabs it, will he vomit blood? Thinking that he nearly died last time, he could vomit blood. Little sister, who is that person? It looks strange to look at you, Han Miao Shuang said. An enemy. Sima Yuyu said. Seeing the mouth shape of Sima Yuyu, Di Yan almost spurted blood. What enemy? He is her relative. Loved ones. This girl, after you meet, you must clean up and clean up her. Master, wouldn't she really be your cousin? Said a guard behind Di Yan. Yes, sir. She won't really be my cousin, right? Di Yan also wanted to hear a different answer. She is clearly human, and she doesn't have any ghost-like atmosphere. The ghost master only seemed to come back from what memories, glanced at them, and said, the last time I stamped her on her, it inspired the spirit of ghosts in her body. At that time I knew that her parents must be one party is a ghost clan. But we left too quickly so I did NT feel who her breath was. I thought she was living shortly, and I did NT expect to see her again, and I felt familiar. Breath. Really. I couldn't tell whether it was accident or sad. Whatever it was, it became a mockery in Di Yan's ears. If it's another cousin, you can ignore the owner, 
but that's the child of the Night Princess, you. Stop talking. Diyan glanced back at the man. The child of the Night Princess. What a worrying word. Yuki Luo is only a few years older than him, and the relationship between them is very good. Before her talent was not turned on, when she was looked down upon, she was with him, encouraged him and helped him start another life. He once said that he could betray Dee's family, the royal family, the entire ghost family and even the world, but he would not betray her. As long as she wants it, he will give it to her. Even the horrible ghosts, it was because he heard that this would save her, so he worked hard to find it. If he knew she had children, he didn't know how happy he would be. However, the premise is that it is not the person opposite. The thought of sending someone to kill her daughter, and the thought that her daughter had killed so many ghost soldiers, he wanted to scold the grass. Ugh. No matter how happy he is in his heart, no matter how entangled he is, there is no way he can change this matter, and what he can do now is to accept it. Given what had happened before, he found it difficult to live in harmony. Saima Yuya watched Diyan's expression changed and changed, and then changed, he didn't understand what he was thinking. But he was thinking that it didn't matter, grabbing the ghosts was what she was going to do now. If you haven't met him, she will not miss this opportunity now. What are these people deadlocking in the end? Su Xiao Xiao looked at the three parties facing each other and asked. I don't know, there seems to be a group of people discussing what's going on below, and the people above are waiting for the results. Han Miao Shuang said. Let's wait and see. Saima Yuyu said, Xiao Meng, have you seen the people of the Devil Wolf Clan? Xiaoki nodded, and looked at the back of the demons. Saima Yuyu looked down her eyes and saw hundreds of people with wolf heads embroidered on their clothes. Those are the demons. Well. I don't know the others, but I know the leader. Xiao Meng looked at the middle man. When they used me for experiments, he was only a baby wolf, but he was not in the clan. So come and watch often. I remember he even gave them a knife. The devil wolves. I'll eat them all. Hua Hua looked at the people in regret. Well, we won't let them go. Saima Yuyu said. But there are many other people. As far as we are concerned, I'm afraid not. Su Xiao's novel. Don't worry, it's too early to go out, we will think of a way. Saima Yuyu said, sometimes it doesn't have to be many people. When you were talking about the Zisha Mountains, you used a formation method to destroy the people of the Zhongzheng clan and the Yuniang Palace. Han Miao Shuang asked. Saima Yuyu chuckled and smiled, acquiescing to her words. Formation, that's a really good thing. They negotiated the result. Su Xiao novel. Everyone looked at it, and sure enough, they saw a group of people who had originally gathered together dispersed and retreated. Saima Yuyu noticed that the three people who talked below were all very powerful people. Human races, demons, and ghosts are all respected strong men. Hua Hua said. What the is it, the tribe's elders have come out. Su Xiao Xiao frowned. Saima Yuyu's expression is also more dignified. It will bring people with the strength of the three ethnic groups to discuss things, which is certainly not an ordinary thing. Who is that human? If I'm not mistaken, it's the people at Shenzheng. Su Xiao's novel. Shenzhen Pavilion. Saima Yuyu froze. If Wu Lingyu woke up, he should be able to recognize the identity of this person. Deputy Cabinet Lord. Yu Chengzhong saw the Deputy Cabinet Lord coming back and hurriedly greeted him. Tang Yun, the deputy head of the Shenzhen Pavilion, even if Wu Lingyu was awake, he would be surprised to see him. Because of the many deputies and elders in Shenzhen Pavilion, the youngest Tang Yun rarely came out. I didn't expect to come to Wonderland this time. Tang Yun looks warm and jade, and looks white and holy like everyone else. He has a long black hair that hangs behind him casually, making the whole person look more fairy. Let's go back, Tang Yun said to the people at Shenzhen Pavilion. 
when the people of Shenzhen Pavilion returned to their original positions, talents from other forces surrounded them. Deputy Attorney, what was the result of the negotiation? Tang Yun waved his hand, motioned everyone to be calm and calm, and waited for everyone to calm down before saying, Our final negotiation result is that people of the three groups of devil and man go in at the same time. Go in at the same time? What can we do? We don't agree. How can we be with the demons and ghosts? Yes. Seeing those people becoming so excited, Tang Yun didn't rush to explain. Deputy Attorney, we asked you to negotiate. That's because we respect you, but it's not for you to show weakness to the demons and workers. Tang Yun raised an eyebrow and said, So, are you sure that you can destroy all the demons and demons? The crowd was silent, and none of them had this confidence, and they dared to say that they could kill all the other two ethnic groups. Or, are you sure that you can let the demons or ghosts cooperate with you to deal with the other race? Tang Yun said. The crowd was silent again, and they were still not sure. Just kidding, they have always been hostile to the ghost and demons. How can they cooperate with them to deal with another group? Together they are almost the same for human race. After all, ghosts and demons still have occasional exchanges. Tang Yun watched them silent, and said, No more talking? Didn't everyone say so much excitement? Nothing now. The crowd lowered their heads and did not dare to look directly into his eyes. Since you have no way to destroy the demons and ghosts, and you have not cooperated with them to destroy another group, then you say, give up here or go in with them. It seems that this is the only thing. Wonderland is no better than the mainland, where the demons and ghosts are equal in strength to us. Don't always think that this is the world we inform. Yu Chenji said. On the outside continent, in the Scarlet Channel, there are a lot of human races and strong strength, and naturally, people of the ghost and demons will not be taken to heart. But here is different. As many people as the clan can come in, they can come in as many people as they can, and what strength they can come in. They don't have any advantages here, so they must put away their sense of superiority. Sima Yuya looked at Tang Yun. Just now everyone's emotions were very excited. If they were not careful, they might ferment and make Shenzhen Pavilion become the target of public criticism. And he just solved the matter with only two problems. This guy is amazing. The highest realm of fighting is to defeat the soldiers without fighting. He silenced others in two words, which was higher than that. Tang Yun, the youngest deputy head of the Shenzhen Pavilion, the youngest respectable powerhouse, he can't figure out this little thing, and it's too fame. Zhang Zhengzian opened his eyes and slowly said. He is Tang Yun. Han Miao Shuang and Su Xiao Xiao were a little surprised. They have only heard his name, but they have not seen him. Sima Yu raised an eyebrow. It seems that they all know this person. The youngest deputy, the youngest superpower, she had a lot of interest in him. But they still don't know what happened here. The reaction of the ghost and demons was similar to that of the human race, and at first they were opposed to cooperation with the other two races. But as human beings care, the demons and nobles have the same concerns. Without absolute certainty, they cannot take risks. So, the matter of jointly exploring treasures for the time being was decided. Although unwilling, they had to agree. After talking so much, I still didn't say what it was. Han Miao Shuang said. It's nothing more than finding a treasure, and the three clan found it at the same time, and now they decided to go inside and explore the treasure together. Zhang Zhengzian said lazily. Well, this possibility is very high. Sima Yuyu said, I just don't know what it is. Well? Yuyu. A slightly familiar voice came. Sima Yuyu turned her head to look at the baby-faced girl Zhou Lan who met in Hong Tuling. Zhou Lan, are you here? She was surprised and happy when she saw Zhou Lan. At that time, everyone in the Red Head Ridge was suffering. It's you. Zhou Lan jumped up and looked at Sima Yuyu in surprise. I don't know how to look at your women's clothing, 
I didn't expect it to be. Okay. We heard that the deputy valley owner of Broken Gut Valley is a woman. Like your name, I thought it was just the same name. Jolan said, so I just saw you, we didn't dare to admit it, and everyone made a bet. In the end I lost, let me ask you if it is you. If it is, they will come, if not, it will not be shameful. This group of bad people, their original words are, you just want to lose yourself. So, are others here? Saima Yuyu asked. Here they are, below. I asked them to come up. Jo Lan turned back, beckoned to her martial art, and the others ran over immediately. The swordsmen are not far from here, so they arrive soon. Chi Wei was the fastest runner. He came to Saima Yuyu and danced with his hands and feet. He turned around Saima Yuyu several times, and with various expressions on his face, he was so speechless. It took a while to say a crying cry. Boss, you turned out to be a woman. Da Yi put the paper away. Da Yi Ziao Yi, you have contacted that Saima Yuyu. What do you think about this matter? Asked the people of Bei Changmen. I think it's very possible, said Xiao Wei. I felt a little suspicious about this at first. Why did I suddenly see a relic? Now it seems that there is really a problem. But how did you know that Saima Yuyu? Someone asked, is the news credible? I think it's good to believe some. But I can't give up this opportunity. Then we will go in, but we need to be vigilant, Da Wei said. Notify the disciples inside, and if there is anything, immediately activate the formation and leave. Okay. Saima Yuyu saw that those people saw the note and went in the same way. It was no accident. They didn't bother you. Hua Hua said. Everything was expected, said Saima Yuyu. A piece of paper, at most, alert them to the starting point, it is impossible to stop them. You've known for a long time, then you still tell them. Flowers puzzled. Some relationships are passable. It's their business to say nothing or not. Saima Yuyu said, if they can avoid things, I will be happy. But if they don't listen, if something goes wrong at the end, I won't blame myself. Hua Hua nodded, and she understood something. They're going in, too. Xiao Meng has been paying attention to the Devil Wolf clan, seeing them walking down the mountain, and clenching his fists. Don't worry, they can't escape. Saima Yuyu patted Xiao Men's head. What did you do? Han Miao Shuang asked. It's nothing, just when the chaos just happened, let Chi Feng spill something on them. Saima Yuyu said. Is the poison useful? Will they be discovered by them? Su Xiao Xiao felt a little overwhelmed. If they were to be discovered, they wouldn't be surprised. The Mozu are more sensitive to these flavors. If they are really poisoned, they may not escape their noses, Zhang Zhengxian said. Who said I had poisoned it? Saima Yuyu said. What is not poison? That's just some pollen, some flower pollen. Saima Yuyu said. Isn't it strange that some pollen will be contaminated on the body in Wonderland? And the smell of flowers can last for a long time on them, as long as Chi Feng is in, you can find them. Besides, isn't there still a scroll, but this scroll is sometimes unreliable. Not reliable. The breath of Jew before us is decreasing. When they all dissipate, it is estimated that they will not be able to sense their whereabouts. Saima Yuyu said, after all, this is a magic weapon for human race. The pollen that now has flowers is another guarantee. Han Miao Shuang said. Then when shall we go in? Wait until they're all in. The Terran demon and the ghost race have entered one after another. In order to grab the advance to get the treasure, everyone is scrambling. Many people fought at the entrance again, giving others a chance. Master, they've all gone in. Are we not moving yet? Asked a guard behind Di Yan. Di Yan looked at Saima Yuyu on the opposite mountain, his eyes were getting heavier and he said, Wait again. 
Everyone behind him understood that he wanted to wait for Sima Yuyu to come in together. Even if they don't go together, at least they won't be far apart. Before formally recognizing him, he was already worried about her safety. Unfortunately, Sima Yuyu ignored him. After a while, all the people of the Ghost Clan had entered, and there were few people of the other two clan, but she still did not intend to move, and she vomited blood from Dichi. Can't you get in? Do NT stand outside to tease me if I do NT go in? Master, everyone has gone in, we. Go in. Diyan looked at Sima Yuyu, it should not be like going in, and had to order everyone to go in. At this point they have counted the last few. It's really strange that the other ghosts, they all go in before they go in. Do they know something is going on here? I think, he is more like waiting for us. Zhang Zhengzian said, do you know them? Speaking of the ghost clan. Everyone looked at Sima Yuyu. Only he had contact with the ghost clan, and the other half of her body was also the spirit of the clan. Sima Yuyu looked at them and said, what are you watching us do? You never say, is he waiting for me? Little sister, do you know him? Han Miao Shuang asked. No. Sima Yuyu acknowledged. You actually know him? Why haven't you heard him? Well? Didn't I say that? Sima Yuyu said in amazement, he is the ghost of Hong Tuling? I almost died when I came back from Hong Tuling last time, just to worship them. The three elder brothers and sisters were silent, and then Han Miao Shuang sweared, Fuck, you said earlier, we went up and slaughtered them. Sister you calm down. Sima Yuya was so excited to see her, and held her, be assured, I won't let him go so easily. No wonder why I always see them here. It turned out to be an enemy. Su Xiao Xiao was also very angry. The master and teacher Ge left the academy because Sima Yuyu's constitution was completely inspired, so that they knew her secrets and went to find a solution for her. At the same time, the spirit of the ghost clan was stimulated, and her body was supposed to be on the verge of collapse. It turned out that it was all because of those ghosts. They glared at her, why didn't she say it earlier? Well, you don't have to be so angry. Sima Yuyu smiled. I said everything, and I won't let them go. When I get revenge, you can pack them up. She didn't expect that they would be like this after knowing it, and immediately felt warm. Then let's go in. Han Miao Shuang said. Don't worry, since we are not going to find treasure, then wait again. Sima Yuyu said. What are you waiting for? Now that everyone has finished going in, the ghosts have not made any marks. If they can't find them when they go in. Sima Yuyu looked at the person who lost IQ as soon as she was in a hurry, and said, I can't find someone to wait for them to come out. Oops, sister, calm down. B said that someone was here, we will hide. She took the person into the soul tower and heard the little spirit see the situation outside. A group of masked men in black flew from a distance, looking at the empty valley, and a woman said, as soon as they entered, there should be a lot of people looking into these footprints. Are you ready? A husky voice asked. Yes, it's all set up inside, said the woman. Then let's go in and take a look. Remember to break the retreat of those people and open it again after six months. Yes. After that, all the men in black also entered, leaving only a few guard entrances. Did you smell anything? It seems a little dizzy. Boom. The black men fell down one after another, and then Sima Yuyu appeared in place. Check it out. They came to the man in black and pulled down their masks. Brother, do you know? Sima Yuyu looked at Zhang Zhengzian. Zhang Zhengzian shook her head. Sima Yuyu throws away the mask in his hand, and it seems that people who don't know are making a ghost. Just don't know if these people who framed the dragon religion, and those who started killing people in the first place are a group. What is this? Come and see. Han Miao Shuang beckoned to everyone. 
Sima Yuya walked over and saw a turntable embedded in the soil. There is no energy fluctuation on this turntable. If it were not for the black men who had removed the dirt from above, they would certainly not have found this. Xiao Shimei, do you know what this is? Han Miao Shuang asked Sima Yuyu so enthusiastically. I saw this for the first time, but I've definitely seen it in a book before. Sima Yuyu said, I'll look for it. She probed into the Seoul Tower and searched in the library. Xiao Lingzi appeared, watching Sima Yuyu of the Seoul body. Sima Yuyu looked at Xiao Lingzi's gaze a little wrong. She looked away from the book and asked, What's wrong, Xiao Lingzi? The fourth floor of the Seoul Tower is open. Sima Yuyu's book almost fell to the ground, looked at Xiao Lingzi, and said, I opened it when I was promoted. Xiao Lingzi nodded. Then why didn't you tell me earlier? Sima Yuyu glared at him, seeing something wrong, and said, What's wrong? When you are alone, come in and look at the things on the fourth floor, said Xiao Lingzi. Okay. Sima Yuyu nodded. Looking at him like this, it seems a bit scary on the fourth floor. Seeing Xiao Lingzi not telling himself for so long, I don't want others to know about this. And she has been with others recently. It seems that I have time to come in and take a look. For now, let's take care of the things before us. She kept looking for books, flipping each one down and putting it down. Little Lingzi came to her and said, What are you looking for? Do you remember that there is a book that is relatively old and thin? Are you talking about something weird? Sima Yuyu asked. One of the books here is relatively old and ancient. Second, those books are very thin. Third, most of the books here are about strange books. Which one are you looking for? Xiao Ling the child asked. Sima Yuyu's face is black, this guy. Sima Yuya drew an approximate look of a turntable in the air and said, There is a record of this. Xiao Lingzi thought about it, all the books on the bookshelf flew up, then flipped over, and soon, a book floated in front of Sima Yuyu. This. Sima Yuya grabbed the book, then turned two pages, and said, That's it. Thank you, Xiao Lingzi. When God returned to the outside, Sima Yuyu added an ancient book to his hand. This is it. Han Miao Shuang asked. Um. Sima Yuyu nodded, opened the book, and found a place to tell the turntable. His the Rubik's Cube Sky. Han Miao Shuang called out in surprise when she saw the above. What is the Rubik's Cube Sky? Su Xiao Xiao asked. It is something that can create a space, but this space is built on the real space. Han Miao Shuang said. What does this space do? It can make everything you want to make, similar to magic array. But this is more advanced than magic array, and the things inside are real. Sima Yuyu said. Yes. Everyone took a breath and there was such a high level thing here. Isn't it easy if I want to kill someone inside? If this is the case, aren't all the people who went in before dead? It's not that easy. Sima Yuyu said. The things that are consumed in it need to be supported by spiritual power. The stronger the spiritual power, the more powerful the manufactured things and the larger the scope. That's fine. If it's really intemperate, then this thing is too scary. But this thing is now closed. If there is no external force to open it, or the original owner opened it, don't think of the people inside. Sima Yuyu said. These people just said they broke their retreat that is to say to close this. Xiao Meng guessed, the owner of this thing should be that person. Very likely. Sima Yuyu said. That being said, all the people inside have become a catch-all. It really looks like a fake ruin. Zhang Zhengzi inside. Will we still go in? This Rubik's Cube sky is closed. Unless we open this first, we won't be able to get in. Can you open it? No. What then? The number of people in black just now is quite large. With the help of this thing, it is not impossible to kill all the people inside. Try to open it. Sima Yuyu said. 
Don't you say you can't open it? I can't do it now. But there is a way on it. Sima Yuya raised the ancient book in her hand and pointed at the small line below. Everyone looked at the small print and said, hurry up and study it. They now feel that this guy is still a bit bad in nature, and likes to tease them when they are fine. Sima Yuya took the book and sat aside to study. According to the above method, the original chaotic stones on the turntable were rearranged. Although the book has a formula for setting up a stone, but every step must be particularly careful, so when she reopened it, it had been two or three days. A wave of energy came, just like the previous entrance wave, attracting everyone around. It is done. Um. You can go in. Sima Yuyu said. Then let's go in. Wait. Sima Yuyu stopped them. What are you waiting for? What if we go in and this is locked up? Sima Yuyu asked, so, we have to do something outside. She first arranged a few arrays outside, hidden it here, and then called Xiao Peng and Qunyan out. I arranged the formation, and most people wouldn't find it here. You are here to guard, no matter what happens, you can't let this shut down. You know. Both Xiao Peng and Qunyan understood the importance of this, and nodded and said, Yu Yu, you can rest assured. When necessary, I will call a nearby bird family. Well, I'll leave it to you. After that, she took everyone into that space. Several people from Sima Yuya came to the sky of the Rubik's Cube and found that there is really no difference between it and the outside. If they didn't know in advance, they would be hard to find. Those people have been here for so long and don't know where they are now. Hwawa said. We first packed up the people of the Devil Wolf tribe. Sima Yuyu said. Even if they come in for a day, they will not be too far away. She called out the Red Bees, released them, and let them inquire. By the way, she called Xiao Qi and Tsing Yi out. The space here is quite large, said Xiao Qi after he came out and said something. It's not small. Otherwise how can it accommodate so many people to come in? Sima Yuyu said. There are corpses over there, Xiao Qi said, pointing not far ahead. They flew over and saw a pile of corpses. It's a human race. The people who killed them are also a human race. Su Xiao Xiao checked it and said. It should be the so-called black people who are behind to catch up. Han Miao Shuang said. For them, this is a hunting plan. What kind of purpose did these people come in with? What are they trying to do on the mainland? Sima Yuya frowned. Every time I only caught the dead, I couldn't ask why, Xiao Qi said with a pout. The red bee smells the smell of flowers and pollen, said Sima Yuyu, that direction. They chased in the direction that red bee said, and within two days they caught up with the devil wolf. It really is them. The Devil Wolf is fighting against a group of people at this time. Sima Yuya found that those people's expressions were a little sluggish, not like normal. And the Devil Wolf clan seemed to be a bit overexcited, one by one, like taking stimulants, constantly attacking humans, as if they didn't know the pain at all. They watched from a distance and did not mean to shoot. With their current strength, it is useless to shoot. What do I think of them as abnormal? Xiao Qi said. It is abnormal, as if it was manipulated. Han Miao Shuang said. They're poisoned. Sima Yuya looked at those people's expressions and guessed something was wrong. She sniffed hard. There was a different kind of fragrance here. She took out a few detoxification pills and distributed them to them, saying, Eat this. Several of them were alchemists and at first glance they knew that it was an antidote. One person took one and ate it. Those people should have smelled this smell while passing by. Then they lost their senses and the two sides fought. The fighting power of the devil wolves is quite strong. Han Miao Shuang said. The fighting power of the demon wolf is the highest in the demon world. Xiao Meng said, it is because of their strong fighting power that they will have a rich family land in the cruel demon world that survives. Come here. There are so many of them, 
so excited, it's not easy to deal with them. Now the right place is the same as the others. Of course it's not easy. Sima Yuyu said, feeling the wave around her, she stretched her hand to Xiaoman's hand and said, Don't worry, we will all of them of. Xiao Meng's hand was squeezed into a fist. She looked at Sima Yuyu and nodded heavily. She believed in her master. She said she would take her revenge, and she would. The battle in the distance quickly separated the victory and defeat, and the human race was completely killed, but the devil wolf did not lose much, which shows that their combat effectiveness is strong. Looking at such a fierce and warlike devil wolf tribe, Sima Yuyu also felt some headaches, so you need to plan well. After the demon wolves killed everyone, they continued to move forward, and gradually woke up when they were far away. What happened to us just now? I just experienced a battle just now, haha, the one who kills is called Chuang. But why can't I remember? I don't think you remember when you were killing people. No, we were a little abnormal just now. Someone said, it is indeed the emperor's relic, and we are stunned in any place. So, is it really the ruins of the emperor? Yes. Haha, <laughs> go and see what we can get baby no. Ha ha ha. The people flew away, and Sima Yuya heard their words through the red bee, speechless to the extreme. Is it really an orc, so there is no brain? This is obviously not the role of the ruins, okay? Looking at those happy ones really makes people. Xiao Meng looked at those people smiling so happily. At the beginning, after annihilating the Nightmare Clan, they also laughed wildly on her land, showing their victory. Thinking of those dead relatives, she clenched her fists. She vowed to kill these people with her own hands. The nails ran into the palm, dripping with blood, just like her heart now. Xiao Qi was next to Xiao Meng, feeling her pain, she opened her fingers and said, don't be sad, we are with you. They have gone far, to keep up. Sima Yuya waved, and everyone followed the devil wolf distantly. During this period, the demon wolf race experienced two more battles, once with the demon race, and once with the ghost race, both ended with their victory, which shows that their fighting power is strong. After two days of talking, she finally found a chance. The Devil Wolf clan encountered a human force, and it happened that the person from that force came out of the canyon in front. During the battle, those people accidentally said something to retreat to the ruins to let the Demon Wolf know the canyon ahead. The Red Bee had discovered the canyon long ago, and Sima Yuya was worried about seeing them cheat into the canyon. Someone sent a pillow when they really dozed off. Let's go to the front to set it up. Sima Yuyu took out a one-time formation and took everyone to the canyon. I'm going to arrange the array. Sima Yuyu threw people on the canyon, and went to the sides of the canyon to arrange the array. She first set up a sleepy dragon array, and she wanted to let these people in, so she didn't even want to go out, and then arranged a magic array, and then put enough poison at the entrance. As soon as those people come in, as long as the sleepy dragon array opens, those poisons will spread. Yuyu, Yu, what poison did you get? Zioki ran to Sima Yuyu Yu and asked. The poison that can make them enjoy it. Sima Yuyu Yu said. Is it the poison that poisoned Yin and Yang Palace last time? No. Sima Yuyu Yu put away the jade bottle. This is an upgraded version of that poison. That one can only deal with humans. This will definitely make the demons and the demons do the same. Everyone saw that Sima Yuyu had such an idea in their hearts. In the future, don't just mess with the mage and poisoner, especially a careful and dark-lined mage and poisoner. After Sima Yuyu arranged everything properly, she took everyone to the cliff on the side and hid them all with a small array, waiting for the demons to come in. Half a day later, the Red Bee guarding outside came the news that the people of the Demon Wolf clan came, and Sima Yuyu immediately started the small formation method, completely hiding their figure and breath. Soon, they saw the people of the Demon Wolf race running up excitedly. Haha, <laughs> this is the canyon that humans say. This is part of the ruins? How does it look ordinary? 
you forgot what the human race said. There is a magic formation outside. You must break the fantasy formation to see the scene inside. We don't understand the formation, how can we break that magic formation? We don't understand the formation, but we have power. Smash it. I smashed everything outside, and how long can that formation last? Yes. We have power. Go on, smash these things. The people of the Devil Wolves were excited, condensing their magic power, and blasted the stones and flowers outside into ashes. The people of the Demon Wolf can't see Sima Yuyu, but they see the Devil Wolf clearly. Seeing the demon wolf blasting without a rule, she couldn't help but twitched her mouth. Fortunately, the matrix she arranged was relatively solid, or else they were so troubled, so don't try to open it. She broke into a spiritual power, activated the magical array, and after the magic had dissipated, another scene appeared in the canyon. So strong magic. Is the emperor here really a demon? Haha, <laughs> so we can use everything here. Come on and see what baby is inside. The demon wolves scrambled into the canyon, and after they all entered the canyon, Sima Yuyu opened the sleepy dragon formation. As soon as the sleepy dragon formation was opened, the magic formation completed its mission, and the sight in front of it disappeared instantly, and the rich magic was gone. How is this going? The devil wolf looked at the changes around him, surprised. Young Patriarch, it is a formation. They looked up and saw a layer of ripples on the canyon, as did the entrance and exit. Obviously, the entire canyon was covered by Matrix formations. Who's making a ghost? Wolf Wing shouted while watching the air. Master Ziogu, there's no magic here, we've been cheated. Master Ben knows. Wolf Wing shouted at the people. Even now they can't see that they have been cheated, so he doesn't have to hang around in the demon world. Who is the ghost? The demon wolf called again. Sima Yuyu unlocked the formation, and they immediately found the figure on the cliff. Who are you? Why design us? Wolf Wing asked. We may not know you, but you should understand when you see her. Sima Yuyu said, and turned aside, showing the little dream behind. The moment he saw Xiao Meng, Wolf Wing was speechless in surprise. Dream, nightmare. Wolf Wing, do you remember me? Xiao Meng looked at him coldly, and the killing in his eyes was too strong. You are the nightmare. Wolf Wing remembered that when she was a child, she had seen people in the clan dissect her with others. After all these years, she still looks like that, deep in her memory. Rarely do you remember me. Impossible, haven't you been suppressed? How could it be here? Wolf Wing cried. I would like to thank you for suppressing me in the human world. How else can I know my master and rescue me? Xiao Meng sneered. Well, even if you are an immortal, with a human race as the owner, do you think you can beat us? When Wolf Wing saw Sima Yuyu, their number was not large, and their strength was not very strong and they did not look at them. After a brief surprise, he returned to his usual arrogance. When did we say that we are going to fight with you? You silly forks! Xiao Qi held his hands up and looked silly at you. Do you want to deal with us using this formation? Wolf Wing said, Why, do you want to use this to trap us all our lives, or come inside and fight us directly? Looking at Sima Yuyu above them, he guessed that they would not come inside. If they come down, they can just wipe them out and then slowly crack the array. I want to use the radical method to lead us down. Unfortunately, this is every use for us. Sima Yuyu said. Wolf Wing's eyes narrowed, it seems that these people are planning to consume them. Some of you, go and break the formation for me. He ordered to several people around him. Yes the Patriarch. Those people flew into the air and attacked the formation, but no matter how strong they exerted, they could not move the formation. After several consecutive attacks, the demon wolves felt dizzy and weak, and thumped from the air to the ground. Useless thing. 
Wolfwing didn't feel any abnormality of those people, pointing at several other people and saying, Go. Those clans went up to attack, just like the others before, but they fell down without a few attacks. Useless thing. You two will go up again. Wolfwing roared. Matriarch, I think things are strange, said a person beside Wolfwing. Where is the trick? Wolfwing asked. The people we brought in are all very powerful, and it's impossible to attack a few times to become like this, said the man. Wolfwing calmed down and thought about it, indeed. The people of the Devil Wolf can't be so low in strength. After a few attacks, they become like this. Let's go and see what happened to them. Yes. The man went to check it and came back again, saying, Young Patriarch, they should be poisoned. Poisoned? How could it be poisoned? You read that right? No, it's really poisoned. Ha ha ha. Xiao Qi voice came from the cliff, and she covered her mouth and laughed, We just want to see when you will react to poisoning. It is really a group of silly forks. It took so long to react to poisoning. The face of the devil wolves changed, these people not only trapped them in the formation, but also poisoned them. They were already prepared. What poison did you poison us? A kind of poison that will make you all weak and unable to mobilize your body's magic power. However, it will not take effect so soon at first, but once you mobilize your body's magic power, it will speed up the drug effect. Saima Yuyu explained. As she said, the people who were mobilizing the magic below to attack quickly hurled the magic, even the wolf wing. He he. You fools, even if you don't mobilize the magic, this poison will have its effect in half an hour. Now ten minutes have passed, and you still have ten minutes of free time. Xiao Qi kind reminder. Xiao Qi words greatly changed the faces of the demons, and they were all poisoned? Impossible. They are sturdy devil wolves, how could they be poisoned by human poison? Don't believe it. Xiao Qi said. You can try your luck and magic to see if they are like those people. No one tried. They already believed Zyoki's words subconsciously, and in order to avoid the premature action of the poison, they did not move. What do you want to do? Wolfwing asked with a black face. Do you still need to ask? Xiao Qi eyes dumb expression, tooth for tooth, eye for eye. What did you do to Xiao Meng, what will you return today? Dare you? What dare you? Do you think this is still the demon world, or where you rule? If you dare to kill us, my demon wolf tribe will not let you go. Even if you hide in the human world, they will dig you three feet to dig you out. Wolfwing threatened. Really? Then let them come to dig the ground three feet. Saima Yuyu said, perhaps, before they come to dig the ground three feet. We have already attacked the demon world and carried your old nest. Now you worry about yourself. Wolfwing looked at Saima Yuyu, not knowing why, looking at this weak human, a chill came out of his heart. Is it really true that we are here today? Little dream, it's almost time, said Saima Yuyu, be careful. Um. Xiao Meng nodded, and her feet were about to fly down. Wait. Saima Yuyu held her, took out Ling Long, and said, Let her go with you. Ling Long flew out of Saima Yuyu's hand and came to Xiao Meng and stunned. Xiao Meng held Ling Long and flew down. The sleepy dragon formation, Su was not allowed in and out, when Xiao Meng flew in, the ripples moved, and then calmed down again. The demon wolves watched her with vigilance, and when she went further, they stepped back. The nightmare beast, I advise you not to mess around. You know my devil wolf, you. I know, of course, I know that your demon wolf is cruel, and does nothing evil. The thing you like most is to destroy other people. Xiao Meng said, but how about that? My people have been killed by all of you, you can still destroy my second race? As she said, her hand waved exquisitely, and the sword's anger was released. Those who had fallen to the ground before were killed with a sword. Dream Beast, don't be impulsive, 
we have something to say. Over time, they have now felt slow to move and their magic has been blocked. Faced with small dreams, even with so many of them, they have no power to fight back. Speak well. When you destroyed my nightmare, did you think about it? Have you talked about it well? In those years you experimented with me thousands of times and stripped me alive again and again. Have you thought about it? Say. For the first time, Han Miaoshuang and Su Xiaoxiao listened to Xiaoman's story and thought of the pictures she said, they couldn't help but red eyes. They couldn't imagine it. She watched the tribe die because of her own death. She was repeatedly stripped alive but couldn't die. How could Xiaoman be so small at that time? Xiao Meng waved exquisitely without saying a word, and a group of devil wolves died under her sword. Blood splattered on her face and body, and her fierce look made her look like he was rising from hell. When you killed me, you could nt get anything out of me. You sealed my strength and memory and suppressed me on the mainland of Yilin for hundreds of years. Have you thought about it? Xiao Meng wielded another sword. Now, tell me, if you have something to say. You say, how can we say it? When Xiao Meng regained her memory, Xiaoqi was not by her side and did not see her madness. Today, after hearing what she said, she felt that her heart would be broken. Xiao Meng, don't stab them with a sword. Her little feet stunned, and people flew down, came to Xiao Meng, looked at those people and said, it is too cheap for them to stab them with a sword. I'm coming too. Hua Hua flew in. Standing on the other side of Xiao Meng, whatever I do, it's my share. Although the name Huawa was given to her by Xiao Meng, although she always felt that the name was too insignificant, this did not erase the friendship between them. Xiao Meng looked at Xiao Qi and looked at Hua Hua, nodded and said, Xiao Qi is right, killing them in this way is really cheap. They talked about tooth for tooth, eye for eye, and it couldn't make you so easy. Death. Right, Wolfwing? Seeing Xiaoman's smile, Wolfwing wanted to step back, but fell down because of his numbness. What do you want to do? He asked, shaking his body. Did I not say it, tooth for tooth, eye for eye? What have you done to me and what have you done to me, I will give it back to you little by little. Wolfwing remembered that she had been seen by those people's live anatomy, and she was so scared that she turned white and said, don't. You don't have to say no. This is not the time for you to decide. Xiao Qi went up, stepping on his chest with one foot, and said, hum, how many times did Xiao Meng say that in the past? Did you agree? Do NT ask others to do what you did NT do then? Fa Hua Hua added a vine in his hand, and with a wave of his hand, the vine yanked those people with a whip. Oh. Are we going to dissect? I don't have a knife yet. Yuyu Xiao Qi shouted to Sima Yuyu. Sima Yuyu looked at her funny look, shook her head silently, took out two daggers, and threw them over. With a wave of vines, the vines rolled up the two daggers and pulled them back. She gave Xiaoki a hand, Ling Long twisted her body and turned into a dagger. Now the three of them have a dagger. So let's get started. Xiao Qi glanced at Xiao Meng and retreated to the side. This person who has hurt Xiao Meng herself must of course be solved by herself. Xiao Meng slowly walked over, squatting beside Wolf Wing, playing with the dagger in his hand. You can rest assured that Ling Long is very sharp. Although it passes through your body, it will never make you feel pain. Even if I cut all of them, they will still look like they are connected. The more the Wolf Wing listened, the more his body trembled, and now he finally understood the expression in the eyes of the little girl lying on the cutting board when they saw them. It was panic, despair, pain, and struggle. But what he didn't know was that after repeating the torture hundreds or thousands of times, when I saw those daggers again, the feeling was doubled. Xiao Meng put his left hand on the wolf wing's belly, and a thought, a flame wrapped his upper body instantly, and burned his clothes clean. Unexpectedly, the figure of the devil wolf looks interesting. It's a pity that such a good figure can't hold the slightest surprise in their eyes. Puff. Without warning, 
Xiao Meng stabbed a dagger into his chest. Tear dash dash. Xiao Meng held the dagger and pulled it from his chest to his belly. Blood kept pouring out, and it couldn't spray out. Wolf Wing opened his mouth, his eyes were wide, and he couldn't believe that he had actually been opened. That's how you cut my belly back then. Xiao Meng said, you see, I still remember now, how did you hand them the knife, how did you stand on the side and say, why is my belly nothing at all? Wolf Wing's eyeballs finally managed to turn around. Looking at Xiao Men's angry eyes, I remembered the first time I went to see them dissect Xiao Meng. Tear dash dash. The sound of the flesh being cut apart was particularly clear in the darkened hut. The little wolf winged over, saw Xiao Men's empty stomach, and said curiously, Patriarch, why is there nothing in this person's body? Because she has been dissected too many times by others, they have cleared her internal organs and have not grown yet, said a hands-on old man. Her internal organs are gone, why haven't she died yet? Little Little Wings asked. Because, there is something in her heart. That thing can guarantee that she won't die no matter what kind of injury she has suffered, said the demon wolf chief. Then we take that thing out. Can't take it out. Every time we approach the heart, we are blocked by invisible forces. So we can't move her heart, and she can't die. At this time, Xiao Meng on the chopping board opened his eyes, and little wolf wings will always remember those eyes, so clear, so painful, so hopeless. Puff. Xiao Meng stabbed with a knife, and then pulled hard, and his liver was pulled out by her, followed by other internal organs and intestines. In the beginning, you didn't think I had fun with the internal organs, and today you can feel the feeling of emptying in the belly. The light in Wolfwing's eyes was slowly dissipating, and the vitality in the body was also passing away quickly. He is not a small dream, an immortal body without a small dream. Xiaoman's internal organs are gone, and a heart is hanging, waiting for the other internal organs to be born again. And he, without it, has nothing. When the wolf wing swallowed the last breath, white light flashed, and he recovered the body, a huge devil wolf. His eyes were wide enough to die. He might have never dreamed that Wonderland and his party would cost him his life. The devil, the devil wolf, and the wolf wing's life cards were broken, causing a huge sensation in the devil wolf. Tracing by blood, broken. A force was poured into the broken life card and then a picture appeared in front of everyone. Everyone present was shocked to see the little blood-stained face in the picture. Patriarch, that's not. The words behind that man couldn't be said, that face, they were too familiar. Nightmare. Really a nightmare. Patriarch, shouldn't that nightmare be suppressed in the captive continent? How could it appear in a fairyland? Do you need to say that? It must have been rescued. Patriarch, would you tell the other forces the news? No. The Patriarch waved his hand. Why? You haven't found that, the Nightmare Beast has been contracted, said the Demon Wolf Chief. Seems. Isn't she killing her before? Now she's contracted with others. I want to know if that thing is better or the contract rules are better. If her owner was killed. Would she die if she had an undead nightmare? If she died, would he be able to get that baby? Well, the tale that can rule the entire devil. According to the two people around her, find out who has been contracted by the nightmare beast. The demon wolf chief ordered. Yes, patriarch. Also, be careful not to be noticed by other forces. Do you know? We understand that the Patriarch is assured that we will be careful. Go on. Yes. Uh. The picture suddenly disappeared, but that picture has been carved into the hearts of everyone present. Shocked by the news of the Nightmare Beasts, they even forgot that their minor Patriarch was killed. Xiao Qi looked at Tsing Yi, who suddenly started, blinked, and asked, What happened to Tsing Yi? There is a secret method on the body and there will be a scene of his death through the secret method. Tsing Yi explained. It doesn't matter if Xiao Meng is seen by him, 
but he doesn't want others to see Xiaoqi. So, you may already know that Xiao Meng has come out. Zhang Zhengzian said. Um. Sima Yuyu also knew this. If it wasn't for the other party's secret method, Tsing Yi would not have found it. Aren't you worried? Zhang Zhengzian asked. What is there to worry about, said Sima Yuyu, don't say that they can't get over now, even if they are over, we can be afraid they won't succeed. Well, even if they don't come, we will one day go find them. Her words trembled a few people, and her self-confidence made them all feel that if those people came to her, it would be a dead end. What about the remaining people? Do they really have to wait for them all to open their stomachs? Su Xiao Xiao asked. Naturally, when I said yes, I wouldn't let them do what they would do. Sima Yuyu said pettingly. When is that going to happen? Relax, they are fast. Sima Yuyu said with a smile. They didn't understand what she meant at first, and immediately saw the madness of the three of them. Within half an hour, all the wolves were ripped open. This, this efficiency. Han Miao Shuang both stammered. After finishing the last devil wolf, Huawa and Xiaoqi came to Xiao Meng and asked, Should you clean up the body? According to past experience, Xiao Qi said that to clean up was to burn it all with a flame. Little Dream thought, shook his head. Let them be the most reminder to the other demons. Let them tell those people that I am back. I will go for revenge one by one. Okay then. The demon wolves are all dead, Sima Yuyu unlocks the formation, and they return to the cliff. I'll go and remove the formation first. In order to temporarily prevent the demons from turning their attention to them, it is better to erase the traces here. When they finished packing, they received a call for help. Boss, help! Chi Wei shouted in his son-in-law. Sima Yuyu seemed to be experiencing a big war when she heard her son and mother. Sima Yuyu was speechless, and it was too unreliable to ask for help. If she didn't follow here, who would they ask for help? For the treasure hunt, you can leave everything alone, she said. Boss, I have worked very hard to live, but if you don't come again, we will die. Chi Wei shouted. Look at your vocals so loudly, your spirit is so good, it should be enough to deal with those people. Sima Yuyu said so, but took out the scroll and looked up. Boss Chi Wei was crying, and there were people dying around him, and even his master was badly injured. Okay, don't give me this look, which direction are you in? Sima Yuyu asked. How do I know which direction it is? Zwe said. There is no reference for this. Then look at your shadow, long or short. In which direction? Sima Yuyu asked. Northwest, the shadow is only one foot long, Zwe said. Okay, I see. Sima Yuyu said stubbornly to contact him, looked at the position of his shadow, and judged each other's position. Their shadow is facing southeast, and the shadow is not long, indicating that the sun is among them, and the distance is not very far. They're northwest of us. According to this distance, there are more people here. They should be here. Sima Yuyu pointed at a bunch of red dots. It's highly likely. Then let's hurry up, or they'll be done over there. Don't worry. Sharpen the woodworker by mistake. Sima Yuyu said. What are you going to do? Han Miao Shuang asked. Sima Yuyu took out a pile of stones and said, At this time, the role of the array master becomes apparent. Without array methods, it is like abandoning the plane and taking the green leather train. Airplane train. Everyone looked at her, what, and what was this? Ahem. Well, what will I tell you later? Sima Yuyu said, let me arrange the array first. This distance teleportation array was a piece of cake for her, and it was set up in less than an hour. Can this take us there? Xiao Qi asked. There are no specific spatial coordinates, but you can make an approximation based on distance and direction. Sima Yuyu said, at least half of the distance can be shortened. Well, the formation is done, 
let's go. A group of people came to the formation, and after Sima Yuyu opened the formation, they disappeared together. Those arrays of stones, all turned into powder because of the exhaustion of spiritual power. Soon after they left, a group of demons passed by and saw the demonic wolf that was ripped open. They were frightened. The wolf race is a highly combative race. Kill all, or in this way, I don't know who offended. Especially the internal organs that had been thrown to the ground, even the demon clan could not stand it anymore. Boss, should we pack them? A younger brother asked. What to pack? Isn't the devil wolf tribe in the devil realm very arrogant? Let them stay here for a few more days. Someone will collect them. The boss is right. Not only do we not collect their corpses, but when we go back, we must publicize their appearance, hum, it's strange to see that the devil wolf does not get an internal injury this time. Boss is wise. Then let's go, just in case those people come back and kill us together, it will be miserable. Yes, yes, we have to leave here quickly. Even the devil wolf can't deal with it, we certainly are not opponents. Wait a minute, record this here with Shadow Stone, and go back to show it to others. The so-called boss took out a stone, injected magic into it, recorded the image here, especially took a close-up of Wolfwing, and then left with satisfaction. Sima Yuyu came out of the formation and found that the red dot on the scroll was next to them, indicating that they were less than a hundred kilometers apart. There is a strong energy wave over there. Xiao Qi sensed it and said. Check it out. Sima Yuyu called out Chong Ming, flew in that direction, and soon saw the fierce fighting situation over there. Even when they were far away, they saw swordsmen and several other factions fighting against a group of spirit beasts. Wait. Tsing Yi uttered, Sima Yuyu immediately stopped Chong Ming. What's wrong, Tsing Yi? Those spirit beasts, their bodies have no vitality. They are not true spirit beasts. Tsing Yi said, they are fake. Fake. Tsing Yi nodded. As a tree of life, there is no way to hide his life. So, these spirit beasts were transformed by those people. Zhang Zhengzian said. Sima Yuyu looked around and said, these people want to make and control these spirit beasts, and they won't be too far away. B, go and find out, where are those black men? Move fast, they almost out of support. Thousands of red bees flew up and flew in all directions. Sister, you go and help them resist it. Before you can solve those people, this spirit beast cannot be killed. Sima Yuyu said. It is good. You take this. Sima Yuyu took out a few thunderbolts and handed them to them. This thing is fun. Let's go. Han Miao Shuang took the thunderbolts and passed with Su Xiao Xiao. Let's go too. When Red Bee finds those people, they will have a hard fight. The people of the Swordsman School are almost unable to support, not that they are not strong, but that these spirit beasts can't be killed at all. They are constantly consuming their physical and spiritual power, and those spirit beasts will be killed and reborn, they will never be killed. If this continues, everyone's spiritual power will be used up. Zhou Lan and his group of disciples surrounded several seriously injured masters and confronted those spirit beasts. Qi Wei, haven't you asked Yu Yu for help? Can she come over? Yu Qing asked. Now, Sima Yu Yu is their last hope. Let us not talk about rushing over, even if you come over, with the strength of several of them, you may not be able to deal with these people. A disciple of the swordsman school said. You don't know her, as long as she can come, it will definitely save us. Blamed us, didn't believe what you said. Several elderly people were injured and surrounded by disciples to protect them, but even they were injured. How long can these disciples support? If I believed what Lan Jian said before I came in, how could I encounter such a thing now? They are both obsessed with the words remains. Master, rest assured. The boss said that he would come over, and he will definitely come over. As long as she comes, we will be saved. 
Chi Wei said. Those people still have no hope, not because they do not believe in Sima Yuyu, but because these spirits are too weird. Who can deal with something that can't be killed? When Han Miao Shuang passed by, the swordsman people were already dead for the most part, and the rest were still stubborn, but at a glance they knew they would not last long. And in the distance, a large group of spirit beasts came out, looking far away, densely. Swordsmen see the spirit beasts, and their hearts are filled with despair. The spirit beasts are already overwhelming themselves, and there are so many more. They are afraid that they really want to leave their lives here today. These spirit beasts really seem to come alive. Han Miaxuang's clear voice fell into the ears of swordsmen, and it was a sound of nature. Boom! Boom! A few thunderbolts flew over, and those spirit beasts were directly blown into the air, greatly reducing the pressure here. Qi Wei, they looked, but only saw Han Miaoshuang them, but did not see Sima Yuyu. Where is the boss? Go to the root cause. Everyone is coming back and staying away from these spirit beasts. Han Miaoshuang flew in and dealt with them with them. Swordsmen knew the power of thunderbolts, called their respective spirit beasts, and ran towards the back. They ran, the spirit beasts chased, and those spirit beasts gradually gathered together. Really good Han Miaoshuang smiled, took out a few thunderbolts and gave them to the crowd. There were several deafening explosions, and those spirit beasts were directly overturned. After this bombardment, those spirit beasts were less than half, but new spirit beasts appeared. Wipe, there's no end. Chi Wei cried. If you don't get the people behind you, these spirit beasts can't be killed. Han Miao Shuang said. What do you mean? An old man asked. Simply put, this is not a relic here, but a man-made fantasy-like space. In this space, those people create what they want. These spirit beasts have no vitality and are being made, as long as the person does not die, these spirit beasts will not break. Understand? Those people nodded. It would be nice if we believed in you earlier. Lan Jian's master sighed. But when did you know? We were just skeptical at first and didn't know what it was, Han Miaoshuang said. Later after you went in, another group of people in black came. We saw them digging out the sky of the Rubik's Cube, and it happened that the little sister knew this, and then fully understood what was going on. If these people believe in their words a little, hesitate a little bit, there will be nothing today. It's a pity that they are all fascinated by the baby's opportunity and no one believes their words. The swordsmen were ashamed, but that was the end of the matter, and it was useless to regret it. It's just a pity that there are so many disciples. Well, the spirit beast has disappeared. Han Miao Shuang said. One or two disappeared in the beginning, and disappeared into pieces in the back. The last one was gone. It seems that Xia Shime has taken care of those people. Han Miao Shuang said and took out Zimu Shi and contacted Sima Yuyu. You are waiting in the same place, we will pass immediately. Before Han Miao Shuang said, Sima Yuyu's voice came out first. They waited for a while, Sima Yuyu and Zioki came with two men in black. Is this manipulating? Su Xiao Xiao asked. No. Sima Yuyu tossed the two men to the ground. The manipulator is dead, otherwise these spirit beasts will not disappear. These two are his followers. Chi Wei, they jumped down, trying to pack up these people, and were stopped by Sima Yuyu. I haven't asked any news yet. If you die, will you accompany me? After hearing what Sima Yuyu said, Chi Wei gave up decisively, turned around and ran to Sima Yuyu, and said, Boss, I know you will come to save us. Sima Yuyu saw his dog leg like smile and pushed his face away with a single palm, saying, Did I not say that something should be done by myself? If I didn't come in here, who would you ask for help? We have no choice but to give it a try. I didn't expect it to be really useful. Chi Wei said with a smile. The old men from the swordsman school came over and gave a big gift to Sima Yuyu and Han Miao Shuang, saying, Thank you for your help, 
and the disciples of the Swordsman School are grateful. If there is any need in the future, the Swordsman School will be full help. Sima Yuyu didn't take the words of these old people seriously. Although she saved them, she didn't think that people who only thought about treasure hunt would really appreciate themselves. She saved them, but to save her friends. However, since others have said so politely, then she. If anything happens, there will definitely be a swordsman sent to help. Han Miaoshuang saw Sima Yuyu's politeness and came over and asked, Little sister, what have you done to these people? It didn't do anything, it just made them temporarily unable to kill themselves. Sima Yuyu said. Then we are going to interrogate them. No, I'll leave these two to the swordsman. I think you must know more about those things than we do. Sima Yuyu said, now that the crisis has been lifted, then we will leave. The old men opened their mouths, hindering their emotions, and shouted. Boss, aren't you with us? Chi Wei asked everyone's opinions. I still have my work to do. You now know what is here, presumably you know how to do it. Sima Yuyu said, if you come up with any questions, please also spread the news. After all, this wonderland there seems to be a big conspiracy behind the opportunity. Goodbye. After that, she and Han Miaoshuang jumped on Kong Ming's back, and turned away without looking back. Master, what do we do now? Master Lan Jian sighed and said, since there are no relics, let's go out. Take these two people and go outside and ask what is going on. Yes, Master. Sima Yuya flew far away, and Han Miaoshuang couldn't help but wonder about her curiosity and said, Little sister, you just sent someone to them? We won't try it for ourselves. These people are all dead men. Even if they are interrogated, they cannot be found. Sima Yuyu said, The information I want has been obtained. Have you interrogated? Interrogation may be false, but their memory will not deceive. Sima Yuyu laughed badly. What have you done? In fact, it's nothing. It's just a step into the sea of consciousness. And only you, such a perverted mental power, dare to do such a thing. Sima Yuyu smiled, all thanks to her previous understanding of the field, which allowed her to grow a lot of mental power, which can directly invade the living sea. Then what did you find out in those people's knowledge? Su Xiao Xiao asked. They are all soldiers, and they don't know about the organization. Sima Yuyu frowned. The organization is very strict, everyone only obeys orders from the higher level, and knows very little about what to stop. All the actions were only known at the time, and they were always wearing masks that cut off the senses, so they were not familiar with each other. Only people who are often together can distinguish each other. So, I haven't got any news. Han Miaoshuang said. Well there are still some details. I still need to analyze it carefully to reach a conclusion. Sima Yuyu said, but they do know a little about this time. What are they? First of all, this Rubik's Cube sky is controlled by several people. The one killed by Xiao Qi just now is one of them. If you want to completely solve this problem, you must solve all the people who control it. Sima Yu said. It's easy to do after all. Just find them and you can solve it. What else? The other thing is that the previous killings were also run by this organization. Sima Yuyu said, they played a Wonderland massacre, and several groups were dispatched, who killed more than the last one. Sure enough, this organization did it. Han Miaoshuang said, is that what they did in Yunhai City last time? They don't remember it, Sima Yuyu said but judging by their way of doing things, it is very likely. Wonderland Massacre, this is interesting, Zhang Zhengzian said, but they should be more than just massacre, right? Framed. Yes. Sima Yuyu said, different groups frame different forces. In our area, it is your divine dragon religion. As for the others who are framed, these people don't know. Who is this force? With such a skill, the general forces inside can't do it. 
Han Miao Shuang said. Everyone was silent, and they had no answer to this matter. Take care of things here first, and maybe get more news about the later things. Sima Yuyu said. This can only be the case now. Now that they have a target, they have a direction of action, killing those people who control it, and the Rubik's Cube sky is automatically cracked. She learned from the memory of the people in black that there were five people who controlled this. After coming in, they were responsible for the five areas in the southeast, northwest, and middle. The man in the middle is the strongest, Sima Yuyu dare not mess with it easily, and now I have done the other three. So, in the next few days, Sima Yuyu got all the black men in those three positions, and rescued many people by the way. Some of these forces were reminded by Sima Yuyu, but they still didn't have a long-term mind, or they were killed and fell, and they were ashamed after being rescued by Sima Yuyu. Sima Yuyu saw the best people at the ever-changing gate, and they were incomparable with other forces. They were calm. But still cannot get rid of those entangled spirit beasts. These beasts are strange, no matter where we teleport, they will soon catch up. Dewey said. Really, the ruins are not seen, but are entangled by these spirit beasts. I don't think it's a relic here, said Xiao Wei. Yu Yu is right, this is a fake relic. Unfortunately, we didn't believe her. If it hadn't been for her alertness, we would have been killed by those poisons before, Dewey said. Anyway, we don't listen to advice. Xiao Wei sighed. Fortunately, we have enough formations. Otherwise these spirit beasts will be enough for us. Come again. Can't we let us catch our breath? Xiao Wei cried. They just came out of the formation for a while, and before they recovered their spiritual power, these spirit beasts chased up again. They have formations, do these spirit beasts also have formations? It really hurts. Their spiritual power has been used up before, but now it is hard to recover a little bit and they are used to open the teleportation array. What will happen when they run out of teleportation arrays? Well, don't talk about those. Hurry up and think of a way to get rid of these spirit beasts. Dewey said. How to get rid of it? We leave with a teleportation array and they catch up again, and even if they leave again, they will catch up. This is useless at all. We need to find a way to solve it completely. Xiao Wei said. But those spirit beasts can't be killed at all. I think of something, I don't know if you think of it. Da Wei said. What? The Rubik's Cube Sky, Da Wei said. What? That thing. Isn't that thing lost? But this is too much like that. If it's really that, then we have to find someone who controls it, otherwise these spirit beasts don't want to throw it away. I also feel that these spirit beasts were created artificially. God, if that's the case, we're in trouble. Once they are stared at by the manipulator of the Rubik's Cube, things will not end if they are not removed. The man who controls it doesn't know where it is yet. We have to find him out. Dewey said. Well, you guys researched the most and talk about how to find those people. We are exhausted now. What can we do if we find it? We can't beat each other, but we still die. Dewey's words silenced everyone. In fact, it is true. Even if they find them now, they can't beat them. The final result is still dead. Hum Xiaowei laughed suddenly when he saw something in the grass, haha, we don't necessarily die. What happened? Red B. You use Red B. That means she's here. Xiao Wei said excitedly. Not just a junior, I'm excited to see you. Hey, you're waiting to look good. Xiao Wei said with a smile. They fled twice again, and when the spirit beasts caught up again, all of them suddenly disappeared. Gone. It seems the person in control was killed. It must have been done by Yu Yu. Xiao Wei said. Teacher Xiao Wei really believes me. The space channel opened, and Sima Yuya walked out with a few men in black. Yuyu, it's you. Xiao Wei said, I know, 
you can definitely handle this. It's too easy for you to believe me, if I didn't kill that person. Sima Yuyu said. We still know a little about you, Xiao Wei said. He meant that he had cracked the formation together. Sima Yuyu threw people to the ground and said, Well, I have something to tell you. Sima Yuyu's single-handed appearance made all the people in the door change hold. Ahem, is there anything wrong? Da Wei first responded and asked. You look at these two people first, don't you know them? Sima Yuyu kicked the two people around him and carried them to Da Yi. They leaned down and pulled down their masks, shook their heads and said, None of them. Hearing this, Sima Yuyu was not surprised. This force should be so careful that it should not cause anyone to catch them. Are these those who control the sky of the Rubik's Cube? Xiao Wei asked. Sima Yuyu raised her eyebrows. Do they know the Rubik's Cube sky? Then the next thing is easy to say. But think about it too. Before, the Variety Gate was the ancestral sect in the formation. They do NT know. Who would know? Um. Sima Yuyu said, this time I'm looking for you, it's also related to this. What do we want to do? I learned from the people I caught before that a total of five people are controlling the sky of the Rubik's Cube, distributed in the southeast and northwest, and this one is the strongest and we can't beat it. Sima Yuyu said, so, I think let you together, solve the person in that, then the Rubik's Cube sky will be solved naturally. What about the other four people? We have all been resolved. Sima Yuyu said. Are they all resolved? Yeah, you belong to the South, we are the last one to solve it. Sima Yuyu said, now it is only hitting. The people at the ever-changing gate froze. When they were fleeing, this guy quietly saved many people. Little friends are really amazing. Said an elder of Variety Gate. Now that you have settled the northeast and southeast, let us leave it to us. Sima Yuyu smiled slightly and said, Okay. With the martial art, she didn't need to do anything. The reason why before the variety gate was so passive was that I didn't know what it was. Now that I know, it's time to make passive the active one. She took out some elixir and said, These are elixir to restore spiritual energy. The elixir of the people before the change is almost consumed, and they are worried about this elixir. I did not expect Sima Yuyu to send it. Since the little friend has elixir, we're welcome. The elder said. To deal with that man in black, how can we not restore good spiritual power? Sima Yuyu said with a smile. Those people took the elixir and meditated in place to restore their spiritual power. Sima Yuyu and Zioki Tsinji were sitting and chatting a little further away. After a while, Da Yi, Ziao Yi, and the elder came over. Da Wei Xiao Wei. Sima Yuyu stood up. Although their last meeting at the college was a bit unpleasant, judging from their contact with the Variety Gate, they did not spread the news of the array of law books to themselves. Yu Yu, this is our elder he elder. Da Wei said. Elder he. Sima Yuyu saluted to He Ming. Yuyu, you really need to thank you for this time. If you didn't solve the person you controlled, we don't know what it will be like now. Like, that cheerful look, was not affected by the previous events at all. Elder He is polite. Well, we are looking for you this time, and there is something. Elder He said, Da Yi, let's say it. Sima Yuyu looked at him like this and blinked. Why did all three of them look a little embarrassed? Well, Yuyu, aren't you the master of alchemy? Do you have any extra medicine? Xiao Wei finally said it. Elixir. Well, the elixir that we used to restore our spirits is almost exhausted this time. I don't know how long we will stay here, so if you have extra elixir, can you sell us something? Say. Once this is said, it is not so difficult to say. But still feel a little embarrassed. Sima Yuyu thought it was something, it turned out to be just a matter of elixir. She took out a pile of elixir and said, You can take all of these. I don't have much else. I still have a lot of elixir. 
Ahem, well, we have more people. This means that these are not enough. Then I will make some more. Sima Yuyu said, she blinked at the way Xiao Wei, thank you for keeping me secret. Let's give you some compensation, said He Ming. Just come at the price of the Dange Pavilion outside. Sima Yuyu thought about it, if people do NT need money, they may feel uncomfortable, so she nodded and said, okay, I'll let my brother and them make it together. Han Miao Shuang and they were nearby. They got the news of Sima Yuyu and rushed over. I thought that something had happened, but I found out that I had only come to practice alchemy, but I was not interested. Sima Yuyu pulled them aside, and said, Do you know the ever-changing door? I know, isn't that the originator of the formation method? Han Miao Shuang said, You mean, Teacher Daiyai, they? That's right, they are the people of the ever-changing door. Refining elixir for them can not only get money, but also make good deals with this martial art, why not do it? Sima Yuyu said. Think about it too, so all three agreed. In fact, Su Xiao Xiao and Han Miao Shuang agreed, and Zhang Zhengzian, who had little interest in everything, was threatened by Han Miao Shuang. It took them a day to make hundreds of elixir for Bei Changmen, and a large amount of income was recorded. People like Variety Gate are not short of money. Because it was not enough, they agreed to go out and continue the refining. Now they are going to pack the people who control the sky of the Rubik's Cube. With the change of people coming out of the horse, Sima Yuya belongs to wait and see. The people at the variegated gate almost died before, but now they are on fire. Now that they know the root cause, it is much easier to get rid of it. With the scroll, it was not difficult for them to find the man in black, and they quickly locked in position. Sima Yuya felt an eye-opener when she saw the formation of the changing gates. The originator of this array is different, and the layout of the array is faster than others and more stable than others. Seeing Sima Yuyu staring at them and setting up the formation, He Ming raised his smile like Mate Raya Buddha and seduced him, Yuyu, are you interested in joining my variety door? If you come in, you can learn there are many ways to arrange arrays. Sima Yuyu smiled and said, I'm free to get used to it. There are many rules at the gate, and I may not be suitable to go. Da Wei and Xiao Wei were on the side. Hearing her words, he looked at each other and shook his head helplessly. The array is well arranged, and He Ming chooses a person with a higher strength to pass first, and then rushes over the rest. Sima Yuyu naturally passed them by. After they came out of the formation, she admired the variety gate even more. They have a good grasp of spatial positioning. The last time she went to save the swordsman school, it was almost a hundred miles away, but looking at the others, they came out one kilometer away. And she believed that this was their specially chosen position, in order to avoid being attacked by those in black as soon as they came out. As soon as the people at the ever-changing gate came out, they attacked those in black. Although those in black are very powerful in controlling space, they really have no advantage over others. It takes a certain amount of time and a quiet environment for them to make things, and the current situation clearly does not meet the requirements. However, the people in black are not vegetarian, especially the man in black in the middle is stronger. Otherwise it will not be the main controller. Give me time. The husky voice Sima Yuyu recognized immediately, the one who spoke at the entrance. Those in black understood that the procrastination he meant meant that he could create those undead beasts. They attacked the ever-changing gate, vowing to die to make time. Sima Yuya was behind them. At first glance, they knew it was not good, and quickly took out a thunderbolt and threw it over. Just kidding, if you make those undead beasts, I'm afraid they will fall into a hard fight again. The strength of those people is good but the power of the thunderbolt is not low, especially the strength of Sima Yuyu has increased, which has multiplied. Although the man in black was not killed, many people around him were injured, and his actions were interrupted. To create a spirit beast, he had to start over. The man in black was vomiting blood with anger, but now there is no time for him to be depressed. 
There are so many people in the ever-changing door, and there are people coming from behind. If he can't make a spirit beast, they must be dead today. Others in black also understand that even if they are injured, they still fight with injuries just to delay time. Sima Yuyu saw that a thunderbolt could not cure them. She took out a few more and distributed them to Han Miaoshuang Primary 7, one of them dumped one in the past. Boom! Boom! Successive explosions interrupted the operation of the man in black. He has now been injured internally, watching Sima Yuyu and preparing to abandon the original plan, and clean them up first. Otherwise, he is about to succeed, and again, he estimates that internal injuries are not so simple. Xiao Qi saw the man in black flying towards them and was about to get up to meet him. He Ming suddenly appeared in the middle and looked at the man in black with a smile. Where are you planning to go? Come, let's talk about life, so don't go to those juniors. After that, he fought with the man in black. Sima Yuyu looked at He Ming. Although his strength was a little lower than that of the man in black, but his space was very powerful. Teleportation and space blockade helped. The man in black did not take advantage of it. The battle lasted for more than two hours. Sima Yuyu did not take any action. Occasionally, they came to them and they were all solved by Xiao Qi, Hua Hua, and Xiao Meng. Burst. He Ming burst into drink, Sima Yuyu looked, and the space around the man in black burst, and the man turned into a mass of flesh. Oh, don't break his head. She rushed over, seeing the vague flesh, she wanted to bare her breasts. He Ming didn't know why she was so excited, she flew down and said, What's wrong, Yu Yu? You broke him into flesh, then his memory is gone. Sima Yu Yu said with regret. After finally encountering a senior, thinking that he could know more news, the result was nothing. Um, you didn't say it earlier. He Ming watched Sima Yu Yu's excited look, smirked, left a sentence, I went to see other people and ran away. When the man in black died, the sky of the Rubik's Cube stopped working, and the surrounding scenery changed. They are still in the hills, and there are no so-called relics at all. Whether it's a human race, a ghost race, or a demon race, then I understand that everything before is just a design. Some of the people who came out before have left here, and some are still waiting, such as swordsman people. When they saw Sima Yuya coming out, they were relieved, but did not rush forward. Many people are still unclear about the situation, and began to ask what was happening to the people around them. After some explanation, everyone knew that they had gone through the gate of the ghost before. Miss Saima, today's feelings, I'll wait to make a note. I will have the opportunity to repay in return. Leave. Many people arched their hands at Saima Yuyu, and then turned to leave. Of course, those of the demons and ghosts would not lead her. They all left after understanding the situation. Only Didi and a group of people did not leave. Lan Jian came over and looked at Sima Yuyu gratefully. Yu Yu, thank you for this. I know what you are going to say later, so there is no need to say anything. I will ask you to come back in the future. Sima Yuyu said. That's good. Then we're leaving. The swordsman was originally waiting for her and seeing her was safe, there was no need to stay here. Soon, these people were almost gone, leaving only the variety gate and the ghosts. He Ming and Da Yi Ziao Yi came over and looked at Sima Yuyu, not talking. I won't give it to you, said Sima Yuyu, just save me for you, should this let me. Oh, we didn't say we want the Rubik's Cube sky. He Ming said with a smile. Sima Yuyu stepped back subconsciously and said, Then why are you staring at me like this, you can see my uneasy panic. He always looks amiable. Where can it make people panic? Is he not smiling sincere enough? It should be. So he made himself smile deeper, but Sima Yuyu saw her like this, turned around and ran, came to the back of Tsing Yi and Xiao Qi, and stretched his head to look at him. He Ming couldn't keep his smile now, and looked at Sima Yuyu sadly. 
Why was this girl so afraid of him? This is not normal. What do you want? Sima Yuya watched him alertly, saw him approach, and quickly waved his hand, Don't come over, just say anything there. That action, that look, He Ming was completely injured. Dai Yi Ziao Yi looked at her like this, bowed her head and coughed. They all said it was useless. The elders didn't believe it. They had to come in and see. Are they hurt now? He Ming felt that he was not injured, but was seriously injured. Sima Yuya looked at him like that, and felt a little overreacted, coughed twice, and said, Well, Elder He, let me tell you anything. I actually want to ask you, do you want to join us in the ever-changing door? He Ming said bitterly. Ahem, we have discussed this issue in the past, and my answer is still the same. Thank you Elder He for your favor, but Yu Yu is really not suitable for entering this kind of martial arts. Sima Yu Yu declined. Really not thinking about it. He Ming persuaded recklessly. I really don't think about it, said Sima Yu Yu. Elder He, other forces have already left. Are you still in a hurry? If there is an opportunity to be preempted by others, then it will be impossible. Hey, don't think I don't know you are driving us away. He Ming said, but forget it, since you are unintentional, I won't force it. But I will have time to remember to come to the variety gate to play. Sima Yuya drew his lips. If he went to the ever-changing gate, it would not be fun. Okay, I'll see it if I have a chance. She coped with a smile. He Ming looked at the ghosts in the distance and said, They seem to be waiting for you. The ghosts are not good guys. Would you like to go with us? No need. Sima Yuya shook her head. I happen to have something to do with them. All right. Then be careful yourself. Let's go. He Ming took the people with the ever changing gate away. For a time, there were only Yu Yu and ghost people. Di Yan looked at Sima Yu Yu and stood still. Sima Yu Yu saw that they were not moving, and watched them vigilantly, but after ten minutes, those people still did not move, not as if they were leaving or coming over. Master, do you want to recognize her now? The people behind Di Yan asked. Di Yan looked at Sima Yu Yu, and was very entangled in her heart. Would you like to confirm her now? He thought about it, but hesitated a little bit about what happened to them in Hong Tuling. Besides, how can he tell her that I am your brother? Because of his previous experience, he was not close to his peers in the family, and he had few contacts with other blood relatives. Now asking him to be close to someone, he feels he can't speak. But this man is the aunt's daughter, and he wants to talk to her again. Master. Di Yan sighed waved his hand, and said, let's go. Sima Yuya looked at Di Yan, and was thinking about how to grab the hundred ghosts, and when he was going to find him, he took the ghost people away. Yui Yu, they are gone. Xiao Qi said. I know, I see it. Will we chase it? Sima Yuya thought about it, but finally gave up, just let Chi Feng stare at their whereabouts. She still hasn't got the absolute assurance that Di Yan can hand over the hundred ghosts. If she hits it hard, she won't necessarily win. Anyway, it's still a long time, she can take it slowly. Now she is still thinking about Rubik's Cube Sky. When Di Yan went away, she jumped to the entrance and revoked the formation, revealing Xiao Peng and Qun Yin inside. Are you all right? Xiao Peng they stood up and said, It's okay. Almost no one found us, except the ghost family just now. Did the ghosts find you? There is a strong person who was the one who made the mark on you. He swept us with divine knowledge, but he didn't say anything, as if he didn't find us. Xiao Peng said. Then how do you know he found you? Xiao Qi jumped down and said. His consciousness stopped at us as he swept through this area. He should have found us. Qian Yin said. That guy almost killed Yu Yu before. I found you this time. Why didn't I do anything at all? This is too strange. Xiao Qi said. 
It's more than that. Saima Yuyu's eyes narrowed slightly. It's strange to meet them this time. It seems to be different from the last sword. But it's not the same everywhere. I. Qian Yin said, I thought about it before. When they were at Hong Tuling, they looked at us like they were watching prey and dead people. There was no temperature in their eyes. But this time when they saw Yu Yu, their eyes are all different, especially the middle one. When they look at you, they seem to be watching, relatives. After Qian Yin said so, Saima Yuyu felt the same way. But why? Is it really what she thought before, what is the part of her ghost family that has to do with him? When he falls in my hands, be sure to ask carefully. I still don't want this now, let's take a look at the Rubik's Cube first. Saima Yuyu rubbed his fists to the side of the Rubik's Cube, and made several rounds around the large turntable with a diameter of more than two meters. I haven't studied this well before, just think of a way to open it. Now I have time to study this carefully. This thing was lost for a while, and there was no door to change. This thing is so big. Xiao Qi said, what role does this Rubik's Cube space have besides those? Don't you read that book, this thing is very useful. But you need to study it carefully before you know what she is really useful for, said Saima Yuyu. But that ancient book didn't go into great detail, so she's useless now. But now is not the time to study this, she thought about it and received this thing in the soul tower. Yuyu, where are we going now? Xiao Qi asked. Saima Yuyu took a look at the direction where Di Yan left, and said, Sister and brother, I'm going to deal with some private affairs now, you. Are you going to find the ghost clan? Saima Yuyu nodded. Han Miao Shuang wanted to say go with her, but Zhang Zhengzian had already spoken first. We also want to go elsewhere to see if there are any opportunities. Let's just separate. Okay, if you have anything, remember to contact me. Saima Yuyu looked at Zhang Zhengzian gratefully. She wanted to go to Diyan by herself, trying to figure out her guess. Zhang Zhengzian saw it, so he said so. Seeing that Zhang Zhengzian had agreed, Han Miao Shuang nodded in agreement and looked at Saima Yuyu and said, Be careful then. I will. The three left, and Saima Yuyu took Zioki and flew in the direction where Di Yan left. Yuyu, why don't you let Miao Shuang follow them? Xiao Qi asked. Because, if they know something, they will bring them danger. Saima Yuyu murmured. Intuition told her that the person who had killed him almost before was too dangerous. If you let the sister follow them, I don't know what will happen. Didi and others far ahead found Saima Yuyu's tracking. Master, Mrs. Bees follow us. The ghost master waved his hand, and a few red bees were sucked out by him. Although they can suppress their own spiritual power, things with vitality are not so easy to hide in front of the ghost clan let alone a person as powerful as a ghost master. Di Yan looked at those red bees, as if he saw the face familiar with Saima Yuyu, hesitated, and said, Kill. Master. The guard behind him called out. This is the pet of his favorite aunt's daughter, so it's dead? Di Yan, like trying to understand something, restored his calmness and ruthlessness. We're going to do that, so don't let her know. He said, playing a spiritual force, all those red bees died. Let's go. Be sure to find that place before Wonderland closes. They continued on their way, leaving the bodies of the red bees. After a while, Saima Yuyu and Zioki came to Red Bee. They are not dead yet, Tsing Yi said. Saima Yuyu can sense that they are still alive, and should just be stunned by death. She took the red bee back to the Soul Tower and watching Di Yan's attitude, her guess was more and more certain. According to Hung Tuling's grievances, when they saw themselves, they found that they wanted to kill them very much, but they did nothing and even spared the life of Red Bee when they found they were following. If it weren't for her guess, she couldn't think of other reasons that would allow him to do so. Where is that place? They came here for a purpose. She couldn't think of the answer because she didn't know what they were going to do. 
The red bee was discovered by them, and now they don't know where they went. Xiao Qi said, the hundred ghosts will not get it. Yin Lin said that the ghosts of the ghosts must be in her hands. Now the people of the ghost clan do not know where they are going, how can they grab them? Tsing Yi looked at the small loss on Xiao Qi face and said, I can probably identify the orientation, but it is not necessarily accurate. But the general direction should be right. Really? Why don't I know you still have the ability to track? Xiao Qi held Tsing Yi's arm and asked, looking up. Where will I follow? Tsing Yi said, but they are ghosts, they have dead energy on their bodies, there will be some breath left by passing by. I can sense a slight death. If it is a human race, he may not be able to, but the tree of life is naturally sensitive to life and death, so it can sense it. If there are other ghosts in the meantime, he may not be able to do so. Then I trouble you, Sima Yuyu said gratefully. With Tsing Yi pointing the way, Sima Yuyu let Chong Ming rush on the way and continue to look for them. After a day or two, they were in trouble. What happened? There are two groups of ghosts. They left separately. I don't know who they are. Tsing Yi pointed in both directions. Sima Yuyu took a look. The two directions are not very far, but if you find the wrong, it is almost impossible to find them again. She pointed casually and said, walk this way. She wasn't sure which direction was right, but she could only give it a try. It turns out that her intuition was wrong, and they caught up with those ghosts, not Di Yi them. The ghosts saw Sima Yuyu and felt her delicious soul, all of them suddenly moved. This human soul is so fragrant. Prince, let's go and give her her soul. The guards around the 15th prince of the ghost world watched him watch Sima Yuyu drool, and all said charmingly. Okay. The 15th prince wiped the saliva from his mouth. I haven't seen such a fragrant soul in the ghost world. A young boy beside the 15th prince looked at Sima Yuyu and said, Prince, this person is a child of the ghost and human race. Really? I said why this soul is so fragrant. The 15th prince felt that he could no longer control himself, and he wanted to eat her immediately. Prince, let's kill her now. The guards said they flew towards Sima Yuyu. Slow. The little boy stopped. Fifth, you have something to say later. The fifteenth prince said impatiently. Prince, I feel a breath similar to you in that person. Fifth Earl said. Oh. The fifteenth prince turned his attention to Sima Yuyu. He couldn't resist his deliciousness, and said, Don't say it's similar. Even if she is my sister, I will eat her today. You don't want to go. Yes, Prince. The guards flew away, and Fifth Earl wanted to stop. He could have a similar breath to the Prince, and he was the offspring of humans and ghosts. This identity can be said to be coming out. A person beside Fifth Earl took him and said, Fifth, don't you know the character of the Prince? As he said, even if he is a sister, he will eat her. If it is a sister, I am afraid that I will be killed at birth. Fifth hesitate to think about it too. He really didn't understand, why would the family choose such a person to support him, and he still had to follow him. Sima Yuyu, they saw that these ghosts were not Didi and they were about to turn away, but they saw those ghosts attacking themselves. Well, a weak human, our prince fancy your soul, so obediently surrender your soul, right? Those people said to Sima Yuyu with a smile. Sima Yuyu raised her eyebrows and wanted to eat her soul. Xiao Qi and Xiao Meng and Hua Hua looked at each other and saw anger in each other's eyes. Their master, these people dare to make an idea. Yu Yu, these people have given it to us. Xiao Meng took a step forward and squeezed his hands together. Let's also come. Xiao Qi let go of Tsing Yi and leapt to Xiao Meng. How can something like this be without me? Hua Hua said. Three contracted beasts. Although the ghosts were a little surprised that she had so many contracted beasts, she still didn't pay attention to her. So many of them are afraid of losing her? 
their princes love delicious souls, for this reason they did not kill people of the ghost tribe, let alone the tribe they met. The eyes of these people are disgusting. Xiao Qi said, let's compare it to see who kills more people. Okay. Hua Hua turned her ten fingers into vines, and there was a magic flower on it. The one who wins will be the eldest sister. Let's get started. Xiaoman finished, and attacked the ghosts first. Why? Hua Hua looked at the little birds and wondered why it was blocking their way. The little bird's wings spread, her head slightly raised, and her were raised. But the three men still didn't understand her meaning. But Sima Yuyu smiled suddenly and said, Xiao Kek is saying that it kills the most people. The little bird nodded, that's what it meant. The little seven or three people turned black instantly. They said that whoever is the best would be the elder sister, but this does not include others. Xiao Meng glanced at Xiao Kuekui and said gently, Can you transform into an adult form? Then walked around it. Hua Hua smiled and said, Are you a woman? and then walked around it. Xiao Qi still had his fifth distress in his hand. Xiao Kek keep away, this is for adults, you are still young. And then walked around it. Little chicks are sad, they ignore themselves. It flew to Sima Yuyu and turned into a small one. Sima Yuyu touched her head and said, Good, don't play with them. Besides, you really are not a woman, do you want to be the elder sister? The little bird is even more depressed, even she said so, hey, it doesn't want to be a girl. But it's true that it kills the most, this group of women who depend on accounts. It slapped on Sima Yuyu's hand, and then returned to her body. Really? Xiao Qi shook his head helplessly and said, Yuyu, what did you do that person? Understand the breath of a ghost clan. Sima Yuyu finished and took everyone to the soul tower. When the fifteenth prince died, the ghost master gave a meal and said, The fifteenth prince is dead. That straw bale is dead. Diyan was a little surprised, and then returned to normal, saying, That straw bale always thought it was right, and died just fine. Just don't know who killed it. I should really thank that person. The fifteenth prince is the one he has always wanted to kill, but he is not only the child of the ghost king, but his mother's family is also very strong. And for no reason, even the fifth family was with them. So even if he thinks about it, he can only endure the straw bale, and even if he encounters it before, he dare not move. We will know. Master Ghost said. How do you know? The guard behind him asked. The fifteenth prince is dead, Gaiji will surely know it. The royal family has a secret method that can pass the news directly into our minds. Master Ghost said, Guiji will certainly not let that person go, and will definitely give orders we take revenge. Thinking of that secret method, Master Ghost exuded a chill, although it continued for a while, but was discovered by Di Yan. Others don't know what it is. As a family involved with the royal family, he still knows it. Master, rest assured. I will definitely find you a part of your soul, Dis said. The ghost master nodded. People like them are not always willing to work for the royal family, and why there are so many people, because their souls have been partly separated from the cabinet, and the souls separated from the cabinet are secretly held by the royal family. On the one hand, it gives them supreme glory, and on the other hand, they use that part of the soul to control them. The ghost master is Diddy's mother, the princess of the ghost world, a close personal guard, a person who lost part of her soul. In the past, Di Yan was not valued in the family, but as Yu Luo completely opened up his talent, he became more and more shining in the family, and his mother gave him the ghost master to protect him personally. Master Ghost, how do you know that the fifteenth prince is dead? Someone asked. When I met before, I made a little mark on him. Now that mark has disappeared. Said the ghost master. The disappearance of the mark indicates that the person has completely disappeared. Even the fifteenth prince's favorite emperor dare to kill, does that person want to break the sky? Someone said. Who is it? 
you will know after a while. The ghost master could hardly be curious. When I met them before, the fifteenth prince was not only followed by the fifth family, but also many masters. That strength is not weak. But now he has been killed, and he does not know what the other party is. It wasn't long before he knew that this was not done by a force, but by someone he knew. As he said before, the ghost tribe soon knew the death of the fifteenth prince, and the crazy ghost G sent the picture before his death through the secret method. Those who want to be in fairyland must make these people killed. He posted the picture, and when Diyan saw the familiar figures of Sima Yuyu and Zayoki, he almost fell off the flying beast. How is she? Aren't they just two days apart? Why did she cause such a big disaster? Master Ghost wasn't surprised that much. Sima Yuya wasn't far away from them. They would meet the 15th prince, and it would not be impossible for her to get closer. Her soul is very fragrant, and the 15th prince who likes to eat soul will not miss her. If they do, judging by her previous performance in Hong Tuling, she will not fight back. He knew that she had that flame, and that flame, even a royal guard, would not necessarily be able to resist even half a minute. And he looked at the fire eye in the image, and he felt that the fire was worse than before. The royal family issued a wanted order, and the ghost clan in Wonderland will unite and kill her. The ghost master said, so from now on, she may be attacked by many ghost clan behind her. If you can't succeed late, Guiji may also send someone else. Diyan closed her eyes and took a deep breath, saying, she should be fine. That may be so, said Master Ghost. Now that she already knows she has flames, if the people in Wonderland can't remove her, wait for Guiji to send someone, I'm afraid there will be a ghost weapon. She may not be able to resist. It's, trouble. Diyan said, Master, you take someone to protect her, and I continue to look for that place. My task is to protect you. It is impossible to put aside you to protect others. Master Ghost said. But she is in danger. I can't just keep watching. Diyan said, but I can't give up the purpose of this visit. Indeed, said the Ghost Master, but I will not give up my position because of this. What then? You can rest assured that at the beginning, she can still cope. As long as you can find that place before the people of Guiji come in and complete our purpose of entering, then you can protect her later. Ghost Master said. It can only be so. Diyan believes that even the 15th prince can kill her, she should not be killed by the ghosts. Sima Yuya didn't know about the ghosts, and even if she did, she wouldn't take it seriously. Isn't it the ghost clan? If there are little chicks, then they can restrain them. She took the fifth distress to the soul tower, and Xiao Qi released his imprisonment. There is a little spirit child in it, even if he wants to commit suicide by himself. Fifth EA found that the change of environment was a bit shocked, and then returned to normal. This woman really is not an ordinary person. If you think about it, if you are an ordinary person, can you kill so many masters of ghost clan? What's your name? Sima Yuyu took out two chairs and sat down by herself, seeing fifth distress looking at her with vigilance, she waved her hand and said, sit. What did you do to catch me? Fifth Eerie asked, why didn't you kill me? Just because I said something for her before. Sima Yuyu saw that he didn't sit or force him. He heard his words and glanced at him, saying, do you think it's possible? Fifth he shook his head, impossible. Smart. Sima Yuyu said, I left you to ask you something. Ask me anything. Fifth Eri looked at her calculations and became subconsciously alert. If you want me to betray my family, that's impossible. Your family? I don't even know your name. Why should you betray your family? Sima Yuyu asked. Then what do you want to ask? You answer me first. What's your name, do you want me to keep feeding you? Sima Yuyu asked. Fifth. The fifth act is rare. Sima Yuyu said, 
your family should not be royal. If so, he would not protect the prince. The royal family's last name is you, said Fifth, the prince you killed is called you do. Oh. He has a high status in the royal family. Yes, her mother-in-law Gaiji's family is very powerful, and my king is very partial to him. Now that you kill him, they will not let you go. Fifth you said. I won't let you go. Saima Yuya looked at him. You were ordered to protect him, but you watched him die in front of you but you can't do anything. The royal family, and your family, they will not let go. You? Fifth he looked at Saima Yuyu and said angrily, this is not your fault. I caused it, but you are not very angry. Isn't it? Saima Yuyu said with a smile. Fifth e I didn't expect her to see through her mind, there was a moment of shock. Crap. He denied it, but the voice was not very encouraging. Am I talking nonsense? Saima Yuyu said, although your eyes look angry and angry, I killed your master, but there is no sorrow in your eyes, or even a relief. Am I right? Fifth Emerald Silence. Saima Yuyu smiled and said, You don't want to follow that prince. You only follow him because of family orders. You even want to kill him, but you dare not. What do you want to say? Fifth Eerie didn't like the feeling of being seen through, and watched her alertly. What I want to say is actually very simple. Since you want to kill him, I will help you kill him, you don't want to look like a deep hatred to me. Saima Yuyu said. Fifth he was silent again, and Saima Yuyu did not urge him. I am actually betraying the family, he said after a few moments of silence. But I don't really like the fifteenth prince. I don't understand why the family might be involved with them, and I also it doesn't matter. But I can't stand their arrangements to let the family members protect him personally. You know, originally, with my strength, I didn't protect him personally, but because he likes to tease me, he appointed me to protect him. Dot every time I see the things he does, even if I am also a ghost family, I can't stand it. People like him should not be alive. Saima Yuyu looks so angry at him, and it seems that this person is really some scum. Now you kill him, then please kill me too, said Fifth Earl, otherwise, my family will bear the royal anger for me. You want to die that way. Saima Yuyu looked at him. Since your family can be with the royal family, it means that your family strength is still not low. The royal family dare to destroy your family because of your dereliction of duty? Not necessarily. But I can't go back anymore. Fifth Heir said, I'm no different from being alive or dead. It is ridiculous that I had thought about killing him and committing suicide, but I didn't have the courage. Why do people commit suicide if they live well? Saima Yuyu said, treasure of life is a good thing, and there is nothing to be ashamed of. Fifth Eerie looked at her in shock, she was the first to say to him, there is nothing to be ashamed of. This is completely different from the ideas he had instilled before. What's so surprising about this? Saima Yuyu looked at him with a look of astonishment, and looked at him poorly. But I still can't go back. I don't think you look like a cruel man, so you. The fifth bitter smile, no matter what, he can't go back in the ghost world, and the family can't go back. He didn't have the courage to commit suicide, he could only pin her hope on her. You can rest assured. I will not kill you. Saima Yuyu said, you just stay here and tell me what you want to know. Isn't that what you want to know? Fifth Eerie asked. These? It's all about you. Before I met you, I didn't even know your existence, how could I care about you? Saima Yuyu said. Then what do you want to know? I saw what you said to that prince before. Saima Yuyu said, you said, I have a similar breath with him. Fifth he looked at her, so she heard so far? I will look at the mouth shape, said Saima Yuyu, what is the similar breath you said? You have the smell of ghosts, Fifth Air said. You are definitely not referring to this, otherwise you would not say similar, 
but that there is a ghost-like atmosphere in me. Sima Yuyu said. I'm not sure, Fifth Earl said, it's just some speculation. What's the guess, come and listen. You have royal blood, Fifth Heir said. Royal blood? She remembered a long, long time ago, when she was on the mainland of Yulin, when she entered Longtiv Mountain, she once drank a ghost animal. If it weren't for the ghost kingdom, how could there be such strength? It turned out that she should have guessed a little about her life at an early age. If she has the blood of ghosts and royals, isn't her mother a royal? Fifth, she was in deep contemplation, saying, Actually, you are not very old. There are not many royal families who come to the human race this year. There are even fewer princesses. Generally speaking, there are only a few. It is easier to guess. You know. Sima Yuyu asked. I want to protect the 15th prince. Naturally, I know something about the royal family. If you are under 50, your mother is most likely a knight princess, because only she has come in the past 50 years. World. If you are between 50 and 100 years old, you may be three other princesses. Knight princess. Well, the knight princess Yuki Luo. She is a legendary princess who coexists with beautiful wisdom and strength, but unfortunately. Fifth Nod nodded, his eyes faintly sad. That was also his goddess, but unfortunately his whereabouts are now unknown. Knight Princess Yukolo. Sima Yuya muttered her name several times in her heart, this is the first time she heard about her mother, if this Knight Princess is really her mother. Both fell into silence. Fifth Eerie returned to reality from memory, saw a faint smile on the corner of her mouth, and said, Are you under fifty? Sima Yuyu nodded. Then you are really the daughter of the Night Princess. Fifth Eerie's mouth a little bitter, she really has given birth to someone in the human world. Can I know your name? Sima Yuyu. Sima Yuyu turned back and found that he looked at his own eyes, something different? Sima Yuyu. Is that man a surname Saima? Did you give birth to a child without your surname? Saima Yuyu looked a little weird at the fifth distress and said, Do you know my mother? I know her. She, may not remember me anymore. Fifth Air said. How to say? Fifth Eerie fell into memories again, remembering the encounters between him and her. He was selected by you due to be a close guard in order to be able to fool him at any time, because although they are of the same generation, his talent is higher than you do, and his strength is higher than him. Because of the influence of the fifth family, you did not dare to kill him, but there were still a lot of insults from time to time. He had heard many things about the night princess Yuko Luo, but the first time I saw her, it was more than two years when he became a guard. At that time, because he was unwilling to kill a few years old for Yudu, Yudu was ordered to hang his shirt and hang him on the way to the palace. Everyone passing by looked at him with scorn and ridicule, and some even stopped to see how he was teased. Only Yuki Luozo frowned and ordered him to let him go. If it were someone else, you might not even bother, but he was afraid of Yuki Luo, and he did not know what had happened between them. In short, he was afraid of her. As soon as she spoke, Yudu immediately ordered him to let him down. He still remembers that when he came down, he was already very weak, and he saw her coming over staggeringly, squatting beside him, giving him a pill of elixir, and saying, Go back and take a good rest. Soon it will be fine. He still remembers that her voice was so gentle that he felt his cold heart feel warm instantly. If she hadn't comforted herself at that time, he estimated that at that time, she would not be able to support it. Later, she couldn't hear what you do ordered, but it should be about him, since you do tortured him less often. In the following days, he followed you do walking in the palace. He had seen her a few times in the distance, but no more verbal communication. He thought that she had forgotten him, because the occasional glance behind her occasionally was so strange. But think about it. She is so dazzling, he is so ordinary, how could she remember him? 
but whether she remembered him or not, it would not affect his feelings for her and her feelings for her. Although, the relationship is so humble. Sima Yuya listened to him as he recalled and said that he probably understood his feelings. I didn't expect my mother to be charming. I do nt know how my father chased my mother back. She later asked him to say a lot about his mother, what talent was excellent, his strength was strong, and he dared to go to the Hades to kill chaotic spirit beasts and so on. Those things made Sima Yuya feel that her mother was too bad. If her mother is the Night Princess and Wang's little daughter, then she is not. Regarding Yu Qiluo, Fifth Evil said a lot, and the relationship between the two is slowly changing. At least, he was less hostile to her. The other person they chatted with also changed to a stone table in the yard, and a teapot was brewed on the table. By the way, don't you know a ghost clan? Sima Yuyu asked. Who? Sima Yuyu didn't know Di Yan's name and described his appearance. He was followed by a very powerful person, and that person has been in a cloak. Fifth Eerie probably guessed who it was, and saw her nodded, saying, You should be Master Di's Di Yi. Di. Sima Yuyu frowned. Will her relatives be different? Speaking of it, Master Di Di and you are still cousins. Fifth Eerie answered the question she did not ask and said, Master Didi's mother is a princess of the royal family. He called your mother aunt. I heard that Master Diyan is also a ruthless master, but he has a good relationship with Princess Knight and is closer to her than his mother. There are even rumors that he is plotting to find your mother. It really is a loved one. He must have found that his body was similar to Yuki Luo, and knew that she was his cousin, and then his attitude changed completely. Where is my mother now? Sima Yuyu asked. Fifth he shook his head and said, I do nt know about this. I only know that a major event happened that year. Many people of the ghost clan went to the human realm and took your mother back, but the later things are unknown. And since then, the world has never seen your mother again. Is the mother, what happened? Like, like father. Is there any news from my mother? She retracted her body to the chair, her arms around her knees, and felt a little distressed. What happened at the beginning that made father and mother missing? No. But Master Diyan may know something. Because there are rumors that he got a hundred ghosts, ready to use that to save your mother. Sima Yuya completely choked. Diyan did so much for his mother? Yin Lin said that hundred ghosts must be in their own hands. Is it difficult for him to know this? The fifth look at Sima Yuyu, some do not understand, and asked, Have you ever seen Master Didi? Okay. Sima Yuyu nodded, not only had she seen it, but there were a lot of things in between. Has something bad happened? Fifth Eerie asked. Yet. Yeah. Sima Yuyu sighed, It's not only bad, we have fought each other before. How is that possible? Fifth Eerie cried in surprise, if you are the daughter of the Night Princess, he cannot kill you. Even I can feel a little of your breath, the Ghost Master beside him is impossible. Do not know. At that time, my blood of the Ghost Clan was not fully excited and was sealed. Sima Yuyu said, I was almost killed by that Ghost Master at the time. But it also inspired the blood. So they recognized you this time. Um. I said this time in Wonderland, how did they change their attitudes? Sima Yuyu said. I once heard you say that Diyan was not valued at home and even bullied. It was your mother who changed his destiny. So no matter what he looks like now, he still treats your mother as before. Fifth Earl said. Well. Sima Yuyu tangled. What happened? Sima Yuyu glanced at fifth distress. Anyway, she didn't plan to let him out, so tell him about his troubles. Do you know human operators? She asked. No, there are ghost worlds. But your human world generally only talks about your human race, our ghosts only talk about our ghosts. Fifth Air said. That human race can predict things of the ghost race, can the ghost race predict things of the race? 
Sima Yuyu asked. It can be predicted, but it can't be said, and it won't be said, unless this matter is related to the human race and the ghost people. Fifth Air said, Why, have you met the operator? Well. When I came in, Yinlin told me that I wanted to get a hundred ghosts. Yinlin? Your tribe is now the master of the operator. Fifth Hay asked. Do you know him? It's not that much, but because he's famous, even in the ghost world, we've heard his name. It is said to be one of the most powerful buddies in your tribe for tens of thousands of years. Fifth Eerie said, if he gives you there must be some truth in saying so. I think so too, said Sima Yuyu, I didn't know why before, but now I know. Then what are you struggling with? If you are right, he intends to use this to save my mother. Sima Yuyu said, if I this over, then he cannot use this to save my mother. However, if Yin Lin said it, it should make sense. What he said will be efficacious, otherwise this reputation will not spread to the ghost world. Fifth Air said. However, I don't know when I can go to the ghost world. If a hundred ghosts are in my hands, if I do nt go to the ghost world one day, my mother will suffer another day of sin. Sima Yuyu did not want to grab the ghosts. Already. However, if hundred ghosts is not an important action to save your mother, or if Master Diyan can't rescue your mother even if he holds this, he will take his life for nothing. Fifth Air said, if you are an operator, it would be more credible. They have they cannot be trusted. I know, but... I went out and asked Yin Lin to see if I could find out where my mother was. Sima Yuyu said. Fifth Eerie is right, since Yin Lin asked her to do so, it should have some reason. In this case, when I found Di Yan, I asked what the situation was. Although you have that very powerful flame, you are in a more dangerous situation now. It would be better if there were hundreds of ghosts. Fifth Air said. Okay. Sima Yuya looked at him in doubt. You wouldn't think that you killed you do, is this the case, right? Fifth Eerie was struck by her ignorant expression. What? I said that you do's mother's family is a very powerful family. Half of the reasons why Ghost King is so fond of her are because of this. Fifth Air said. Guiji and Ghost King are very fond of you, now if she dies, she will surely let the ghosts hunt you. She will use secret methods to get your message and pass it to the ghosts, so you should already be a ghost of the ghosts. Fifth, she did not change her face and said, aren't you worried? Worry is useless, isn't it? Sima Yuya lowered her legs, held up the teacup on the table, and took a sip. At least for now. Those powers of the ghost clan cannot come, those soldiers, don't worry. So brave. As she was then. You said before that my mother was the youngest daughter of the ghost king, and you also said that you was very much loved. By comparison, who does the ghost king prefer? Of course it is the night princess. Fifth heir said, now the night princess is not here, and Guiji is so strong, so your situation is still dangerous. And? And what? After that happened, the Ghost King would not allow anyone to mention the Night Princess. If it was before, he might protect you if he knew your identity, but now, maybe it will be even worse. Fifth you said. Come to kill one, to kill one pair. My wandering is what I want. A domineering voice came, and Sima Yuya was surprised, turning around and seeing Wu Lingya woke up. She jumped up from her chair and rushed into Wu Lingyu's arms, saying, You finally woke up. You if I don't wake up, I will be scared to death. I'm so glad to see Yu Yu so excited. Wu Lingyu circled Sima Yu Yu with a charming smile at the corner of her mouth. Are you all right now? I'll check it for you, right? Sima Yu Yu said he was going to give him a pulse. Wu Lingyu grabbed her hand gently, not letting her take her pulse. Anyway, when it's time to reunite, don't do those disappointing things. Is your health still not good? Sima Yuyu asked worriedly. I don't hide it from you, either. 
it's not a minor injury. I will raise it slowly. But recently it's no problem. Wu Lingyu said. If he blindly said that he was good, she might be very worried. In that case, she felt relieved. Wu Lingyu took her to the table and sat down. What did she sit up to and asked, what were you talking about just now? How did you get into the ghost clan again? I killed one of my uncles. Sima Yuyu said with a smile. Ghost people? Wu Lingyu asked. Yes. Sima Yuyu smiled. The royal family of the ghost family, I heard that my mother's family is very terrible. I want to avenge me. It is to mobilize the entire ghost world. Oh. Wu Lingyu raised an eyebrow. When I was away, you were pretty crazy. He wants to eat my soul, and let his subordinates kill me and stab my soul. Sima Yuyu said. Dare to eat his faint? Well, if you kill, you will be killed. Even if the ghost king comes, you will kill him if you want to kill you. I have something to bear for you. Wu Lingyu said. Sima Yuyu evoked a big smile, and she knew that even if she broke the sky, he would stand behind her. Fifth, he looked at Wu Lingyu in surprise, although he had seen the relationship between them before, but he did not expect that he would spoil her like this. Can he do it for him? The first thing to think about is what trouble she would cause her to do so. And then? Is it time to figure out how to figure out the relationship? This should be what most people will do. By the way, I still have something to tell you. Sima Yuyu said, well, fifth, you can't go out recently, and you can't commit suicide here, so you live here temporarily. Later I have something to ask you. Fifth Eerie looked at her, and she just sent him off. Although, his treatment was the best among the captives. However, he did not dare to commit suicide before, and now he does not want to. Since she is her daughter, can he expect something? The small spirit child left with fifth distress, leaving them alone. Wu Lingyu took her hand, and when she pressed hard, she came to his arms. Come, tell me, what happened to you during my drowsiness? Sima Yuyu sat on his lap and found a comfortable position, Wu Lingyu also took the opportunity to put her head on her shoulder. She leaned in his arms and said, You're not here. Something really happened. She told him everything about Wu Lingyu's drowsiness, including her understanding of the realm in her own way, saving Zimen Feng them, and the Rubik's Cube sky, and so on. Wu Lingyu did not expect that she had experienced so much when she was asleep, and she realized the realm in heaven. This talent is also no one. He turned her face, asked her face, and said, It's awesome, it's my woman. Tell me how your field was formed. Sima Yuyu told him the folds of the Tree of Life and the small eyes of the Tree of Life from the beginning to the later realization. After listening to her words, Rao was a knowledgeable man who was once a demon king and he was a little stunned. Sima Yuyu didn't hear him, turned her head and asked, What's wrong? Wu Lingyu nodded on her nose and said, Nothing, I'm just surprised. What's surprised? Sima Yuyu slapped his hand and asked, do you know that there are differences in the fields? Wu Lingyu grabbed her hand and did not let her out. Although I don't know, I guessed it. Sima Yuyu said, Why, am I special? Tsing Yi hasn't said it. He is not a human. Although he knows the field, he does not necessarily understand it clearly. Wu Lingyu said, The subtlety of the field can only be understood by those who really understand it. So what's so special about my field? Sima Yuyu asked. The realm is generally divided into living and non-living. The difference is very simple, living is what you have, there are flowers and grasses, mountains and waters, and some animals. And without life, then it's just a piece of space, an invisible space. Most areas are alive. Since most of them are alive, what's so special about me? Sima Yuyu asked. Don't worry, listen to me slowly to explain to you. Wu Lingyu said, although many people are in the field of life, 
but this is also hierarchical. How is this graded? By size. Size is indeed an important part of the division, but it is not the most important basis for division. Wu Lingyu said. So what is the important basis for the division? The stability and control of the realm. Wu Lingyu said, when the superpowers are fighting, they are often collisions in the realm. The more stable the realm, the more successful they are in the collision. Saima Yuyu nodded, she understood this. What about control? Control is how much you can weaken your opponent in a field. Like the space controlled by the Array Mage, in this space, you are the master. The stronger the control, the weaker the enemy is in it. Wu Lingyu said. I see. Saima Yuyu said, what is this special about me? First of all, your stability is very good. Wu Lingyu said, it is the so-called stand-up. When you build, your field almost collapses. If it is on someone else, it is estimated that it failed directly, but not only did not fail, but it makes the field stronger. This may be because at that time it was in Tsing Yi's body, and all helped me rebuild. Saima Yuyu said. There should be some reasons, Wu Lingyu said, but I don't think that's the main reason. After speaking once, don't panic. Saima Yuyu turned around, pinching his ears with both hands, and pinching. Yes, you have to interrupt me every time. Wu Lingyu defended his position. That's also because you don't always make it clear. Saima Yuyu said, Hi. Hey. Okay. It's all my fault. Wu Lingyu watched her glaring at herself and immediately made her stand. Whether or not she always asked him to ask him, it was his fault. Saima Yuyu watched him take the initiative to admit his mistake and laughed, remembering a joke seen in previous lives. A wife sets rules for her husband. The rules are simple and clear, there are only two. The first one is that my wife is right, the second one, if there is anything wrong, please refer to the first one. They look a bit like this now. Thinking of this, she pursed her lips and smiled, holding her face in both hands and saying, OK, tell me soon. What is the main reason? The main reason I want to say, is that you are different from others. Wu Lingyu said this, and looked at Saima Yuyu's eyes slightly changed. When Saima Yuyu saw him like this, he didn't make him any more, waiting for him to confuse himself. Your field is realized when you realize the Tao, so. So what? You try again. Saima Yuyu waved his fist. Wu Lingyu saw that she was really anxious, put away her thoughts and said, Did you really think about what is different about yours? I only know that the field is only above the honor level, because it is too far apart, so I haven't learned about it. Saima Yuyu said. As I said just now, there are many levels in the realm, and by the time you realize the Tao, you come to realize the realm of the realm. Wu Lingyu said, so, the Tao is the main, the realm is secondary. It was realized together, so they merged with each other. In this way, your realm becomes a realm. Are there fields of heaven? Saima Yuyu raised her eyebrows, which seemed to sound very bad. Seeing Wu Lingyu, it should be more powerful. Do you know that other people's fields are not natural, including the fields I used to have? Wu Lingyu said. Saima Yuyu's eyes lit up after hearing the following sentence, and she said, Really? Well. Wu Lingyu nodded, a little wondering why she was happy, and I thought it would be like this because she heard no one else. But what she thought was that she was finally a little bit better than him. What role does heaven have in that area? If you have NT been dead, and then you have been expanding your field, your field may become a world in the future. Wu Lingyu said, but the specific role is not clear to me, after all, no one has actually encountered it. Yes, but there are rumors that our world is formed by the domain of immortals. Although it cannot be verified, it can be heard. Hey, if I can really form a world in the future, then I can be considered a creator. Saima Yuyu said with a smile. If you really become the Lord, I guess people in your world will be very insignificant. Wu Lingyu said solemnly. 
why? Because you're smiling very wretchedly now. See how I can pack you up. Sima Yuya wrapped his arms around his neck and shouted. Say I'm insignificant, then I'll make you insignificant. Wu Lingya was pressed by her, and she waved her hand, and a beauty couch appeared behind him to catch him. Yu Yu, are you just so anxious to throw me down? If you want, I am willing, you don't have to be so anxious. Wu Lingya laughed and teased. Sima Yuya slipped a few black lines on his forehead, this guy is really insignificant. She let go of his neck and wanted to get up, but he grabbed a hand, held him by the waist, and rolled over, pressing her underneath. Since you are so anxious, I don't mind being eaten by you. Wu Lingyu said with a smile, or you don't want to eat my tofu, but you want to eat me. Rogue. If you want to touch me, you can do it casually. You don't have to be so vague. Wu Lingyu grabbed her hand and placed it on her chest, smiling wryly. This is not just a hooligan. She rolled her eyes, grabbed his right hand, and held his other hand around his neck. With a force, the position of the two turned over immediately, and she pressed him under him again. Since you want to be crushed by me so much that you want me to eat, then come on. But that's the only way I can get you down. She reached out and stroked his face, joking. Wu Lingyu watched her suddenly change, let go of her hand, lay on the bed, look like you slaughtered, closed her eyes and said, Come. The little roar playing in the distance saw this scene, covered his eyes with his short legs, and roared in his mouth, Do not look at indecency, do nt listen to indecency, don't say indecency. I didn't see anything. I didn't see anything see. The other spirit beasts yelled at him so much. They all looked over here, and saw them lying on the beauty's couch, and they all choked. Ahem, if you want that, we can see it as if you didn't see it. You go on. You go on. Yagwang also learned to roar and cover his eyes, but the fingers are so big that they can all see his eyes are gone. I never imagined that Yui would like to be on it. Qian Yin sighed, shaking her head. What's weird about this? We are so powerful, so strong, it is normal to want to be on top. No one has to be a man on top. Xiao Qi said with a smile. That's what they said. But they are so deadlocked, are they going to continue or not? I don't know. Is it embarrassing to see us here? Possible. Did you just say you were leaving? Why are you still here? Of course you are so shy here. Xiao Ho said shamelessly, as if it were not used as a light bulb here. As soon as this word came out, it immediately caused the beasts to chase them. It was really shameless. Sima Yuya got up from Wu Lingyu. She was just joking, and was disturbed by these guys, so she didn't even have to make fun of him. Seeing Wu Lingyu still lying on the bed, she glanced at him and said, When are you going to lie? Lie until you agree. Wu Lingyu glared at her. Then keep lying down, she said, and walked around him. But as she passed by the beauty's couch, her thoughts moved, and the beauty's couch turned into a pile of ashes. But Wu Lingyu did not fall to the ground, another beauty couch appeared at that moment and caught him. Not only did it not fall to the ground, even the debris did not get on his shirt. Hey! Sima Yuya glanced at him and really left. Wu Lingyu was lying on the beauty couch, looking at the direction of the Tree of Life, lost in thought. Sima Yuya went to the alchemy room, refined some elixir, and then returned to Wu Lingyu. Coming back so soon. Wu Lingyu supported her head with one hand, and patted the position with the other hand, signaled Sima Yuya to sit down. Sima Yuya sat down and put the elixir in front of him. One a day, you must eat on time. You stay here until your strength has not recovered. Sima Yuyu said. Wu Lingyu smiled. When they were in trouble just now, he didn't know that she took the opportunity to give him a pulse, but she didn't know that she discovered it so quickly. As long as he is asleep, he will become very weak, and the spiritual power in his body cannot be mobilized, which greatly reduces his strength. 
he put away the elixir and said, but I want to go out with you. No. Sima Yuya refused directly, I said, stay here until you recover your strength. Facilitate. He stopped her by one hand. Sima Yuya turned around, nodded on his forehead, and said, obvious. I'm going out now, and you can take care of yourself here. If you want to go out to accompany me, then you can restore your strength early. After that, she really got up and left, leaving him alone and watching the jade bottle come out. Sima Yuyu took Zioki out and they didn't really bring Wu Lingyu. Fifth Earl gave her something to track the ghost family. Although she couldn't determine the position of DER after going out, she could determine their direction so that she would at least not know how to find him. However, she was looking for Di Yan, and others were looking for her. Less than ten days before she killed you, she encountered two waves of people who killed her. That day, they were on their way to a mountain range, and suddenly the sky changed, and a dark cloud pressed down. Immediately, a dark mist rose around them, covering them inside. Come again. Xiao Qi shook his face, very unhappy. Because dealing with the ghost clan, Huawa and Xiao Meng are obviously better than her, which makes her a little frustrated. It seems that Fifth Ed is right, the ghost people are going to chase us to the end. Sima Yuya led the crowd to the top of the mountain and looked at these ghost fogs. There was no fear or worry in her voice. You can kill as many as you like, anyway, it's just a little bird to fly around. Xiao Qi said. Little bird, please trouble you. Sima Yuya called out the small bird, and the small bird liked to burn these dark things. When it saw these, it was very excited, and opened its wings to burn the black mist. What? What? One after another screams of screams came, and those dark mists were quickly retracted and turned into ghosts, but most of them had broken limbs. I didn't expect it to be a black mist formed by humanization. The practice method of the ghost clan is really wonderful. Sima Yuyu said. What's weird about this? If you practice the ghost clan skills, you can too. Xiao Meng said. Do you know any of these? The memory is restored, and the inheritance is restored. Xiao Meng said, We're also both ghosts and ghosts. Really, then I will try it later. Sima Yuyu said with interest. You can't touch that part of your dark attributes at all now, otherwise it accidentally exploded. Where do we look for you? I guess even your soul will be blown up. I want to go to the ghost world to find you. Sima Yuya looked at Xiao Meng and felt that she was only damaged by Xia Huo before, but since she recovered her memory, she became a bit poisonous. For this little dream, she decided to ignore it. She watched the little chicks burn all those ghosts to death, and there was no fluctuation in her eyes. Since these people are here to kill her, they are ready to be killed. The dark clouds in the sky were also formed by the ghost clan. The little birds and birds flew up to the sky, and before they met them, they dispersed automatically and escaped as ghost clan. This person is really amazing. They are not her opponents at all. Sima Yuya did not chase them, let them spread the news, or it can deter some people, otherwise she would be annoyed if they dealt with these ghosts for three days and two ends. It's already the third wave. If you continue this way, you will be annoying in the future. Xiao Qi said. It's a bit troublesome, said Sima Yuyu, then think of a way. Well, think of a way. Xiao Meng agreed. But soon they regretted this proposal, because Sima Yuyu's method was to change her appearance, saying that in order to prevent being exposed, they all could NT come out, but only in the Soul Tower. Even Chong Ming changed and replaced it with a four-wing Fi Peng. Now if she goes out again, no one will recognize her. The ghosts only knew her look, and now this look is gone, they can't find her. I do NT know if they are in a hurry. She chased after for a long time, but it seemed as if they had been walking forward, there was no intention to stop looking for treasure. What are they looking for? She chased them after running for several months seeing that they were about to catch up,
but their breath suddenly disappeared. Sima Yuya looked at the unresponsible artifact, and some of them could not react. The organ's response was very strong just now, indicating that they were very close, but why did they suddenly disappear? She made a circle around and searched all over the area for thousands of kilometers. She didn't find the atmosphere of the ghost clan or any abnormality. Suddenly, she felt the space fluctuate, looking up, and a group of people fell out of it. What? It hurts me. You pressed on me, hurry up. You sit on my face and move your away. Sima Yuyu stood alone in the distance and was surprised when she saw the scene that happened suddenly, especially when she could see who those people were. Sima Yifei got up from the ground and said, How are you? Are everyone still there? Except for Kikai and Yayun, everyone else is here. Someone answered. I didn't expect such a thing to happen, we have to inform the elders as soon as possible. The elder just left for a while, and that person took Kikai and Yayun away. If it weren't for us to escape quickly, we would be killed now. Even if the elders and uncles are here, that person can't be beaten. That person has killed so many women, I'm afraid Kikai and Yayun are more ferocious and less lucky. Anyway, contact Uncle Lai Yu Feng first. Sima Zinchu said. Sima Yuya didn't want to recognize them, but when she heard them, her feet were fixed in place. Sima Kikai and Sima Yayun were arrested? Who was arrested? This girl, why are you alone here? Sima Yifei saw Sima Yuyu and said, Don't you know that women in this area are very dangerous these days? Why are you still here? Get out of here. Sima Yuyu looked at Sima Yifei's anxious look as if things were a little serious. Anyway, it's all Sima, remembering Sima Liyufeng and Sima Liyuyun's instructions to her, she couldn't help but care about it. She walked over and said, What happened here? Don't you know? Sima Yifei looked at her in surprise. Recently there was a strong man in this area. He caught women everywhere, and when he was caught, the women were all disheveled bodies. Dot why are you here alone? Hurry up and leave here. A senior. Sima Yuya whispered. If so, isn't it dangerous that Sima Yayun and Sima Kikai were taken away? Yes, so you leave quickly. I heard you say. Two of your girls have been taken away. Sima Yuyu asked. Yes, we must hurry to rescue them, or it will be dangerous. My name is Siyu, I don't know if there is anything I can help you with. Sima Yuyu said, blinking at Sima Yifei and Sima Zinchu who just came. Leave. Sima Yifei called out. My sister is still in his hands, but you said you want to leave. Sima Feir glanced at Sima Yifei and said, What can you do without leaving? Do you want everyone to accompany them to die with you? Don't forget, uncle, they let us leave. It's all you. Sima Yifei pointed at Sima Feir and shouted, We originally said we were leaving, but you have to stay and everyone must accompany you. If it weren't for you, how could this happen? What's the use of accusing me now? Sima Feir cried. We still have so many women here, don't you think we'll be caught too, will we be defiled too? Just like you, people still don't look at you. Sima Yifei said. Sima Feir was so angry with him, if you have such ability, then you stay, save them. We will certainly not stay. You. Sima Yifei tried to hit her, but was caught by Sima's heart. It's a good fly. They're right, that person's strength is so high, it's useless to stay. Sima Zincha persuaded, although this sentence sounds hard to hear, but what she said is the truth, there is still here such women, they stay more dangerous. Hey! Sima Yifei put down her hand and twisted her head to the side. His face was flushed with anger. This incident was originally caused by Sima Feir, but she escaped now, but plans to pet her and leave and she said so straightforwardly, if she is not miss he must have done it now. Well, you guys are a bit sensible. Let's go. Sima Feir said to others. Now the elders and uncles are not there. 
as a lady, she can be said to be the head of them. Whoever dares not to listen when she speaks. I have to leave you, I will not leave here until my sister is rescued. Sima Yifei said. Well, don't blame us if you don't leave. Sima Fei said, what about you? Sima Zinchu, can't you go? I am staying too. Sima Zinchu said without hesitation. Hey, they are all looking for death. Sima Jaokai sneered, and then smiled and said to Sima Yuyu, Miss, you can go with us. Leave here, you don't have to worry about that respect. Thank you Master Sima for your kindness, but I am more worried about the safety of Kikai and Yaoun, so I want to stay with them. Sima Yuyu declined. That wouldn't work. Sima Gauss cried. You can't stay, this lady, that prostitute is too strong. If you stay, if he gets caught, then... Yes, you should leave with us. But no matter what they say, Sima Yuyu just looked at them and smiled, not talking. What are you two doing there? If you two don't want to leave, you can stay. Sima Fair is ready to start the teleportation team. If the two of them don't come in again, it will slow down everyone's schedule. Sima Jaokai and Sima Jayasi looked at both sides, seeing that Sima Yuyu did not intend to leave, and Sima Fair had already started the teleportation array. The two had no choice but to fly towards the teleportation array. They don't want to die, it's more important than a little girl to be a small one. When everyone in the Sima family had gone, Sima turned around as soon as he flew, and played a spiritual force in the direction they left. Although they could not hit them, at least they vented some anger in their hearts. Sima Yuyu saw him so worried and said, It's useless to get angry here. We still have to think of a way to see if we can rescue them. Blame me, if they both said they were going to the side, I should follow. Sima Yifei said remorsefully. Don't blame yourself either, they are going to go aside, how can you? as a big man, follow along. Sima Zincha said, Yu Yu is right, your anger is not helpful, we want what they did was find a way to rescue them. Sima Yifei closed her eyes and said, but we don't even know where they are now, where to go to find them. Even if we find them, how can we rescue them? That's a respectable powerhouse, we come to him and he can sneeze us. Sima Zincha was also silent. Although the two of them stayed, they did not have the confidence and method to rescue them. Sima Yuyu looked at the two people worried but couldn't help, and could understand their feelings. Everyone knows that is strong. Who is the strongest one? Forces like them have run their little fingers to death. But Sima Kikai and Sima Yaun were arrested, and she couldn't just look at them that way. At least they were more friendly to her after they knew her identity. Do you have anything with their breath? Sima Yuyu asked. What? The two were thinking of how to find them, and they couldn't respond to her questions. I said, do you have anything with their breath, if it is good, it is best to have blood. Sima Yuyu said. Things with their breath? I don't. Sima Zincha Zome Zome, asked Sima Yifei, do you have it? Sima Yifei thought about it and said, I happen to have her cloth with blood. He took out a piece of cloth with a delicate pattern and handed it to Sima Yuyu, saying, This is what my mother left us. Last time she left a lot of blood on my hands. I used this to wipe her in a hurry blood. Because it is different, it is not thrown. Is this thing useful? Positioning. Sima Yuyu took out the scroll melted the dried blood on the embroidery cloth, and dripped it onto the scroll. The blood dripped and was absorbed by the scrolls, then slowly gathered into a red dot, appearing northeast of their northeast. Yayun they are here. Sima Yuyu pointed at the red dot. Let's go now. Sima said as soon as he flew over. You wait. Sima Yuyu said, you go now, only to die. But they can't wait. Sima Yifei growled. With an extra minute of delay, they are more likely to be defiled, and their whereabouts were unknown before. Now that I know, where can he be calm? 
that requires a complete solution. Sima Yuyu said. Do you have any way to wait to beat that person? Sima Zinchu asked. That man is a respected strong man, I have played somewhere. Sima Yuyu said, however, I can only ask for help now. It is not possible for us to go alone. Like who asks for help? Sima Yifei and Sima Zinchu both looked at her with hope in their eyes. I'll take you somewhere, should you keep it secret for me? Sima Yuyu looked at the two, wondering whether to believe them. Without your permission, if I tell your secrets, let me go to hell. Sima Yifei said. Me too. Two rules fell into the two, and an oath was formed. Sima Yuyu nodded, took out the small door, opened the small world, and took them in. You are so small, you can't open other people here. I didn't expect you're okay. The two deserved to be members of a large family. Many of them met in the small world and suddenly recognized the difference between Molian's small world. This used to be a small world of an emperor. It seems that he has managed it. The space is different, so it can be opened in it, Sima Yuyu explained. She took them to the edge of the small lake. The first person to come up was not Ural and clear water, but Zioxi. Zioxi flew out of the water, and flew into Sima Yuyu's arms, and she stunned, seemingly saying how long it took her to come in. Sima Yuyu, holding eleven, said, I miss you too. The golden color is getting more and more, and the blood is still evolving. It's true. Wu Lili took Shui Kingman out of the water and saw that Zioxi eldest kissed her so enviously. This little guy, because he threw it once, doesn't get close to him now. The righteous father and mother. Sima Yuyu smiled. Little Eleven has been evolving. Yes. Although it is slow, it is indeed evolving. Shui Kingman said. Sima Yuyu touched Eleven, and said, Little Eleven, come on. The eleventh boy froze, and then made a few laps. Yu Yu, why are you here? Shui Kingman asked. I'm in trouble. Come and ask your father for help. Sima Yuyu put away a smile and said solemnly. Oh? There are times when our omnipotent children ask me for help? What is it? Listen to it, said Ulama. Sima Yuyu looked at Sima Yifei, who was on the shore and flew over with the clear water and the Ural calendar. Sima Yifei and Sima Zinchu saw the two men in the clear water when they were in Yunhai City. They also saw them at the entrance with Sima Yuyu, but they did not expect them to be here. This is my righteous father and mother, the king and queen of the Zishui dragon clan. This is my two cousins Sima Zinchu and Sima Yifei. Sima Yuyu introduced it to both parties. I've seen the dragon king, queen. Sima Zinchu and Sima Yifei were surprised by their identity and made a courtesy. Dolomai nodded slightly and asked, Is they asking me? That attitude and tone were completely different from those when Sima Yuyu spoke. Not even. Sima Yuyu said, My two cousins were caught by a cousin. We want to rescue the cousin, but that cousin is a respectable powerhouse. You want me to deal with that person? Yuroli asked. Sima Yuyu nodded and asked, Will the right father do me a favor? Aulali was silent for a while, as if thinking, just when Sima Zinchu thought they would not agree, he suddenly laughed and said, This is the first time that Yuyu asked me to help, how could I don't promise? The two were overjoyed and bowed deeply towards Yurima, Thank you Dragon King for your willingness to help. Don't thank me anymore. I wouldn't care about your human affairs if it weren't for Yuyu's opening. Wulamai said. I still want to thank you, said Sima Zinchu. He is willing to take a shot, that is a affection. Yuyu, tell me the specific situation, said Ulama. Sima Yuyu asked Sima Zinchu to tell the specific things again, and then said, the problem now is to know the strength of that venerable respect. Do you know? The difference is too big, and he didn't do his best at that time, he was too busy to escape, and he didn't notice it at all. Sima Zinchu said. Don't you know their place? Let's go and see now, 
and let me see him, and we will see his strength, said Ulleri. It is good. They came outside, and Sima Yuyu took out the scroll and showed him, pointing out where Sima Yun was. It's not very far. I'll take you there first. Wu Lili said and opened the space channel and took them in. They didn't go directly to the old nest of the Kinky, but came out nearby and slowly dived in. What happened to Sima Yun and Sima Kikai? They didn't know. They could only be sure they were alive, because the red dot was still there. That man is in that cave. Dolema could feel the scent of prostitution. How are Yayun and Kiki? Sima Yifei asked. There are a dozen women in it. Who are you talking about? Wu Lili asked. A dozen women? It seems that person is hoarding women for later use. Sima Yuyu guessed, Yufu, can you feel his strength? You can feel that his breath is stronger than mine, and how much higher it is, you need to see him to be sure. Dolema said, if his level is the same as mine, then I will definitely be able to win him if he won level higher than me, I should also be able to beat him. Our Zishui Dragon Clan still has the ability to fight higher levels. But if he is two levels higher than me, then I can't help it. After waiting outside for a while, the demon didn't mean to come out. It's not a way to wait like this. If he doesn't come out then, shouldn't we just keep waiting? Sima Yifei said. Wait a minute for those women to be a little more dangerous. Time is not waiting. You have to think of a way. Sima Yuyu said. Let me get him out of the way. Yurumai was also an impatient and he was a little impatient after waiting so long. No. Sima Yuyu refused if she didn't want to, and said, We don't know his strength now. If he is about the same as his righteous father, what if he is better than you? That's not very dangerous. Would you continue to wait like this? I'll figure out a way to get him out, Sima Yuyu said, You're waiting here. What are you going to do? Dolema asked. If you find him, it's even more dangerous. Yufu rest assured, I have a way to return safely. Sima Yuyu finished and jumped out of her hiding place. She used space to hide her breath, and came to a few hundred meters in front of the entrance to stop. There was a scream of a woman and a cry of some women in the cave, and a laugh of a man. It seemed that he was defiled the woman again. Sima Yuya was relieved when she heard that the woman's scream was not Sima Kikai and Sima Yayun. She took out two thunderbolts and secretly said, I was frightened when I was on my head. I wonder if it would be inhumane in the future. She poured spiritual power into the thunderbolt and threw it into the hole. At the moment of the throw, she teleported back to the hiding place for two consecutive times. Then took everyone into the soul tower. Sima Zincha they vowed not to tell her secrets, so she was safe to bring them in. When the slutty lord put on his pants, he didn't see anyone at all. As soon as Sima flew, they saw her using teleport to come back and then she remembered that she still had the ability. It really looks like a beggar. Sima Yuya used her to look out from the soul tower, and saw the person, as they said in Sima Zinchu. Who is it? Who is it? The revival was on the rise, and he could almost improve a little bit, but suddenly heard the sound of an explosion, startled him immediately. He wasn't scared by the explosion, but thought that someone could approach himself so close, but he didn't realize that the opponent was at least as good as himself. But he came outside without seeing a figure, not even a moving one. The spirit beasts here fled after they knew he was here. Who is it? He let out the momentum, but still didn't feel the presence of someone. No matter who it is, if I catch you, I will kill you. In the soul tower, Sima Yuyu asked Ulama around him and said, Father, do you see his strength? Well, said Olama, his strength is one level higher than me, and he is about to enter the senior level. And it is infinitely close. In this case, his strength is not only one level higher than me. Then if you fight him, are you sure? Sima Yuyu didn't expect that the power of prostitution was so strong. Since you are such a strong person, 
why do you do such a thing? It's less than half a chance, Ulama told the truth, but if I do my best, I'm not without a chance. That's too risky. Sima Yuyu said. Less than half the chance, that is to say, he is less likely to win and more likely to be killed. He can't let him take such a risk. She thought about it and asked, what if it's in the field? Realm. Uram Mifros, then shook his head, and said, we spiritual beasts cannot understand the realm. I mean, my field. Sima Yuyu said, if it is in my field, will he suppress his strength? As soon as she spoke, the three men present were choked. Domain? You mean, did you realize the realm? Dolomai was in the small world and did not know about Sima Yuyu's experience in the past two years. He suddenly heard her say that and almost bit his tongue. Not to mention the surprise of Sima Yifei and Sima Zinchu. As a direct member of the Sima family with a respected strong, they naturally know the realm of this thing. But isn't it saying that this is something that can only be comprehended by the strongest? How can she do that? Yu Yu, when did you realize the realm? In less than a year. Because of some opportunities, I realized it. Sima Yuyu said, Father, like I just said, if you are in my field, how confident are you? At least 80% sure, said Ulama, but this is not so easy. That is a respectable level. If he also understands the realm, you will definitely be inferior to him when you collide with him. What we want is not to kill her now. Sima Yuyu said, it is to cooperate with various parties and delay time so that they can be rescued by Yifei. Of course, it is best to kill him. Then we have to discuss carefully what to do. Wulamai said. It is necessary to plan well, said Sima Yuyu. They discussed in the Seoul Tower for a long time and finally decided the final plan. I will go out in a while, arrange a formation in the distance, and put some poison in the formation, even if I can't poison him even if it can be dragged for a second or two. Sima Yuyu said, Xian Chu is responsible for starting the formation law, I control the field aside, so when you fly, you can only rescue them by yourself, you know? Relax, I will rescue them. Sima Yifei said. One thing is still a little worrying, said Sima Zinchu. The distinguished strong is very sensitive to space. If he finds out that you are in the field, he is afraid that you have not succeeded. He will find out. Once he win found, you are in danger. I naturally have my way. Sima Yuyu said, Father, at that time I will let the egrets of the egrets cooperate with you. It is good. That's it. I'm going out now to find a place to set up the formation. You can run in with those clan elders. After Sima Yuyu said, she went out alone came to an empty place, took a deep breath, and began to arrange the array. She arranged a small sleepy array, and the place where the matrix method was started was arranged far away, so that Sima Zincha could start the matrix method from a distance. After the formation of the array, some poison was added before the others were brought out. In addition to Sima Zinchu and the four elders of the Egret tribe who came out this time, although they did not reach the honor level, they all stepped into the honor level. We will look for that in a while, and when you see him come out, you will go in to save people. You must move fast because we don't know how long it can last. Sima Yuyu said, if you let he returns, and you and others are in danger. I know. Sima Yifei said. Father, don't fight in love after you lead him out, you must come back quickly and lead him to the formation. Sima Yuyu said to Ulamai again. You can rest assured. Ulamai nodded. Then you go. It is good. Ulamai took the egret clan to the hole and let Sima fly to hide to the side before throwing a thunderbolt over. Sima Yuyu and Sima Zincha waited in the formation, heard the explosion sound, and knew that they were coming soon. Xian Shu, after he flew to that position, you will start the formation. Then stay away from it. Sima Yuyu said. Well, I know. There was no change in Sima Zincha's expression, 
but her body was shaking slightly. It's the first time for him to fight against the strongest. Especially the opponent is still a demon, maybe he will give him seconds. After a while, they saw Olama flying over, followed by the Lord. On the side of the cave, that sacred statue was interrupted by Sima Yuyu. It was a fire in the stomach. When I returned to the cave, I saw those women who were crying together. A dozen women were so yelled at by him, even more scared. Some closed their mouths, and some cried even more because of fear. The one who cried the most was the woman who had just been defiled. I said I shouldn't cry. Yinzun shouted at the woman, taking her own potential. Puff. The woman spit out blood, and immediately her facial features began to bleed, her eyes widened, she couldn't believe she fell aside and lost her life. If you cry any more, you will end up like her. The immortal threatened. The women who were crying a lot just now are so scared that they have forgotten to cry, or dare not cry any more. Hey. That's good. Yinzun touched the face of the nearest woman a bit, then came to the cave and sat down to start meditating. Although I was interrupted just now, I still got some strength. He just had to digest it. Sima Yayun and Sima Kikai were next to each other, with tears on their faces. Yayun, what should we do? Sima Kikai glanced at the woman's body, scared to lean on Sima Yayun. Don't be afraid. We'll be fine. Sima Yayun patted her hand, saying something she didn't even believe. Being caught by such a person, even if they contact Uncle Shang Feng, they may not be rescued. His strength was too strong, and the Sima family did not come in at all. How could such a strong man come here? If you are looking for a woman, you should also look outside. After all, there are more women outside. Well, Yayun, you said what was going on just now? Who will save us? Sima Kikai asked. Shouldn't it? Sima Yayun glanced outside. I think the possibility is very high, otherwise who would come to provoke such a person? Sima Kikai said, even if it is not to save us, but to save one of them, by the way, save us. Before those people ended, I was a little. Sima Yayun felt her body trembling, reached out and held her, and said, I'm not afraid, we have something to face together. Being controlled by him, he can't even commit suicide. This is the gap in strength. Sima Kikai said. If they could, they would rather commit suicide before being defiled, rather than end up like that. Sima Yayun wanted to comfort her that there would be hope, but even she herself was hopeless. A day passed, and the woman in the cave started to tremble as the awakened. Every time he wakes up after absorbing the essence of a woman, he will repeat the previous thing. Everyone shrinks, fearing that they are in danger today. Yinzun looked around, and finally set his sights on Sima Yayun. Sima Yayun's body was stiff when he felt his eyes. Is it your turn? Still haven't waited for someone to rescue them? You, come here. Sima Yayun hooked her. Sima Yayun closed her eyes and took a deep breath, and she was indeed herself. Let her pass? Is it possible? She slowly stood up, and Sima Kikai pulled her aside. Yayun don't. Sima Kikai shouted. Yinzun glanced at Sima Kikai and said, I haven't tried with two women. Since you are so good, let's be together. Sima Kikai's body froze, together? She wanted to say no, but the scorner thought they were too troublesome. With a wave of her hand, the two were carried away by a strong wind. The moment Sima Yayun approached, he suddenly struck a spiritual force and banged on the chest of the imperial deity. Even if you can't hurt him, if you anger him and let him kill himself, it's better than being defiled. Unfortunately, her strength was too weak in front of him, and the attack dissipated before approaching him. Well. Her neck was caught by the prostitute, and she was unable to breathe. Ha ha ha, I like a strong woman like you. It tastes good enough. Said Yin Sun. You kill me if you have the ability. Sima Yayun said hard. 
want to irritate me and let me kill you. Lascivious laughed. Little girl, you're too tender. You can rest assured that I will let you die soon. He threw Sima Kikai aside, then freed his hand to tear Sima Yayun's clothes. His dash dash. The sound of torn clothes made Sima Yayun's last hope completely annihilated. If there is a future life, she must be strong and not let anyone bully herself. Don't. Sima Kikai screamed, trying to jump over, but was thrown on the stone wall by the power of the imprisoned hand spit out a blood, hot back pain. Don't. She watched Sima Yayun's shirt torn to reveal her jade-like skin, but she couldn't do anything, tears kept flowing, and she weeping on the ground. Little beauty, you can rest assured that the deity will make you happy in a while. Zun Zun laughed. To be honest, I'm a bit reluctant to kill beautiful women like you. If you obediently, the deity will break you life, let you follow me. Sima Yayun looked at him with silence in his eyes and slowly said, You better kill me, otherwise I will kill you. Ha 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 the ridiculous laughed, The more you say that, the more the deity is reluctant to kill you. The deity has decided that to save your life, the deity must see how you killed me. I will, I will. Sima Yayun said word by word. My dear wait. Now, little beauty, please make the deity comfortable first. Maybe she was attracted to him, and he took out a bed, instead of solving it on the spot as before. He put Sima Yayun on the bed, and when he was about to bring his gun into battle, the explosion sounded again at the entrance of the cave, scaring him tightly, and all the emotions shrank back. A few more times, he didn't know if he would scare the impotents. You're here again, I must catch you this time. Little beauty, you wait. I'll come back later to make you comfortable. The prodigal rose, put on his pants and went out. Yayun. Sima Kikai got up from the ground, took out her clothes and wrapped Sima Yayun. Don't be afraid, someone is here to save us. Listen, there is a fight outside. Sima Yayun's eyes rolled, and the pupils finally got a little light. Will someone come to save us? Yes. It must be here to save us. Sima Kikai hugged her and said. Haha, there really is an enchantment. I still want my baby to exert his power. Xia Roar's voice suddenly came from the mouth of the cave, making everyone in the cave look happy. Sima Kikai looked out of the cave. Is anyone really here to save them? It happened too suddenly, and they still wondered if there was a hallucination. Small Roar. Don't make a noise, take me in. The will return soon. Sima Yifei said anxiously outside the hole. Look at you in anxiety. Isn't this baby opening an enchantment? This is the enchantment arranged by the honorable powerhouse. Even this baby needs a little time. Xiao Huo said. Its claws were placed on the enchantment, and the faint blue halo spread slowly. When it was able to pass, Sima Yifei drilled into it impatiently. As soon as he entered, he saw Sima Yayun, who was wrapped in a skirt on the bed, and Sima Kikai, who was kneeling with tears on his face. Yayun, Kiki, are you all right? One fly. Sima Kikai saw her brother and cried even more, but this time she was crying with joy. Sima Yifei saw the torn clothes on the ground, and the coat on Sima Yayun, and said with a heartache, Yayun, you have been. No, that Zun went out before he started. But he tore Yayun's skirt. Sima Kikai said. I said, that guy inside, can you come out quickly, grind something in there, and wait for that big bad guy to come back. Xiao Huo shouted outside. Yes, let's talk later. You follow me soon. Sima Yifei said. You follow me too. He saw that Sima Yayun didn't move. Two steps forward, a princess hugged her and said to Sima Kikai, Go. The women had gone out, and when the three of them went out, Xiao Huo let go of his paw. Follow me. Sima Yifei thought and moved a temporary teleportation array in his hand. He injected spiritual power, took everything in, and left here. 
In a valley far from Sima Yuyu, Sima Yifei took everyone out of the array. Haha, we are saved. Are we really out? I thought, thought we. The women cried in a group, thankfully they were saved. Thank you for your help. The women said gratefully. Xia Roar flew into the air, waving his paw, and said, It's my baby, it's my baby who saved you. Those women knew that if it hadn't opened the enchantment, they wouldn't have escaped, and she was so attracted to seeing her invitation to merit. Thank you for your help. Yes, we want to thank you. Thank you, God Beast. Xia Roar fluttered, seeing so many beauties, stunned in her arms, and touched the chest. Sima Yifei looked at the joy that Sima Yun had not been rescued, and lowered her head on her head, and reproached herself, I'm sorry, my brother is late. He rarely called himself an elder brother, but this time, the elder brother finally restored Sima Yun's deities, and tears fell. Brother. The elder brother was reborn after the calamity, was sad, thankful, had grievances and sadness, contained too many emotions, and made Sima Yifei's thick-lined people red eyes. Sorry, I am late. Sima Yun leaned on Sima Yifei, shook his head, and cried for a while before stopping. By this time, her panic fear had dissipated more than half. Sima Yifei looked at her emotional stability, and then said to Sima Kikai, take her to change clothes. Um. Sima Kikai supported Sima Yun and said, let's go. Sima Yun came down and tightened his coat to avoid walking away. Kiki, you were injured just now. Take the elixir first. I'm fine. Let's go change clothes first. Sima Kikai helped her to the side of the big stone. When they came out again, Sima Yun had changed clothes, and Sima Kikai had taken the elixir. Brother, how did you come to save us? What is that beast? Sima Yun came over and saw Howling with other beauties and asked. That is the spirit beast of Yuyu. Actually speaking, she should be the one who saves you. Sima Yifei said. Yuyu? Did you see her? Sima Yun and Sima Kikai were a little surprised when they heard the name of Sima Yuyu. That is so strong, who can lead him away? Yuyu's righteous father, the dragon king of the Zishui dragon clan. Sima Yifei said. He then left them with the teleportation team, and met Sima Yuyu on the other side of the teleporter and said what happened later. However, because of the oath, he omitted the matter of the small world and the soul tower. I didn't expect that we owed her such a big deal. Sima Yun said, if it weren't for her, I'd be all ready. Thinking of that scene, she couldn't help shaking. Sima Yi flew forward to hold her and said, don't be too surprised when you see her. What happened? You'll know when that happens. Sima Yifei sold off. They and Sima Yuya were far away after they came in. They hadn't heard much about her, so they didn't know she was a woman. If she hadn't recognized her before, she wouldn't have recognized them. Then where are they now? Let's go and see, if she has something, we're just not going to be at ease in this life. Sima Yun said. To be honest, I'm also worried about them. But if we go, I'm afraid they will drag them down. Sima Yifei said. Is it possible for them to participate in the battle between the superiors? I did nt know how to say it, and it would drag you down. We don't participate, just look at it from a distance. Sima Yun said, I want to see how this person died. Sima Yifei felt her deep hatred. If she was not allowed to see him die, she would not let go of her life. All right. Let's go. Sima Yifei said. They went to Xiaohuo, the guy was still choking on the oil of the beauties, and when they heard that they were going to find, all the women who were scared were embarrassed and resolute. Sima Yifei was not reluctant to say, since that is the case, let's stop here. You go to your gate and family, and we go to our friends. The women hesitated again. With the previous experience, they were afraid to act alone. Sima Yifei who saved them now is the patron saint in their hearts. 
Otherwise, let's go with you, said one woman. Don't you want to see that bad guy killed? The woman said so, the hearts of those women began to shake again, and finally decided to go together, but they must be far away, and firmly do not get close to that big slut. The imperial deity came to the entrance of the cave and saw Uramai and others in the distance. You guys yesterday too. Yes, said Ulama, give up those girls. But it's just a spirit beast with the highest level of strength, and dare to shout at me. The imperious son looked at Ulamai with contempt, but did not put him in his eyes. He has cultivated magic skills, and his strength is much higher than those of the same level, not to mention people who are one level lower than himself. Kill you, that's enough. Ulamai said. Then try it. The sacred demon attacked Ulama, but Ulama stood still, and did not mean to fight back, just throwing a small ball over. Can a small ball resist his attack? That's too underestimated. But when the small ball met his attack, it exploded. It was obviously just a fist-sized iron ball, but his attack was resolved. When the aftermath passed, the old man around Ulama said, his strength is far higher than us, let's go back and think about the countermeasures. Yes. Let's go back. Uramai was very unwilling, gritted his teeth and said, go. After speaking, several people turned and flew away. Is waiting for a break. Yinzun yelled at them, and chased after them. I have to say that this ridiculous mind is not so good at it, I never caught up with it if I was cheating but it is also self-confidence in his own strength. I feel that no one can treat him in Wonderland, and he doesn't take all of them to heart. Sima Yuyu and Sima Zincha waited anxiously. As long as they were drawn out, Sima Yayun would be fine. But it also shows that danger is coming to them. Come, heart letter, get ready. Their figures were gradually approaching, and Sima Zincha's nervous palms began to sweat waiting for the demon to come to the top of the formation. However, seeing that he was about to enter that range, he stopped in the air. Because he saw Sima Yuyu. Sima Yuyu turned into a look very similar to herself, and the Lord saw her for a while and was shocked to heaven. How could there be such a beautiful woman in the world? Although the strength is a bit low, but the age is also very young, can still improve in the future. Sima Yuyu didn't seem to move at first sight, and he didn't know if he doubted them and shouted to Ulamai, Father, you must kill him. Looking at Sima Yuyu's hate and fear of herself, Yinzun seemed to understand that Ulamai said, Ha ha ha. Little girl is not afraid, follow the deity, and the deity protects you from walking in this world. You walk away, you big. Sima Yuyu cried, You are so bad, there will be no good end. Really? Ha ha ha. Then follow me, and see how I am happy in this world. Laughing kinky. Sima Yuyu shuddered and turned and ran back. Seeing her, the imperial prince looked at Ulama to the back of her head and chased after her, but was trapped when she flew forward for dozens of meters. Trapped dragon formation. He recognized the formation at once, a little surprised, but not panicked. He didn't rush out and looked at Ulama and said, I said how dare you come to me as soon as you stepped into the honorable spirit beast. It turned out that the array was arranged in advance. Sima Yuyu stopped, and turned to look at the prostitute in the trapped dragon array, wondering if the poison inside would be effective, and how long he would be trapped. She flew back and said, it seems that you know this formation, then you should know that you cannot get out of this formation. Is that so? Yinzun was not in a hurry, saying, Is this arrangement you arranged? Yes, it's for someone like you. Sima Yuyu said, You can't go out and harm people in the future. It is very talented to arrange such a formation at a young age. Said Yinzun, But do you know that this formation can't hold me up for a tea time? As long as I think of it, you are about to be broken in just two battles. Well, then you try it. See if your tea can come out. Sima Yuyu said confidently. Yinzun likes a temper like dead Sima Yuyu, and is so confident that you want to destroy it yourself. 
when he goes out to catch her, you must slowly destroy her confidence. You look good then. He attacked the formation, and for the first time he made the formation shaky, and saw Sima Yuyu's face change. The seeing her like that, laughing, and attacking again. After this attack, there was only a slight ripple left in the formation, and the Imperial Lord played a spiritual power at hand, and the formation was broken. That's right. I could withstand three attacks. Satisfied satisfied, in time, you should be able to trap me more time. Sima Yuyu's face turned pale, and she shouted, The Righteous Father! You want to catch my baby, you're going to die. Dolema attacked at him. Hey, you can't help it. When Yi Zun waved her hand, she resolved Yurimai's attack. Just your strength is worthy to fight me. I'll show you what is really strong. Dolemai did not use all his strength. According to the previous plan, he had to maintain his strength before entering the field. By the way, let the prostitute look down on him. The demon struck a spiritual power towards Dolemai, turned into a red spirit beast, and attacked him. Drink. Yurimai also hit a water dragon, entangled with the venerable spirit beast. Let's help too. Those clan veterans also exerted their spiritual power and turned into the egrets to help Olama. However, they didn't add up to their sexual prowess. The front part was broken apart, and they rushed at them. Space blockade. Saima Yuyu yelled, blocking the deformed beast. Yinzun did not expect that she would use a space blockade and was even more curious about her. You can arrange a formation like the Sleepy Dragon Array at such a small size, and you also realize that the space is blocked. If she really grows up, it would be hard to imagine. Little girl, you really make me, more and more interested. He licked the corner of his mouth, watching Saima Yuyu like a prey. I'll make you never interested. Explode me. Saima Yuyu sighed coldly, and the transforming spirit beast was exploded into a spiritual force and dissipated in the air. Little girl, wait for me to clean up your father-in-law and talk to you slowly. Now you just go and stay aside. The imperial demon once again exerted spiritual power, but found that his strength was suppressed. He closed his eyes and felt suddenly opened his eyes to look at her, shocked for the first time. Realm. You cast Realm. How is this possible? If he had only been interested in Saima Yuya before, now he is starting to look straight at her. The Realm can be realized only by the honorable level. How can you, a little level, realize this? Saima Yuya looked at her and said, Want to know? I won't tell you. Yufu, let go. Latent meaning is also, hurry up. To trap a respected powerhouse in her field, she needs more energy. Therefore, this field does not know how long it will last. She had said this to Ulama long ago, so when he heard her say it, she understood what she meant, and attacked with several egrets. Now they don't have to say anything to deceive, but at this time, killing him is the right thing to do. Saima Yuya doesn't need to shoot, she just needs to control the field but this is more important than everyone's role. In the field of others, it is not possible to develop her own field, but he will definitely discover the field, how can she unfold the field without knowing it? Wrong. It is not unconscious that her movements are actually very large, but they are all covered under the blockade of the space. She did not use the space blockade to solve his attack, but to use it as a cover-up to show the field. And herself. I never thought she would realize the realm at such a young age, so she didn't think about it in that aspect. Think of that fluctuation only as a result of the blockade. Because the two really want to. Because of the intention, he got himself into a passive situation, which he had never thought of at first. And Ulama's attacks were not as weak as before, and each of his attacks was quite powerful. Coupled with the suppression of Saima Yuyu, it made him cope with some difficulties. When Saima Yifei and others arrived, they just saw that they were contained in the realm. They heard that Saima Yuyu and Lingzun had a conversation, and everyone was stranded. Did I hear you right? 
Sima Yifei called. Field? Sima Yuyu actually realized the field. How can that be? It's really impossible, but it can only be her. Sima Yun said. Others are spirit beasts, and they cannot understand the realm. And only Sima Yuyu and Yunzun are human beings, not the realm of the development of Yunzun, it can only be Sima Yuyu. Yuyu mighty, Yuyu is great. Xiao Huo rolled in Sima Yun's arms. At this time, Sima Kikai suddenly called out. Sima Yuyu is actually a woman. Sima Yayun also reacted, and saw that familiar face was indeed a dress for women. They were just shocked by the things in Sima Yuyu's field, they didn't notice it at all, and now seeing her like this, they almost shouted Xiao Xiao to the ground. Xiao Huo regained his balance a few centimeters before landing, then flew up again, returned to Sima Yayun's arms, and said, It's strange that my family is female. Sima Yuyu? Is it Sima Yuyu, the deputy owner of Broken Gut Valley? The rising star in the legend. Someone exclaimed. Yes, yes. My little month is the deputy owner of the Broken Heart Valley. Xia Roar said. I didn't expect her to save us. What's more unexpected is that she is actually a woman. Everyone was silent. A person younger than them was so powerful. They rescued them and shocked their hearts. Sure enough, no one is better than others. This is everyone's final unanimous emotion. We still have to step back a bit, if it is affected, it will not be good. Sima Yifei said. Although they are far away now, if they are affected, they will be too late to regret it. They backed up nearly a kilometer and stopped at the edge of their sight. In this way, you can see what happened there and if something goes wrong, you can better escape. The battle here soon attracted many people who came to see it, and felt that the shocking battle could only be watched from a distance. Isn't that person the respectable powerhouse? Someone can compete with him. It's awesome. I can fight with the strongest. No, it's a couple of people fighting with those people. Why is that little girl so close and not afraid to be affected? Yet. Yeah. What a wayward girl. What do you know? Look, there must be an artifact on her, and every time she attacks her, it dissipates. Any artifact, even the battles between the ranks can resist. No matter what level of artifact, it is certainly not something you and me can have. Yes, it must be those powerful forces that have such artifacts. What a lucky guy, with such great resources. Not really. The onlookers commented and found nothing wrong until Tang Yun showed up with the people of Shenzhen Pavilion. These people are really amazing. The people of Shenzhen lamented after those people. If only we had such a powerful artifact. I will never be afraid that other people's battles will affect us. What do you know? Tang Yun watched the battle over there in shock. That woman is the key. Deputy Attorney, why do you say that? Realm, they are all in that person's realm. Tang Yun said something that he didn't even believe. No, Deputy CO host, shouldn't the domain be something that only the strongest can realize? I used to think so too, Tang Yun said, but, obviously, the world made a big joke with us. It is not that people with low strength cannot understand, but that their talents are too low to allow them to understand. Isn't that Sima Yuyu? Someone recognized her identity. The Dragon King who seems to be the Zishui Dragon family came. When outside the fairyland, I heard others say. Those are all spirit beasts, then Sima Yuyu really understood this field. This is too unexpected. Awesome, not to mention her background, just to talk about her talent, that's what I can't wait for. Sima Yuyu also knew that a lot of people had come. She had already guessed that this battle would attract others to come, so she was not surprised. As time passed, she felt more and more strenuous, and this support field was really individual work. If this guy is not solved anymore, I am afraid that I will not be able to support it. But she didn't look like Wulamai looked like he could get him in three or five minutes. No, 
if you go on like this, what you did today will be in vain. If he escaped, he would laugh even more if he wanted to catch him. What do you find in your memory? They all looked at Xiao Meng and Sima Zinchu, wondering what she saw. Yu Yu, you sit down and I'll tell you. Xiao Meng helped Sima Yu to sit down on the chair and said, that ridiculous respect wasn't like this before, but got a yin tonic in it. Yang's exercises are the ones we guessed before that killed everyone. Then this year he learned the exercises and started looking for women. So evil. Well, this person was not a good person before. He has been stuck in the current level for a long time. The limit is approaching. He got this exercise, so he contacted. Xiao Meng said, if it wasn't for us to kill him, he would collecting another 9,000 women will advance you. If he wasn't dead, wouldn't he have killed 9,000 women? Sima Kikai called. The thought of them almost becoming one of those 9,000, she was both afraid and thankful. So it is, said Sima Yuyu, well, are you going out now to find those in Sima's house, or will you stay here? Let's not go to those people. Sima Kikai already knew that Sima Fair had given up on saving them. Although this can be said to be reasonable, the fact that things originally started because of them, but gave up on them later still made them not want to be with them again. Sima Yuyu is not reluctant, and those of Sima Fair are not good. Then you find a place to rest. I will heal you first, said Sima Yuyu. Except for a small lake, you can go anywhere. Okay. We also visit here. The four of Sima Zinchu left. Sima Yuyu looked at Xiao Meng and asked, What else do you see in his memory? When Xiao Meng was talking about that person's memory just now, others didn't find it, but Sima Yuyu felt that she paused, and there should be nothing to say. Yuyu, I saw in his memory that Di Yan went to a place where they disappeared. Xiao Meng said. Sima Yuyu was shocked and asked, Are he sure? Xiao Meng nodded and said, the prince also approached that place, and felt a strong spatial fluctuation there. By the way, those in Sima's family also entered that place. Uncle Lai Yufeng them. Well. Once he caught two women. When they passed by, they glanced inside and saw them. And not only them. Many people have gone in these months, and their strength is not low. But but no one came out. If it wasn't for the fact that he was looking for a woman, he might have gone. Xiao Meng said. So does he know what's there? Sima Yuyu asked. Xiaoman shook his head and said, he doesn't know. Sima Yuyu leaned on the chair, her hands folded, and she was lost in thought. Yuyu, are we going? Xiao Qi asked. There are so many people, there must be something in it. But they all left their juniors, indicating that it must be dangerous inside. Sima Yuyu said. But I don't know how long they will stay in it, if they stay there until Wonderland closes, it's troublesome. Then let's go in. I can protect you. Xiao Qi said. At this time, Dolomai came over and said, I once heard my ancestors say that if there is a hidden space in Wonderland, there is either a great opportunity or a big danger. It will not be just a trifle. If it's a big chance, that's okay. If it's a big danger, then you have to be strong. Sima Yuyu said, no wonder Uncle Lai Yufeng has kept their descendants. Whether it's a big chance or a big danger, their strength low, it will drag everyone back. That's right. Big chances can cause robbery, let alone big dangers. Whatever it is, let's go in and take a look. Sima Yuyu listened to Ulamai and said that she was a little tempted there. If there is a big chance, then she will go for a drink. Good wow good wow, let's go after your health is good. Xiao Qi said. Sima Yuyu saw her like that, smiled, and let them play by themselves, and then began to meditate and recover. On the other side, Sima Yun, they came to a hill, where you can see the living area of Susha City. I didn't expect that Yuyu still has such a place. Sima Yayun sighed, looking at the lively living area below. Yet. Yeah. 
Sima Zinchu said, We have all heard about the Blood Evil City. At that time, we also discussed how many people in the Blood Evil City suddenly disappeared. I didn't expect to be here. Hum Sima Kikai sighed. I did not expect that Yuya was actually a woman, but also a woman, but the difference was too great. It really hit people. But my sister is also good. Sima Yayun said with a smile. I really have to thank her for this incident. If we didn't meet her, we can't think of any way to save you. Sima Yaifei said. Especially in such a short time. The smile on Sima Yayun's face faded a lot. This time, she eagerly hoped to improve her strength. Only when she became stronger would she not be bullied. By the way, don't tell the story of Zyja, because we swear, we can't say it, otherwise we will go to infernal hell. Sima Yaifei urged. Just rest assured, we won't say it. Sima Kikai said, just aiming at her to save us, we can't do anything like this. Yes. Sima Yayun nodded. Sima Yuyu, who was healing and meditating, heard them say this, and then he was relieved to heal. Although I believe in them, I still want to hear them speak in order to be assured. But the people on the mountain didn't know that they could hear them from Sima Yuyu so far, because others also had small circles, but they couldn't fully integrate with the small circles. They continue to sigh about Sima Yuyu. Well, Yuyu is so powerful. If you want to return to the family, those people will definitely not oppose it. Sima Kikai said. That's not necessarily true, Sima Zinchu said. Although we didn't know the original thing, the movement was not small. Many people participated in it at the time, and many homeowners came in the meeting that day gatekeepers and the like. Even an old ancestor was alarmed. Yes, Sima Yayun echoed. If they insist against it, or if they have any conventions, even if Yuyu is excellent now, they may not be able to go back. Several people on the top of the mountain were silent. Regarding the events of that year, not only did their families conceal them, but even other participating forces did not reveal a bit of wind. In such a continent, it is almost impossible to hide something so detailed. But this is an exception. No one knows what happened at the time and no one knows where the party went or what kind of things they were going through. No, it's not that I don't know, but those who know have chosen to keep silent. Leave some people who know the fur curious. Well, I also know, where is Uncle Lu Xian now? Uncle Lu Feng, although they have been looking for so many years, don't know where he is, will they already? Sima Kikai guessed. Should not. Sima Zinchu said. Uncle Lu Xian's life card is still in the family. Although it is indeed covered with lines, it has not cracked, indicating that Uncle Lu Xian has not died. For so many years, things in that year are still untouchable secrets in the family, hey? Sima Yuyu opened her eyes, her eyes worried. She was about to start healing, but when they heard that they suddenly talked about their parents, wondering what they knew, she continued listening. However, as a direct family member, they still don't know what happened, it seems they still have to ask Sima Liyufeng they know. Before, they said that her strength was too low, but she has improved a lot since the last separation, and realized that the enchantment, they should tell themselves what happened. Now that they have entered that place, she will go in and look for them. I don't know if they will tell themselves what happened before. However, didn't Yin Lin say that as long as she found the cleanest water, she would tell her about her father? If she can tell her father's news, it will be a short while to find him. But the cleanest water. She didn't know what was the cleanest water. But no matter what, she has to try it. Sima Liaoxuan they haven't heard for so many years, this may be the only clue. The people on the mountain were talking about other things in the Sima family and she took back her consciousness and began to heal. They stayed in the small realm for three days, and they had been told that they had killed the prostitute. As soon as people who had stayed at the ruins heard about this, they passed on the things she felt under the tree of life, and those people combined the two things, 
and then they realized that Sima Yuyu not only understood her own Tao, also realized the realm. This has become a powerful existence. Such a talented person is simply a metamorphosis fighter. People outside admire her endlessly, which is a pain for Sima Yuyu, who was healed in the small realm. Not only does she have to recover her injuries, but she must also control the power of faith in her body so that it does not grow too fast at once and that she does not lose control. She just felt that this thing was really a burden to her. Now she can't use it without saying so much trouble. Fortunately, Wu Lingyu knew what she was like now, and taught her a way to better control the power of those beliefs, not to work as hard as she does now. On this day, she felt that she was almost okay, and there was no one around her. She set up an enchantment, and then flashed into the soul tower. He went to see Wu Lingyu first, this guy was forced to stay here to rest and he was bored now. Wu Lingyu is a little depressed now. This soul tower goes in and out many times by herself. At that time, she was stronger than her and had a contractual relationship, so she was free to go in and out. But now? Now he is left here and can do nothing. Not as good as when it was Seoul. Seeing Sima Yuyu coming in, he glanced at her sadly and said, How are you willing to come in? I heard that you are bored here as a flower-picking thief, and of course I have to come in and see. Sima Yuyu walked over and saw the layers of petals beside his reclining chair, speechless. This guy, actually learning the ancient women bored picking petals. It's really enough. Wu Lingyu still has half a flower in his hand. He pulled it, and a petal was pulled off by him. Then you let me out, I will not destroy your flowers, how about it? Wu Lingyu said. No. Sima Yuyu sat next to him and said, you stay here well. If it was before, it doesn't matter if you go out, but the situation is different now. I'm going to find them, that place, Uncle Lu Feng. They all leave their juniors outside, so you still stay here. Or, do you not want to listen to me? Wu Lingyu continued to destroy the flowers in his hands, and it was irreplaceable. Think of his divine demon king, the son of Sheng Zheng, how many women will be upset when they go out, and now they can only complain. Sima Yuyu looked at him like that, smiled, lay beside him, caressed his cheek, and kissed him. Well, the goal was achieved, Wu Lingyu also threw the flower in his hand, clasped her head with her hand, deepened and lengthened the kiss. After a while, the two talents were released, and Sima Yuyu watched his conspiracy look like, saying, You are not well now, and your strength has not recovered. What should I do if something happens? I guess, you will go to the ghost world to find me. Wu Lingyu said. The hand stroking his cheek slaps and slaps over. This guy is really looking for a fight. Sima Yuyu put his head on his shoulder and slept asleep. Wu Lingyu heard her breathing evenly, knowing that she was asleep, turned her head and kissed her forehead, her eyes darkened. Where is he bored, he just wants to stay with her. If this happened again, he wouldn't just be here watching her hurt outside. Sima Yuyu felt that she had been injured recently and was a bit tired. His taste made her feel at ease, and she lay beside him for more than an hour. Awake. A charming voice sounded overhead. Sima Yuyu's gaze was still a little blurred, and he looked up and didn't speak, but ushered in a kiss. This kiss made her eyes, which had been sober, become more blurred, and some did not know where they were. Are you awake now? Wu Lingyu grinned, looking at her and asking. Nearly. Sima Yuyu evoked a wicked smile, pinched his neck, and bit his lip. After a long wet kiss, Sima Yuyu released him and said with satisfaction, Now awake. In order to keep you awake, I also sacrificed. Wu Lingyu said. Sima Yuyu smiled, remembering what came in this time, got up and sat up, and said, Go. I'll take you somewhere. Look what? Wu Lingyu reached out and grabbed her a handful of black hair, wrapping it around her fingers a few times. Sima Yuyu turned, pulled out her hair, pulled him up, and said, Let's go, I don't know what it is. 
Wu Lingye was pulled up by her and went to the small tower of the Soul Tower. Sima Yuyu rarely comes here, and generally there is nothing for Xiao Lingzi to come out directly, and he won't come over here. Every time she came here, she remembered that she had uttered something and was cut off. The little spirit child appeared and said, I thought you forgot about it. Isn't this busy lately? Sima Yuyu said, Why don't you just tell me what's inside? You have to come by yourself. You've seen it before. Xiao Lingzi also sold Guanzi, let's go. He took Sima Yuyu and Wu Lingyu in, went up one layer at a time, and stopped between the third and fourth floors. A light cloud covered the stairs above, and Sima Yuyu hadn't gone up, they didn't disperse. Go up. Xiao Lingzi said to her. Sima Yuyu nodded, and went up. Those clouds and mists spread slowly until she reached the fourth floor, and all the mists and mists dispersed. Wu Lingyu followed, and the two stood in front of the gate on the fourth floor, waiting to see what was inside, making Xiao Lingzi so mysterious. Sima Yuyu took a deep breath, reached out, and slowly opened the door. Unlike the previous floors, this floor is not an empty mountain and river world, and there are not many mines. It is just a dark room, a very large room. It's so dark. It's so dusty. Sima Yuya waved his hand in front. You become stupid when you are hurt. Xiao Lingzi said scornfully. She's getting better and better lately, making him almost forget the time when he often scorned him. Sima Yuya slipped a few black lines on his face. This guy tried to compare himself. Doesn't he mean that he can control it? It's good to remind you that you have to be so scornful to balance yourself. As soon as she thought about it, the darkened room became bright immediately. But the sudden appearance surprised her. Even Wu Lingye was a little surprised. After a while, Sima Yuya returned to God, looking at the pile of torn copper and iron in front of her, and couldn't believe it, this is what is placed on the fourth floor. Yes. Xiao Lingzi answered affirmatively. Sima Yuya drew his mouth. No wonder this guy wants to see it for himself. If he tells himself what is here, I'm afraid he won't believe it. Xiao Lingzi looked at her disgusting look, rolled her eyes, and said, Don't you really think these are broken copper? Isn't it? Sima Yuya turned her head and looked dumbfounded. Xiao Lingzi couldn't help but rolled his eyes again, and said, It's all baby here. Baby. Sima Yuyu took a hand-like thing and didn't really see what it was. Say you stupid, you have to say you are stupid. Said Xiao Lingzi, the real thing is inside, not here. Behind it. Sima Yuyu knows that there should be a door behind this room that is bigger than a few footballs and filled with these torn copper. Say it early. She returned to Xia Lingzi with a blank eye, holding Wu Lingyu, and stepped on those broken copper and iron. These are all treasures, but you don't have that ability, you can only treat them as broken copper. Xiao Lingzi said. Really? Then you try and turn this into a baby and show me. Sima Yuyu said. If I had that ability, I would still be an instrumental spirit. Xiao Lingzi glared at her. Sima Yuyu poked his lips and ignored him. The level of broken copper and iron at her feet was very uneven and she had to walk well. Well, it's the sauce purple. They walked for a while before they came across, and after turning over a pile of high-torn copper and iron, she finally saw a similar door. They went down, Wu Lingyi went to open the door, but the door remained motionless. You are useless, only she can open it. Xiao Lingzi said. This is her place, only she can come and go freely here. Sima Yuya walked over and pushed gently, and the door opened. Behind the door is still a dark one. With the previous experience, Sima Yuya's thoughts changed into daylight. Hiss. After seeing what was here, she took a subconscious breath. Individuals like machines stood neatly together, just the combination of those torn copper and iron outside. Is this a mech? She covered her mouth and asked incredulously. That's right, said Xiao Lingzi, I said, those aren't broken copper, 
they're just that you don't use them, so you think so. Okay. I admit, you are right this time. Sima Yuya walked over and reached out to touch the mechs. For Mecha people, for the people of this continent, the robots of previous lives are for ordinary people, which is quite a tall existence. It is said that this mech man's combat power is stronger than the spirit beasts of the same level. It's really surprising that it's not quite mech. Sima Yuyu said, but how to control these? Where do I know, said Xiao Lingzi, no one in my former host did this. Do you know? Sima Yuyu asked. I know something, but I'm not particularly familiar with it, Wu Lingyu said. He had only heard of this before going to the demon realm, and hadn't really touched it, even after going to the demon realm. What do you know? The control method for the lowest level mech, Wu Lingyu said, it seems that the control method is different for different levels. Oh. Sima Yuyu had never thought about Wu Lingyu. Then you tell me which ones are the most basic. When I go back, I will look for books on this. Then you can score the grade. Xiao Lingzi said. Where do I need to classify this? It's so obvious, I know at a glance. Sima Yuyu said. Oh? Are you smarter? Xiao Lingzi asked. Sima Yuyu could not bear it. He held him in his arms and rubbed his face vigorously. These mechs are all different in appearance. It's impossible to be finer and lower, right? I still understand that. She has just noticed that the mechs in each area are different in appearance, some are rough and some are delicate, and they are graded at first glance. Some even look similar to real people, but they have no expression. Suddenly, her hand stopped, her face was a bit surprised, and she held the little spirit son towards one of the mechs. Wu Lingyu and Xiao Lingzi didn't know what happened to her, and suddenly they didn't talk. Sima Yuyu came to one of the mechs, and saw that the mech men resembled the patterns on their skin, and they were a little dazed. Xiao Lingzi turned his face and saw a melon on the back of the mech's clavicle similar to Sima Yuyu's back. Molian was in full bloom under that white and seductive collarbone, looking very charming. Yuyu, this is the same as the one on your back. Xiao Lingzi ignored the existence of Wu Lingyu for a moment, and said. Wu Lingyu's eyes narrowed, and his faint back was seen by him. Although it is an instrumental spirit, it is also male. As long as it is male, it cannot be forgiven. Sima Yuyu looked at the Molian and thought of the story of Emperor Kanglin and the woman named Yuyu. Molian, how can there be Molian? She murmured. This definitely has nothing to do with Kanglin Emperor, because this mech man's time is obviously earlier than them. But to be sure, this person must have a relationship with Molian in Juyu Mountain, otherwise Molian would not appear here. However, without records and legends about this, her doubts can only be eternal doubts. Juyu Molian, I didn't expect to see this here. Wu Lingyu also said with sigh. Brother. Do you know Juyu Demon Lotus? Sima Yuyu asked. I've heard of some. Wu Lingyu said, I only know that the Juyu Demon Lotus family is very mysterious in the ghost world and used to be the ruler of the ghost world. I don't know anything else. And this is something that happened before my time after so many years, I don't know what it looks like. This person will stab Molian on this indicating that the owner of this seven-story pagoda has at least seen Molian, or knows this. Sima Yuyu said. What is the relationship between Juyu Molian and her? Why is there such a flower behind her? Don't worry about Morin or Morin. You don't think this is useless now, said Xiao Lingzi. So too. Before Sima Yuyu left, she wanted to reach out and touch the ink lotus, but as soon as her fingers touched it, she felt the texture of the ink lotus behind was a little hot. And the mullion on that mech man seemed to be alive. Originally, there were still two petals that were not open, but under the touch of Sima Yuyu, all of them opened. How can this be? Xiao Lingzi whispered. Sima Yuyu was also surprised by the scene and was so stunned that she stayed in place. Cracker. The crisp voice was particularly loud in this quiet environment. 
Sima Yuya looked down and found that an organ appeared on the woman's belly, exposing the empty belly inside. Sima Yuya leaned down and saw a box inside. She reached in and took the box out. There is also a lotus flower on this box, said Xiao Lingzi, open and see what's inside. Sima Yuya took a look and did not find any organs there. Brother, how do you open this? She handed him the box. Wu Lingyu took it and looked at it, saying, This is a slim box, I can't open it. Ling Long box? What box is that? Sima Yuyu asked. Ling Long box is known as the strongest box in the world, and no one can open it without a key. Wu Lingyu explained, Even a respectable powerhouse can't open it with a full blow. At that time, that person could have something as powerful as the seven story pagoda and he would have so many mecha people, and it would not be surprising to have this. It's amazing. Is this still a box? Sima Yuyu took the box and flipped it over, and looked at it, nothing strange. This box looks very ordinary, but the material is very rare. Wu Lingyu said, you have this now, and you have found treasure. Sima Yuyu narrowed her eyes with a smile, and said with a smile, why is this sturdy box hidden here? Anyone can't open it anyway. Although the box cannot be opened, if someone gets a hand, it will be taken away, Wu Lingyu guessed. If this is the case, then he intends to give this to a specific person. Sima Yuya was stunned and understood. He said that the box was reserved for the people of the Molian family. Thinking of the scorching heat behind just now, and then seeing the change of Molian in the mech man just now, maybe he really said so. I'll see if there are any keys in it. Xiao Lingzi gathered around the mech man's belly and snorted, saying, No. Surely there will not be. Wu Lingyu said, This exquisite box mechanism is different from other boxes. There is a small mechanism inside the box. Each time it is covered, it will be put into it. If you want to open it again, if there is something, then something that is related to that thing can be opened. Then how can this be opened? Sima Yuya looked at Ling Long Box. The things that can be placed inside are still in the body of the mech, and they must be very precious. But now I can only watch with my eyes open, and this feels really not ordinary heart congestion. I think this should have something to do with you. Wu Ling Yu said, You are the one who opened the mech and this box should also be related to Molian. Do you want me to pick up a lotus on the Juyu mountain in Gaija and put it on top? Sima Yuya was in a depressed mood, and she said this smoothly. Even if you want to pick it, it doesn't have to be. Wu Lingyu knocked her head and said, Since this is related to Molian, maybe it is related to your bloodline. You try to drop a drop of blood on it. Oh. Sima Yuya doesn't hold much hope for this. After all, the millions of things that person can choose are not necessarily related to his own blood. She cut through her fingers, dripped a drop of blood on it, and saw that drop of blood melted in, followed by a click. It's done. Sima Yuya gently opened the box, but the box that was still motionless just opened. Presented in front of them is a small space, not as small as it looks outside. There are a lot of books lying inside. Sima Yuyu took out a few books and read a few books, all of which are refining tools. Wu Lingyu took it and looked at it, wondering, these books. What happened to these books? Wu Lingyu pulled out two of them and said, these two are comparable to the array of books I found for you. So amazing. Sima Yuyu whispered. How high is the position of the array of tactics in the sphere of tactics? We can see one or two from the attitude of Wei Wei and Xiao Wei towards her. Aren't the two books really the Taishan Baidu in the books of the refiner? These two are handbooks, and they should be written down by a craftsman. I looked at one or two of them, and they were all very insightful. Sima Yuyu knows that Wu Lingyu refiner is of a very high grade, and even he speaks brilliant insights. However, even if there are such Taishan level refining books, the grade of this person is certainly not low, and it is not surprising that he can draw such a brilliant insight. Wu Lingyu continued to look, and a little doubt flashed in his eyes at the back, 
and then he became clear again. These are for you. He passed her those books. Hey! Sima Yuya looked at him, confused. These notes range from entry to advanced. Wu Lingyu said, this is for a newcomer. So good. It's a bit surprising, Wu Lingyu said. A general powerful handbook will not have such rudimentary things, but almost all of them here. It's really strange, Sima Yuyu said. If it is an ordinary person, there is nothing strange to say, but combining all of them, Wu Lingyu glanced at her. This should be reserved for people like you. If it wasn't her discovery, but someone else found this, it would leave that to that person. Who is that power? Why do you want to keep these? Sima Yuyu asked in confusion. Wu Lingyu shrugged, she didn't know about it, he didn't even know about a demon king. This. Wu Lingyu flipped to the bottom of the book and whispered. What's wrong? Sima Yuyu looked away from those hands and asked for it. This book should only be opened by you. Wu Lingyu handed the book to Sima Yuyu. Sima Yuyu puts other books in Wu Lingyu's hands, and then takes over the book, seeing the pages inside blank, saying, No word heaven. Look ahead. Wu Lingyu said. Sima Yuyu turned the book over and saw three large characters on it. This is the book that makes and controls mechs. She said in surprise. Why not a single word? What makes people look like this? Look at the first page, Wu Lingyu said. Sima Yuyu turned to the first page and said, If you can open this box, your bloodline should be able to crack the secret method in this book. It's blood again? Is this person actually our ancestor? Or is it the blood veins of Molian? Sima Yuyu said. How else could everything be related to blood? It's not impossible, Wu Lingyu said, try it. Sima Yuyu tore open the previous wound, put out a drop of blood again, and dropped it on the book. Blood was incorporated into the craft paper, and the book slowly revealed black letters. Really yes. It seems that this book really needs your blood. Wu Lingyu said. Sima Yuyu flipped through the book and saw that the words on the last few pages were different, so she stopped. This is the one who stayed. Sima Yuyu glanced at the first few lines and saw the clue. A few pages, she soon finished reading, and groaned at the end. What did you say? Wu Lingyu asked. It's also a love story about a girl from the Molian tribe. Sima Yuyu said, it should have been shocking at the time. Unfortunately, there was no good ending. It seems that the two love stories she knows about the Molian people don't seem to end well. Thinking of this, she glanced at Wu Lingyu. Wu Lingyu held her shoulder and said, that's the story of others. We are different from them. Don't worry. Um. Sima Yuyu didn't really worry much. She didn't think that other people's things would happen to herself. By the way, this woman is also called Yu Yu, at least this person calls her that. Wu Lingyu raised an eyebrow, also called Yu Yu? King Lan Emperor's beloved woman is called Yu Yu, and this woman is also called Yu Yu. Is this really a coincidence? That's a coincidence. Does the Molian people like to call Yu Yu? Who knows? Sima Yu Yu said. But look at this. With this book, I can already contact how to control these mechs. I believe it will not be an easy job, Wu Lingyu said. For you, definitely not. Why? Why do you think he put so many refiner books here? Wu Lingyu mentioned to her. Ah Sima Yuyu patted his forehead. Isn't this mech controlling man even a refiner? Just look at it, Wu Lingyu said. Okay. Sima Yuyu flipped the book over again, this time she opened the title page with only a few words on it. She glanced at the words inside and was speechless. Except for the lowest level mechs, all others must be controlled by the alchemist. What a ghost! Wu Lingyu looked at her funny. She is an alchemist, an array mage, an animal trainer, a spirit seeker, and so on, but she is not an alchemist. Now that if so many babies can be used by the refiner, she can't blame if she jumps. 
Don't forget, you promised Ling Long to help her. After all these years, you haven't started to learn the refiner. Xiao Lingzi also reminded. Sima Yu rubbed her head and said, I will learn as soon as possible. She has been really busy these past few years, she doesn't have that much time to learn the refiner at all. But now, looking at the mech people in this room, she is thinking about the torn copper and iron that can be used outside. She still has to learn. Don't worry, you are still laughing, there is a long, long time to learn. Don't push yourself too tight. Wu Lingyu said. I know. Sima Yuyu pursed her lips. Why don't the lowest level mechs need to be refiners? Xiao Lingzi asked. Because the control of the lowest level mechs is very simple, if you want to control them, you only need to inject their own spiritual power into their energy sources. I don't know where the energy source is, but I think it should be relatively simple. Let me talk about it after I have studied it carefully. Every minute of time in Wonderland is precious, because the opening time is limited. Therefore, the refiner still has to wait until it is out. You have these books, and it is easy to learn the refiner, Wu Lingyu said. Aren't you a master? Then teach me. Sima Yuyu said, I will come back and ask you what I don't understand. Okay. Wu Lingyu nodded. But you said that I taught you the refiner. Is it your master? Sima Yuyu glanced at him and said lightly, What do you think? I think this proposal is good. Go away. In the end, of course, this teacher-apprentice relationship was not established, but it took a lot of contact time, which made him feel good, because every minute and every second with her was so precious. They stayed there for several days, and Xiao Lingzi left, leaving Sima Yuyu and Wu Lingyu with Mecha books to study those Mecha people. Come, let's try. Sima Yuyu said. She pulled Wu Lingyu to the front of the mech man, and each of them found a low-level start control. Wu Lingyu got it done quickly and looked at her with her arms. Why are you so fast? Sima Yuyu looked at her depressedly. Wu Lingyu grinned, good talent, no way. She glanced at him, ignored him, and kept making herself up. Not just because he knows the refiner, but also what talent is good to bully people. After a while, she also succeeded, and that Mecha man really started to understand according to her idea. Really good. She said with a smile. This low-level one has no effect, the combat effectiveness is not high, and the movement is not flexible. Wu Lingyu said, but you can do it when there is no one. Sima Yuyu poked her mouth, this guy just had high eyes and poked her short board. Refiner, she will definitely become a refiner. Sima Yuyu thought of going to find Du Yi and Sima Liyufeng in the future. She didn't know what was going on, and she controlled a few mechs in case of emergency. It's good, but unfortunately the number of intermediate and advanced is a little small. Sima Yuyu said. There are at least tens of thousands of low level, and the middle level is relatively small. The high level seems to be only that woman. Wu Lingyu said, according to the general law there should be a lot of high-quality products. It is impossible to have so many low-level but so few intermediate and advanced. There should be others. Sima Yuyu let go of the consciousness. Behind the mech man, she saw a door. There's a door there, it should be there. Let's check it out. Wu Lingyu nodded, walked with her hand, and found three doors here. This time he didn't push the door, let go of her hand and let her go. Sima Yuyu came to the middle door and pushed it slightly, the door didn't move. She tried hard and still didn't move. Hey! Sima Yuyu stepped back two steps. This room won't open. Wu Lingyu looked at it and found no agency. I try the other two doors. Sima Yuyu came to the door on the left and pushed hard, but still couldn't push it. Isn't this something she can open? She tried a few more times and the result was still the same, so she gave up and turned to the door on the right. She thought the result was still the same, so this time she put a lot of energy into it. But the door opened with a light touch, 
and she rushed into it because she was too hard. Ping pong pong. There was a sound of things in the end. Wu Lingyu passed by and burst into flames. He saw someone lying on a mech, and in front of her, a bunch of mechs were stacked on top of each other. Sima Yuyu covered her face and whispered, I don't know what's going on here. Because it was too dark, because the consciousness could not be opened, and because the impact was too strong, she didn't stop her feet and threw a mech man. The mech men here are all neatly placed. When she fell, the mech men behind fell down like tower dominoes. He hasn't committed such a thing in many years, especially in front of him. It really is, too shameful. Wu Lingyu didn't feel anything at first, but laughed softly at seeing her like this. Why, what's so beautiful on the ground? Going on your stomach. Sima Yuyu can't lie on the ground, it's really not lost such a person for hundreds of years. Wu Lingyu walked over and pulled her up and said, What's the embarrassment? Get up. But Sima Yuyu still lay on the ground, dazed at the mech people. Wu Lingyu walked over, thinking she was embarrassed, and did not expect her to stare at the mech man in a daze. These mechs look better than me. Sima Yuyu sat up and said, Look, they all have this. Wu Lingyu saw a lotus flower where she pointed. There is no purity of other lotus flowers. What's weird about this? Wu Lingyu said, Did you not see that on the mech man before? You see in the middle, there is a little golden dot, there isn't one outside. Sima Yuyu said. Wu Lingyu glanced, Really? They all have this on mechs, said Sima Yuyu. And I got closer, just looking a bit like a word. She took out something like a magnifying glass and injected spiritual power into it. Everything on that side was refracted into the air, magnifying the golden point many times. It's really a word, Ling. Sima Yuyu said, I see those words that he said at the end of the book, although he has a deep affection for that woman, but he is humble in love. Even so, he only hopes to be able to leave a small place in her heart. Wu Lingyu saw that she was sad, pulled her up, and hugged her, and said, Then I can only say that, compared to that, I am lucky. I am also a woman of the Molian tribe, but I can get your affection for you. So you need to be nice to me. I made you so lucky. You know. It is good. Then I talk, you have to listen. It is good. Until strength is restored, you can only stay here. It is good. Sima Yuyu laughed, stretched his hands around his waist, leaned his head against his chest, and listened to his heartbeat. This is the sound she thinks best. The mechs here seem to be all medium. Sima Yuyu said, I have nothing to suppress my consciousness, so I can't show it. Let's look for it. The two of them looked around here and couldn't use the sense of God. It was such a big place which was also a time-consuming project. They searched for a long time, and finally found the culprit in a corner, an iron block suppressing consciousness. This artifact doesn't seem to be big enough to suppress our consciousness. Sima Yuyu said, it is still so casual on the ground, how old the master is. Maybe, beyond our imagination. Wu Lingyu said, such a good baby should be kept. Maybe it will come in handy in the future. She received this thing in the space ring, and the suppression of the consciousness here disappeared immediately. Okay, let's go out. She has been here long enough. Now that the two can't be opened, wait until she has time to study slowly. Go there, if there is something really, let me go out, don't forget that I still have them around. Wu Lingyu instructed. Sima Yuyu understood that the one he said was the one who had eaten the Lord of the King of the King's Pavilion in one bite in Yunhai City. If there is something I can't figure out, I will definitely call you out. Sima Yuyu said. If that's the case, it must be a matter of life and death. She left the Soul Tower, and the day had passed. Zayoki felt her coming out, ran over, and said, Yuyu, when are we going out? Sima Yuyu lifted the enchantment and asked her to come in, and said, just two days. 
Let Yayun go out before entering. That's right. Speaking of Yayun, she has come to you before, and there should be something to tell you. Xiao Qi said, she told me to let you out. Sima Yuyu thought of seeing Sima Yayun a little different this time, and said, I'm going to find her. She knew easily where Sima Yayun was, and she happened to be alone on the small mountain peak last time. She thought, and appeared behind her. A man suddenly appeared, Sima Yayun was startled, stood up suddenly, saw Sima Yuyu, was relieved, smiled slightly at the corner of his mouth, and said, It's you. Are you hurt? It's all right. Sima Yuyu walked up to her and sat anywhere, then patted him and said, Sit. Sima Yayun sat down and said, This time, I really want to thank you. It wasn't me who saved you. The Righteous Father, Yifei, and the New Book, everyone came together to save you. Sima Yuyu said, and mainly, just happened to meet Yifei them, otherwise I do nt know if you have been arrested. By the way, Kiki? Kiki is playing below. Sima Yayun said, she's okay, there is nothing wrong, she's the same as she was before. Aren't you the former you? Sima Yuyu said. Sima Yayun looked at her. Don't think I can't see it, your eyes are different from before. Sima Yuyu said, you were gentle before, but now, you have a little more fortitude and a little bit of suffocation. Sima Yayun froze, and then smiled bitterly, after going through some things, people will naturally become different. Are you defiled? Sima Yuyu asked directly. No, but it's almost the same. Sima Yayun said. In the last step, he was attracted out. So your change is not because you broke your body. Sima Yuyu said, so, because you feel the strength is weak, so you want to become stronger. Sima Yayun looked at her, but did not expect that she actually understood her feelings. You don't need to be so surprised. Sima Yuyu said, I understand the feeling, the feeling that I am so small and the feeling that I want to make myself strong. That's why you have improved so much. Sima Yayun was envious of her. How long have you been separated since you last met? They had almost no progress, but they heard here at Zioki that she had done a lot of things in the past few years and saw that she had improved a lot. But she was also distressed by Yuyu, her parents' whereabouts were unknown, and she had to do so much to strengthen herself. Speaking of them, those who grew up in the family from childhood should really feel ashamed than her. Sima Yuyu shrugged, agreeing with her statement. Had she not been under such pressure, she would not have gone so fast. But this way, she also feels tired. If she could, she didn't want to, and would rather let her go slower. However, seeing Sima Yayun's complex eyes, he said, everyone has a life for everyone. This is not necessarily good for me, and I may not be bad for you. If they knew Uncle Lu Xian, how much distressed should they be? Sima Yayun sighed. Although your achievements are enough to be proud of your parents, but with our understanding of Uncle Lu Xian, they will surely feel bad. Have you met my mother? Sima Yuyu asked. Sima Yayun shook his head and said, We didn't know the original thing. We only knew that a major event had happened outside, which was related to Uncle Lu Xian and your mother, but we have never seen it. When Uncle Lu Xian returned I held you in my arms. It didn't take long before you disappeared from the family. We thought it was someone who killed you. He didn't expect him to take you to the mainland of Yilin. I haven't seen my mother. Sima Yuyu said, looking at her like this, it should be true. At that time, the matter was not dealt with in the family, at least your mother did not come to the house, but later I heard that many people came to the family, and even alarmed an old ancestor out. Sima Yayun said. This answer is no different from what I heard before, it seems that people of their generation really can't hear any useful news here. I also hope that they can be proud of them. But the premise is to find them. Sima Yuyu said, I will go out for a while and then there are things to do. Now the Lord is dead, 
so you will have nothing to go out. Danger. Sima Yun understood that this meant to let them go. Are you going to where Uncle Liu Feng goes? Sima Yun asked. Yes. Sima Yuyu didn't conceal. They kept you down, and I didn't dare to take you in. It's dangerous inside. Sima Yuyu raised his chin towards Susha City and said, I'm not alone. Sima Yun glanced inside the city, knowing that she was talking about those people. In the past few days, they also went around the city and saw those people, all of them fierce and evil, and it was difficult for her to shock them. Well, then be careful. Sima Yun said. She didn't say to follow in. Since Uncle Lu Feng said they couldn't go, they went elsewhere to look for opportunities. Say okay to Sima Yun, she soon found the other three. Sima Yuyu took them out of the small world, and then went to the memory of Yunzun with Xiao Meng Xiaoki and Tsing Yi. Here it is. Xiao Meng took them to a plain, where the grass was growing, almost higher than people. They stopped in midair and Xiaoki took a lap and said, There is nothing special here. Are you sure? This is it, Xiao Qi said affirmatively. He saw a lot of people disappear here. Sima Yuyu will call Zhong Ming and let him see what is different here. Zhong Ming sensed it, then pointed to where Xiao Qi said, and said, Here is a folding space. Folding space? What is it? Is it like a space created by Rubik's Cube Sky? Xiao Qi asked curiously. Yeah, what is folding space? I have never heard of it before, Xiao Meng said. The folding space is not a closed space, and it is not the same as the Rubik's Cube Sky. Chong Ming explained, the folding space is actually connected to the outside, but because her space is different from the outside space, it seems to be one. It is the same as the folded paper. That is why it has such a name. Although we see a and see it, even if we keep going forward, we may be millions of miles away from that place. Sima Yuyu knows this, but did not expect that a folding space would form here. No wonder before that their breath suddenly disappeared. It turned out that because they were too far away at once, that thing was useless. Sima Liyufeng they should be the same reason. It is possible to make a space change, indicating that there must be something here or what has happened. Chong Ming reminded Sima Yuyu. Whatever it is, the danger here is not low. Sima Yuyu nodded, indicating that she understood. Then let's go in. In order to prevent everyone from getting lost when she went in, she took everyone in and planned to wait until she entered before letting them out. She took out a red rope, tied it to a grass, and walked forward, taking every step very carefully, because she did not know what was in it, and whether there would be a sudden space break. Near the place where Xiao Qi said, she felt the pressure on her body suddenly tightened, then disappeared again, indicating that she had entered the space. She looked back, the red rope was dancing less than 100 meters away from her. She took a few more steps, and when she looked back, the red rope was gone. This should be why the seas those people disappear. She took out the scroll and took a look. Sima Yun's breath was no longer found on them, indicating that they had gathered at least hundreds of thousands of kilometers. Because the widest distance this scroll can show is hundreds of thousands of kilometers. She looked at it, and no one was here, or that no one was here, so this scroll didn't make much sense here. She rolled up the scroll, took out the artifact that Fifth Earl had given her, and found that the pointer on it moved slowly, then stopped in one direction. Yes, you are here. Sima Yuyu put away the artifact and flew in the direction just pointed. But flying is not much different from walking. Because space was trapped everywhere, she had to be careful. After walking for a while, she felt that the consciousness was too much, so she called out Chung Ming. After Zhong Ming came out, he first turned into a human form. After observing the situation inside, he turned into a bird that can only sit on one person. There are a lot of spatial faults here. If you accidentally walk inside, you will never get out. Chong Ming said. 
I know. Sima Yuyu nodded. It was because there were so many faults here that she walked so carefully. But in such a dangerous place, what did Di Yan come in? Chong Ming deserves to be a spirit beast in the space department. He has a congenital keen sense of the perception of space. After reducing his body, he can even be called a fast flight here. After two days of driving, Sima Yuyu took out the artifact and found that the pointer on it became faster. Explaining that she was approaching Didi and they kept approaching. Chong Ming flew for a few days, and Sima Yuyu let him rest for a while and regained consciousness. Chong Ming became an adult, and she took out a few pills to give him to eat. It's big here, said Chong Ming. Although it's not as exaggerated as a thousand miles, it's not far behind. Why is there such a place in Wonderland? Sima Yuyu said. Since there are so many people coming in, they must know what. When they meet up, grab one to ask. Chong Ming said. Well, that's the only way, said Sima Yuyu. If you can find Di Yi earlier, you can also ask him. She wanted to call out the fifth distress and ask him how far it was from the appearance of the artifact. But she suddenly thought that the space was not stable. Maybe it was a long distance, and she arrived soon. In this case, even if they judge how far they are, they don't know when they will be there. They made a hole in the middle of a mountain as a resting place today. Now to find a stable space to rest, you must find such a large place. Otherwise, it may be a spatial fault. They cleared the cave that had just been punched out, and she let Chong Ming go in for a rest, called out Xiao Qi, who was making a noise in the Seoul Tower, and then sat at the entrance of the cave overlooking. Space is really a very magical existence. It accommodates people to live in it. It can be far, close, it can be closed into a small realm, or it can be expanded into an endless continent. This is the first time she has experienced so much the diversity and danger of space, and the variability. She closed her eyes to feel the faults and space folds around her, and unconsciously expanded her field. Xiao Qi, they are walking at the foot of the mountain, feeling something touching themselves, and when they react, they feel that the breath around them has changed. Hey? This space is still changing. Xiao Qi said. It's not that the space has changed, it's that we are in her field. Tsing Yi explained. Is Yu Yi's realm? We haven't come in yet. Xiao Qi said, is it safe here in Yu Yu? The space here has nothing to do with the folding space outside. In other words, there are no faults, no wrinkles, and no space compression, so you can run away. Really? I'm going to see what Moon Moon's realm looks like. Zayoki ran away cheering because she hadn't come in and she was curious about everything she saw. They are the same in Xiaoming, plus Huawa, the three little girls look at it here, they are embarrassed and excited. Tsing Yi didn't go with them, she looked at someone with closed eyes in the middle of the mountaintop, and once again lamented her talent. It was only a short while after I realized the field, and now I have expanded it. How did you do it? For decades, he has seen too many geniuses, and even though it is in the memory of others, he has never seen such a gifted person. He can feel that Sima Yuyu's field is more stable than before, and the scope has been expanded. If she confronts the prostitute now, she can persist for at least a few minutes. If you let him know, when Sima Yuyu tested the gift of space, she saw an endless universe, and did not know what expression she would look like. When Sima Yuyu woke up, it was already the next day. She found a change in her field and smiled happily. She put away the field, and the talent inside found her awake. Yu Yu. Are you awake? Xiao Qi came over and looked at her excitedly. Um. Sima Yu Yu got up. Yu Yu you are so good. How long has it been before I realized again? Xiao Qi said. Sima Yu Yu smiled at the corner of her mouth and said, this is also because the space here is different from the outside. Anyway, you realize that it is amazing. Tsing Yi rarely praised her once. Chong Ming came out of the room and said, 
are we going to keep going? Well, it's better to get hundred ghosts early. And I have something to ask him. Something about the mother. Because Chong Ming had to shrink his body, Xiaoqi had to go back to the Soul Tower unwillingly. Sima Yuyu took out the artifact, determined Di Yan's direction, and then let Chong Ming take her to continue her journey. However, the deeper the space, the more severe the distortion of the space. Before Di Yi was in her direction, they might only be in a different direction after only a few hundred miles. This way, it is impossible to follow. Since there was no direction or distance at all, she simply did not follow this, she let Chong Ming go back and walked in the space by herself. Instead, they found them after more than a month. If you want to plant flowers, you won't be able to plant flowers. If you don't want to plant them, the ancients will never bully me. She sighed. She didn't hide her tracks, because they found themselves before she saw them. Or, they waited for her for a long time. What are you doing? Do you know where this is? Actually come here, do you want to die or not to live? Di Yan saw her, came to her, scolded her head and covered her face. Sima Yuya looked at him. What is the difference between wanting to die and not wanting to live? I don't know where this is. I don't want to die or live. I don't expect to come here, I... I don't know if you dare to come here. I don't know where this is, so what are you doing here? Di Yan shouted coldly without waiting for her to finish. Does she know how dangerous it is here? Half of the people he brought in were damaged here. And she dared to come here alone, which scared him to death. Seeing his master exploding, Di Yan's subordinates looked at her with a look of helplessness. Are you worried about me? Although Sima Yuyu saw that he yelled at himself, his eyes were full of worries and fears, and he was more certain of the previous guess. Of course I am. Di Yan said half of what he said, this little girl must have found it, so now I dare to speak to myself so fearlessly. Sima Yuyu looked at him with a cold face, and said, you look like this, then you should be worried about me. But weren't you trying to kill me before? I... Di Yan said again, seeing her clear look, saying, you all know. What do you know? You don't know. Do you know that you are my cousin? Di Yan's face turned black. Is this a joke? He got angry and looked angry, but saw the similar face and held back again. The people behind him felt that the air pressure around them was low, and then disappeared, so that everyone could continue to breathe. Sima Yuyu saw that he wanted to get angry but couldn't get angry, and felt that he was not that annoying. Di Yan took two deep breaths and asked, When did you know that I was your cousin? A few months ago, said Sima Yuyu, but I'm not sure. I can be sure now. How do you know? I killed you do, and then caught fifth he, he told me. Sima Yuyu said. Fifth at? The person from the fifth family next to you do. Sima Yuyu nodded. Then what do you chase after me? Recognize a relative. Di Yan glanced at her lightly, making her feel that she didn't really want her to be with him. Because what he is doing is too dangerous, and the space here is too dangerous. He thought she would flinch when he said that, but in exchange for her eyes. Do you think I would be interested in acknowledging your relationship with you? If so, you do or I would kiss myself. She also takes people like you do? Can that useless waste be the same as yourself? Di Yan felt annoyed by his cousin, who was only a fraction of his age, but when he saw her face similar to that of his aunt, he couldn't bear to get angry with her. So what do you want? What do you want me to do? Sima Yuyu is very satisfied with his performance. He has tolerated himself repeatedly after several provocations. It seems that fifth evil is right, even if his mother's whereabouts are unknown, he will still remember the original friendship. For her own purpose, she didn't want to hide, she said directly, one is to determine if Yukolo is my mother, the other is to ask you something, and then ask you for something. Diyan also wanted to make a confirmation, saying, 
you release the breath of your ghost clan. Sima Yuyu did, but only released for a few seconds. She was afraid that if she was released for a long time, the ghost clan would lose control. Although the time was short, Di Yan was already very sure. You are indeed my aunt's daughter. You and her breath are almost the same. No one else can look like that. The first problem is solved. Sure enough. Sima Yuya finally confirmed. After so many years, she finally knew what her mother's name was. Let's talk about any other questions, Di said. But if I answer your question, you must leave here. Sima Yuya raised an eyebrow, are you threatening me? You can think so. Di Yan also denied. Sima Yuyu smiled and said, My master once said that I and my mother are very similar in character. Do you think that would compromise if it were her? This, is really hard to say. It's really dangerous here. You have a god-level strength. Do you know how dangerous it is here? Di Yan rubbed his head. I know it's dangerous here, but look at you like this, maybe I'm not as good as I am here. Sima Yuyu said confidently. Their loss was not serious, but she had no small wounds on her body. They are speechless. Well, now you can answer my question instead. Sima Yuyu said. It's easy to say that it's useless to talk, and threats to be useless. What do you want to know? Sima Yuyu stared at Di Yan, and that look gave him a bad feeling. Really? Where is my mother? She asked. I don't know, Dis said. No one knows the whereabouts of my aunt. If you want to know, I would probably go back and ask your grandfather the Ghost King. Do you think I can believe it? Sima Yuyu knew he would deny it, so he didn't plan to believe it at all. Why not? Di Yan said, if you don't believe it, you can go to the Ghost World and ask, who knows the whereabouts of the Night Princess Yukolo. Sima Yuyu said nothing, just stared at him. However, he still didn't plan to tell the whereabouts of Yuko Luo. The two were so deadlocked. You bully me, can't you go to the ghost world now? She asked quietly for a long time. You're not a ghost, you don't have to ask so much about ghosts. Di Yan said mercilessly. Really? If I leave myself and kill myself, the soul goes to the ghost world. You said, am I a ghost world? Sima Yuyu threatened. You. Di Yan's anger was about to rise again. Seeing her serious look, she was really afraid that she would commit suicide when she returned, so she could run to the ghost world. Because, if it is an ant, this is really possible. You say, or don't you say? Yes, I know where your mother is, but are you so useful? You see ANT go to the ghost world in the human world. If the soul passes, you are just a little ghost with no memory and no spiritual power. Do NT say to save your mother I'm afraid they will be eaten as soon as they go to the ghost world. Di Yan said. Since you know I can't go, why not tell me where my mother is, and what happened that year? Sima Yuyu said. I didn't know what happened back then, I wasn't in Ghost City at the time. Di Yan said, when I got the news back, my aunt didn't know where they were going. If it wasn't for her, she would leave it to me. I am not even aware that she is alive. Do you have a mother's life card? No, the fortune-telling card is in the palace. The one in my hand is a black jade your mother gave me before going to the human realm. It can't be as accurate as the fortune-telling card, but you can know that she is alive. And. And what? This can guide me in her direction, Di said. Maybe my movements have grown a bit in the past two years, so the people in the ghost's house found out. Ghost family? You do's mother's family? Sima Yuyu asked. Okay. No wonder Fifth Eerie knows you know where your mother is and what you are doing. Sima Yuyu said. Well, I've answered your question, can you go back now? When did I say I'm going back? Sima Yuyu said, I just said that I'm safer than you here, but I didn't say I would go back. You. 
I still have a third purpose. Sima Yuyu didn't care that he jumped with anger and said, I want something for you. What? Hundred ghosts, said Sima Yuyu. No. Diyan refused to think about it. If she asked for something else, he would give it to her, but this ghost is the one he took to save the ant, and he couldn't give it to her. You give it to me, that's the best. If you don't give it, I'll grab it. Sima Yuyu said, I have to do this thing, or I won't follow you for so long and come to this place. Robber. Rogue. No. Diyan still didn't give it, do you know, what are the ghosts doing? Fifth Air said, you want to use this to rescue your mother. Sima Yuyu said. Since you know, you still want to grab it. Diyan just thought she saw the power of the hundred ghosts when she was in Hong Tuling, so she wanted it, but she didn't think she knew the reason at all. Do you know Yin Lin, the master of the human operator? Sima Yuyu asked. I know, Di said. The reputation of this operator is even louder than that of the ghost world. As a person with the royal family, how can he not know Yin Lin? When I was in Wonderland, he told me that I must get hundred ghosts in my hands. He said that this thing can only be in my hands, and only I can get it. Sima Yuyu said. Is the operator involved in this matter? What if I don't insist? He didn't know why Yin Lin said so, but he didn't want to let go. I said, you give it, you are my cousin. If you don't give it, I'll grab it directly. As for whether you die or die at the same time, it is not beyond my control. I am your cousin. It is always your cousin. Di Yan shouted, I am your relative. Yadu is still me. Sima Yuyu said disapprovingly. He was her puppet, but she was killed by her. So, do NT tell her that your loved ones are not loved, she and the ghost clan are not yet familiar. Di Yan's guards found that Sima Yuyu had the ability to mad her master. Although they did not have much contact, she was able to poke him every time. Sima Yuyu saw him and waited for his answer. Yuyu, this really doesn't work. Di Yan closed his eyes and closed, I'm going to use this to save your mother. I've done so much that I'm approaching the truth, you can't let me let go at this time. If you I really want to, and I'll give it to you after you rescue your mother. Sima Yuyu didn't know what had happened to him and his mother to make him so persistent, but she was very happy that when her mother encountered such a thing, there were still people insisting on her. Are you sure, will you be able to rescue your mother? She lowered her voice, not so hard, but that didn't mean she gave up. If I collect the ghosts here, I have at least 50% certainty, Dis said. 50%? Meaning? You are less than half sure now. Sima Yuyu said. Diyan nodded. Even if it is only one in ten thousand, I will rescue my aunt. You don't even have half a chance to rescue. Do you want to cut off your mother's path? If it wasn't for his unfamiliarity, Sima Yuyu really wanted to pry open his head and see what he thought. Of. Broken back. Diyan was scolded by her and said. How could I break the back of my aunt? Why not? Sima Yuyu glared at her. If you go to rescue her now, you have less than 50% confidence. You may have 80% confidence if you save it after a while. Your mother could have been rescued by you, but but you are failing because of your recklessness now. You are dead, or the power on your hands is gone, who else can the mother expect? Di Yan's body shook and Sima Yuyu said something he had never thought of. After learning the news from his aunt, he poured all his thoughts and resources into the preparation for saving her, thinking that even if he failed and died, he had to let go. But she didn't think so. Haven't you thought about it? Sima Yuyu knew at the look of his expression, and people like him would not take a step back to think about it. But you don't know where your mother is being held. She will suffer a lot of crimes there, if she can be rescued sooner. That also requires you to save it. Sima Yuyu said, from the information given to me by Fifth Elder, although you have considerable strength and status in the ghost world, 
how do you compare with the royal family? They want me mother locked up, can you compete with them? Even if it can't be compared, she will be rescued. Di Yan said excitedly, do you know that my aunt is locked in infernal hell, that is not a place to stay at all. Sima Yuyu's mind was stunned, inferno? Her mother was imprisoned in hell? Her heart began to hurt sharply, and tears burst out instantly. Infernal hell, that is a place where ghosts and animals cannot live. But even then, you can't do things you aren't sure of. She wiped her tears, but just wiped them off. Even so, she did not lose her mind. Seeing her like this, Diane stopped herself while crying, and felt a little distressed for her. She took a step forward and held her in her arms, saying, We will save my aunt. There are those who stared at Diane with eyes wide open. Is this still the master who doesn't allow anyone to approach himself? Shouldn't it be another person? If someone approached him, especially a woman, and dared to touch his body, he would have lost his head before it was estimated. But now, someone wants to grab his treasure. Instead of killing her, he sees her tears and hugs her to coax her. This is simply impossible. However, it happened. Saima Yuya leaned in his arms, thinking that her mother was in hell, her heart was so painful. Where is that infernal hell? Those who break their vows will be punished there by heaven, which is enough to show what the place looks like. The father's whereabouts are still unknown, but it was hard to know her mother's whereabouts, but it made her worry more. However, this stiff movement of Diyan made her understand that this guy is not good at comforting others at all. After a while, she calmed down, came out of his arms, and said, I want a hundred ghosts. This little girl is still not dead. Just grab it if you don't give it to me. Sima Yuya continued. That ant. I will save it. Give me a while and I will grow up. Sima Yuya said, since you are not sure, then you will go back and develop your power. After I go, you will have a strong if you don't agree with me, I will not treat you as an elder brother and go straight. After hesitating for a while, he finally agreed. She is the ant's daughter and he is reluctant to do anything to her. If the end result is destined to be like this, then why bother with it? He took out a hundred ghosts and said, I will only give you a hundred years. If you are not qualified by then, I will come and get it back. After that, he wiped his consciousness from the ghosts. Okay. Sima Yuyu took the one hundred ghosts and started the one hundred ghosts. I'll teach you how to use this first. Diyan said, these hundreds of ghosts are all ghosts, and most of them are evil spirits, so it's a bit difficult to control. But your mental strength looks good and there should be no problem. There is a ghost-like atmosphere in her body, and it is not difficult to control this. And she is a very clever student. As soon as Di said, she understood that after putting it on her initial knowledge, she put it away. Suddenly thought of a problem, she said. What? Since mother is in infernal hell, if I go to someone to make an oath, and then intentionally violate the oath, and be entered into infernal by the rules of vows, then I can go to mother. Sima Yuyu said. People who are punished into that place by the rules cannot live out forever. Even if you go to rescue the ant, you can only stay there forever. What will happen then? Di Yan said. Well, okay. It seems that this method does not work, only normal procedures can be followed. Master, shall we continue? Ghost Master asked out loud behind him. The purpose of their coming here is to go to the ancient battlefield to collect souls. Now all the ghosts have given Sima Yuyu, so do they still have to go forward? Sima Yuyu then looked at the people behind Di Yi. These people seem to be well trained and although some are distressed by their masters, they have not stopped speaking out. Go. Di Yan said. Although hundred ghosts are no longer in his hands, but hundred ghosts are still there, those ancient souls are still there. You said the ancient battlefield, what is this? Sima Yuyu asked. Di Yan looked at Sima Yuyu's incomprehensible look, 
believing what she said before, she really ran in without knowing what it was. This is an ancient battlefield, Dis said, I don't know when it was, but someone went into Wonderland later and found it here, leaving some clues. When we came to Wonderland this time, we mainly aimed at this is coming. No wonder you didn't hunt for treasure like others along the way. Sima Yuyu said, the folding space here is formed because of that ancient battlefield. We don't know about this. We only know that there must be many ancient souls on the ancient battlefield. If they can be included in the hundred ghosts, it will greatly increase the power of the hundred ghosts. Diyan said. It turned out that you came for those ancient souls. Sima Yuyu said, but since it is an ancient battlefield, the age of those ancient souls should be a long time ago. Are they still there? If they are, will the strength be strong? Ghost King Ghost will be fine. I don't know, the books do not mention this. Diyan said, so the situation is very dangerous. You might as well give me a hundred ghosts and wait for us outside the exit. Wait for me after I go out give you. I know the situation and danger over there, so you don't need to tell me. Sima Yuyu said, according to your current loss situation, I'm afraid you only have three or five people left after you get there. I will take with your words, you can lose at least half of the people. The people of the ghost clan are stunned, so blunt and arrogant. Sima Yuyu thought that her smile was kind, but the other party didn't buy her account at all and saw the ghosts behind her, watching them vigilantly. A human race is actually mixed with ghost people. You are a scum of the human race. That's right. Everyone who colludes with other races has to take it away. You still plead guilty, arbitrarily, and you will be happy. Correct. Correct. Sima Yuya looked at them, and the fiery people who had just hit him immediately turned their spears at her, looking like a foe. However, what they said, this is what the brain can only say? Just because you are with a ghost family, you have to confess your sins? Are they having problems with their brain circuits or are they mentally abnormal? Think others are idiots. However, this request seems to be a legitimate request from those people. As a human being, but in collusion with aliens, this is not acceptable on the entire continent. Those who are colluding with aliens should be damned. Moreover, they have always been high above them, and they have not looked at the lives of others for a long time. In their consciousness, it is very kind for you to collude with a foreigner and let you decide yourself. Hee <laughs> hee. Sima Yuya laughed softly. Although the little girl is low in strength, she still cherishes her small life. So there is no intention of self-discipline. Hum, what other face do you have in collusion with other people? What's the face? Can you eat it? Sima Yuya asked, anyone who doesn't want his life will care about his face. Shameless Junior, how can you have such a thought? If you don't want to rule by yourself, don't blame us for it. With that said, those people still want to do something, and really intend to decide her on the spot. As soon as these people started, she knew their strength. They were all king-level powerhouses, and people who stepped into the honor level half a step. This strength is not low. I think you are thinking too much. My life, no one but me, can't take it. Sima Yuyu said, even if you claim to be against aliens, you can't. Mad Mouth, come here. An old man said, attacking towards Sima Yuyu. When Sima Liuyun saw Sima Yuyu, she quietly carried away the spiritual power. Although she was somewhat surprised how she was here, she at least saved herself. Although, he doesn't need her to save it. When he was grabbed by these people, he never revealed his identity and strength. He was not unable to escape, but it would be safer to have someone here. So he stayed quiet. But now he can't be quiet, dare to attack her, isn't this trying to die? Not only him, but at the same time, Didi at the same time, attacked that person, and together, the old man died instantly and neatly. Diyan would do it, she guessed thinking that the controlled Sima Liu Feng would do it, which was unexpected. 
Uncle Lai Yufeng, you haven't been controlled. Sima Yuyu said. Sima Lai Yufeng flew over, fell to her, and said, Why are you here? Knowing that you are all coming in, just follow in. Sima Yuyu said, You haven't been controlled at all, just like that. It's not that I don't do it, it's that you do it earlier than I do, said Sima Lai Yufeng. How could I put myself in such danger? That's by worry. Sima Yuyu said. I know that you care about my safety so much, I am happier than anything, how can I worry about nothing? Sima Lai Yufeng said. Sima Yuyu didn't bother to think about him. Sima Lai Yufeng, you haven't been controlled at all. You have been acting. Sima Lai Yufeng stood in front of Sima Yuyu, facing those people, and said, When did I say that I was under control? Just your poison can also poison me? You are too naive. Then why do you pretend to be controlled? Otherwise you will take me all the way, and make me useless all the way. Sima Lai Yufeng said. If it weren't for their hands on Yu Yu, he probably wouldn't have exposed himself. Okay you Sima Lai Yufeng, I didn't expect you to act like this. Rewarded and rewarded. Sima Lai Yufeng said, seeing those people's faces so ugly, you don't want to look like this, you hold me, you want me to take you to find a baby, so I cooperate, why do you still look hurt? You did it on purpose. An old man cried. You deliberately brought us here and let us fight for the artifact. Did you go out without your brain? Sima Liuyun said, I don't know that there are artifacts here, nor do you know that there are your enemies here. How can I bring you here? If you are stupid, don't talk. Expose the fact that you have no IQ. Puff. Sima Yuyu couldn't help laughing at the back. Uncle Lu Yun was serious and serious, but his personality was much different from that of his uncle Lu Feng. The man was aggressively attacked by Sima Liu Yun's sarcastic look, and the anger was surging. When was he so ironic? Staring at me for what? Sima Liu Feng said, Am I wrong? Friend, we don't have to fight any more today, clean up these aliens before talking. The man scolded by Sima Liu Feng said to those who were opposite. The other side was silent for a while and said, Okay. This is the boundary between the alliance and the enemy, and there is never a limit. This second is the enemy, and the next second may be an ally. Di Yan didn't feel much about these people, and he didn't have the patience to watch them gossiping. As soon as he waved his hands, the ghosts behind him went straight to their hands. Human beings are in trouble. It takes so long to see people who are not pleasing to the eye. Would NT it be better if they started doing it directly? Sima Yuyu looked at those people and found that each one was still very strong, at least better than Yadu's guards. It can be more powerful than the royal guards, which shows that his power cannot be underestimated. Sima Liu Feng saw those people do it, and didn't mean to go up to help. He took Sima Yuyu's hand and said, It looks really good in women's clothing, but unfortunately doesn't look like your father. Di Yan saw that his little sister was being held by a strange man. Although he said it was an uncle ghost, it was not okay. He took a step forward and pulled Sima Yuyu back a little to let her leave his claws. Who are you? Sima Liu Feng looked at Di Yan with a dark face. How dare you pull your little niece away? Who are you again? Di Yan stared back coldly, showing no favor for any ghost uncle. Human race and ghost race, dark and light, are not born right. Seeing the low pressure between the two, Sima Yuyu said, Let me introduce you. Uncle Lu Feng, this is my cousin Di. Cousin, this is my cousin Sima Liu Yun. My mother. Sima Liu Feng glanced at him and said, Di Yan glanced back and said nothing about his mother-in-law. Because in his opinion, the other party was not qualified to be the aunt's in-laws. Sima Yuyu stood between the two and cut off their eyes, saying, Uncle Lai Feng, why are you alone here? What about you guys? Sima Lai Yuyun sighed and said, I don't know where they are. 
I was brought here by the turbulence of space, but I ran into them without expecting them. They wanted to catch me and I was taken by them. Caught. Are you so easily captured? Saima Yuya glared at him. Of course not. But if I'm here alone, I have to do everything, but following them, I just need to show the way, and then I don't have to do anything, how to avoid space traps, how many people die has nothing to do with me. To put it plainly, are you lazy? Saima Yuya said. Some things, you know just fine, don't tell them. Otherwise it's boring. Saima Yuyun said. Why are they arresting you? Saima Yuya was a little curious. In general, if you encounter such a situation, kill the other party, otherwise you won't be arrested. Don't you know? Saima Feng looked at her in amazement. Know what? Saima Yuyu asked back. Why do they all come to this sentence, she really doesn't know what? It seems that you really don't know. Saima Liu Feng looked at her response and said. Saima Yuyu slipped down a few black lines, all these words, is she really so ignorant? But the truth is, she really is. I don't know anymore, what else do you sell? Then do you know where this is? Saima Liu Feng asked. If she didn't even know where this was, he wouldn't bother to explain it to her. Of course I know. But what does this have to do with them? You know this is an ancient battlefield, do you know that an ancestor of the Saima family once advanced here and went out smoothly? Saima Liu Feng said, seeing Saima Yuya drew his mouth and said, Oh, you do nt know. But everyone else knows. It s not how the news spread. Saima Yuya was speechless, and she didn't know the Saima family. Where did she know about their ancestors' 18th generation? The news is spreading more and more mysteriously in the back, as if everyone in our family knows what's going on here. It also said that the artifacts of our family were taken from the ancient battlefield. Then they wanted us show them the way, now, these people want me to show them the way. Then do you know or don't you know? Saima Yuyu asked. If she knew it, she wouldn't have to go a long way and could go directly there. Where do we know? Saima Liu Feng said, if we knew where I would be out, I would not be able to return. What can't be returned if it comes out? Saima Yuyu asked. We have reached the ancient battlefield, but the space there is not only unstable, but also a lot of traps. There is also space flow. I was brought here by the space flow. Saima Liu Feng said. Then you're lucky, said Saima Yuyu, you will encounter such rare conditions as space flow. What is spatial flow? Diyan asked. Just like the tsunami and tornado, but this is caused by the movement of space. Saima Yuyu explained, this thing is better than a space fault and won't let you fall into the void and die. But the bad thing is, it may let you go anywhere. Those like Uncle Liu Feng who have not been drawn to the entrance are already short. There is no regularity in the movement of the spatial flow. If you are not familiar with the surrounding environment, you really do nt know where you have been drawn, and where you were before. So you don't know where that ancient battlefield is. Saima Yuyu sighed. Who said I didn't know? Saima Liu Feng said, you have to know, I have many ways. I just don't bother to do it. Then what can you do? Saima Yuyu asked. Our Saima family is not a small force, and there are some ways to do this. Saima Liu Feng said, I originally said that those people are old, and I will not rush to go back. If you want to go, then I can take you there. That's the real reason you pretend to be controlled by them. Saima Yuyu said, you just don't want to go back so you stay here all the time. Those old guys, don't say I don't like it, even Lai Yun sees that they also need great restraint to keep themselves calm. I can't compare to him, so I just wait here. Saima Lai Feng said. Why? Because they abandoned your father, said Saima Lai Feng. They abandoned your father for the benefit of the family. That's really unbearable, said Saima Yuyu and you don't have the same mentality as Uncle Lu Yun. 
I'm your elder, you can't speak like this. Sima Liyufeng said. I'm telling the truth. Sima Yuyu shrugged. If you don't want to go back, you can tell how to go, you don't have to go. Of course not, said Sima Liyufeng. You and Liyuyun have no sense. Even if you know the way, you can't find them. So you have to go. Of course. Then you lead the way. Sima Yuyu said politely. Please. Sima Liyufeng wanted to tease her. Sima Yuyu glanced at him slightly and smiled lightly. If I get hurt, I will tell him everything when I see Uncle Lu Yun. You're ruthless. Sima Liyufeng looked at the smile on her face and complained. Your father can be regarded as bright and clear, how could you have such a cunning daughter? A mutation, do you understand? Gene mutation? What's that? It turns out you don't understand. The gene mutation, you don't understand it. So don't tell you. Sima Yuyu said with a smile. I must report the guy. Di Yan looked at Sima Liu Feng, and he was somewhat balanced. It seems that he is not the only one who can't be sure of her. The people on their side are the same. However, he was also curious, what is the mutation? The people of the Ghost Clan are still pretty good, and they are all cleaned up during their conversation. Unlike those who had been hiding far away, they dare to kill them here. Fighting with the ghosts in the ancient battlefield is simply an act of seeking death. Master, you're all done. The guard came back to report. Um. Di Yan nodded slightly, looking at Sima Yuyu and said, Are we going to keep going? It is good. Di Yan asked the guards to take a short break, and then continued on their way. However, this time it was not only Chong Ming leading the way, but also a Sima Liu Feng leading the way. After walking for more than half a month, they finally got out of those places with dense faults and came to places where the space was relatively stable. If the former places were deserted, there were only plants, and no living animals, then this area can only be described as having no grass. The scorched land, the cracked earth, after millions of years of change, there is still no living thing growing here. They flew in the air, and everywhere they looked, the black earth looked like a boundless ocean, devouring the hope of life. Sima Yuyu returned to the ground. Although the space here was more stable than before, she was probably taken away by a sudden flow of space or something. It was so difficult to come here, and there was no place to cry. How? Di Yan didn't dare to go up at will. They didn't have the sense of space as her, they could only wait on the ground. It's all like this, it should have been to the ancient battlefield. Sima Yuyu said, what kind of battle is it that will make such an area appear here? No one knows, nor has it been mentioned in the ancient books. If someone had accidentally entered here before, and took the news here, no one knows it yet. Sima Liu Feng said. As the family who carried the news out, the Sima family has been under a lot of pressure during these tens of thousands of years. Fortunately, there was no sign of a fairyland in those years, so the Sima family could spend these years safely. Otherwise they may have disappeared into the long river of history now. How did the news leak out at that time? People in their generation did not know, but in their opinion, the original thing did not bring them much benefit especially when everyone knew that this wonderland was tens of thousands of years ago. When it was opened, the Sima family had never even been born. The ancestor who released the news at the time wanted to spread the news and let everyone know this, so as to divert the attention of the entire continent, but did not expect that over time, the original news spread more and more dim, although some attention was diverted, but the family fell into a more awkward position. Others asked the Sima family to give more news, but they didn't know much, and even more information was spread outside than they knew. Although the Sima family didn't encounter anything when they came in, they knew that many people had been following them in order to find this ancient battlefield. In fact, he has no interest in this place. How many treasures can he have after all these years? Are ancient things really better than what they are now? After so many years, 
I don't know if those things can be used, why come to such a dangerous place? However, his ideas were useless, and Sima Liuyun's ideas did not stop the people in the family. The old stubborn insistence was coming, and they couldn't help it. And in recent years, because of the incident of Sima Liuxuan, the two of them cannot be too high profile in the family, so even if they have an idea, they didn't say it, so they had to come in with them. Don't you know? Sima Yuyu asked Di Yi. Di Yan shook his head, there is no record of this matter. A battle formed such a large fold of space, which shows that the battle was absolutely devastating. It is impossible to record or spread it. Sima Yuyu said, does it mean that this ancient battlefield is not a success? The ancient continent was formed. Is it formed elsewhere? Formed elsewhere? You mean, extraterritorially? Sima Liu Feng asked. I think this possibility is relatively large. Sima Yuyu said. How do you know that there is an extraterritorial one? Sima Liu Feng asked. Outsiders know more about people in the inner circle. People like Sima Yuyu who have such age and experience in life should not know. Tsing Yi said. Sima Yuyu said. Tsing Yi. Tree of Life, the realm I realized under him. Sima Yuyu said. When chatting with Sima Liu Feng a few days ago, she talked about the arrest of Sima Yun, and was asked about the field by the way. She didn't hide from him, or in other words, she also meant to tell him this, let him know his progress, and maybe let them tell the news of his father. However, this has nothing to do with him except to sigh her talent and happiness. Every time during this time he asks his father about things, and he either says these things you do nt know well, or he just shifts the topic and talks with her. Lassie pulled. Anyway, while he was excited for her talent, he didn't tell her useful news alive, and it made her teeth tickle. But she couldn't pry open his head to look, but stared at him aside. And this Sima Liu Feng, when she was young, she was definitely a super thick-skinned person. Now she is older and has cultivated her skin over the years, so she has a thicker skin. No matter how she glares at him, she just ignores it. However, Sima Yuyu is not the kind of person who will give up, and the two have been deadlocked these days. One asked, one hid, and the two were still enjoying themselves. How does that Tsing Yi know outside the territory? Isn't he a tree? Yeah, a fine tree. Sima Yuyu said, he told me that not only we came here, but also people from other places. Since this place can connect us, it can also connect other places, then it's not necessarily here that our continent was formed. It's also possible, Dis said. If it's really a shocking battle of weeping ghosts and gods, there will still be some traces. The battles of the ancient and ancient times also have traces to follow. It won't be like this. No news at all. Sima Liu Feng nodded, agreeing with them. There is something here, said the ghost master suddenly. Isn't space flowing again? Sima Liu Feng's face changed slightly. I was swept away by space flow as soon as I arrived in the ancient battlefield. Is this time I was swept away? Isn't he so sad? The other people's faces also changed a bit. It took so long to come here. Is it necessary to start again? It's not a spatial flow, it's a living thing coming here, said the ghost master. Upon hearing the news, everyone was relieved, and then raised their hearts again. They have nt met in the folding space for nearly a year. Why did they come here? Moreover, the strength of the living beings that can survive here is still uncertain. If the strength is low, if the strength is low and the number is large, then it is troublesome. After a while, everyone heard the movement, the buzzing sound, from near to far, and fast. Blood bat! said the ghost master to Diyan, somewhat difficult to deal with. Ghost bats are more difficult to deal with in the beast. They have high strength and social status, and each time they are dispatched, they will be a large swarm. Everyone is ready. Diyan's guard captain said to those behind him. 
Ghost bats are no stranger to the people of the ghost clan, so they do nt always panic, but they are ready to go, and when those bats arrive, they start preemptively. Sima Yuya looked at the guards and said, This ghost bat is hard to deal with. Well, these blood bats don't look big, but they are fast, powerful, and mentally powerful. If they are a combination attack, the intensity is doubled. Hundreds of ghost level bats with junior strength launch a sonic attack together. The strength is similar to that of the intermediate level. If it is 1000, it is similar to the advanced level. This power is not found in other social animals. And they dispatched as few as a thousand and as many as ten thousand, so the ghost people didn't want to encounter them. Sima Yuya listened to Diyan's explanation, and said that their luck was really good, only to come here to encounter such a tricky ghost animal. You don't have to worry too much, my guards are not low in strength, even if the ghost bat comes, there will not be much trouble. Diyan comforted. The captain of the guard behind him twitched his lips never thinking that one day his master would take the initiative to comfort others. If it wasn't for this person was his cousin, the daughter of Princess Yakolo, they would all think he was in the spring. Sima Yuyu nodded and said, I don't have much to worry about. If you are not sure, I still have the artifact you gave me. They should have no effect on the things inside. No, Dis said. Those are souls. The sonic attack of ghost bats is only useful for ghosts with a body. That's good. Sima Yuya really didn't worry much about strength. If these guards don't work, she can also attack with the ghosts in the hundred ghosts. However, before the blood bat approached, the ghost master felt something wrong and said, Master, the situation is different. What happened? Diyan looked at Master Ghost, his voice changed a little. This has rarely happened before. Those blood bats, unlike those in the ghost world, should be mutant blood bats. Said the ghost master. Mutant blood bat. Diyan's face also changed. How can there be a mutant blood bat here? We can't stay here and move back. I was quite confident just now, but it changed in an instant. Sima Yuya didn't understand why the mutant blood bats made them so scary at first but later she understood. Diyan said before that the average blood bat is only the size of a wash basin, but she saw those catching up, Nima, where is this wash basin, that would be almost the size of a water tank. If it's just a change in head, it won't make the ghost masters talk about it, and they can say nothing to escape, then the strength will certainly be multiplied. Otherwise run away like this, let's say how shameful it is to go out. They wanted to escape, but behind them was the fault zone. They couldn't escape at all, but the blood bats were very familiar with it. During the flight, they easily avoided the space fault and quickly caught up. Now they only want a small number. If there are only a few hundred, then they can barely deal with it. I'm a good guy. The blood bats are getting closer and closer, where is the black one, where is there more than a hundred? That's thousands. Okay. Why are there so many blood bats? Even the ghost master was completely calm now. This is the dregs left to destroy them. As soon as Sima Yuyu saw master ghost like this, she knew that this must be an unsuspecting battle. Not to mention that they now have hundreds of guards, and they have no fighting power at all. Even if the number of guards is several times higher, compared with this black mutant blood bat, they are also abused. They're too fast, we can't escape at all. Didi's guard captain was a little desperate. Sima Yuya was thinking of using the ghosts in the hundred ghosts to deal with ghost bats, but now, even if you take them out, the ghosts can resist for a while, but they are useless. You are a matrix mage. Leave us alone for a while, Dis said. Yes, we will give you a delay. I don't know how long, you have to hurry. Sima Liu Feng stood with Di Yi for the first time, in order to protect her behind. They all knew that she was an array mage, and it was not a problem if she wanted to leave alone. But if you bring many people together, it may not be necessary. You need to know that setting up a large array takes time. 
Sima Yuyu did not expect that these two guys looked at each other unpleasantly along the way, but now they stood together and stood in front of her. Without hope, they would open a way for her. And it's just because she is the loved one they care about. Sima Liu Feng and Du Yan did not expect that they would fight side by side one day, looking at each other, and their prejudices against each other were much less. Before, Sima Liu Feng blamed Du Yi's aunt dragged his brother, a brother who blame each other dragged his own aunt, if not Sima Yuyu together, the two are likely to fight directly. But now, when the two stood together, they rushed to each other's heart towards Yuyu, and they accepted each other. Of course, this is just accepting the other person, and does not mean accepting the other's family. It seems that after death here, you cannot go to the ghost world. Sima Liu Feng said. Well, I can only stay here forever. Di Yan said lightly, there was no fear of death, only endless regrets. He couldn't rescue the auntie himself. Without him, when will the cousin rescue the auntie? Who can help her after she's gone to the ghost world? Di Yan was hit in the stomach and the pain came, but he didn't care, grabbed Sima Liu Feng's arm, and punched him back. Without Sima Liu my aunt is still a princess in the ghost world and is living a happy and worry-free life. It's all you. Blame you all. It's obviously Yu Luo's fault. If she didn't come to the realm, if she didn't seduce Lu Xian, how could there be later things? Well, Sima Liuxuan is obviously blamed. Weird Colorado. You say it again. Obviously you don't want to admit it. Then we look great we can live to the end. While the two were arguing, they fought with their fists like the most ordinary people. Where there was the usual appearance and image, it was almost like two children were fighting. Sima Yuyu looked at them silently, really two children who lived back. Master Ghost, the master is injured, do you want to? The guard captain asked Master Ghost. The Ghost Master waved his hand and motioned them not to move. Di Yan chose to use this method, that is, he doesn't care about this little injury on his body. Relax, you can't die. Sima Yuyu said, as your master's guard, he didn't let you move, so don't move. The master hasn't been stung like this before, said the captain of the guard. He used to be stunned before. Sima Yuyu said. That was a thing of the Lord. Even as a kid, that's not enough said Sima Yuyu, Diliu, when you followed your cousin, he was already one or two hundred years old. Captain De Six nodded and said, yes. He has been following the master for hundreds of years. Hasn't he seen him like this since you met him? Sima Yuyu asked. It's not like I haven't seen the master fight with other people, and the master has been hurt, but it's really not seen like this, Dilu said. Then you are lucky today to see what your masters and men look like without their shirts, maybe you will not see them in the future. Sima Yuyu said, the only chance is to cherish it. Dilu thought Sima Yuyu was going to say something, but it wasn't expected to be this. But, maybe it's really the only chance, so let's see. Di Yan and Sima Liu Feng fought barefoot for more than an hour, but at last they lost all their strength and fell to the ground. Sima Yuyu and Dilu went over and saw the two grinning and still glaring at each other, seemingly ready to wait for their strength to continue fighting. Fortunately, I know the size, I didn't beat the last breath. She checked them, ten ten ribs were broken, dozens of other bones were broken, muscles were torn, internal organs were bleeding, and hesitated, you two are in good health, so you can still fight. Sima Liu Feng heard Sima Yuyu's words turned his head and wanted to say something, but he grinned, and took a breath of air. Hiss. You don't move. Sima Yuyu said, you two like this, lie here for three days. Three days. So long. Sima Liu Feng cried. Otherwise do you think? Sima Yuyu said, although there is elixir, this recovery will take time. You don't know what the injury looks like. And they don't have her physique, three days is just the standard they can move. Sima Yuyu took out the elixir and ate them, 
and said, after thinking about it for so long, I finally had a fight. Is my mouth full? Is it enough to vent? The two stared at each other, then turned their heads and looked at the sky at the same time. Saima Yuya laughed at the corner of her mouth and instructed Dilu, set up a tent for your master, and they will sleep here for three days. Oh, by the way, give me an uncle and give me one, forget it, you get one big, get the two of them together. By the way, they can't move now, don't move them after setting up the tent, let them lie on the ground. Good lady. Dilu waved to the people behind him, and several people immediately came and set up two tents for them. Diyan and Saima Liyufeng heard that they lay on the ground for three days, their eyes widened, and they looked at Saima Yuyu, who was gloating. Don't stare at me, it's you who want to be like this, not me. Saima Yuyu said, you have delayed our three-day trip because of this, we haven't said you yet. You obviously can find a way to make us better soon, but let us lie on the ground for three days, uncomfortable uncle. Saima Liyufeng complained. Saima Yuyu rolled her eyes. Does he think he has a demon body? It's good for you to keep you still, said Saima Yuyu, who asked you to break your bones. If you want your bones to recover, just lie down. Miss, all right. Let's go out and let people guard them outside, just in case. Saima Yuyu said. Okay. Dilu glanced at the master on the ground and hurried out. He wouldn't tell his master that he ran so fast because he saw his handsome and wicked face bewildered and could not help but go out and laugh. Diyan saw his subordinates listen to Saima Yuyu so much, and did not know how to describe his feelings. The temperament of this girl will make people listen to her subconsciously, just like the ant was then. Saima Yuyu took out a chair and sat next to the two of them, saying, Uncle Liyufeng, will you be bored for three days? Is it better that you come and tell me about my father and mother? Diyan turned his head and looked at Saima Liyufeng. He also wanted to know what happened to the ant in the human world. Saima Liyufeng saw Saima Yuyu's clinging eyes, sighed, and said, Why are you so clinging? This courage is really the same as your father. I'm a father and mother's child, of course the same. Saima Yuyu said, Uncle Liyufeng, don't fight with me, haha, <laughs> you know, I will know the original thing sooner or later. I am no longer the original me, regardless of knowing nothing will affect my Taoism. She succeeded in enlightenment, and as long as it was not something that completely broke her down, she would not disperse or break. You, hmm. Saima Liyufeng sighed again. You're right, you will know the original thing sooner or later. Instead of letting you search for the answer, I will tell you now. It will save you the whole thing. God haunts me. You're so good early. Saima Yuyu said. In fact, I don't know much about your father and your mother, because they are all outside, and some are what we heard from your father. Saima Liyufeng said. According to him, when he went out to travel, Saima Yuyu listened to Saima Liu Feng's story about her parents, and her heart followed them, happy together, and hurt together. At that time, your father and your master were the guys who went on a trip to the wind. They went out together. They said they were going to Ziliang. You know, there is an area connected to the demons. Although not as famous as the Scarlet Channel, not so many people are stationed there for a long time, but once the demons out there, their strength is very high. Saima Yuyu nodded, she did know that place, because the people of the Zimen family had been there before, but they just came out of the demon race, killed the guardians there, and killed all the people of the Zimen family. Therefore, everyone in Simon's house knows that place. When your father and your master went there, you just happened to be attacked by the demons. Your mother happened to be there, and they saved the two by chance, so they knew each other. Saima Liyufeng continued, later they encountering the demons' counterattack, the three of them escaped after hardships. Perhaps after several lives, the three of them formed their feelings. Yuki Luo and Saima Liyuxuan fell in love, and the wind trip alone loved Yuki Luo. Later they toured the mainland together. 
the relationship between the two was getting better and better. The wind trip did not want to see this. After two years of traveling together, they chose to leave and travel alone. Later, your mother had you. But they did not return to the family, because the Saima family would not accept a daughter-in-law of the ghost clan. If they go back, I'm afraid you won't even be able to keep your belly. So they chose seclusion. Since it was reclusive, why did those things happen later? Saima Yuyu asked. Do you know how many people your father was the lover of that year? Although he was traveling, his news would still be known from time to time. Saima Liu Feng said, later, the young lady of the Ouyang family traced them and came over. In the fight, I learned that your mother is a ghost. Then their news was leaked. They moved somewhere, but how could they escape the tracking of so many forces and find them when you were just born? Saima Yuyu can guess the scene at that time, how big the human race's prejudice against the ghost race can be seen from these few things she came into contact with. Knowing that people and ghosts fall in love, there will definitely be many people to deal with them. Coupled with the fact that there were many people in his father's heart at the time, there were definitely more people coming to join in. And the mother has just given birth, her body is debilitating and it is definitely impossible for the father to protect one large and one small in front of so many people. Saima Liu Feng thought of the scene at the time, and still feels shocked. You know, the forces outside have always looked at us with jealousy, and have been raving about the heritage we got in Wonderland, and want to get the news of the ancient battlefield in Wonderland. Saima Liu Feng resentfully said, the news of Wonderland was only passed in recent years. It came out. But at that time, many forces within the perimeter had already received news that Wonderland was about to open. So, there were not many irrelevant people who came to besiege them. Well, in their words, that is the alien everyone, everyone. Saima Yuyu's hands clasped, her face was getting heavier, her heart hurting, and she hated more and more. She closed her eyes, took a deep breath, tried to calm herself, and said, what about later? After Lu Yun and I got the news, I secretly went to give them the news and let them run away. However, for some reason, they didn't leave, and when we got there, both of them were weak and didn't have any. A little fighting power. There is no trace of counterattack against those who go to attack them. Saima Liu Feng said. My aunt is intoxicant. Although she gave birth to her cousin, she won't have any fighting power, Di said. How could they be like that? Saima Liu Feng blinked, I don't know, but when we went, they were like that. They were in the same situation, as if all the spiritual power had been emptied. They were almost killed by those people. Now. The two did not know, but Saima Yuyu, on the side, couldn't control her tears, one by one, putting her clothes on. They didn't know why, but she guessed it. They must have discovered their own demon body. Even if the situation is critical, they still choose to use their own power to seal their bodies so that they can grow up safely. But they used to face so many people when they were weakest. Both Saima Liu Feng and Du Yan thought she cried when she heard the suffering of her parents. You just said siege? If it was just my father and my mother, why would there be so many people? Because they got the news, they said that there were many ghosts there, and they said that the Saima family and the ghosts colluded, but when they didn't expect to go, they were the only two. Saima Liu Feng explained. So how did they get out of that disaster? Those people said they were going to kill them. The Saima family has been said to be in collusion with the ghost clan. In the face of so many forces, they dare not hide from them. Saima Liu Feng said. To kill your mother, but the ghost king who was rushed in at the last minute was rescued. Ghost king? My grandfather? Saima Yuyu asked in amazement. Yes, I heard your mother called his father. Saima Liu Feng said. If Saima Yuyu was surprised, Di Yan was shocked. The ghost king would come to the human world in person. Saima Liu Feng did not notice the expressions of the two and looked at the tent above his head and continued, 
maybe your mother passed the message to the ghost world before. In short, the ghost king rushed over with a group of people. After some negotiation, he will your mother took it. What about my dad? Will that person let go of my dad? Sima Yuyu asked. Originally those people were going to deal with you and your father. They let the family take the initiative to solve you. At that time, your father was almost beaten to death. Sima Liu Feng said, those people, those who are jealous of him, they I wanted to kill him long ago. I also said that you are the evil result of a love between humans and ghosts, and I want to kill you together. Sorry, at that time, Uncle Liu Yun and I couldn't protect your father and daughter. You don't need to apologize. I heard Yayun say that when you and Uncle Liu Yun came back, you were also injured. Sima Yuyu said, they don't know what happened, but I should be right. Those people are going to kill cousin, how did she survive? Diyan asked. Speaking of this matter, Yuyu would like to thank Yunlin after you go out, he came over and saved you and your father. Silver Pro. Yunlin, he went at that time. Sima Yuyu asked. I didn't come before. They came when those people were about to kill you. Sima Liu Feng said, his arrival stopped everyone on the scene and went straight to your side, holding you from your ground. Get up and say that this is a good boy. She killed her today, and she will return you to peace in the future. Then those people agreed to watch. Du Yan asked. Of course. Sima Liu Feng said. You don't know the status of Yunlin in the human world. No force dares to face him. No one can refute his words. It turned out that he saved my life so early. Sima Yuyu murmured. She always thought that their contact began from outside the fairyland, but he did not expect that his life would be saved by him. Yunlin has always spoken accurately. He said so, although those people do not know what will happen in the future they have changed their attitude towards you. However, some people still want to kill you. Later, the bullet and Shao will treat you and you. My father took it away and pressed it down. After a few months, your father took you back to the family, but it didn't take you long to take you back. Then he disappeared. By the way, yours the name was also given to you by Yin Lin. Sima Yuya was stunned and his name was also given to him by himself, Sima Yuyu and Zimen Yuyu. He knew so long that the two would become one in the future. What else do you know? She asked. There are so many things we know. Sima Liu Feng said, these forces still found trouble with the family, but because I and Lu Yun were both injured and did not contact, the family later suppressed this matter. Family members are not allowed to talk about this, so we don't know about it. When your father came back, Lai Yu Feng and I just happened to be out again. By the time we returned, he had disappeared. After listening to his words, Sima Yuya was silent. Those people. She squinted her eyes, and those who wanted to kill her parents would thank them one by one. She saw that Sima Lai Yu Feng said so much, she was just a little excited, and was already tired so she didn't ask the names of those forces anymore, and he asked him better. She got up, put her chair away and said, you take a good rest and you will be up in three days. She left the tent, leaving them with three eyes wide open for three days. After Sima Yuya left, she went to Zaija, and then went to Seoul Tower from Zaija. There is a ghost master here, she does not want to take this risk. She found Wu Lingyu, and this guy didn't bore the petals this time, and was studying the mech book on the beauty couch. Seeing her come in, her eyes were still red, and she sat up, pulled her to her side, and asked, How did you cry? Sima Yuya leaned her head on his shoulder and said, I just heard what Uncle Lai Yu Feng said about my father and mother, and I didn't hold back. Wu Lingyu looked at her and said, Don't be sad about the past, just wait to find them. Um. Sima Yuyu answered, his nose was thick. That being said, but these emotions are not beyond her control. Wu Lingyu didn't tease her this time, just quietly accompanied her, 
listening to her repeating what Sima Liu Feng told her. That's right. Sima Yuya finished, and left from his shoulder, saying, My father left me a box, and there was nothing in it. She took the box out and saw the box again. It was completely different from those of her first state of mind. At that time, she looked at the box, only to think that it was left to the body by the cheap dad. But now, I can feel the slow fatherly love. Although this box is not so rare as Ling Long, it is more precious in her heart. I haven't seen you take this box out, Wu Ling Yu said. At the time, dad brought the ring of the family, the little spirit child, a map and a letter. Sima Yu Yu opened the box, and the letter and map were lying inside. She took out the letter and opened it again, tears couldn't help falling. Dad, mother, don't worry, I will find you. Our family will be reunited. Wu Ling Yu took out the craft paper inside, looked at it, and said, This seems to be an ancient tomb. Sima Yu Yu wiped her tears, and looked over and said, It looks like an ancient tomb in the location of Feng Shui. But my father didn't say where it was, but I just checked it again and found that the letter was strange, as if mention here it is. How strange? Wu Ling Yu asked. Sima Yu Yu spread out the letter and said, Several words have slightly changed strokes, unlike others. You see. Wu Ling Yu looked at it, and those words were indeed a little different. Love, heaven, ridge, said Sima Yu Yu. The stack of these three words is rolled back a bit, but the other words are not. That's true. Love, heaven, ridge, is it love Tianling domain? Wu Ling Yu said. Love Tianling domain? Is it an area? Sima Yu Yu asked. Yes, inside. Wu Ling Yu said, Does it say that this map is a place in Tianling? Is there anyone's tomb in Love Tianling? Sima Yu Yu asked. Wu Ling Yu thought for a while and said, I once said that the Emperor's tomb is there, but no one has found it. Is this map the Emperor's tomb? Did the Emperor draw a map for the world before he died, and said to them, Come, my cemetery is here, come and steal my tomb. Sima Yu Yu said. It's not impossible, Wu Ling Yu said, but the greater possibility is that someone has gone in and painted this. I'll look at this map again. Sima Yu Yu said, No, this craft paper is very old, but the ink on it is not so long. Is this the map left by my dad? They were the ancient tomb secluded? It shouldn't be. Wu Ling Yu said, You said that there are many forces to arrest your parents. If it is really a retreat in the tomb, the tomb cannot be found. So many people, the news is overwhelming. But we didn't hear anything. Isn't it there? Sima Yu Yu picked up the craft paper and looked at it, without seeing any clues. Daddy, father, why are you so mysterious? Just say it in the letter. I think he should have left something here, Wu Ling Yu said, so even if someone else gets this, they won't know where it is. I know that, too. But we don't know where this is. After researching for a while, Wu Ling Yu finally found a clue. If it is not Love Tian Ling, it may be Ai Tian Ling. Wu Ling Yu said, the two ridges are not far away. There should be a mountain range in the distance. This mountain range separates the two spirit lands. This mountain's the shape is a bit special and it should be a landmark left to us. Love Tian Ling, Ai Tian Ling, maybe we have to be there to know the answer. Sima Yu Yu said. Then let's talk about it at that time, don't think about it now, Wu Ling Yu said. Okay. Sima Yu Yu stayed in the Seoul Tower for a while, and then went out when her mood calmed down. Those who participated at the beginning, no matter what the purpose, she will go to them and talk about life in the future. Rather bully the white-headed man, not bully the young poor. Although those forces are very powerful, one day, she will be on them and let them pay the price for the original thing. After she went out, she went to see them, and they both thought about who was wrong at the beginning. They were obviously two adults, but because of this matter, they were bickering. They have been like this for the last two days. 
Sima Yuyu asked Dilu, who was outside. Yes, miss, they are talking half the time after you leave. Dilu said. He never knew that his master had so much to say. Sima Yuyu shook her head and opened the curtain to enter. Yuyu, did you do something to us? Why didn't we have any energy? Sima Liu Feng asked when she saw her come in. Sima Yuyu went up and checked the situation for the two, and they recovered pretty well. Cousin, why can we feel that our body is recovering, but we are still weak? Di Yan asked. I poisoned you too. Sima Yuyu said. What? They both froze at the same time. What's so surprising, said Sima Yuyu, the elixir I gave you is a poison that makes you feel weak. Rest assured, the poison will have three days effect. When your injury is almost healed, that toxicity should also recede. Why? Sima Liu Feng asked. Sima Yuyu glanced at him and said, If you don't let you stay quiet for a while, I'm afraid that your body that has just recovered a little in the past two days will be beaten by you two again. Really, that's right. They have been blaming each other for the past two days. Several times they remember to fight again. If they can move, maybe they will fight again. She really knew them. The two of you hit and quarreled, and noisy and quarreled. After the injury is good, we will continue on our way. Sima Yuyu said, Cousin, don't forget the purpose of our visit. What's the purpose? Sima Liu Feng asked. Why tell you? Di Yan said. Fuck, you two don't tell me the secret. Do you want me to show you the way? Sima Liu Feng cried. You lead the way, you lead the way, our affairs do not need you to control. I didn't ask you anything, I asked you you. What do you say? You. I'm going to ask you you, no. Why? Want to fight? Hit, hit, I will definitely hit you this time, you can't find Kitta. As if you were beaten to the north. The two quarreled again, and Sima Yuya was speechless on the side, too lazy to care about them, and pulled out the curtains. Those of the ghost clan did not dare to walk around here, except for the tents here, the others were sitting nearby. She walked away from the line and came to a bare mountain. There are no plants, the ground is potholes, and the hills are flat. It should have been cut off. She sat down at the top of the mountain, looking at the scorched lands, and couldn't imagine how fierce the fighting was at the beginning, which would cause such a result. Such a large-scale battle is like this on the edge. What kind of scene will it be inside? Who and who are they fighting? Human demon, human ghost? Or tribal melee? The final answer is unknown, leaving them with endless imagination. She sat on the top of the mountain alone for a long time, thinking about many things, thinking of previous life, previous life, parents on earth, parents of previous life, parents of this life. Everyone loves her so much. Then she thought about the hatreds she carried on her, and the hatreds that others put on her, and she would return back little by little. Go out this time and end the hatred of previous lives. Suddenly, she felt a movement in the air, her expression changed greatly, and she got up and moved back to the camp. Quickly let everyone in the distance come back. Sima Yuyu instructed Dilu. What happened? Dilu asked. Space is coming, we have to hide it quickly. Sima Yuyu said. Dilu they heard that the space was coming and hurried to gather the guards. Sima Yuyu entered the tent, and the two people who were arguing inside stopped and said, Time is coming. Um. Sima Yuyu stepped forward, fed the two with two antidote, and said, Let's go inside the small realm to avoid it. Fortunately, the guards were all well trained, and soon they all returned. Sima Yuyu opened the small realm and let everyone rush in, and then go in again. But there were too many people and the speed of space flow was too fast. At the last moment, she threw the last few people into the small world. Before she entered, she was drawn into the space flow. Fortunately, she closed Zyja at the last minute, otherwise the whole Zyja would collapse. 
The stones rolled up from the ground hit her face and body, and her body was torn by space. It felt a little like the space tunnel collapsed when she first arrived in the ancient continent, and she felt like she was out of the void. However, the space flow is much more gentle than the tearing force of the void, and his strength has been improved a lot, so this time he did not suffer as severely as the previous one. But when she was thrown out by the space stream, she was in pain. She also has a little consciousness, knowing that she was thrown out, and that someone came towards herself. She sensed it and was able to mobilize the spirit in her body. If these people were to kill herself, she could come by surprise. However, the other party apparently did not intend to kill her. She felt that someone opened her mouth and fed the two pills. The elixir soon worked, and she felt quite comfortable, but still couldn't open her eyes. Now she doesn't know who the other party is, whether she is an enemy or a friend, so let's continue pretending to be dizzy. However, maybe she was too hurt, and the body turned on the automatic repair mode, and she really fell asleep. In a cave, Saima Yuya was lying on a pile of grass. A little girl came in from the outside and said to the people inside, why do you get such a woman back with such low strength, do we still want can't take her? What do you know? A man with blue eyes glared at her. The area in front is so dangerous. Do you dare to walk in front of the line? I don't want to go. Said the woman, so dangerous, one accidentally cut in half, you want me to go. Since you don't go, then find someone to come back. What are you talking about so much nonsense? Said the blue-eyed man. The woman could not refute for a moment, saying, Okay, then save this person's life temporarily. But the strength is so low, the space flow is engulfed, but she hasn't died yet, it's really fatal. It's really fatal, said another grey-haired old man. But this woman is so beautiful. I don't look very pleasing to the eye. What should I do? You want to destroy the disfigurement, do you still do less of this? The blue-eyed man's voice had no ups and downs, and he didn't pay attention to other people's lives. In other words, it's not strange to do that to the woman. We want her to save her life to explore the road ahead, so don't kill her, said the old man. No problem. The woman came to Saima Yuya with a smile, squatted down, took out a dagger with a sleeve, slid around her face, and said, Well, it's really pretty it's a pity that little girl is ruined like this. Then you let her go, said the blue-eyed man. He he. The woman smiled and said, How is this possible? The more beautiful a woman, the more I have the desire to ruin her, the harder it is to destroy her, the happier I am. I really want to be good think about how such a beautiful little girl can be ruined. The blue-eyed man glanced at her and said, After all these years, you are still so perverted. Oh, I'll take you as a compliment. I like this compliment. The woman giggled and took the dagger off Saima Yuyu's face. Such good skin, I'll draw one on the left face first the tortoise, then use the potion to gently wipe it on the other side of her face, how about it? She turned to look at the old man. Don't ask me. Every time I say you don't listen, always use the opposite. The old man said. Then you say the opposite is what you want to say. The woman said, no matter which potion is used, draw the turtle here first. I have improved my craft in recent years. Such a small face, I can draw a hundred knives on it before painting the turtle. I think you haven't grown in strength over the years, have you just studied this? said the old man. Yes. The woman nodded, destroying the faces of all women who are more beautiful than me is the greatest joy of my life. Your pleasure has always been this, there is no need to explain to us. said the old man. You really know me. The woman laughed evilly at the corner of her mouth, took out the dagger, and then pressed it on the handle. There were many small knives in the middle of the dagger. I'm going to start. The voice was with excitement and excitement, as she had before. When the knife was about to stop next to Saima Yuyu, he hesitantly asked the two behind him, would I wait for her to wake up before I get it? 
seeing her rebellious look, horrified eyes, that refreshing feeling skyrocketing. We don't have much time to wait for you, said the old man. We will hurry up when she wakes up. You should consider it yourself. Then I'll start now, said the woman. Maybe she will wake up with a stab at me. It's a good feeling to change from being confused to being terrified. Up to you. As long as they don't disrupt their plans. Then I'll start. Her knife slowly approached Saima Yuyu's face, as if to complete a sacred plan. The knife was getting closer and closer to Saima Yuyu's face. At the moment next to her skin, a flame suddenly burst out from her, and the dagger turned into ashes instantly. What? The woman's scream stunned the other two people who closed their eyes. They looked over, and just saw that the woman was wrapped in flames, and had not yet had time to act. She turned to ashes in front of them. This flame. The two stood up quickly, guarding themselves with spiritual power, so that the flame would not come suddenly to attack. The woman was half a step into the honorable class. What kind of flame was that flame? It was so easy to be killed. My favorite thing in my life is the body that my parents gave me. The most annoying thing is that others want to ruin my appearance. Saima Yuyu hummed. It's really uncomfortable. She sat up, moved her shoulders, twisted her neck, and was not nearly scared of being disfigured. Of course, this person has been burned to her by ashes, what else can be scared? You've been awake long ago said the blue-eyed man looking at her. Wake up for a while, I thought you would say anything useful, but in addition to this perverted woman likes disfigurement, you didn't say anything. Saima Yuyu said. You wake up long ago, how could we not know? The old man was startled. It's very simple. I'm better than you. She put away the flames and turned them into a little bird and fell to her palm. Thank you, little bird. At that moment, the little bird was completely running out to burn the woman to death, faster than her thoughts. The two of them felt the amazing light in that little flame, and said in amazement, what a great flame. Well, go back. Saima Yuyu said. The woman was burned to death so easily just now, because the woman was completely undefended. Although she is very strong, her body without defense is only a little stronger than ordinary people. She put away the flames and looked at the two men, thinking of what they said before, saying, Little Seven, Hua Hua, Xiao Meng, who do you want to come with or together? Three little girls appeared next to her, looking at the two people on the opposite side, Xiao Qi said, I singled out this kind of thing, of course I came. Little Seven, can you count? The other obviously has two. One enemy and two is not a one-on-one. -on -one. Xiao Meng said. It's the same. Xiao Qi didn't think there was any difference between one and two. Saima Yuya wants to vomit at the back. The strength is different. She sees them as one of several hundred strong ones, but she directly sees them as one. She used medicine to keep the two from talking, lest they talk about the soul tower after they went to the blood fiend city, and then held them outside, opened the door of the small realm, and took them in. She went directly to Susha City, and everyone in Susha City came out to meet her when they felt he was here. Everyone was curious when she saw two people coming in. Yu Yu, what are you holding them to do? Let me see if there is a place in the city where prisoners can be detained, then they will be locked up. Saima Yu Yu said. What did these people do? Did you bully you? Okay, they dare to bully you. Is this tired or do not want to live? If you don't want to live, come, let's talk about life with him. That's right. Yu Yu, what did they do? Saima Yu Yu looked at them. Although these people were not good people, they were still good to her. When they heard that they were to be locked up here, they immediately quarreled with her. It's nothing, said Saima Yu Yu. It was just before that that I encountered a space stream got hurt, and was caught by them. One of their friends wanted to destroy my capacity, and then I was killed. I personally want me to explore them in the front because that road is dangerous. 
I rely on, such people should kill directly, what do you keep them for? Someone cried. But I promised them, if they say what happened here, I will not die around them. Sima Yuyu said a little embarrassed, they said later, I have to fulfill my promise, but let me just like that let them go, and I'm not so relieved, what if they come to hurt me again? So after thinking about it, it's best to just keep them here. That's the way. You you promised others, you can't kill them. Yes. You have always been a person who keeps Chen Nyo, so you cannot kill. Did you just say that we should be held here? You know we didn't build a prison. Why not? You put them in our yard, we help you look at them, and talk to them about how wonderful life is. The smile on Sima Yuyu's face is getting bigger and bigger, these guys are really cute. Since there is no prison, so be it. You need to watch him, don't let him run away. Rest assured, where can he go in our place, said the man with a ticket. That being the case, I will hand you over. There is something outside of me, so let's go first. Sima Yuyu handed people into their hands with a smile. You can rest assured. We will take care of them. Okay. Sima Yuyu handed them over, and then went to find them. As she thought, the two men did not live in the Bloodshade City for three days. When they died, they had not figured out yet. How could such a little doll wipe out all three of them, and why did they bring them back? Such an evil star. Of course, these are the last words. Sima Yuyu left Dixie City and went to Didi and talked about the situation outside. This is a small battlefield in the ancient battlefield. It is said that there are many uncertain factors, space breaks, small areas of space collapse, and so on. So if we go out again, it is not suitable to bring so many people. How powerful the space is, they are all understanding people, and there is no problem with her proposal. I heard that many people are here, Uncle Lu Feng. After you go out, you can see if Uncle Lu Yun is nearby. Sima Yuyu said. If so, go back to Sima's house. Sima Liu Feng understood her meaning and said, You don't want me to go back, I don't want to go back with the old and immortal. Then you have the patience to let Uncle Liu Feng face those undead alone. There's nothing to bear, said Sima Liu Feng. He didn't do such a thing. I'm the one who gets hurt a lot. I don't need to sympathize with him. So cheeky. She didn't really want him to follow him and see what he and Diyi would do next, but if he let him go alone, she wouldn't rest assured. Forget it, wait to see Uncle Lu Yun. They are here or not. If not, then they say nothing at all. Because it was not possible to bring so many people together. Only Sima Liu Feng, Di Yan, Master Ghost, and Di Lu were the last to go out. After she came out, let Sima Liu Feng check to see if Sima Liu Yun was there. Sima Liu Feng reluctantly contacted the place, and silently prayed that the people in Sima's family should not be near, not near, but when he saw the results, his heart was crying. People from Sima's family are nearby. Sima Yu laughed and said, Uncle Liu Feng, it seems this is the rhythm you want to go back to. This must be an induction error. I'll try again. Sima Liu Feng said. Then, try again with the same result. Sima Yuyu looked at him with a smile and said nothing. Don't laugh so treacherous, I'll contact Lu Yun, maybe he will come to protect you with me. Sima Liu Feng said. Before Sima Yuyu had time to say anything, he saw that he took out a sound stone and contacted Sima Liu Yun. Where have you been? Sima Liu Yun's voice was still so cold. Although a little impatient, he still had a faint concern. Liu Yun, I'm in trouble, I was arrested. Sima Liu Feng said, seeing Sima Yu they were going to talk, and quickly made a snoring action. Who was caught? Sima Liu Yun asked. Ghost people said Sima Liu Feng, I finally contacted you, and you hurried back to save me. Sima Liu Yun, who was walking on a ramp, stopped. Even the ghosts can't figure it out, so useless. 
there was a slight disdain in the words. I wipe, what is useless, so many ghosts, you try. Sima Liu Feng shouted. What's wrong? Who are you talking to? The others stopped before turning to ask Sima Liu Yun. Flowing wind. Sima Liu Yun said. Now that he's connected, let him come back quickly. Isn't it because he was taken away by the space flow, he didn't come back for so long? It seems that his ability has decreased a lot, and let her go back to retreat after returning. Indifferent attitude, not concerned at all. He said he was caught by the ghost clan. Now not far away, let's go back and save him. Sima Liuyun said. Caught. The old man who just spoke frowned. Now is the crucial time, where can I save him? If he can't escape by himself, let him never come back. Sima Liu Feng was at the other end of the sound stone. Hearing such a word, although I have long understood, but still could not help but bitter because of this. Time is tight, we continue to move forward. We must find that thing before those people. The old man urged Sima Liu Yun. Elder, Liu Feng is also a disciple of the family, how do we? What do you want? The elder rebuked. If we get that thing, the Sima family can rise again, which is more important than Sima Liu Feng's life. Go. Although there are a few people who want to rescue Sima Liu Feng, once they dare not disobey the elders, they also know that getting that thing is indeed more important than saving Sima Liu Feng. When they came here, many people had already entered. If that thing was obtained by others, then they would not be able to complete the task of entering this time and the Saima family would also lose a chance of re-emergence. If no one has found this place, they can still go out to rescue Saima Liu Feng, but now it seems impossible. They are too late. Everyone else started to move, and Saima Liu Yun was still standing still and had no plans to keep up. Saima Liu Yun. The elder took a few steps and found that he hadn't kept up, he scolded. Sima Liu Yun put away the sound stone and said, I'll go out and see. After speaking, he turned and walked towards the way he came, without paying any attention to the elder. The elder, this. Those people looked at the elder a little bit embarrassed. Sima Liu Yun did not look at the elders at all, which made the atmosphere a little awkward. Although, this is not the first time. If he wants to go, it doesn't matter if we lack him. Go. The elder said, and turned away. Sima Liu Yun's strength is not high here, leaving them has little effect on them. But it's so dangerous outside, he doesn't have to come back if he leaves. Especially to deal with the ghost clan, to deal with the ghost clan in the ancient battlefield, this is simply to find a way out. Therefore, he did not care about Sima Liu Yun's disrespect for himself, because in his opinion, this was more true to a dying person. The corner of Sima Liu Yun's mouth evoked a slight ironic smile. After returning to the land, he took out the sound stone and said, Say, what is it? What is it? Sima Liu Feng asked. Who are you with? Sima Liu Yun asked. Sima Liu Yu drew his mouth, this guy stayed away from beginning to end and did not believe that Sima Liu Feng was caught. However, he still left the large army of Sima family because of this, we can see his trust in Liu Feng and disdain for Sima family. He didn't want to be with those people either. Sima Liu Feng knew that he could not lie to him, and they knew each other too well, even if there was a change in tone, they could not hide each other. Ghosts, he answered. Sima Liu Yun didn't speak there, obviously he didn't believe what he said. It's really with the ghost people said Sima Liu Feng. It's just that you have Yu Yu together. She's with you. Sima Liu Yun's voice finally fluctuated. Wait in place, I'll be right here. Hey. Before Sima Liu Feng's words were spoken, the other party cut off the contact and was not interested in the words behind him. Sima Yu Yu looked at him with some sympathy. His status in the family was really low. After all, Sima Liu Yun was concerned about him. 
Unfortunately, when he encountered other things, his status turned sharply. Because of this, De Yi changed his attitude towards Sima Liu Feng. This guy is a bit like him, but he is happier than himself, because he also has Sima Liu Yun together, and he has only himself. No, he has an aunt. In his most difficult and desperate days, my aunt accompanied him, helped him out, and made him what he is today. Therefore, no matter what price he paid, he would rescue her. Soon, Sima Liu Yun came over and saw Sima Yu of the women's clothing, and said coldly, How did you get here? Do you know where this is? You are still so dangerous if you come back, don't you die? Sima Yu Yu touched her nose, and Sima Liu Feng cast a sympathetic look on her. Let me laugh at you just now, right? On the other hand, De Yan was upset. He pulled Sima Yu Yu over, held her behind, looked at Sima Liu Yun, and said, Why do you scold her? Sima Liu Yun looked at De Yan, two people with similar gas fields almost frozen the surrounding air. Ghost people, Sima Liu Yun said. That's right. De Yan looked at him and said, Don't think you are her uncle, you can scold her like this. She is my ghost family, not your Sima family. Sima Liu Yun turned his gaze to the little head that came up behind him and asked, Who? Cousin, said Sima Yu Yu, mother's son. Get out of here. Sima Liu Yun drank coldly. Sima Yu Yu is a member of his Sima family. Where is the ghost family? Wishful thinking. Don't let it. Di Gao held Sima Yu Yu, who wanted to go out, firmly not letting her suffer a little. Let. Sima Liu Yun said again. Di Yan didn't speak, but the action had shown his attitude. Do not let, just do not let. Sima Liu Feng looked at them, couldn't help covering his eyes, and pulled Sima Yu Yu back to the side. At the moment when he pulled Sima Yu Yu, Sima Liu Yun started directly. Di Yan also fought back at the same time. The two fought against each other and flew into the air. Sima Yu Yu looked up at the two fighting men and said, You really know him. That is necessary. Sima Liu Feng said, This guy is the most impatient. He never speaks three times, and the second time if the other party still doesn't listen, he often starts directly. Just now Lu Yun said twice to let Di Yi get away, but Di Yi didn't listen and he knew that he would definitely do it. Sima Liu Yun and Di Yi have not been together so they do not have reservations like Sima Liu Feng. Coupled with the hatred of the ghost clan, he started much harder. In addition, his strength was originally higher than Sima Liu Feng and De Yi, De Yi was beaten by him for a while, and was injured. Cousin! Sima Yuyu screamed anxiously when she saw De Yan being injured. Master Ghost, separate them! The ghost master originally thought that Sima Yuya would not care about this matter. If she didn't say it, he planned to take a shot. This battle was completely different from the previous one, and he couldn't let it go. The ghost master flies up, makes an attack on Sima Liuyun, separates the two, and then helps Di Yan back to the ground. Master Ghost's move was not light, Sima Liuyun was hit and his body fell. Sima Liu Feng flew up and caught him. Cousin, Uncle Lu Yun. Sima Yu ran over and saw the two injured, and asked with concern, Are you all right? The Ghost Master and Sima Liu Feng took out the elixir for them, and the atmosphere was a little awkward. Sima Yu stood in the middle and didn't know who to see. Both were good to her, and it was not good to care about anyone first. Well, Di Yan is very good to Yu Yu. You were just like that. You scared Yu Yu before he thought you would hurt her. Sima Liu Feng spoke first, breaking the rigid atmosphere. Yes, Uncle Liu Yun, although my cousin is a ghost family, it is good to me. Sima Yu Yu said, If you don't like the ghost family, I also have the blood and breath of the ghost family in you. Like me. Dressed in women's clothing, and flirted with everything. Sima Liu Yun looked at Sima Yu Yu's embarrassment, and said silently, How are you with the people of the ghost clan? 
meet in Wonderland, then recognize each other, said Sima Yuyu, later came here later. Did you bring her in? Sima Liuyun asked Digao as he watched. Hey! Diyan covered his chest and didn't answer him. He did not let the ghost master kill him, it was already in the face of Sima Yuyu. No, I came here before I met my cousin. Sima Yuyu said. This Uncle Lu Yun's aura was too awful, and she couldn't stand it. Haven't met such a fierce elder before. What are you doing here alone? Sima Liu Yun stared at her, shrinking her neck. I'm here for something, Sima Yu Yu said. She blinked at Sima Liu Feng and asked him to speak for herself. Well, what are you doing so fiercely, you don't dare to talk to you when you see Yu Yu. Sima Liu Feng said, if Yu Yu ignores you in the future, don't you cry to me. Yu Yu will treat me anyway yes, aren't you, Yu Yu? Uh-huh. Sima Yu Yu nodded hard, the elders who were too fierce did not like it. Sima Liu Feng was indeed brought up with Sima Liu Yun, and he knew where his weaknesses were. So, Sima Liu Yun's face really eased a lot. He was only concerned about her safety. For the sudden appearance of her in such a dangerous place, she was worried too much, and then pulled her face subconsciously, and she didn't really want her to contact the ghost people. He has seen you Kiluo and doesn't hate her that much. What's wrong with you coming in? It's so dangerous, why not stay with the broken hearted? Things are still quite complicated. Let's find a place for you to heal. I will tell you my story slowly. Sima Yuyu said. She believed that he would not be too angry when Yin Lin was moved out. After all, she had already come in, and he couldn't treat himself well. An uncle was serious and indifferent, and an uncle was uninhibited, and he didn't know what his father grew up with. She told the story, Sima Liu Yun's face was really dark, but she didn't say anything. So, are you going to collect the ancient soul in the middle of the ancient battlefield? Yes. I don't know why Yunlin told me this, but since he mentioned it, there must be a reason. If this is the way to save his mother, I will go no matter how dangerous it is. Sima Yuyu said. Do you know how dangerous the ancient battlefield is? Sima Liu Yun asked. I know. Sima Yuyu said, but I have a way to make myself retreat, even if I can't succeed. What method? Sima Liu Yun asked. I have the nemesis of ghosts, said Sima Yuyu, and there are many helpers. Very good. Before I came in, I killed one of my concubines. Sima Yuyu said. Prince of the ghost race. Yes. Sima Yuyu said, although his guard is not good, he is also a royal guard. So my combat effectiveness is not so weak. And I have a cousin together. Sima Liu Yun was silent for a while and said, I and Liu Feng are with you. What? Sima Liu Yun looked at Sima Yuyu in surprise, and raised his eyebrows slightly, How, if you can be with him, you can't let us be together? That is, Yu Yu, the two of us are still your elders, and we naturally want to protect you together. Sima Liu Feng said. Sima Yuyu wanted to say no, but had to agree with Sima Liu Yun. Therefore, in the later journey, not only did she not remove Sima Liu Feng, but she also added another Sima Liu Yun. This made her quite helpless. But according to Sima Liu Feng, everyone in your mother's family is with you. Why should you keep the father out? To be fair, she couldn't help it. Yes, were you in that highland just now? Sima Liu Feng asked. Um. Sima Liu Yun responded. Is there any baby in there? Sima Yu Yu asked. It is said that there are many babies in it, but we didn't see anything. Sima Liu Yun said, maybe we went in different places. I heard that there are many babies in that highland, let's go for fun, too, said Sima Yu Yu, we're all here anyway. You want to go? Sima Liu Yun looked at her and asked. Hey. Sima Yu Yu smiled, her attitude was clear. Then go, 
Sima Liuyun said, but you might meet the Sima family. The old guys are a bit annoying, Sima Liufeng said, but those people are not there, don't worry they will hurt you. A few of them. Di Yan asked. Although these are cold-blooded and ruthless, they only think of the family, but they will not hurt you you. Sima Liufeng said, at the time, Yin Lin had a certain effect. What about those who want to kill her? Go to another place, said Sima Liuyun, we didn't come in together. They can tolerate these people because they remain neutral in the family, and if they were that group of people, how could they possibly be with them? But in this case, you are afraid that the news of Yuya will be returned to the family. Sima Liufeng said, will this cause danger? Her current strength has greatly exceeded our expectations. In this period, those people are overwhelmed with family affairs, and there is still the energy to do it. Sima Liuyun said. What about those forces? What they know? What are you afraid of? Unless all the forces are united, or you want to move me, that's also impossible. Sima Yuyu said, if they really want to unite, then they are more than one, or I am a bird let's have many people. Seeing her domineering look, Sima Liufeng was very happy. It is a miracle that she came to this day without the cultivation of a family. Don't you be afraid that the bird clan won't listen to you. Di Yan said, you are just a new king of the penguin bird after all, the truly powerful bird clan may not be convinced. I have other ways, no matter how strong it is, there is no way to resist. Sima Yuyu said, although I don't want the bird clan to be involved in my private affairs, at least it is a shock to the outside world. If it didn't work, she wouldn't mind letting them help. If Xiao Peng is not deterrent enough, Xian can come out. Qi Yan had been injured before, and was very serious. Since Tsing Yi entered, his injury has recovered quickly. A few days ago he told her that he had recovered a lot. Don't worry if you meet the strongest in the ranks. So he was telling her, was the invincible under emperor? The reason he didn't let the world know about him was because his strength was insufficient and the troubles he might have. Now that his strength is restored, it is time to order the birds. Sima Liuyun although they were not completely clear about her whole cards, they saw her so confident that they believed her. Yes, Uncle Liuyun, you know, is the cleanest water in this. The cleanest water? What do you ask this for? Are you looking for it? Sima Liufeng asked. Before coming in, Yinlin told me that if I found the cleanest water, he would tell me a word about his father. Sima Yuyu said. Sima Liuyun and Sima Liufeng were shocked, with a happy expression on their faces, and asked, really? If he would give them news, it would be a short while to find Sima Liuxuan. He said that, Sima Yuyu said, but he didn't say what is the cleanest water. There is no standard, no hint. The cleanest water. Sima Liufeng looked at Sima Liuyun. It is too difficult to find without standards. In case we find one that we think is the cleanest water, but he thinks it is not. This is highly likely. Not to mention whether it is the trouble of Yunlin, he did not say the standard, then there are a thousand possibilities. He didn't tell you the standard. Although it brings some difficulty to find, but from another angle, it is also a good thing. Sima Liuyun said. That's right, Sima Liufeng echoed. If he wants to tell you the news, even if it's not the cleanest water you bring back, as long as he says yes, that's it. I can only think so now. Sima Yuyu said, I think, since he let me do this, then he must know what I can find in it. But it depends on whether I can find it. Now. It's still early we can find it slowly, Di said. Well. Now, let's also see what can be found in this sub-battlefield highland. Actually, there is nothing here, except that our ancestors once passed here and passed on one time, which is our fusion skill. Sima Liuyun said. Since the inheritance has been obtained, what else is there? Sima Yuyu asked. 
according to word of mouth from the ancestors, when the ancestors were here, although they were inherited, they did not take away those artifacts here, said Simaliu Yun. Why? It is said that there was a soul guarding at the time. It was also said that because the ancestors did not have time after they realized the magic skills, they were transmitted directly. Simaliu Yun said, but no matter what, there are many spiritual tools here. Definitely. Some ancient artifacts, even if found, cannot be used. Sima Yuyu said. That's not right, said Sima Liu Feng. I don't know what the original news said. In short, when I heard that Wonderland will open again, the owner was very excited and said that the opportunity to revive the family came. He said that we must get that thing. So we came in according to the map passed down by the family. Since it was a family secret, how did those people know? So many people have come here. Sima Yuyu asked. Because of that incident. Sima Liuyun said. Because they are my father. Sima Yuyu was a little surprised, how could this have anything to do with that incident? Sima Liuyun knew that Sima Liu Feng had told her what happened then, and said, those forces that participated in the event, Although they eventually spared you and your father's life, united to make things difficult for the family. There is a danger, so compensation must be made. Compensation? Is that the news? Sima Yuyu asked. At that time, some forces already knew what Wonderland would open again in the next few decades, so after that incident, they united to persecute the family, and finally the family let the news over and finally calmed that thing down. Things. Sima Liuyun said. All the news of the ancient battlefield passed out. Sima Yuyu asked. We didn't know much about it. We sent it out before. That time, we said all the information we knew. To this end, we vowed not to lie to the sky. Those people believed. Sima Liuyun said, later, I don't know who passed the news. All this time, only so many people came to this ancient battlefield. No wonder there are so many people this time, said Sima Yuyu, so many people come to grab the baby, the chance is much smaller. That's right. Because of this, the people in the family have a great opinion of your father and they may even kill you if they know your news. The Sima family's status in the inner circle is getting lower and lower these years. Originally there was hope for your father as a genius, but I didn't expect that to happen in the future. Sima Liu Feng sighed, if you can't get that thing I am afraid that the opinions of the clan will be even greater. A single artifact can rejuvenate a family? This is too ridiculous. Sima Yuyu said, what artifact is that artifact that has such a function? If it really got it in the public eye if this is the case, I am afraid that this time, it will not be the treasure of the family, but the misfortune. If those people know that the Sima family got the baby here, as soon as the news is released, I am afraid those people will come together again and force them to hand over things. These forces like to do shameless things together. Sima Yuyu's words were not unconsidered, but now the situation has made them intolerable to worry about this. Although Sima Liu Feng and Sima Liu Yun have opinions on the family, they are still in the family after all, and it is impossible to have no emotion at all. On the one hand, they were dissatisfied with the family's actions, and on the other, they were worried about the status of the family. And this is one of the reasons why they are willing to follow the elders to come in and look for that artifact. Actually, I have a good way to prevent artifacts from falling into the hands of others and not cause trouble for the Sima family. Sima Yuyu said. What method? Sima Liu Feng took it smoothly, attracting a slight contempt for Sima Liu Yun. As long as I get that artifact, it will still be in our hands, but it will not cause trouble to the family. Although Sima Liu Yun guessed that she would say this, he heard in person that he saw her shame more deeply. Ha 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 cousin, you shameless look so cute, if you want that artifact, I will help you grab it. Du Yan laughed. He likes her shameless look. This time Sima Yuyu is speechless. What is shameless? 
When is she shameless? Is the artifact still unknown? We can go ahead and see. Sima Liuyun didn't agree with it. We do nt know how the situation is here. It is unknown whether the artifact is actually available or not. Then we will go when you are hurt. Sima Yuyu said with a smile. One day later, they set off again, and Sima Liuyun took them to the high ground without encountering much danger on the road. The thought of her being caught before and almost being used as a guide dog, she was heartbroken. This road was uploaded by our ancestors, so it is not so dangerous. Sima Liuyun explained, if people who don't know come, it won't be so easy for us. So, that ancestor is still a bit useful. When they got here, many people had already arrived. Footprints are everywhere in the cave entrance. A lot of people have come and don't know what's going on inside. Sima Liu Feng said. Go in and see. Sima Yuyu said that she was about to go in, and was pulled by Di Yan. I'll go first, you're behind me. Di Yan went and finished. Sima Yuyu smiled and followed Di Yan into it. Followed by Master Ghost and Dilu, then Sima Liu Feng and Sima Liu Yun. This guy, took our positions. Sima Liu Feng stared at the back of the others and said. Good. Sima Liu Yun said softly, and followed in. Although it is a ghost clan, it is good for Sima Yuyu's heart. Sima Liu Feng hummed twice and followed him in. Sima Yuyu walked in, but at the beginning it was only a cave, but when they came later, they seemed to have entered a maze, and the space inside was infinite, and it did not look like an ancient battlefield at all. It looks like an old site of a section. Sima Yuyu said. It's really similar. Others share this sentiment. It is no longer a simple basement. There is something on the wall, Dis said. Sima Yuyu fired a flame and sure enough she saw some paintings carved on the wall. Those murals have humans, spirit beasts, and some people who look ugly and should be demons or ghosts. These murals seem to tell a story. Sima Yuyu said. She looked back and found that there were some along the way. After they went over again, they finally sorted out the things here. I didn't expect this place to be an old site of forces, Sima Liu Feng said, because I got an artifact but was besieged by many forces, and was finally destroyed. Will this artifact be the one your ancestors said? Sima Yuyu said. What is your ancestor, that is also your ancestor? Sima Liuyun corrected it seriously. I'm not from the Sima family now. Sima Yuyu said. Why not? You have the blood of the Sima family, the people of the Sima family. Sima Liuyun glared at her again like the fierce look before. There is no me in the genealogy. Sima Yuyu retorted. Sima Liuyun was speechless, and said for a while, you will go up, you will become the most dazzling name in the genealogy. Sima Yuyu poked her lips, so she didn't care what genealogy. Your father's name is still there. Sima Liuyun said. Sima Yuyu stunned and said, did the family remove him from that incident? She thought that when that happened, Sima's family should expel her father from the family. Not everyone in the Sima family is cold-blooded. Sima Liuyun said. Okay. Sima Yuyu shrugged. The news did surprise her. Anyway, that's our family, our roots, Sima Liuyun said. What about those who want to kill me? Sima Yuyu said. That's the enemy, not the family. Don't worry. You can deal with it as you please. Sima Liuyun said. Well then. If anyone comes to me, I will certainly treat them well. Sima Yuyu said. No mercy under your hands. Sima Liuyun added. It means that you don't need to care about the surname of Sima, and the blood of Sima's family is shed. Oh. Sima Yuyu nodded obediently, she was a very obedient child and her uncle said he didn't need to show mercy. So that those who want to kill her in the future are killed by her, regardless of whether that person's status in the house is important. Speaking back, if the artifact is the cause of the demise of this force, 
is it still here? Sima Liufeng asked. There are still murals in front, Di Yan said. Sima Yuya walked over and painted the result of the events of that year. In that portrait, the surviving person opened the artifact with his life, and the artifact broke out to capture the power, killing all the people who came in, and then the artifact became a broken copper and iron, completely disappeared already. Only one disciple left behind has sketched everything out of that year. After reading these murals, everyone was stunned. The artifact is gone. According to the message on the mural, this is indeed the case. If this mural is real, what are they looking for? Your ancestor will not pit you, right? Di Yan smiled gloatingly when they saw Sima Liu Feng. Not to mention Sima Yuyu, even Sima Liu Feng felt the same way. The news passed down from the ancestors is rampant, and the story on this stone wall is more true and reliable. Is there really no artifact? Sima Liu Feng said. If so, haven't they worked so hard for so long? It's not impossible. As soon as Sima Liu Yun started, he heard the sound of the fighting. The fierce fighting made the whole dungeon tremble. It's the elders' magic skills. Sima Liu Feng said. Something went wrong, go and see. Sima Liu Yun finished and rushed in that direction first. You are waiting here. Sima Liu Feng told Sima Yuyu and followed Sima Liu Yun. Sima Yuyu looked at them in such an anxious manner, and touched her nose, saying, I usually say I'm not happy with my family, but if something goes wrong, I run faster than anyone else. This is the Sima family. Let you wait here, wait. Di Yan asked. Seeing Sima Yuyu's sly eyes, he knew he was asking the wrong question. How could this girl wait here quietly? Let's go and see. Sima Yuyu said, What are they going to do with Uncle Wan Yifeng? What if an artifact is stolen by someone else? Well, in fact, the point is that I did not say this sentence later, Sima Liu Yun, they are not so easy to get hurt. She and Di Yan walked in the direction of the fight, and soon saw a group of people facing each other in a huge pit. When Sima Liu Feng and Sima Liu Yun saw Sima Yuyu coming, they were shocked and wanted to talk, but they could not catch up with the people who flew towards them. Roll. Before Sima Yuyu responded, the ghost master waved his hand, and the person who flew over was shot dead on the wall. Sima Liu Yun saw the master's palm solving a king-level powerhouse, and understood that the palm he had hit himself before was regarded as kind. Sima Yuyu blinked and asked, What's going on? Why was he almost arrested when he came? Sima Liu Feng and Sima Liu Yun flew over, guarding her, and said, Don't you not come over. I'm here to help you. What if you can't beat others? Sima Liu Yu said seriously. Sima Liu Yun and Sima Liu Feng looked at her, and no one believed her words. She was careful, they didn't understand yet, so Bai lived so many years. Sima Yuyu doesn't care whether they believe it or not, in fact, she doesn't believe this excuse, but this is not a big deal, and you don't need to worry about it all the time. Who are those people? Why arrest us? She still planned to figure out the current situation first. She could see clearly that the person was not coming towards her, but flying towards them. If it weren't for the ghost master, they could be caught by any of them. These people can't beat us and can't escape. They want to catch people and throw them at us, said Sima Liu Yun. Who are these people? Sima Yu Yu looked at those people in Sima's family. They didn't look good, one by one, like eating dead flies. Goo goo people, Sima Liu Yun said, because of an artifact, betrayed the relationship between the two. Goo family. Sima Yu Yu was stunned. And when she thought of Yunhai City, she did see Gu family and Sima family together, and the relationship was still very good at that time. But now, the two sides are angry, especially the Sima family, with an injured look. It seems this relationship is rampant. Aren't there no artifacts? Sima Yuyu asked. Not the one we saw, but some other artifact. Sima Liu Yun said. 
Although I didn't get that artifact, it was good to get these. Can greatly enhance the strength of the Saima family. When the Saima family came in, the Gu family was not together, but after they met in the palace, they did not say that they would drive the Gu family away. However, they did not expect that they had just cracked the prohibition here, and the Gu family no longer concealed their ambitions and attacked them directly. The Saima family was attacked and many people were injured for a while, becoming more passive, but I did not expect that Sima Liuyun and Sima Liufeng came and killed the two masters directly, which eased the pressure on the Sima family. Later, Sima Yuyu came, and Master Ghost calmed down the entire palace, and the two sides became deadlocked. What do the two of you do? The Sima family saw that Sima Liuyun was not here to help deal with the Gu family at this time, but went with people they didn't know and said dissatisfied. Sima Liuyun and Sima Liufeng looked at each other, and then moved away to the sides, exposing Sima Yuyu behind. The people in the Sima family just didn't notice Sima Yuyu. By the time they reflected, Master Ghost had beaten the person away. Sima Liuyun and Sima Liufeng blocked her behind. Now they can see her look clearly, seeing that face similar to Yukiluo seven points, they all take a breath. This, this is. The Gu family also found Sima Yuyu, and cried in surprise, Yuki Luo. This isn't Yuko Luo, this should be the child back then. Day. Isn't that. Sima Liuxuan's child. The Gu family and the Sima family are now shocked. The sudden appearance of Sima Yuyu makes them unacceptable for a while. Why is she here? Yet. Wasn't she missing, wasn't she taken away by Sima Liuxuan, how could she be here? You are the deputy valley owner of the new power. Said the elder. Before, he glanced at Sima Yuya from afar. At that time, he just felt a little familiar and did not think of Yu Luo. It turned out he was her. Look at Sima Liuyun and Sima Liufeng's protection to her, they have found her long ago. Now is not the time to be curious about my identity. If you are not good at dividing those artifacts, give them to me. Then you don't have to destroy the friendship for so many years and you can continue to believe in love. The three parties were speechless, and she would say such a thing. Di Yan smiled and said, Master Ghost, since your cousin wants it, help her grab it. But the Ghost Master stood still. Those artifacts have less spiritual power fluctuations. Now they are a pile of broken copper and iron, and have no value. No spiritual power. Sima Yuya looked at the artifact on the wall behind Sima's house and looked intact, but did not expect that she had no spiritual power. These artifacts should have no spiritual power during the original war. Master Ghost said, maybe, this is related to the murals we saw before. Sima Yuyu immediately thought of the last mural on the wall, which showed that when they opened the artifact, they took a lot of aura from the surroundings. Perhaps, the spiritual power of these artifacts was exhausted at that time. One reason why it hasn't rusted and rotten for so many years is that it was isolated by those bands. How is that possible? The Gu family yelled. If it was just some broken copper and iron, and they ruined the relationship with the Sima family, it would be worth the loss today. No, it should be a big loss. It's true, Master Ghost, don't scare me. Sima Yuya cried. But she was almost used as a guide dog by these people, and she almost disfigured. She finally came, but she told her that these artifacts were useless, and she was so anxious. Then, without the Ghost Master answering her, those artifacts were completely turned into powder at the moment when the destruction was prohibited. Before that, the Sima family only broke the ban for a while, and did not completely break away the Gu family, but in the previous battle, their strength slowly weakened the last force of the ban. As a result, the prohibition is now completely ineffective. As soon as those artifacts come into contact with the air, they feel a slight vibration and they are turned into powder. Sima Yuya wanted to say something about Nima, thinking about whether she was wearing women's clothing now, or she could bear it back. At the same time, 
other forces rushed over after hearing the news, and many people saw the artifacts turned into powder. They only heard the words of Master Ghost when they came and knew that it was a magical tool, but they didn't know what these magical tools looked like before. What's going on? The people yelled, heartbroken. No one answered them, nor did they expect anyone to answer. Because they don't need to be said, they probably guess the reason. Others are okay, the Gu family and the Saima family are the most upset. The Saima family has been thinking about this for many, many years, and especially regards these artifacts as the hope of their re-emergence. Now there is no more, and the elders and others are feeling cold in their hearts. The Gu family did not steal rice, but originally thought that they could get those seductive artifacts, but they did not get anything to say. They also offended their old partners for so many years, and they had an enemy who knew everything. What should we do now? How to do? What else can I do? Something is gone. Is it still here to watch someone fight? The Saima family and Gu family must not be good this time. If they stay, they are likely to be implicated. As a result, those new forces have left again. Without Ling Bao, they have no meaning left. Soon, there were only two Gu family and Saima family left. The Saima family quickly occupied several exits of the palace and surrounded the Gu family. Now that things are gone, it is impossible for them to not report this attacked enemy today. You leave first, Saima Liuyun said, take care of the matter here, we will go to you. Today's battle is essential. She may be injured by accident here. Okay. Saima Yuyu agreed very easily, and they went out with Di Yi. The purpose of her coming here is to grab the baby. Now that the baby is gone, she naturally has no idea of staying. Moreover, she does not want to participate in this Saima family's affairs. When she left, she heard those from Gu's family saying those regrets, but it was too late to say anything now. However, they also had trouble going outside. At the exit, many forces gathered together and saw Saima Yuyu and Diyan coming out and surrounded them. Ghosts, you are unlucky when you meet us today. Let's be obedient. Someone cried. That's it again. Saima Yuyu could not help rolling her eyes. Are these old guys in the inner circle somewhat ignorant? I haven't decided before when I was outside. Now the first sentence of meeting these old guys is obediently come to Bara Bara. Is their brain sick, or is there a problem with their brain structure? Little girl, you are young, we give you a chance, leave now, and swear to never be with these people again, we will spare you. It's hard to say. Saima Yuyu said. He is actually a blood relative, how could he not contact him in the future? Little girl, don't be obsessed. Someone threatened, we give you a chance because of your youth. It's a pity to think that you are so young. Thank you for your kindness. Saima Yuyu said, Unfortunately, I can't agree to your request. So, would you rather die with them? Then don't blame us for letting you go. Saima Yuyu saw the killing intention in that man's eyes and sneered, You didn't intend to let me go from the beginning. The killing intention in your eyes has been from the beginning. Hum, to give you a chance you don't, then stay with them here. After that, the man took the lead and avoided the ghost master and Diyan, attacking Saima Yuyu. Saima Yuyu raised her eyebrows. Is this when she was bullied? As soon as she wanted to do it, Dilu attacked and quickly cleared up the man. Saima Yuyu felt that the man looked at his own eyes a little differently, so after Dilu resolved him, he went to check his consciousness. Actually the descendant of the Zun. Saima Yuyu saw the thing in that person's memory and was quite speechless. The guy caused trouble for himself when he died. The rest of this force was resolved by a ghost master's move. Others looked at it like this and suddenly stopped. Go. The ghost master whispered to those people. The good guys don't eat the immediate loss. The people of this ghost clan are too powerful. We better withdraw first. As a result, the people turned around and ran away, but before they ran far, they stopped where they were, 
and looked at the sky that was suddenly dark in horror. This is... Hoob. With a long howl, those who ran ahead were caught in the black mist. When it appeared again, there was only a pile of bones left. What? Those people were scared and ran back, trying to avoid the black mist that was getting closer and closer, but not so fast. They were just glad that they had escaped in front of them, and now they regret it. What? Help. Ah. People were constantly being eaten by the black mist, and bones were constantly spitting out of it. The scene was not scary. Sima Yuya was also scared. Seeing this thrilling scene, she asked, Cousin, is this something from your ghost family coming? The ghost master saw Sima Yuyu, and suddenly his eyes brightened, saying, Fire and lightning are indeed counterproductive to this thing, but because its existence is too high, the general properties of flame and lightning are useless to her. If it's your flame, it's not a chance to fight. How did he forget her flame? However, Sima Yuyu didn't want to be able to fight such a bottomless possibility. Master Ghost, if my flames are accompanied by thunder, will we have a chance to win? Thunderstorm. Master Ghost stunned. If there is a thunderstorm, match your flames, then it will be fine. But there is no thunderstorm now. How could a thunderstorm come down at this time? But Sima Yuyu didn't worry about this. She turned to look at the elders and others, and said, If I can save your lives, would you like to swear that you would not hurt me and the people of the ghost clan while in danger? The elder did not expect that she would make such a request, and said a while, saying, OK, I promise you. I want everyone here to agree. Sima Yuyu said, And I mean, it's not that we don't hurt us now, nor in the future. If you can solve this crisis, it is not impossible to promise you, said the elder. He didn't have the idea of killing her and Sima Lyugzhuan. If she was right to save them, there would be no loss in agreeing to this. Sima Yuya glanced at the others and said, What about you? If they can save their lives, they can't ask for anything. Who else has any other ideas? Each one quickly nodded and agreed. Remember your words. Sima Yuya said, and went out, saying, Master Ghost, I'm ready to go out. When Tian Li comes down, your enchantment. Di Yan grabbed her and said, What are you doing? Do you know how dangerous it is outside? Cousin, how long can you support Master Ghost's enchantment? Sima Yuyu asked. He was worrying about himself, his hands were shaking, and he was conveying his mood to her. To be honest, she wasn't 100% sure about going out, but she didn't like to sit here and wait. But she thinks she has hope. Since people can't clean it up, let Tiendeo take it. Diane held her back, he didn't want her to go out and take the risk. Cousin. Sima Yuya looked at him and raised the corner of her mouth. Rest assured, I will come back. You have to hide in a little while, and you'll come out when you get out. I. Cousin, we have no time. Sima Yuyu stared at him firmly. Master, please rest assured. Her fire, even if it will not kill the thing, will be able to return. Ghost Master said. But it was really that time, she did not need to return, because his enchantment certainly did not support that time, and returning here is not a safe place. Sima Yuyu knows the flames of Diyan. He let go of her and said, Be careful. Okay. Sima Yuya came to the edge of the enchantment. The ghost master was about to open the enchantment and let her go out, but saw that she called out Xiao Xiao to fit out. The Sima family recognized the acrobatics she used and was surprised, she actually uses fusion. Sima Liu Feng, did you teach her? Sima Liuyun and Sima Liufeng were also surprised because they had not taught her any magic skills. We found her to be Danby in Yunhai City. Do you think her mastery of fusion started from that time? The Sima family was silent, because that was impossible. She's Lu Xian's child. Even if she wasn't growing up in the family, what's so strange about this? 
Sima Liu Feng said, but she's in her thirties now. I don't know that the talented descendants of the family are in their thirties to what extent have you grown up? The elders were silent, not to mention the current juniors, but to say that before, there were no such bad people. Now that those artifacts are gone, if she can return to the family, it will not be impossible to revive the family. Thinking of this, he looked at Sima Yuyu's eyes changed. Others thought of this, and everyone looked different. Sima Liuyun and Sima Liu Feng noticed their changes and said nothing. These things can only be done by themselves. If they can accept her, her return to the family will be just around the corner. The premise is that they can survive the crisis safely. The outside of the palace was completely enveloped by the blood demon, and the whole sky was crushed, as if surrounded by a black curtain. Everyone watched her out of the realm, all worried that she would be swallowed by the blood demon, and everyone's heart was tight. Di Yan and Sima Liu Feng are worried about her. The elder is afraid that the family will lose a genius and lose the chance of revitalization. Others are afraid that she will die. Their hope of survival is extinguished. The moment she left the enchantment, she felt a hot golden flame erupting from her body, and the black mist around her turned out to be completely clean, and a humanoid space appeared. What a great flame! The people in the underground palace called. Even though they were so far away, they felt the heat of the flame, indicating its high temperature. Such a powerful flame may be able to deal with the blood demon. Haha! <laughs> The wind was blowing around the flames, and the whistling sound was louder than before. Gorfiend is irritable. Sima Yuyu felt a force swallowing the power of Qi Yan, looked at the sky and said, Qi Yan, this time I will trouble you. I need a few minutes. A figure separated from Sima Yuyu's body. After he came out, his body was also wrapped in flames. Suddenly his body moved, he flew into the air and flew towards the thickest place of the black mist. The opponent's strength is too strong, and the cost of the body makes him stronger, which can drag on for a period of time. A uh. A long beep made the people in the palace feel great coercion. Is this, is this? Phoenix. No, this is not a phoenix. The ghost master looked at Chi Yan. This is a bird. Suzaku. Everyone in the underground palace was dumbfounded. They actually saw the divine bird Sozaku, the legendary divine bird. No wonder her flame is so powerful, it turned out to be it. Those dark mists were withdrawn and went all out to deal with Chi Yan. Sima Yuyu stood in place and started to mobilize the purple pole thunder in her body, so that it would lead the mind back. Jiyun is sleeping in the air, it is the most leisurely to guard here. Suddenly it felt someone calling, and it immediately became alert. That guy again. It didn't want to go, but he felt there was something that violated the rules of heaven and earth there, so he had to sit and rob the cloud. Sima Yuyu looked up at the sky, why did she feel that the thief came particularly slowly this time? It's been a few minutes. Thunder Thief still hasn't come. Isn't it really useless to urge Zijiti and Lee here? Are they not here to explain their lives? There was a coolness behind her, which scared her more than she was struck by lightning. Twenty minutes have passed, Lei Ji still hasn't come, and Qi Yan can't hold on there. Although his strength has recovered a lot, it still hurts after all, and it is such a strong opponent that he can hold on for so long. Is this trick really not working? Yu Yu, let Tsing Yi go out. Xiao Qi said to her in the Soul Tower. Tsing Yi? Isn't he unable to do anything? If it is a normal situation, I really can't do it, but this is beyond those situations. Tsing Yi said. Sima Yuyu's first consideration was that he could not do anything casually, not that he was willing to help them and had a chance to survive, which really touched him a bit. Once Sima Yuyu heard that there was no problem, he quickly called out Tsing Yi. As soon as Tsing Yi came out, his body emitted a faint golden light, forming a golden halo. As soon as those dark mists touched the halo, they nodded instantly, and then disappeared. Immediately he printed his hands, 
a small tree of life flew out of his chest, and then slowly grew larger, slowly driving back the dark mist. It's so full of life. What's that? Someone from the Gu family called. The ghost master guessed Sing Yi's identity. Sima Yuya once said that she was under the tree of life, but she did not expect that she took the whole tree of life away. Sima Liu Yun and Sima Liu Feng also guessed, but they did not intend to speak up. However, they did recognize that the elders, as the elders of the Sima family, did not have the knowledge that ordinary people could match. Tree of Life, the legendary Tree of Life. He murmured, and now he can no longer describe his mood with shock. Tree of Life? This is the legendary Tree of Life that can help people realize and enhance their strength. People around the elder cried out in surprise. Yes, it is. It is exactly the same as the ancient book said. The elder said with certainty. Tree of Life. This is the real Tree of Life, not the ficus bee outside. Not only does she have the legendary bird Sozaku, but also the legendary Tree of Life, how many unknown secrets does he have? I didn't expect such a thing to form here, and I don't know what this thunderbolt does. If you let the above know, can you sleep so safely here? Tsing Yi seemed to himself however, Lei Ji, who was approaching, shuddered and speeded up. Sima Yuyu saw the cloud coming over, and then the hanging heart fell. When Jia Yun was about to come down, she took back Tsing Yi and Qian and faced Jia Yun alone. The blood demon wants to escape when he sees Jia Yun, but the target is locked by Jia Yun, it can't do without it. It only moved a little distance but it just happened to drive them away from the scope of the thunderstorm. This was what Sima Yuyu hadn't thought of. She was still worried about whether they would affect them. Now she's okay. Perhaps Tsing Yi's words just made a difference. If you let the above know that this thing has actually been generated within its scope, the punishment it will have to face is definitely not what it can bear. So it's going to kill it here. The thunderstorms fell one after another and the demise of the heavens and the earth shook everyone in the distance. If it's split on a person, can it still be sustained? Everyone felt queasy when they thought about it. Even though they are so strong now, they still have offer Lei Ji. This thunderstorm fell on Yu Yu, can she bear it? Sima Lai Yu Feng said worriedly. None of them had seen Sima Yu Yu crossing the robbery. Looking at the power of the thunder robbery, they were all pale. If something happens to her, they will blame themselves. The elders died distressed too, so the genius against the sky died, the loss of the family. An hour or two passed, and Lei Ji was still hacking, and he saw that everyone else was numb from the start of the thriller to the back. People outside are worried, but Sima Yuyu inside is confused. Is this thunderstorm ill? This guy used to hack himself. This time it was obviously a thunderstorm she brought in. Now she is standing here, but it doesn't seem to be seen. This is the first time ever. Seeing that Lei Ji was so happy, she was doing nothing here, she simply moved out of the chair and sat down, watching it slowly split. Ziji Tian Li emerged from her body, trying to grab food, was caught by Sima Yu Yu. It won't work this time. She trapped it with spiritual power and said, the thing to chop this time is so powerful that you can't grab it. Otherwise, we will be in trouble. Ziji Tian Li twisted unhappily in the spirit ball. It didn't care whether it was enough or not, it just wanted to eat. Sima Yuyu saw that he was about to break his own spiritual power ball, and he threw it into the soul tower with a thought. It really can't get out of it. Ziji Tian Li was so angry that this woman dared to lock herself in. It was angry, very angry. When it was angry, it couldn't control the power in the body, so the sky thunder broke down. Fortunately, Xiao Lingzi responded quickly, and immediately moved Ziji Tian Li to a place without people. After it was vented, there was only a mess left there. Sima Yuyu twitched her lips, this little guy is quite temperamental. No cloud soul is cute. Speaking of Yun Hun, she thought about it a little. The Ziji Tian Li in the Soul Tower sensed her thoughts, 
and the heart that had just calmed down was irritable again, and crackled. Isn't it ordinary Jiyun? Where is it cute? It is hundreds of times more powerful than those ordinary robbers. This unsightly woman. Sima Yuya didn't care about it, it hacked in it, anyway, there are many mountains, how long it wants to hack. Ziji Tian Li chopped for a long time, but Sima Yuya didn't bother about it, it suddenly quieted down. What? This guy keeps hacking. It's not hacking. What's going on? Woohoo! Sima Yuyu slid two black lines on his face. This guy hacked in it for a day and night and broke so many things. She didn't cry. Why did this guy cry? Wow! No one cares about it, it cries even more. This sadness, the strength in the body can't be controlled again. Sima Yuyu couldn't understand this little guy, and watching her crying helplessly in a vast and deserted place, she was still soft. She put the consciousness in, came to her, stared at it, and said nothing. Woohoo! Ziji Tian Li looked at Sima Yuyu in a grievance. Why did she come here so long? This Xiajia transformation has not yet been successful, and it looks like a vague body. Only the eyes are very well developed, large and round. With a little grievance, it's really cute. Although Sima Yuya was spoiled in her heart, her face was still cold. This guy is very proud, if I coax it now, I am afraid that he will go to heaven in the future. Do you know what's wrong? Woohoo! Ziji Tian Li did not speak, but just cried. When this guy cried so sadly, he didn't coax it, and knew that looking at it coldly, the more sad, the more sad he was, the more he couldn't control the spiritual power in his body, and the more he split around. Snapped. A thunderbolt struck Sima Yuyu, almost breaking up her consciousness. Sima Yuyu's face was darker. She was not hacked outside, but she was hacked at her own place. Ziji Tian Li froze and suddenly forgot to cry. Are you happy? You are happy when you take it away, and you are almost ruined by the Tower of Souls. That's not because you locked me here. Ziji Tian Li countered. If you listen to me, I will lock you here. I know that you have always felt that you are Ziji Tian Li, which is very powerful, so you have not looked at me. So after you have formed, you want to go, I will not stop you. My companion I want it's not the uncle you want me to serve. Sima Yuyu said, if you haven't done enough, continue, maybe it's the last time you came in here anyway. Having said that, she was about to leave, and the opposite Ziji Tian Li woke up crying, and it looked as if she had been wronged by Tianda. It was you who brought me here, and now you have to say you don't want me anymore, oh. Sima Yuya heard his complaint, drew his mouth, and saw that the surrounding mountains were split into black charcoal by it. The tears fell down, and I guess I was really wronged. She sighed and went up to pick it up, saying, no more chopping, no more crying. Ziji Tian Li drew his breath, and she no longer cried, but ended up snoring because it was collected too quickly. I'm cute and better than Yun Hun. Ziji Tian Li snored. Yes, you always don't like it. You always want to leave when you grow up. Sima Yuyu said. I just want to think about it, I don't really want to leave. The little fellow's anger dropped, and she narrowed her arms. But you didn't take me as a partner. So I said let you go. After that I don't want to. Ziji Tian Li said wronged. Will you listen to me after that? Okay. Are you hacking? No hacking. Will you listen to me after you go out? If you don't rob, you won't rob. Ziji Tian Li hummed. Even if I don't rob, that guy can't hack it. It will also make it successful in the robbery, and it will be truly recognized by the world. You know. I knew as soon as I saw them. If we can't die, what should we do? Sima Yuyu asked. The best way is to take it. Ziji Tian Li said. Then we can kill it while it is rigid and frail. It's not impossible if you want to, said Sima Yuyu, 
but trying to kill that is not so easy. But you are stupid, such a good thing, you don't keep it, what do you kill? Such a dangerous thing, if I can't control it and rebound later, then I will be a human sinner. Sima Yuyu said, although I have always felt that those people have nothing to do with me, but if it is involved, it will be nothing I will bear sin on my body. Zijitian Li thought for a while, it seems that this is indeed the case. But with me, it must not turn over. He <laughs> he. Sima Yuyu touched his head. This little guy looks so proud and looked good. It seems almost finished outside. Xiao Ling's voice came. Then let's go and see. Sima Yuyu went out holding the Zijitian Li, and the thunder mine outside had really come to an end. Although the black mist had dissipated, the breath in the air had not completely dissipated. Sima Yuyu found a dog-like spirit beast in the cratered pit, covered with scars, but still sighing. She leaned carefully, and the blood demon did not respond. This guy really isn't dead. She crouched down, wrapped herself in the flames of Xi'an, and looked carefully. Useless guy. Zijitian Li glanced at Jiayun in the air. Because of its negligence, this kind of creature has actually formed here, and now it has not been fully formed, it can't even kill it, which is too useless. This thing is going to dispose of it now. Sima Yuyu asked, it seems a pity to kill directly. Otherwise you can track it. Zijitian Li said, aren't you a dark person, you can contract them and dream of them, you can contract this. But this looks very powerful. If you contract, can you live it? Sima Yuyu hesitated. I don't want to be bitten by this guy and become his master. With me, it won't work, Zijitian Li said confidently. Besides, Qi Yan suppresses it. Sima Yuyu was still uneasy, and she asked Qi Yan again. You want to put it away? Qi Yan was not surprised by her idea. With her personality, this opportunity will not be missed. It's a bit of an idea, but hesitating, said Sima Yuyu, you may need to go to the ghost world in the future. Qi Yan came outside, watching the dying blood demon on the ground, frowned, and said, how can I not feel the power inside it? Looks like yet. Zijitian Li rushed over and called the blood demon, but didn't feel any power. How can this happen? Sima Yuyu put her hand on the blood demon and did not feel a little spiritual fluctuation. Don't ray chop it to death this day, but chop it into waste. Sima Yuyu guessed. It's unlikely, Qi Yan denied. There are usually only two possibilities for this situation. Which two? One is that it has been broken by spiritual power, making it a waste ever since. But this generally does not last. What about the other? The other is that Thunderbolt can't kill it, but it can't tolerate it to harm humanity, so it sealed its power with the power of heaven. Sealed? Sima Yuyu looked at the dog and was speechless. I want it, but I just want to see its power. Now that the power is gone, do you want to kill it? Qi Yan pierced her mind and said, you can't kill it. Why? If it is truly sealed by the heavenly path, it will be immortal. Qi Yan explained, unless it commits suicide, it will not die. Only by breaking the seal can external forces kill it. Sima Yuyu understood something and said, this is the so-called restriction and protection, right? That's about it, Qi Yan said, so, what are you going to do? This is a bit difficult, said Sima Yuyu. Is this guy able to lift the seal in the future? Maybe or not, we can't predict this. Qi Yan said, those people are coming over, you can make a decision as soon as possible. Sima Yuyu condensed, and indeed heard those people approaching. Then she noticed that Ji Yun had already left. Yu Yu, are you okay? Sima Liu Yun, they flew over and saw Sima Yu Yu in the pit, wondering what she looked like now. Aren't you struck by lightning? Sima Liu Feng asked in surprise, noting that she wasn't hurt at all. It's okay. Sima Yuyu stood up and said, Ji Yun is busy today. I have no time to stab me. It's all right. 
The two brothers, Sima Liuyun, breathed a sigh of relief, just now they were really worried about killing them. Di Yan and Master Ghost were afraid of the power of thunder and thunder, so they came later and saw that Sima Yuya was all right, so they were relieved. Cousin, hasn't this thief really hacked you? Sima Yuya nodded and saw that only five of them came over, but did not see the others, and asked, what about those people? The elders are cleaning up those in the Gu family. The Gu family just wanted to run away in chaos just now. Sima Liuyun said, looking at them like this, it won't be possible for a while. That's right, we can discuss this matter. Sima Yuyu said. What's wrong? Hasn't the gore fiend been hacked? Dilu asked. Sima Yuyu shrugged, glanced at the guy on the ground, and said, not dead, but sealed. The people present were all knowledgeable. She said that everyone understood. Can't die, is it so? It's impossible to handle it like this, Sima Liuyun said. If one day it lifts its seal, the whole world will be in danger. What should I do? Keep it with me? It's not realistic. They can't do nothing every day, just look at this guy. Sima Liufeng glanced at Di Yan and said, Will you contract it? No. Di Yan didn't speak yet, and the ghost master refused. Isn't this a dark spirit beast? What can't be contracted? Sima Liufeng was puzzled. Although the blood demon is sealed, it may be lifted one day. If it is willing to recognize the master and master, if it is unwilling, and back to the contract, how dangerous the master will be, don't say more. Master Ghost said. In any case, he would not agree with the proposal. It won't work, that won't work. What will this dog do? Well, I wanted to contract it before, or it was up to me. Sima Yuyu said, even if it recovers its strength one day, it won't threaten me. The crowd was silent. They knew that she could attract thunder, and there was a bird Sozaku. Let her contract. This should be the best way. Will there be danger? Di Yan still was not at ease. Xiao Ziai said it can calm the blood demon and it should be fine. Sima Yuyu said. No wonder Silver Pro Conference said at the beginning that you would save the entire world. Sima Liu Feng lamented. Sima Yuyu went to the contract, while those people hadn't come yet. I hope this will not spread. Qi Yan looked at them. Your human mind is too complicated. If you let them know about this, I'm afraid it will cause her trouble. And she doesn't have that much time and energy now to cope with this. We naturally understand this, said Sima Liuyun, we will say to the outside world that the blood demon has been robbed by thunder. That's fine. Sima Yuyu came to the blood demon, put her hand on it, and poured dark spiritual power into it. Woo! The blood demon opened her eyes and looked at her. Her large eyes were clean and pure and she looked like a pure and kind spirit beast. She could not see that it was a kind of ruinous existence. Sima Yuyu touched her hair and said, Good, follow me, let's eat meat together. Woo! The goblin sobbed, not knowing if she would respond to her. She contracted the blood demon by contracting small dreams. I don't know if it was the reason why it was sealed. Although the contract was successful, she did not increase her strength. Woohoo! The power of the contract healed the wounds on Gorfiend, and his hair was brighter and more energetic. Woohoo! The blood demon ran to her, scratched her body with her head, and coquettishly with her. Sima Yuyu thought about how it killed before. Although it was not clear, it still gave people a thrilling feeling. Looking at what he looks like now, it's hard to connect the two. After a while, the Sima family came over, and Sima Yuyu just ended the contract and was playing with the blood demon. The gore fiend has been killed. The elder asked. Yes, it's gone in the thunderstorm. Sima Liuyun said. Really? The elder glanced at the blood demon playing with Sima Yuyu, with some suspicion in his heart, and then dispelled the thought. Such a cute spirit beast should not be a blood demon. 
and it didn't have any spiritual power fluctuations, unlike the scary breath just now. Yu Yu, are you okay? He looked at Sima Yu Yu with concern. Sima Yu Yu glanced at him lightly and said coldly, It's all right. Thank you for your concern. The elder was a little embarrassed. She and Sima Liu Feng talked so kindly to them and spoke so indifferently to himself. He is the elder of the family. Sima Yu Yu watched him stand beside him without moving, and said, Is there something wrong with the elder? Um, it's okay. The elder smiled again. Why didn't you see your covenant beast? Are you talking about Xian? He's a little tired and went back to rest. Sima Yu Yu said, however, Tsing Yi wants to see you. Tsing Yi? Is it the tree of life? The Sima family are happy, are they? She thought, Tsing Yi appeared in front of everyone. They had not spoken yet, and Tsing Yi waved a light into everyone's body. What do you do? The elder cried, wondering what was going into his body. You don't have to worry, this is just a ban I gave you. Tsing Yi said, this ban does not affect you at all, but once you want to say something about me, the ban will start. The first time it will only keep you from speaking, and the second time, it will directly kill you. The elder's complexion has changed and changed. They don't believe them. Can't you tell anyone? Someone asked. Can't say to anyone, anyone. After King Ai I gave Sima Yuyu a glance, Sima Yuyu took him back to the Soul Tower, and said to Sima Liu Feng, Uncle Liu Yun, Uncle Liu Feng, since here it's okay, my cousin and I leave first. Aren't you with us? The elder asked. No, we still have things to deal with. Sima Yuyu refused directly. What can we do to help? The elder asked with a smile, it's so dangerous here, so few of you, it's too dangerous. How can that be? Sima Yuyu said, this is our own business, how can we affect you? What is not involved, you are our Sima family, your family will naturally share it for you. Said the elder. There was a sneer in Sima Yuyu's heart. Is she from Sima's family? She never knew it. The elder laughed and joked, where am I from the Saima family, I am only from the continent below, where can I dare to climb the Saima family? Didn't you say that to me? You have the blood of the Saima family, you are the Saima family. The elder said firmly, no matter what happened before, the blood on your body is immutable. Really? Then how did I hear that someone wanted to kill me? Saima Yuyu said, if you are a family, Shouldn't you love each other? Who dares to kill you? I must report to the homeowner when I go back, telling all those people to come out. The elder said. It's still not there, but I heard that when I was a baby, I almost died several times after I got home. Do you know those things, elder elder? Sima Yuyu said. The smile on the elder's face froze, saying, those things happened in the beginning and the family was chaotic. Maybe someone took the opportunity to do something, and we don't necessarily know. But I assure you that such things will never happen again. Let's talk about the future, said Sima Yuyu, we'll leave first if we have something. Well. The elder wanted to stay, but Sima Yuyu turned and left. Big elder, Yuyu's temperament is like this, she will have some thoughts about the previous things, only after she accepts the family. Sima Liu Feng said. The original thing, oh. The elder sighed. It's hard to say now, there should be no comments from the family. Sima Liu Yun and Sima Liu Feng heard his words, with a slight disdain in their hearts. Those in the family are too late to be happy, where can they have any opinions? But she has suffered a lot over the years, and it is not easy for her to accept her family. Sima Liu Feng said. We were all moved when we found out the news of her, and said that she had experienced her personally. Now. Do you already know her? Yes, when I first knew her, I sent someone to investigate. Sima Liu Feng said. Oh? Then you talk about her, the more detailed the better, 
so back to the family, we better persuade others. Said the elder. We sorted out those things. Sima Liuyun took out a thick stack of paper. This is all about her past. You will understand after reading it that the so-called geniuses of the family compare with her. Get up, it's a little witch. The elder took a look and looked at the first few pages, but still made him look shocked. Those are the things she did? It's incredible. Is this really something a small person can do? If you don't believe it, you can send someone to check, anyway, she can't cover up those things she did. Sima Liuyun said. The elder didn't speak, but he really thought so. After he went back, he had to send someone to check whether these were really done by her. If so, her talent.